I seriously suspect that my system has a serious bug. Even though I am in the peaceful era of Blue Star, the system insists that this is a highly dangerous world of spiritual revival. I accidentally stepped on an ant on my way to work, but the system claims that I used magic to kill a primordial behemoth. When I caught a thief on the bus, the system insists that I single-handedly captured a powerful sorcerer. Despite the fact that this world does not actually have a real spiritual revival, the system still rewards me generously. And the beginning of the story goes back to a month ago when I accidentally crossed over to this world. With the standard setup of both parents deceased and a million debts, just as I was about to give up and start over, a notification sound suddenly rang in my mind. Congratulations, host, the system has been activated. System detection, this is a highly dangerous world of spiritual revival. I was startled. After crossing over and already having both parents deceased and a million debts, now there's also a spiritual revival? Is someone going to suddenly appear and slap me to death? In my panic, I accidentally stepped on a few ants, and the system congratulated me for killing a ferocious beast, rewarding me with plus one vitality. What the hell? I was dumbfounded. Isn't it just a few ants that I stepped on? Are you telling me they're ferocious beasts? Is this system not functioning properly? At that moment, I saw two old men playing chess in a pavilion not far away. The system detected two warriors and warned me that I couldn't defeat them, so I should leave immediately. Hey, wait a minute. These two old men look like they can barely walk, and one of them is even in a wheelchair. You're calling them strong? There must be something seriously wrong with this system. I walked straight towards the two old men. Warning, please do not act recklessly. Host, warning, there is a significant gap in strength between the host and the opponent. Please do not provoke. I stepped forward and asked the two old men. Gentlemen, do you know martial arts? Like the kind in novels, where people can fly and walk on walls. The old man replied. Young man, what did you say? How old do you think I am? I was speechless when he said. I'm 78 years old this year. After hearing that, I walked away silently. These two old men must have hearing problems. There's no way they could be strong. This system must be malfunctioning. At this time, the system once again sent a prompt, praising the host's courage for provoking the strong and actually being able to retreat unscathed, rewarding an increase of three in vitality. Upon hearing the prompt, I didn't know whether to be happy or worried. Although this system is not very intelligent, it is still a system after all. But what exactly is this reward of vitality? After pondering for a moment, I walked up to a large stone tablet and threw a punch directly at it, with a loud bang. The several hundred kilogram stone tablet was actually shattered into several pieces by me. Wow. Impressive. System, even though your intelligence is lacking, the effects are still good. At this moment, in a corner of the system, I saw a scroll-like pattern. On August 4th, 2025, the host Xiaoyao bound the spiritual energy revival system. On the same day, the spiritual energy revived, causing great changes in the world. Animals transformed into monsters. Plants became sentient, and ancient immortal sects revived, entering the mortal world to spread their teachings. The human realm was plunged into chaos. In 2025, I was taken aback and took out my phone to check. Isn't it supposed to be 2024 this year? This system came too early. So, it means that it's not the system's fault, but rather it arrives too early, and the revival of spiritual energy will begin in a year, right? Doesn't this mean that I still have a year of development time? Fuck. I originally thought that coming here would make me a cannon fodder, but I didn't expect to actually be the protagonist template. I was ecstatic for a moment, becoming stronger. I want to become stronger. I want to secretly grow, and then astonish everyone. I turned my head and looked at the bushes in the park, where there were many dragonflies, butterflies, grasshoppers. My eyes were shining brightly, as if endless killing intent was brewing within them. You beasts, all of you will become my experience points. After speaking, I swiftly threw myself into the bushes and started killing insects in all directions. At that moment, a mother and child approached from not far away. The child asked the mother, Mom, what is that brother doing? The middle-aged woman helplessly replied, Child, he is a fool. Let's not pay attention to him. Meanwhile, after a fierce battle, my bloodlust has successfully reached 25 points. I clenched my fists with confidence, feeling that my current strength is comparable to Tyson. Just at this moment, the system sent another prompt. Warning, warning, detecting the appearance of a 7th grade strong individual. The gap between us is too big. Please host, run quickly. Your life is in danger. I looked up at the sound and saw a cute girl in a school uniform standing not far away. I was speechless for a moment. System, 
What are you talking about? This girl is so cute, and you're telling me she's dangerous. At this moment, the memories of the original host also came to me. It was then that I realized that this girl was my neighbor after I transmigrated. Chang Nian Han, Xiao Yao Ge, what are you doing? Oh right, my mom asked you to come to our house for dinner tonight. She made braised pork. After knowing her identity, I smiled and patted her head with my hand. Let's go, little girl. Let's go eat. The host's power is overwhelming. Suppressing the seventh grade strong individual, and the blood energy value increases by 10. I was completely confused. What the hell? How did patting a girl's head become overpowering a 7th grade strong individual? After having dinner at Chang Nianhan's house, I wandered around to see if I could activate any other system rewards. Suddenly, the system prompted again, detecting a gathering of monsters near the host. The system advised the host to leave immediately. I was puzzled and turned around to see that I had just passed by a pet shop. Hey, system, take a look at this. I know there are tigers in the mountains, but I still prefer to go to the tiger's den. After saying that, I walked into the pet shop with my head held high and chest puffed out. The owner of the pet shop had curly explosive hair and warmly greeted me, following the principle that customers are always welcome. Sir, what kind of pet are you looking to buy? He asked. Let me have a look first. I replied. With that, I approached a small cat with black and white striped fur. Warning, the host has entered the attack range of the seven bone demons. The power gap is too large. Please leave immediately. Host. I didn't pay attention to the system, but instead reached out and gently touched the kitten's head. The host has great power, intimidating the bone refining stage monster, the shadow cat, and rewarding four points of vitality. Then, I walked towards each cage, regardless of whether it was a cat or a dog, and touched their heads. The host is powerful, suppressing the flesh refining stage monster, the bloodthirsty rabbit, and rewarding two points of vitality, suppressing the skin refining stage monster. The crazy rat, rewards one point of vitality. Host, you're amazing. Suppressing the marrow refining stage monster. The mad dog, rewards five points of vitality. At this moment, I was ecstatic. I felt the power inside me soaring, and my vitality directly increased to 66 points. I satisfiedly shook my fist. Not bad, not bad. Tyson definitely can't beat me now. Just as I was about to go straight home, I received a call from Aunt Chang, my neighbor. Xiao Xiao, have you come back? There have been people knocking on your door. They've been there for a while. Xiao Gu, those people have been waiting at your doorstep. You must not come back. I saw them carrying sticks. Suddenly, I remembered. The previous owner was cheated out of 2 million yuan by a criminal gang. And these people have come to collect the debt. I calmly said into the phone. Don't worry, Aunt Chang. I will handle them. Don't let them disturb your rest. You and Xiao Han sleep well. Don't worry about me. Everything will be fine. After hanging up the phone, my face gradually turned cold, and my body shot out like an arrow, moving at an extreme speed, and disappeared in an instant. In the dim hallway, three or four figures stood outside my door, holding iron rods and baseball bats, looking fierce and menacing. Seeing that I wasn't home, the three big men forcefully broke open the door and searched around for a while, but couldn't find anything valuable. In a fit of anger, the leader kicked over the glass coffee table nearby. Smash his place. If this kid dares to escape, I'll make sure he feeds the fish in the river. He said. Several henchmen picked up their bats and started swinging them randomly, turning the room into ruins in no time. At that moment, one of the henchmen with a sneaky look said, Boss, I remember this kid has a good relationship with the mother and daughter next door. If we were to rape them, he would definitely come back obediently. The leader patted the henchman's face, smirked in a lewd manner, and said, Interesting. Not bad, you're quite clever. After a moment, several people arrived in front of the neighboring room's door. The leader said, to prevent them from calling the police, you smash the door open all at once. Got it? The followers nodded and took a few steps back, then charged towards the neighboring room's door. With a loud bang, the wooden door of Chang Nianhan's house flew out, startling the mother and daughter who were in the living room. The leader had a smile on his face as he confidently walked in. Just then, a dark figure suddenly flashed and appeared in front of the two of them. I stood in front of Chang Nianhan and her mother with a murderous look on my face. You're really looking for death, coming to me for debt collection. If you want to confront me, just come at me. Why bother troubling these poor orphans and widows? Kid, you're damn good at hiding. You hid so well. Why aren't you hiding now? The two of you, come at me. If I kill you, it's on me. I squinted my eyes slightly. 
even in times of peace, daring to shout and kill. I don't believe there's no one behind this scum. Instead of leaving any future troubles, I might as well take care of everything at once. While contemplating, two lackeys had already rushed at me with sticks. I dodged one of their sticks by sidestepping, then quickly threw a punch. One lackey fell to the ground, eyes rolling back, foaming at the mouth. He's basically going to be disabled for life. In the next second, I directly charged at the other lackey, grabbed his iron rod with my hand, then used my strength to jump up and stomped on his chest. With a crack, his chest caved in, and the man fell to the ground in pain. It was only at this moment that the system finally appeared with a prompt, host, mighty and invincible, defeated two strong opponents, blood chi value plus 11. I lifted my head and looked at the leader, you're called brother six, right? Brother Lu looked at me as I approached him step by step, he trembled all over, and his pants were soaked, brother Xiao, let's talk properly, I sneered, talk properly, did you talk properly about the furniture in my house, I'll compensate, isn't that enough, brother Xiao Yao, I'll kneel down for you, I have elderly parents and young children, and in between, there's a beautiful wife with a curvaceous figure, I sneered, it's alright, your neighbor, old Wang, will take care of your wife, he will definitely feed her well, you can rest assured, in the next second, I kicked him in the face, all of his teeth were accurately kicked out by me, scattering all over the floor, he crawled towards the door, his face full of fear, I stepped on the hem of his clothes and forcefully pulled him back, where do you think you're going, come back here, next, I ask, you answer, say one more word, and I'll send you to the ICU luxury VIP room, got it, brother Lu's nose was bruised, his face swollen, tears streaming down his face as he nodded incessantly, first of all, how did I owe you two million, brother Lu wailed, saying he didn't owe anything, what do you mean, your father borrowed twenty, zero 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 yuan from me before he passed away, but he had already paid it back, the subsequent loan agreement was forged by us, mainly because we targeted the property he left behind, damn it, my forehead veins bulged, and I stomped directly on brother Lu's hand, he immediately let out a scream like a slaughtered pig, I was filled with anger, it turns out that this so-called 2 million debt of mine is completely baseless, damn it, I'd been taken for a fool, the second question, how can you few people who engage in usury be so rampant, who is behind you, me, behind me is Sun Wang Qian, the boss of the Sun family, Sun Wang Qian, my eyes flicker, combining with the memories of the original host, this person is truly famous, he controls half of the entertainment industry in Qinglan city, with countless KTVs, clubs, and bars under his control, he started out in the underworld, but after the crackdown in recent years, he cleaned up his act and pretended to be a well-known entrepreneur, but I know that someone like him wouldn't simply retire from the underworld so easily, it's just a cover, sure enough, there are still people under Sun Wangqin who are involved in usury, it seems like I need to teach him a lesson on how to be a decent person, a cold expression appeared on my face, if it weren't for the recovery of spiritual energy after a year, I would have killed people like Sun Wangxin directly. How many people have been driven to death by usury? How many families have been destroyed? How many young girls have been trapped? Sun Wangxin deserves to die a hundred times. Well, you are useless now. I sneered and crushed all his limbs with my feet. Lugu passed out in pain. Xiao Han, call the police. These three guys broke into the house and attempted rape. After a while, the police arrived and, after a brief understanding of the situation, took Lu Gu and the other two away, I went with them to give a statement, after everything was over, I returned home again, and it was already midnight, at this moment, the system prompted me with congratulations, congratulations to the host for obtaining the primary cultivation technique, congratulations to the host for obtaining a villa in Jiangha Mountain Villa, congratulations to the host for receiving a reward of 300 year Zhu fruits, 100 year Zhu fruit, rich in vitality, most suitable for martial artists to consume, one fruit can increase 100 points of vitality, damn, cultivation technique, villa, and this fruit that looks very powerful, am I about to take off, without hesitation, I directly swallowed one Zhu fruit, and immediately a surge of heat rushed through my body, I immediately got up and assumed the correct posture to start practicing the cultivation technique rewarded by the system, after a while, I finally absorbed all the energy from the Zhu fruit, I also felt that I had already broken through the realm of a martial artist and was stepping towards the next level. Excited, I went to the kitchen and found a kitchen knife. I forcefully chopped it on my arm, but it didn't break the skin, leaving only a faint white mark. I clenched my fist again, 
feeling a strong surge of heat flowing through my muscles, reaching the next level. My strength skyrocketed several levels once again. They say that muscles with a certain level of density can stop bullets, and my muscles should be close to that. A small caliber handgun can no longer cause fatal damage to me. Next, it's time to settle the score with Sun Wan Chen. My face gradually turned cold. He dared to deceive me. Xiao Yao. I'll make sure this guy knows that the Marquis has more than a pair of eyes. After a while, I arrived at the entrance of a bar under the name of Sun Wan Chen. I walked directly towards the door. Immediately, two security guards wearing sunglasses stopped me. Sir, this is a members only bar. It is only open to members. Do you have a membership card? No, I want to see Sun Wang Chen. I replied. Upon hearing my words, the two of them became alert. See Boss Sun? Who are you? What do you want to see Boss Sun for? Seeing this, I smiled and said, Judging by your appearance, Sun Wang Chen must be here today. I have indeed come to the right place. Sun Boss doesn't have time to see you. He is entertaining an important guest today, and Sun Boss doesn't need just anyone. Ha ha. A gang leader trying to act so high and mighty. Does Sun Wan Qian really think of himself as an entrepreneur? Even if a dog wears a suit, it's still a dog. Get lost. I shouted loudly, and the two tall and strong security guards were blown away and fell heavily to the ground. Congratulations to the host for suppressing a fifth grade warrior. Increasing your vitality by four. I straightened my clothes, didn't look at them again, and walked straight into the bar. After the two of them got up, they quickly took out their walkie-talkies and alerted everyone to be on guard as there was trouble. As I entered the crown bar, the system sent another notification. Warning of a magic cave ahead where the host would soon encounter a large number of powerful magic cultivators. It advised me to quickly escape, otherwise the host's life would be in danger. I was speechless. This stupid system was acting up again. I wanted to see what these so-called magic cultivators had that could withstand me. What the hell are you standing there for? You can't beat them. Get out of here. Fuck, I've never seen such a stupid host before. Xiao Yao simply ignored it. It wasn't like the stupid system had been acting crazy for a day or two. Just get used to it. He looked around. The first thing he saw was a group of high-spirited men and women, accompanied by the booming DJs. They were twisting their bodies wildly in the hall, on the dance floor, and on the sofas. Xiao Yao even saw several famous big bosses in Qinglan City, who usually wore their hair high and didn't smile, but they completely let themselves go in this crown bar. They were raining down on young girls, carrying expensive foreign wines and pouring them into the girls' mouths with their big fishy mouths, whether they wanted to or not. The girls coughed in agony, and the big men laughed heartily. When they got high, they casually pulled out thick wads of dasha coins and threw them out, and the money floated in the air like willows, all over the place. The pretty girls exclaimed and screamed, pouncing towards the scattered papers without the slightest regard for image, like hungry wolves fighting for food. In the outside world, they could be some men's goddesses. White moonlights, unattainable ideals. What Xiao Yao saw in this bar was a scene of paper drunkenness, a game of unlimited human desire. Sun Wang Qian was the creator of this game, and the men and women who indulged in their desires would be his tools for enrichment. Whether it's a nightclub girl, or a big boss worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Where is Sun Wang Qian? Xiao Yao went forward and pulled a handsome waiter who was holding a tray of wine. He gave Xiao Yao a puzzled look, but didn't think much of it. It just pointed to the most luxurious one in the center of the bunch of card seats. Boss Sun is there. Xiao Yao let go of him and directly walked towards that card seat in big strides. Excuse me, sir, you need a capital check to book a card seat. Immediately, a bodyguard dressed like the one outside stopped him. What are the criteria for capital verification? Liquid capital. Ten million dollars. That bodyguard raised a finger and said. Oh, Xiao Yao grinned. No money, but I'm still going in. That bodyguard's face fell hard. Is Mr. trying to break in? Do you know whose territory this is? Xiao Yao didn't say anything and just pointed to the walkie-talkie on the bodyguard's waist. That one rang. The bodyguard was stunned and hurriedly picked up the walkie-talkie. Oh oi. What someone is causing trouble? By him breaking in? The bouncer's face instantly changed. It was important to know that those who could enter this crown bar were not famous bigwigs in Qinglan City, and those who were worth tens of millions of dollars were guaranteed. If this was broken in by some miscreant and something went wrong, it would be a big problem. Gather all the brothers, and call up the surveillance for me. Such a voice came from the other end of the walkie-talkie, and by the time the bodyguard put down the walkie-talkie, Xiao Yao had long since disappeared. It's over, how can we find this? The bodyguard looked at the countless male and female figures entangled together in the rows and rows of booths, revealing large swaths of skin under the dim neon lights, as well as the rising and falling gasps under the DJ's pressure, and his face showed bitterness. At this moment, 
Xiao Yao walked straight towards the luxurious card seat in the very center. He saw several figures sitting on the sofa. One of them, a middle-aged man with a cigar in his mouth, crossing his legs and exposing his hairy chest, was Sun Wang Qian. He was holding two coolly dressed innocent girls on his left and right, and his two hands did not stop for a moment. Ding! It is detected that the host has encountered a fifth-level demonic cultivator of the strong qi realm. Please run for your life as fast as you can. Ding! Warning! Warning! Hosts are running to be skinned. Warning! Warning! Hosts don't engage in stupid death-seeking behavior. Continuing to ignore. Xiaoya walked towards the luxurious card seat. Brother Tang, how about it? This crown bar of mine is not bad, is it? Sun Wangxian said with a smug look on his face to the big man sitting across from him. You look at these women, corporate executives, university flowers, wives, which is not usually outside the eyes of the general public goddess, go out on the street at random one can pressure the four directions, flashing red a piece of loser male eyes, but in my place, you want to play how to play, if you want to play a few, you can play a few, as long as your body can keep up, he pointed around those women with exposed clothes, madly twisting their water snake like waistlands and said, see, this cigar I'm smoking, ten thousand dollars a cigar, I smoke ten a day, that's the salary of a white collar worker who works overtime and tires himself out for a year, brother Tang, as long as you're willing to follow me, money is not a problem, you open a number, saying this he pulled a check out of his pocket and threw it on the crystal table, fill it out as you please, how much do you want to be paid per year? $10 million? $20 million? Fill in whatever you want. Fine wine, luxury cars, villas, women. As long as you say the word, I can give you all of them. I, Sun Wang Qian, have been mixing in Qinglan City for so many years. I don't lack anything but an expert bodyguard who can protect me closely. Don't look at this bodyguard team I have now that looks imposing. But they are actually a bunch of trash. Some time ago there was someone who shot Lao Zi. That bullet. NOI, it just grazed past my face, he excitedly pointed at the left side of his face, spittle flying, if I hadn't ducked fast, this ear of mine would have flown off, I sent all those bodyguards to the bottom of the Qinglan river to feed the fish afterward, they don't know what they're doing, I have a yearly salary of 1 million arrays, but not as good as raising a dog, a group of drunken bags, said Sun Wangqian seems to be getting more and more angry hand grip strength also became a few points, very painful, endure. Sun Wangqian saw a woman beside him showing a pained expression and narrowed his eyes slightly. Endure it, and this is yours. He shoved a thick stack of bills into the woman's chest. Can't help it. Chop. Sun Wangqian casually pulled out a small knife from his waist and ruthlessly stabbed it on the sofa. You know, said he once again exerted force. The woman's face whitened with pain, but she still tightly covered her mouth, not daring to make a single sound. Ha ha ha. See, brother Tang. A moment later he withdrew his hand. In my place. I'm telling you, being happy is the most important thing, you can do whatever you want, still need to think about it, follow me, brother Tang, but the burly man across from him remained silent, only taking a sip of wine in silence, boss son is so elegant, playing so high here in the middle of the night, at an unknown time, a frivolous voice entered his ears, an arm then rested on his shoulder, Sun Wanqian looked up and it was a young man with a smile on his face, Xiaoyao supported Sun Wanqian's shoulder with one hand and rolled over to leap into the card table, the burly man showed surprise when he saw Xiao Yao and his face changed slightly. Who are you? Sun Wanqian narrowed his eyes and sized up Xiao Yao. Indeed, he was someone he had never seen before. Does boss Sun remember sixth brother? There are also two of his men, a cockney and a scar. I remember. Xiao Lu is an excellent employee under me. His business ability is very good. Are you referring to the loan sharking business? It's a pity that they are still lying in ICU right now. Xiao Yao sneered. A smear of killing intent blossomed in Sun Wangxian's evil tiger-like pupils. From what you're saying, you're the one who sent the two of them to the ICU? Kid, you beat up my people and now you dare to come to me. You have a lot of courage. Xiaoyao laughed softly without saying anything. Not only did I send them to the ICU, I also sent them to jail. It's going to be hard for them to come out in this life. Next, there's one more place I want to send Boss Sun to. You want to send me in as well? Boss Sun is a smart man, quite self-aware. But before that you'll have to trouble Ning to lie in ICU for a year and a half first. Bang! Said Xiao Yao as he fiercely struck out. He flew up and kicked Sun Wanqian directly in the chest. He didn't use too much force on this kick. So it wasn't fatal. But it was just enough to give Sun Wanqian a good meal. It was mainly the bodyguard team under Sun Wangchen that Xiao Yao wanted to fight with and brush up some blood chi values and spirit points. So the game had to be played bit by bit. Thunk! Sun Wanqian was sent flying out of this card seat by his kick. It smashed into someone else's card holder. Boom. A huge sound. 
accompanied by women's screams and men's exclamations. It instantly overpowered the DJ's voice, and the team of bouncers who were patrolling the periphery immediately realized that something was wrong here. Pause the music, turn on the lights for me. With the bodyguard captain's order, the DJ stopped, and the entire hall instantly fell silent. The flashing lights that immediately followed dispelled all the gloom. A good number of people hurriedly covered their clothes and cowered in a corner of the sofa. It was as if they were rats that couldn't see the light. Panicked. Chapter 11, The Host's Divine Power, Suppress the Demonic Powerhouse, Destroy the Devil's Cave, Boss Sun. The crowd was surprised to see Sun Wanchen rising up from the ground in a sorry state, covered in irritating liquor and with some fruits on his head. All of them had shocked expressions on their faces. What the hell are you guys still standing there for? People are hitting me on the head. What are you guys doing for food? How did you let people in? Sun Wanchen cursed at the group of bodyguards. Give me a fight. If you kill him, it's on me. Shit. It's been more than 20 years. No one has ever dared to treat me. Sun Wanchen. Like this. With his order. A group of security guards carrying iron bars all pounced towards Xiao Yao. Bang. Xiao Yao lifted his foot and kicked the leading security guard. Ding. The host has struck a great blow. Defeated a bone refining stage demon cultivator. Blood chi value plus 4. Spirit points plus 20. He then struck the starting stance of the 8 extremes fist. Bang. The wind whistled and his fist broke through the air. Adult Xiao Yao was like a hanging picture as he struck out one after another. A group of bodyguards all flew backwards like flying men. They smashed over all kinds of expensive wines, fruit plates, snacks, and audio equipment. Ding. The host is strong. Defeated flesh refining stage demon cultivator x3. Blood and chi value plus 6. Spirit points plus 30. Ding. The host is powerful. Defeat the tendon refining stage devil cultivator times 6. Ding. The host is unrivaled. Defeated blood refining stage devil cultivator x2. Blood value plus 12. Spirit points plus 60. There was a gasp in the crowd. And people fled and cowered in a corner of the bar. They were afraid of being caught in the crossfire. The big man sitting on the card seat was shocked when he saw Xiaoyao's fierce and dominating fist path. 8 extreme fist. He didn't even go all out in his last duel with me. That's right. This burly man was Tang Mang who had been knocked over by Xiao Yao's punch earlier in the gym. He rose up from the sofa with an open heart and looked at Xiao Yao with a horrified face. Xiao Yao's body swayed as he wandered through the crowd. With a wave of his bladder, there were silhouettes that he slapped out. With a single stomp of his foot, it was like thunder exploding in his ears. Shaking the bladder and crashing into the sky. Stomp your foot to shake the nine states. Heavens, this is the patriarch of eight extreme fist. He is still so young. He has this kind of strength. Unbelief filled Tang Meng's eyes. Immediately, he was incomparably glad that he hadn't feuded with this eight extremities fist patriarch in the first place, and had instead retained a good karma. At the same time, he was also secretly glad that he hadn't joined Sun Wanqian's command, or else he would be the one hanging on the wall today. Tong Tian Palm. As Xiao Yao slapped his last palm on the jaw of one of the bodyguards, the sound of bone cracking came out and the bodyguard fell to the ground. Ding. The host is strong. Defeated a viscera refining stage demon cultivator. Blood chi value plus 7. Spirit points plus 35. In this moment of effort, Xiao Yao had harvested close to a hundred blood chi values. He looked at his current panel. The blood chi value was a terrifying 299. It was still a little short of him stepping into the next realm. The tendon refining stage. The spirit points had also reached 995. Five points short of a second 10 consecutive draw. TSK TSK. This Sun Wanqian is really my lucky star. Xiao Ya shook his palm and a painful smile appeared on his face. At this moment, Sun Wanqian's face became very ugly as he watched his team of elite bodyguards all get fucked over by Xiao Yao. Brother Tang, please step in and defeat this brat. As long as you defeat him, I will give you 10 million dollars. No, 50 million dollars. Sun Wanqian roared at Tang Mang on the card table. He had already seen Xiao Yao's strength and was definitely in the same world as Tang Mang. Therefore, it was necessary to unring the bell. Tang Mang slowly stood up. Walking towards Xiao Yao, Sun Wanqian was ecstatic. Good good good, brother Tang, as long as you defeat him today, we will be brothers with different surnames from now on. I'm willing to share half of all my assets with you, Sun Wangqian said aloud. Everyone present sucked in a breath of cool air. Sun Wangqian was simply a heavenly masterstroke ah. All of his assets combined under his name were at least a few billion. This entire bar street is his. There are all kinds of KTV, clubs, a year's water flow or 7 or 800 million is definitely a terrible gold-swallowing beast, this wealth at his fingertips could make beautiful women go crazy, handsome men go mad, and entrepreneurs become very sick, they looked at Tang Mang with incomparable envy, but it was a pity that they didn't have the strength, otherwise, they had to go up and kill Xiao Ya twice, however, 
They saw Tang Mang walk up to Xiaoyao's body and did not show any signs of wanting to strike. Instead, he arched his hand at Xiaoyao with a respectful face. Tang Mang has met Senior. I don't know that Senior is an 8 Extremes Grandmaster in person. It's Tang Mang who was fierce earlier. Shouldn't have presumed to call himself a senior. Seeing Tang Mang in such a low profile, Sun Wanqian's eyes dropped out. Brother Tang, what nonsense are you talking about? Tang Mang didn't pay any attention to him and just stood silently by Xiao Yao's side. Tang Mang, I'm grass nigga. Sun Wanqian instantly understood what he meant. One by two think that I'm easy to bully. Right, martial arts practitioners are great. National martial arts are great, aren't they? I'm telling you, times have changed. This is the age of hot weapons. His face was incomparably hideous, and he backhanded a small silver pistol from his chest. No matter how high Kung Fu is, it's still afraid of bullets. Kid, you shouldn't have come to provoke me. Sun Wang Chen, go to hell for me. Ha 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 ha. Bang. He let out a maniacal laugh and violently pulled the trigger. Bang bang bang. Five bullets were emptied in one breath. Shocking sounds echoed through the hall, and everyone covered their ears and screamed. However, something frightening happened. Xiaoyao's figure unexpectedly swayed from side to side like a ghost. All the bullets were dodged by him. The five pitch black bullet holes on the display behind him were incomparably clear. Crouching, crouching, dodging bullets in the flesh. Is this fucking Superman? Crap, this is outrageous. How can he dodge bullets with his flesh? Isn't he a martial arts practitioner? He's an immortal. What the hell? The aura is reviving? Immortal cultivators are coming down the mountain? There was a succession of shrieks and it was obvious that these rich people were usually very fond of reading novels as well. Even Tang Mang was dumbfounded. Eight Extreme's fist was known for its fierce and domineering nature, but he had never seen any Bajiquan grandmaster whose stance was as good as Xiao Yao's. Even many national martial arts grandmasters were as good as Xiao Yao. Even many national martial arts masters might not be able to dodge bullets with their bodies. How good is this Xiao Yao? He stepped on the wind steps and arrived in front of Sun Wanqian like a ghost, creating a gust of wind. Sun Wanqian couldn't open his eyes. Snapped. Xiao Yao held his wrist and exerted force. Click. Sun Wang Qian's bones were directly crushed by him. Pistol? Like to play? Xiao Yao snatched the pistol from his hand with a slight force, and it began to slowly deform in Xiao Yao's hand. Sun Wang Qian's face showed an incomparably horrified color. What kind of monster are you? You. He staggered backward with it. Boss Sun. I definitely won't go back on my word after saying that I would send you to ICU. Xiao Yao raised his foot and smashed it directly on his head. Both hands then probed out. Tong Tian palm breaking the lower jaw. The sticky mountain leaning broke the sternum. The severed son and grandson kick destroyed his second brother. Immediately after that, all four limbs were broken. Hardening son Wang Qian into a cripple. With only gas in and no gas out. Ding. The host's magical powers are great. Defeated the sturdy Chi fifth heavy devil cultivator. Destroyed the devil's cave. Rewarded with the devouring technique. Treasure weapon flare blade. Xiao Yao looked at it and this swallowing technique was a yellow grade extreme grade technique. Using the human body as a furnace. The effect was that it could convert everything that was eaten into blood chi values. The effect was especially amazing with all kinds of meat. Foods that were rich in blood chi. As for the flare blade. It was a treasure weapon. Although it was only the lowest grade lower grade treasure weapon. It was still a treasure weapon. And only a strong chi realm powerhouse would be able to utilize the power of a treasure weapon. Weapons are similar to gong fu and are categorized into mortal weapons, treasure weapons, spirit weapons, and magic weapons, corresponding to the heaven, earth, Xian Huang of the Kung Fu, good good good, this trip is not a loss, it's not a bad trip, Xiao Yao was so ecstatic that he couldn't stop smiling, he then told Tang Mang to call the police, and in no time, a handsome and dashing uncle came and seized the entire crown bar, all the big bosses were escorted away on the charge of mobbing, instead, Xiao Yao has become a hero who entered the devil's den alone, sweeping away the black and eliminating the evils for the sake of the people. Uncle Dan even said that he would send him a banner in a couple of days. Tang Mang was dumbfounded as he watched from the sidelines. Big brother is worthy of being a big brother. After beating up people, nothing happens, but instead, he can still become a big hero. Worth learning. Unlike him, every time he would be dragged into squat for a few days for fighting and brawling. Chapter 12 I'm already invincible in the mundane world? No, just you are a stamina realm demonic beast? Elder, elder, senior, coming out from the crown bar. Tang Mang followed Xiao Yao closely all the way. Xiao Yao's speed was so fast that he couldn't catch up even with all his strength. Senior, what are you doing walking so fast? Tang Mang asked as he ran. Xiao Yao suddenly made a stop. Tang Mang couldn't break fast enough and almost crashed into him. No disciples, no juniors, don't want to join any forces. Thanks. 
According to Xiao Yao's experience from reading all sorts of novels in his previous life, being solicitous for nothing is either a traitor or a thief. Ha! Tang Meng's face fell. Xiao Yao secretly said, Sure enough, I knew it, you kid is craving for my body. However, a moment later Tang Meng scratched his head regretfully again and said, I also know, how can a national martial arts master like Senior take in a disciple easily? And I'm not gifted, I'm only a Ming Jin in my forties. Ming Jin? Noticing the words in Tang Meng's words, You're a martial artist? Ah, uh, sort of. There are many martial artists in this world? Not a lot of it. After all, practicing martial arts is hard work. Seven or eight years of basic work. It's hard to have achievements without starting to practice from a young age. Then, are there any experts who have that kind of vigor outward and kill people through the air? Xiao Yao asked. If this kind of expert existed right now, then he would have to be a little more careful and couldn't wave so blindly. Ah, uh, but then he saw Tang Meng with a dumbfounded look on his face. Is Senior reading too many Urban Dragon King novels? Xiao Yao, then what Ming Jin are you talking about? In fact, our national art is the wisdom of our old ancestors. It has been passed down from ancient times. By now the inheritance has almost been broken almost. In ancient times there might have really been the kind of people you said existed in senior. But now, it's simply impossible. Ming Jin like me, in fact, is just a punch that blows out and the air explodes. This realm is called a thousand gold can't buy you a sound in national arts. It's not a problem for one person to be 20 or 30 ordinary people with bare hands. But if I bring a machete then I'd better run away. The next level is the dark power. The sign of this realm is the mountain to hit the bull. Toward the body of the person is punched out. The skin and bones are unharmed. The internal organs are broken. Is the dark power? This is already the top of the big masters. The ordinary stick to the body basically can only hit a bruise. Further up the Huanjin. Isn't it possible to release your energy and kill people through the air? Xiaoyao asked with glowing eyes. Tang Mang was sweating. Not much outrageous. This realm is mainly to be able to regulate the force of the whole body. Dispersing and converging at any point. Until a feather can't be added. And a fly can't fall. To put it simply. It means that when we swing our fists normally. The force is dispersed. Whereas when a Wa Jin master swings his fists. The force of his whole body can converge into a single point. So you can imagine how terrifying that power is. And the reaction power of a Wajin master is also far beyond normal people. Some Wajin masters can also dodge bullets. But I've never seen one that dodges five bullets at once like senior. Further up, Xiaoya looked at Tang Mang with an expectant face. The corner of Tang Mang's mouth twitched. Any higher and it's gone. Ha! Huh? Xiaoya froze. Just. Gone? Nope. A Huanjin grandmaster is already the most powerful national art expert. Can a Huanjin sect master block cold weapons? Generally speaking. No. But the reaction speed and stance of a Huan Jin master is extremely athletic. So an unusual cold weapon cannot cut him. Unless 40 to 50 people carry knives together to greet him. Tang Mang explained. National arts have completely fallen in this era. Even if Kung Fu is high. It's still afraid of choppers. More than 10 years ago there seemed to be a rumor that a Huan Jing master offended a gangster and was stabbed to death by dozens of other people's minions with knives. That's why most of us who practice national martial arts will choose to go and work as personal bodyguards for the rich and powerful or enlist in the army to serve the motherland. While the Huanjing Zongshur kind of masters will usually open a martial arts school, which is also considered to be a clan, and perpetuate the wisdom of the old ancestors. After Tang Mang finished speaking, Xiao Yao was slightly silent, converging the force of the whole body into a single point. This refined stage meat can do it. And the so-called Ming Jin's punch that made a sonic boom sound, he could do it when his blood chi value was at 50. Moreover, these Huanjin masters' bodies couldn't block knives yet. All things considered, they were probably equivalent to the level of the skin refining stage. That is to say in the mundane world before the recovery of aura, the limit of battle power that humans could achieve was the skin refining stage. Crap, as long as I'm wary of hot weapons, I can just stop eating beef. Well, pork doesn't eat either, and neither does lamb. Xiao Yao suddenly had a sense of falling from an ordinary person jumping up to the world's number one expert. If senior still wants to know the deeper hidden secrets in our circle, Three days later you can come to Jingming Martial Arts Hall. On that day there will be a formal Fist Patriarch dueling the newly promoted Kuan Fist Patriarch. There will be quite a number of fellow members of the National Arts Community present. Senior can also come to take a look, said Tang Mang as he handed Xiao Yao an invitation. Patriarch duel? Xiao Yao's eyes lit up. Those who practice National Arts would definitely be in a higher realm than ordinary people after the revival of Aura. So wouldn't he be able to quack for spirit points and blood Aura values at that time? Xiao Yao's face showed a look of eagerness to try. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll definitely be there. Let those national arts masters wash their necks. Oh no. Well, anyway, I'll definitely be there. 
Xiao Yao laughed. Tang Mang instead looked at him with an odd face. Why does Senior have an expression of going to kick some ass? Is it just my illusion? All right, in that case, Senior will take his leave first. Tang Mang gave Xiao Yao an arching salute, and then turned around to leave. Xiao Yao kept rubbing his head as he walked on the side of the road. He was now one point short of his blood chi value and five points short of his spirit points to break through the realm and another ten consecutive draw. This feeling was like when you fought hard for two hours and it was already the most critical time. Then the lady said that your time is up. And then you just turn your head and walk away without saying a word. It's really fucking hard to be taught. On the contrary, at night, there is not even a ghost shadow on the street. Come on someone let me suppress it. Xiao Yao shouted as he covered his scalp. System, is it useful for me to suppress myself? It's useful if the host commits suicide. Really, what will happen to me then? Will you revive me? Xiao Yao's face was delighted. It will automatically unbind and find the next host. Your mom. I don't have a mom. And neither do you. 6. This system is really fucking yinkoized. Xiao Yao looked around, and there was no one on the road in the middle of the night. At this moment, he saw a blackford Persian cat walking along the white dotted line along the street, not knowing where it was going. Ding! Fifth level demonic beast of the stamina realm detected. Black shadow spirit cat. The host is in great danger. Escape quickly. Escape. Chapter 13. Encountering a great master of the vital spring realm. What are you running for, girl? Xiao Ya was directly stunned in place. No, this Persian cat is too awesome, right? Its level is comparable to Sun Wanxian's demonic cultivator. Did this cat eat white tiger meat in the future? As if sensing that Xiao Ya was looking at him, the Persian cat turned its head and gave Xiao Ya a disdainful look. That look seemed to be saying, little human, worship this great master's heroic posture. Xiao Ya was instantly enraged. How can a cat be so arrogant? Xiao Ya was furious. I must suppress you, demon. I can tell at a glance that you are not human. Great mighty heavenly dragon. Xiao Yao directly pounced across the road towards the Persian cat. Meow. The Persian cat was so scared that its sweaty hair stood on end. It pulled its legs out and wanted to run. But Xiao Yao pressed down on it and rubbed the Persian cat's fur madly. Demon. I want you to help me cultivate. Ding. The host is divine. Suppresses the fifth level demonic beast of the stamina realm. Blood chi value plus 60. Spirit points plus 600. Woohoo. Take off. It's a blast. The blood chi value was saved by Xiao Yao and was not used for the time being. Good cat. You're really a good cat. Ha 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 ha. Xiao Yao rubbed the Persian cat and the other party let out a disgruntled purr. That. You like cats a lot? A clear voice followed. Xiao Yao raised his head. He only saw a girl in a student uniform looking at him with a surprised face. The girl was wearing the uniform of the nearby Qinglan University and appeared to have an excellent figure. Don't ask why the university has a uniform because I like uniforms, a waist-length black hair naturally hanging down. Her skin was fair and frosty, revealing a faint pink color. Her face was delicate, her nose was high and straight, and her eyes that were like jewels were revealing a hint of doubt at the moment. Ding! Detected a strong person in the first level of the vital spring realm. The host has bullied someone's pet beast. Please quickly kneel down in place of the favored beast. Become her slave. Xiao Yao directly ignored the stupid system. He also looked at the girl with a surprised face. Fate Spring Realm. This was a realm above the strong Qi realm. Such an ordinary beautiful girl would become a Fate Spring Realm in the future? Ding. Does the host spend 500 spirit points to view the other party's information? Nima. You're too dark. The most precious thing in this world is information. Host you don't even understand this common sense. Mastering poor information will enable you to go farther than the average person. I suspect you're PUAing me. But. I agree. 500 spirit points were scratched away. The opponent's character panel was instantly presented in front of Xiao Yao. Character, Shen Shiryun. Cultivation level, first level of Fate Spring Realm. Technique, Tai Ching Cold Moon Skill, Xian Grade Extreme. Martial Skill, Tai Ching Sword Technique, Xian Grade Top Grade. Empty Spirit Dance, Xian Grade Middle Grade. Cold Shadow Whisking Palm, Xian Grade Middle Grade. Long Rainbow Sword Technique, Yellow Grade Extreme Grade. Items, Clear Light Sword, Jade Ayala. Physique, Innate Spiritual Body. Character Introduction, Aura Revival. Shin Shir Yun Innate Spiritual Body Awakened. A step to break the martial arts. By the ancient immortal door. The Tai Shong Chan Luo Palace. The income of the door. Within a hundred days to break through the strong chi. The achievement of the life spring. For the immortal disciples. The proud daughter of heaven. And the host has an insurmountable gap between. Silly system. One day I'll set fire to you and in the end. I still don't forget to diss me. Right. Xiao Yao had a head full of black lines, but this girl is really powerful. A body of Xian level martial arts. Knowing that even he doesn't have a single Xian level martial arts right now. And it's also a special physique. 
This kind of is the type that novels say is the proud daughter of heaven, the type that God rewards with food, right? There was a huge gap with Xiaoyao's type of three good young men who relied on their own hard work and perseverance. Wait, her name is Shun Shiryun, the school beauty of Qinglan University? Crap, one still had a stocking she had worn at home. That, Shin Shiryun saw the man in front of her squatting on the ground without moving, his eyes just staring straight at him, even his eyes were glowing, so she couldn't help but feel relieved. She had an impulse to pull out her legs and want to run away. But, the champion, Shin Shiryun's Persian cat, was still in his hands. Shin Shiryun had already secretly fished out a cell phone from her top pocket. She was already prepared to call the police. Oh, Xiao Yao suddenly came back to his senses. Little girl, it's not too good for you to run around blindly outside in the middle of the night. It's already the wee hours of the morning oh. Shin Shiryun put up her cell phone. The time was clearly written on the brightly shining screen. 4.30. Crap. I'm going straight to the bar for a night. Xiao Yao couldn't help but exclaim in shock. Upon hearing his words, Shin Shiryun's face went white once again. She couldn't help but take a step backwards and protect her body with her hands. At the bar. Fuck. One night. This guy must not be a decent person. In combination with that look in his eyes just now. This must be the hooligans. The big bad guys. That mom always said came out to pick up bodies near the bars. It just so happens that this street isn't far from the bar. Just a mile away. Shin Shiryun almost cried out. Originally thought that no one outside in the early hours of the morning. Came out to take the cat for a walk. And by the way can also go crazy surprisingly encountered this kind of thing. Personal safety is not guaranteed. That. Can you fulfill a small request of mine? Xiao Yao suddenly got up holding the cat. What request? Let me touch your head. Ha. Huh? Like this. How about. You return the cat to me first. And then. Then that one. Shin Shiryun gripped her wrist and said through clenched teeth. But in her heart. She was cursing madly. Finished. I knew this guy wasn't a good guy. Came up here and had to touch my head. Maybe he'll let me go to his house later. But if I don't agree he'll definitely force me with violence. Mom says hooligans usually wear weapons when they go out. No way. Agree to it first. And when the champion is rescued from the clutches of the devil. I'll escape. Then call the police. Call the police uncle to clean up this guy. Shin Shiryun was playing a small game in her mind. Fortunately, she was wearing board shorts today. And she has a pair of long legs. And is also the school's long distance running champion. Running up some men can't catch up with her. Hooligans like this who hang out in bars all day. Indulge in alcohol and overindulge in sex must not be able to run as fast as her. Yes. Xiao Yao readily agreed. It's just that this girl is good looking. She also likes to help people. What a good girl. When the reward arrives, she must be thanked properly. Well, just by her a new white stocking. After all, that one has already been coughed up by herself. Xiao Yao thought and handed the Persian cat in his hand to Shin Shiryun. Champion purred softly and pounced into Shin Shiryun's arms. Shin Shiryun took the Persian cat, then turned around and pulled her legs out to run. Xiao Yao? Hey, what are you running for? Didn't you agree to pet my head? Xiao Yao yelled. But Shin Shiryun ran even harder when she heard that. She pulled out her cell phone while running. Police Uncle Dan, I met hooligans. It's right next door to Bar Street on Vermilion Bird Avenue. You guys quickly send someone to save me. Xiao Yao? Crap. I'm being treated like a hooligan? Not. Me. Nima. Xiao Yao turned to think about it from Shin Shiryun's point of view. He indeed just acted in a way that didn't look like any decent good guy indeed. Girl. Wait a minute. Listen to my explanation. Xiao Yao ran after her. As a result, Shin Shiryun buried her head and ran even faster. Worthy of being an innate spiritual body. An average adult male can't catch up with her at this speed. Xiao Yao sighed. But was he an average adult male? The distance closed in a flash. Just when Xiao Yao was about to catch up with Shin Shiryun, Z, a car with flashing lights stopped right in front of him. Then two marshmallows came up on it. We just smashed Sun Wang Chin, a big tumor. And now we have a small tumor coming to our door. Qinglan City is not peaceful either. An inch-headed Uncle Dan sighed. Then he looked up and saw Xiao Yao. Chapter 14 I just touched my head. And the dog system had to say that I suppressed a great master of the Fate Spring realm. No, brother, how come it's you? That marshmallow looked at Xiao Yao with a surprised face. He stroked his hand across his face with force. Our bureau rushed to make a banner for you overnight. And we were going to send it to your door. You're making it hard for us to do so. That marshmallow revealed a look of extreme helplessness. Brothers ah, you this kind of hands have the need to play hooligan against a little girl. The other Uncle Dan also spoke like this. Ah, Xiao Yao was dumbfounded. No, what did I do to her? Only to see that Xin Shi Yun timidly folded back at this moment. That's him. He's plotting against me. Shin Shiryun hid behind the two marshmallows and looked at Xiao Yao with a cautious face. She even waved her small fist. 
It was as if she was saying that I'm not afraid of you with Uncle Dan here. Xiao Yao's face darkened. Maisie, you're treating me as a hooligan. Xiao Yao rubbed his forehead. Otherwise Lu, after a night's work at the bar, it doesn't sound like a decent person. Still want to touch my head. Next step is not to try to trick me to go home and then want to do something untoward. I'm telling you, I've learned women's self-defense. Shen Shi Yun huffed. I'm Nima. Xiao Yao almost exploded in foul language. Wasn't this girl child's brain complementing ability a bit strong? Or is it that all the brain circuits of innate spirit bodies are like this? No. What's going on with you guys? At this time, the two marshmallows also found something wrong. I, Xiao Yao briefly explained to them. Ah, so that's it. The inch-headed Uncle Dan directly froze. The other one also had a crying and laughing face. Misunderstandings are all misunderstandings. Little girl. He did work at the bar for a night. But it's not what you understand. He trashed the crown bar tonight and helped us catch the biggest hooligan leader. Sun Wang Qian. You don't know how bad this Sun Wang Qian is. He lends money to loan sharks while specializing in lending to the kind of girls who come from poor families but are good looking. Then when they can't pay back the money, he forces them to become prostitutes, tricking them into coming to his bar and giving them to the tycoons to play around with. Xiao Yao's action can be said to have saved countless poor girls from the fire, calling him the hero of Qinglan City, and our bureau is still ready to award him a silk banner. Uncle Dan's explanation directly made Xin Shi Yun dumbfounded. Ah, she looked at Xiao Yao with an apologetic face. Xin Shi Yun walked out from behind Uncle Dan's back with the champion in her arms. I'm sorry, I was wrong to blame you, I shouldn't have called you a rascal, I apologize. She said as she bowed towards Xiao Yao like a good girl. An apology for such a serious matter? Do you know how much this has affected my reputation? Xiao Yao said seriously with a stern face. Ah, then what do you want? Xin Shi Yun raised her head and looked at Xiao Yao with a pitiful face. Unless, you give me. No way no way. Mom said the first time should be reserved for the person you like. Her head shook like a rattle. Gah, Xiao Yao was dumbfounded. What first time? It took him half a day to react. Other than this, I can promise you everything else. Change your condition. Xin Shi Yun hugged the champion tightly, her small head buried in the Persian cat's thick fur all over. Eh? I mean, can you touch my head? What are you thinking? Xiao Yao explained. Hmm. Swish. Xin Shi Yun's fair face instantly turned red, a few degrees redder than an apple. Nee 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 nee. She nee half a day, unable to say a word, touching the head well. I know ah, uh, definitely touching the head ah. Uh. What do you think I'm thinking? Ha 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 ha. Well, touching the head, is touching the head. Shen Shi Yun nodded her head vigorously. It looked as if she was hypnotizing herself. Xiao Yao instantly felt that this girl was quite interesting, a bit dull, a bit dirty, and also TM Mega able to brainstorm. So, you agree? Well, agree agree, you touch it, said she as she closed her eyes and put her head in front of Xiao Yao. Alright, since the misunderstanding has been cleared, we'll leave first. The two marshmallows saw that the atmosphere between Xiao Yao and Shen Shi Yun was good, so they planned to leave first. Thanks for your hard work. Xiao Yao nodded. The two Uncle Dan got into the car and disappeared at the end of the street in no time. Xiao Yao looked at the girl in front of him who slightly bent down and put her head in front of him. He hurriedly averted his eyes. Just now I saw something I shouldn't have seen. So white. No. So big. Yuck. He slowly stretched out a hand and pressed it on Shin Shiryun's head. Ding. The host's divine power is great. Suppressing a strong person of the vital spring realm. Reward Dragonfall 18 Palms. Meteor Blade Technique. Goo. Xiao Yao's face lit up. He opened his system backpack. Dragon falling 18 palms was a Xian grade upper grade palm technique. And the meteor blade technique was a middle grade Xian grade blade technique. And it just so happened that he had gotten a flare blade earlier. So it fit perfectly. Crap. Cool. Now I'm also a strong person with Xian grade martial arts. The corners of Xiao Yao's mouth were almost tilted up to the sky. Hooking his lips together. Have you touched that? Yet. At this moment, Xin Shi Yun opened her mouth. Xiao Yao's palm had been pressed on his head, and that warm breath came as if it spread all over his body from the heavenly soul cap, and Xin Shi Yun felt like her entire being was about to ascend to heaven. Her face was shockingly red. Oh, okay. Xiao Yao lifted his palm. Uh, that, is that good enough? Xin Shi Yun straightened her hair that had been rubbed by Xiao Yao and asked with a crooked head. Uh, it's okay. Is it well? Always feel a bit embarrassed about it. Will it be too insincere, ah? Uh? Xin Shi Yun smiled and said. At this time, the sky has already flooded with fish belly white. She lifted her watch to see that it was already 6 o'clock in the morning. How about this? I'll treat you to dinner. Eat whatever you want. She said. Xiao Yao originally wanted to refuse. It suddenly occurred to him that he seemed to have a swallowing technique. His eyes instantly lit up. Is it really okay to eat anything? Of course. 
it's okay to eat as much as you want, you eat with an open belly, then I'll be polite, don't be polite to me, then let's go, where to, the morning market at the vegetable market, Xiao Yao said, 15 minutes later, the two arrived at the largest vegetable market in Qinglan city, at 6 o'clock, a city had basically recovered from its slumber, not to mention the vegetable market that symbolized the lives of ordinary people and the human condition, at this time, there were already a lot of grandparents picking and choosing in the morning market, killing the price with the vendors, there were also hot breakfasts freshly cooked on the roadside, alas, so the food market is like this, it's my first time here, Shin Shi Yun looked around with a curious face, you haven't been to a food market before? Xiao Yao asked curiously, never, Shin Shi Yun hugged her lazy champion, her eyes sparkling, she looked interested in everything, well, looks like a big lady from a rich family, Xiao Yao's eyes narrowed slightly as he looked at the girl's perfect figure. Hey hey hey, Xiao Yao, what is this? At this moment, Xin Shi Yun asked Xiao Yao by pointing at the pitted and dirt-stained potatoes on the roadside stand. Little girl, would you like some potatoes? They're all freshly picked in the morning. Look at how the dirt is still wet. The vegetable seller revealed a kind smile. Potatoes? This is potatoes? Geez. But Xin Shi Yun revealed a look of surprise. Are potatoes like this? Aren't potatoes a thin sliver of a 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 sliver? Xiao Yao, Vegetable Seller Mom. Chapter 15 I'll eat an iron skillet raw if you can finish these. Ha, huh? is this mangosteen? Mangosteens are white. Ugh, don't bite it. You can't eat the shell. Yuck, so bitter and astringent. This mangosteen is awful. Xiao Yao, Xiao Yao. Look, that yellow fruit that looks like a prickly ball is so funny. Will anyone else buy it and eat it? It hurts my teeth when I bite into it. That's a durian. Ha, huh? no way. I usually love durian. Durians don't look like this. Xiao Yao. He had understood. Completely and utterly. This is a damned missy who doesn't touch spring water with her ten fingers. What watermelon isn't red? Isn't a pomegranate one grain like a ruby? She was like a curious baby. Asking all sorts of questions one after another along the way leaving Xiao Yao speechless. It wasn't until she had finished strolling through half of the vegetable market and Shen Shiryun's stomach rumbled, her face flushed red, that she reacted. Oh, I remembered. It seems like we're here for breakfast. Big sister, you finally remembered. Please remove the as if. Xiao Yao rolled his eyes secretly spitting in his mind. Xiao Yao what would you like to eat? She asked Xiao Yao with a smile. Come with me. Xiao Yao grinned, finally asking the most crucial place, in the corner of the vegetable market. There was a beef and mutton restaurant that had the most authentic beef and mutton soup in the entire Qinglan city. Every day at 4 o'clock in the morning the owner would get up and sell the beef and mutton, and boil and stew the big bone soup. The main focus is a freshness to the core. Meat is rich in blood chi, but as the animal dies, the blood chi becomes thinner and thinner as time passes. Generally speaking, the blood chi in an animal is most abundant within 3 hours after slaughter. Therefore, the meat from this store definitely had the highest blood chi content in the entire Qinglan city and was also the most perfect for Xiao Yao's needs. Do you eat mutton or beef? Xiao Yao turned to Xin Shi Yun and asked. Eat both. Boss, a bowl of beef soup and a bowl of mutton soup. All right, come right away. The boss was a bare-chested man in his forties, and he was busy by the kitchen stove. Beside him were two large iron pots, bigger than a person. In one pot, the bones of cows and sheep were simmering, and the boiling soup had turned milky white. There was also a pot with large pieces of freshly stewed meat, and the undulating, Rolling pieces of meat looked extremely attractive. Xiao Yao and Xin Shiryun found a place to sit down inside the store. You don't have a big appetite either. Xin Shiryun laughed as she rested her cheeks. One bowl for one person. That's the normal level. She can finish it all. Xiao Yao glanced at her lightly. That's for you to order. Then he turned his head. Boss, come 10 pounds of mutton stew, 10 pounds of beef stew. Eat here. Ha, huh? that boss was dumbfounded. Are you serious, little brother? It's not packed? It's eaten here? Right, I'm a big eater, finished eating, Xiao Yao said, young man, you can't joke with me, this is a solid 20 pounds of meat, not to mention you alone, even 10 people won't be able to finish it, the boss was still in disbelief, boss, you believe me, my digestive system with an engine can digest a kilogram of meat in a second, Xiao Yao patted his chest and guaranteed, the boss was directly a whole speechless, I can serve you the meat, but if anything happens from eating it, I'll be responsible for it myself. Does the boss want me to bet you a life and death certificate? No need. Not long after, the haggis soup and beef soup came up. Eat. Xiao Yao placed one in front of Xin Shi Yun. Can you really eat 20 pounds of meat? Xin Shi Yun asked doubtfully. Of course. It might not be enough. Then why are you so skinny? Born with it. Can't get fat from eating. Then you're really cool. 
Shen Shiryun took a sip of the soup. Hmm, so fresh. Her eyes instantly lit up. How about it? Not bad. How can freshly slaughtered meat not taste good? Moments later, Xiao Yao's meat came up. The boss packed it on two large iron plates. A whole 20 pounds of solid meat. Even though it would shrink after cooking, it was still more than 10 pounds. All right, all right, finally. Xiao Yao put on his gloves as he drizzled the sauce over the meat and directly picked it up and nibbled on it. He he, laughing my ass off. People these days will do anything to clamor for attention. Before Xiao Yao could take his first bite of meat, he heard a conspiratorial voice coming from the side. When he looked sideways, he realized that it was a young man with glasses and a sharp look. He had a microphone clasped on his collar, a cell phone in his hand with a live broadcast on, and in front of him were bowls and dishes of about three or four pounds of cut up beef and mutton, as well as two bowls of noodles. Netflix? Food anchor? Big stomach king? Xiao Yao squinted his eyes as these terms surfaced in his mind. Oomph, kid you're a fellow traveler, right? Where did you hide the camera? Playing God, if you can eat this 20 pounds of meat today, I'll eat the boss's pot. I've seen a lot of unscrupulous anchors like you. After shooting the video, edit it and cut out all the swallowing footage. Humph, there's no limit in order to gain traffic. Waste of food. That live broadcast said disdainfully. None of your business. Xiao Yao frowned. I'm just able to eat what's wrong with that. He he, if you can eat all the meat here, I'll buy your order today. Is this really true? For sure, my fan babies are witnesses. Right, babies. Saying this, he raised his cell phone. The pop-up screen frantically swiped the screen. Of course, we're all witnesses. Real-time live streaming doesn't have that much fudging. I'm also skeptical that one person can really eat that much. Exactly. It's definitely beyond normal human eating. I'll swallow my cell phone if he can eat it. Many people on the pop-up screen began to swipe. I also have over 200. 000 fans online. They can all testify. He sneered. Okay. You're telling the truth. Right. You won't lie to me? If I finish it you'll really have to pay for it oh. This is a big few thousand dollars. Can you afford it? A wince flashed across Xiao Yao's eyes. Seeing him show this expression. The anchor was even more certain that Xiao Yao was bluffing. And he couldn't help but feel his confidence soar. Kid. Who are you looking down on? I have more than 200. 000 fans all over the net. A few thousand dollars is nothing. If you can really finish it. Not only will I pay for you, I'll buy the bill for everyone present. I even ate the boss's pot. He patted his chest and guaranteed. This is not good. Why is there so much nonsense? Do you dare to eat it or not? The anchor sneered with even more disdain. He was already 99% sure that Xiao Yao was cheating. It was just a bluff. The tougher his attitude was, the more the other party would wimp out. And now he was already riding the tiger, just waiting for himself to reveal his true colors to get the applause of his fans. Maybe he can even get on a hotspot tomorrow and expose the fake big stomach king, and then crunch up a wave of fans. Immediately after that is to advertise. Live streaming with cash. Counting money until his hands cramp. Go to the pinnacle of life. Marry a rich white woman. And become a life mentor. Just thinking about this made his whole body purple with excitement. Hey, can you really eat? If you can't eat it, don't do it the hard way. It's not good if you hurt your body. Big deal. Let's admit our weakness to him. Shen Shiryun raised her hand and pressed down on Xiao Yao's hand that was grasping at the piece of meat and said with a worried face, Oomph, beauty, why do you need to defend this kind of eye candy liar? A man is responsible for what he says. He was the one who said he could eat it just now. Now he's going to back out again. That anchor's face was ugly, with a look of envy and jealousy. Why could this brat with a poor face be favored by such a top beauty? Not just a little bit more handsome than himself. Hurry up and eat. Rubbish brat. You also want a woman to stand up for you. As a fellow male I find you embarrassing. The anchor scolded. His fans in those pop-ups were also frantically swiping. Oops. I think he's a wimp. Riding a tiger is difficult. Trying to act tough in front of a pretty girl. But he got CD. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
One bite, two bites eight. You guys watch, I bet he can't even eat this piece. I think so, two or three pounds of solid meat. With this small body I really don't think he'll make it. Finally, it's someone else's turn to be Heath Ledger. Gah! Xiao Yao swallowed the meat. The swallowing technique in his body operated automatically. As soon as those chunks of meat went down, they were immediately melted and decomposed into many blood qi values. Xiao Yao then watched as his blood qi value kept going up from 359, 360, 361, 362. He was ecstatic in his heart. Who understands the feeling of getting stronger just by eating? But he still had to put on a tough face on the surface. With great difficulty, he swallowed one mouthful after another. Xiao Yao, if you really can't, you should stop eating. It's hard for me to watch. If you keep eating like this, I'll have to send you to the hospital. Shen Shiryun's face wore worry. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
This isn't hard for you. That anchor's face turned white, although his mouth said it wasn't difficult, but in his heart, he had already been trampled by 10 million grasses. $10,000 was two months of his fucking salary. Fuck. Pay to go to drink the northwest wind, but with so many fans watching him, he couldn't cheat and could only pay with tears in his eyes. Okay, it's okay, I can go now, he said and walked towards the outside of the store, even wanting to turn off the live broadcast. Xiaoyao directly took a step forward and stopped him. Go chicken hair ah, go, you haven't even eaten your meal, give me food. Xiaoyao threw an iron pot as big as the others in front of him. I'm Nima. The anchor's face instantly became very colorful. He came closer to Xiaoyao and lowered his voice. Brother, give a face. Okay, so we can meet each other in the future. Meet your mom. Are you a beauty? I don't like to look at you if you're not a beauty. You want to cheat. Don't you? Your fans are all witnesses. I've eaten dozens of pounds of meat. You can't eat a pot? I fucking. The anchor cursed. You still know that you eat meat. I fucking eat stainless steel ah. Really cannot eat ah. Brother, you do not make it difficult for me. Okay. Anchor a handful of tears and a snot. What do you have to do to spare my brother? He asked. Oh, then repeat the words you just said. What words? Still need me to teach you? Puff. The anchor clenched his teeth and knelt directly in front of Xiao Yao. Grandpa. I was wrong. I was bragging. I apologize. I'm a clown. He said and fiercely smacked himself. Laugh your ass off. Get lost. Xiao Yao waved his hand and this anchor fled as if he had been pardoned. After he completely escaped from the food market. He unexpectedly realized that his fan count had dropped out at a speed visible to the naked eye. What a trashy liar. Taken off. Rubbish anchor. Getting punched in the face. You're real trash. Taken off. Goon then. Still broadcasting live. You go beg for food. He's off. All of a sudden his fans shrunk by one half. At this moment, a phone call came in. Hello, Jinx you said you would increase your fans by 200. 000 in 3 months. Where are your fans? How did it drop out? You lost the betting agreement. Remember to pay the $100,000 for breach of contract. Flop. He directly collapsed to the ground. Finished. Everything is finished. Why am I such a tough talker? I'm such a bad mouth. What did I mess with him for? Fuck me. He slapped his face with immense regret. One slap after another. Not far away. A parent walked past with his child, who looked at him with a puzzled expression. Mom, what is that uncle doing? He's a beggar. Let's go, said the mother and child as they hurriedly left. Xiao Yao and Xin Shi Yun left the food market, after which they added a friend and parted ways. Xiao Yao did some math and these blood and meat ended up providing him with a total of around 40 points of blood chi value. His current blood chi value had reached a staggering 401. This was already in the realm of the bone refining realm. Well, the blood chi from the beef and mutton is still too little. If there were demonic beasts for me to eat, it would provide more blood chi value, but it's time to be satisfied. Eat, drink and go home. Xiao Yao rubbed his stomach inside. This trip out was extremely rewarding. He now eagerly wanted to go home to take stock of the rewards and feel the thrill of becoming stronger. The kind of confidence and lust that power brings. Chapter 17 Strength Surge Mang Kukyak Meat and Green Dragon Treasure Blood Returning home. Well, it can't be inhabited even if it's messy. Bring Yin Han and Auntie Chang to live in that villa tomorrow. Xiao Yao remembered that he seemed to have a villa sent by the system. It was a waste to leave it unoccupied for nothing. System, check the panel. Host, Xiao Yao. Realm, Wufu Realm Flesh Refining Stage, Blood and Chi Value reaches 300 to break through to the next realm. Technique, Pine and Crane Body Forging Technique, Yellow Grade Medium, Martial Skills, 8 Extreme Fist, Yellow Grade, Wind Steps, Yellow Grade, Items, White Year Vermilion Fruit, White Silk Stockings, Photo Album, Blood Chi Value, 401, the normal adult Blood Chi Point of Blue Star is 4, Spirit Points, 1095. Evaluation. What's your hurry? Little chickens will always be little chickens. You still want to go to heaven. Don't you? System. Realm breakthrough. Swish. Instantly. Xiao Yao felt an unrivaled heat washing over his body. Crackling. Only Xiao Yao's tendons underneath his skin were actually faintly emitting a white light. Transparent jade-like tendons were spread across the limbs and bones of his body. The mark of the tendon refining stage is that the tendons are like jade. It's like a gnarled dragon that crosses mountains and coils over the body. Xiao Yao's tendons and veins had expanded tenfold compared to an ordinary person. Flexibility had also increased by an unknown amount. And he could even twist his body into a ball now. It's unknown how many times more powerful than those ancient yoga masters from India. And that wasn't all. Crackling. Xiao Yao's body heavy bones emitted a crisp sound. And when he listened closely the figures sounded like a dragon's roar and a tiger's roar. Hardened bones. Tiger and leopard thunderous sounds. The bones were like jade. Shiny and translucent. 
Even if Xiaoyao's bones were directly extracted and used as weapons, they would be comparable to the hardness of diamond. My current body couldn't kill me even if I stood and let a car hit me. Xiaoyao clenched his fists as a flash of confidence flashed across his face. There are still two Xian level martial arts. Hurry up and use them. Dragon falling 18 palms. Meteor blade technique. Use it. Xiaoyao said in a low voice. Instantly, the comprehension of the two powerful martial arts all flooded into Xiaoyao's mind. With a stern look on his face, he waved his big hand and took out the flare blade from his system backpack. Swish swish swish. He practiced the shooting star blade technique in the air. The key point of the meteor blade technique was just one point. As fast as a meteor. As powerful as a meteor. Each blade was like a meteor landing with a flash of speed. And each blade had the amazing destructive power of a meteor landing to destroy everything. So terrifying. Coupled with the flare blade. I feel like I'm ridiculously strong now. Xiaoyao even had the illusion that he could slice through a house with a single slash. He then put away his sword and started practicing the dragon falling 18 palms. A martial arts novel's most masculine and attacking mastery. As he began to swing his palm in the chamber. The palm wind whistled as if it were a dragon's roar shocking the mind. It's a pity. No true chi has appeared in the Wufu realm's body. So it is impossible to utilize the true power of the dragon subduing 18 palms. According to the description of this martial art. After possessing true chi to utilize the dragon falling 18 palms. The true chi would transform into a fierce and overbearing golden dragon that would break through the air and fly out. Killing the enemy through the air. A palm out. Within a hundred meters of the mighty. That's the real power of the dragon fall palm. Just like when Xiao Feng swings his palm, his true chi transforms into a golden dragon that lingers around him, cracking rocks and shaking the earth. That's the true power. But even so, the increase of this martial art on Xiao Yao was extremely terrifying. Nowadays, he could say without hesitation that he was invincible in the mundane world. Soon, when I reach the stamina realm, then I'll be able to utilize the true power of this martial art. Xiao Yao clenched his fist. It had only been a few days, and his strength had soared to this level and there was still one more year until the complete recovery of Aura. He had enough time to raise his power, until he was not afraid of all enemies. Alright, next, let's have a thrilling 10 consecutive draw. Xiao Yao rubbed his hands together. Supreme Lord Lao, Buddha Rulai, Queen Mother, Ancestor Hong Jun Dao, God Pangu bless me, 10 shots into the soul, smoke me, Xiao Yao shouted. The bronze carousel in the system began to rotate at a speed visible to the naked eye. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a large full set of resources starring the inoffensive quality item, San Laosher, contains all the resources from the early days of her debut to the present, it has been automatically deposited into the host's net disc, please pay attention to the host's body, don't let your soul fly to the other world, ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a global limited edition hand puppet of the famous god of basketball in undesirable quality, please stop the habit of licking the figures. Ding, congratulations to the host, you have obtained one case of ordinary quality item, Colonel Flat Mineral Water, Mineral Water from the Future, one sip and you'll become a biochemical baby, please enjoy it, ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a low quality item, inflatable, ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a fine quality item, organ refining stage demonic beast, manku yak flesh and blood, 30 pounds, eat slowly, don't choke yourself to death, Xiao Yao's eyes lit up, finally, Something useful had come out after the pile of waste. The blood and flesh of this mankuyak definitely contained more blood chi than an ordinary meat cow. It's a huge profit. Ding. Congratulations to the host. You have obtained an item of exceptional quality. One drop of green dragon's precious blood. Attention. You may not take it if your realm is below the viscera refining stage. There is a risk of death by explosion. Boom. Xiao Yao's eyes turned completely red. This is the precious blood of the green dragon. The green dragon. The legendary holy beast. A drop of precious blood from such a being. This is simply a heavenly tonic. He was lucky to have exploded this kind of divine item. This must be the divine medicine that will allow me to lay a supreme foundation at the Wufu stage. And then break through to the stamina realm. Crap. System. I love you to death. My dear crush. Ding. Don't get close. The system doesn't have a host so trashy as crush. Nima. You're a sunflower. Aren't you? Give you some color and you'll shine. Okay. Let's eat lunch first. The blood and meat of the Manku Yak. I'm craving for it. Xiaoya took out the 30 pounds of blood meat of the Manku Yak from the system. The system was still weirdly ginkgoized and had already helped him with this blood meat a long time ago. It was all burned and served in a large iron basin. Xiaoya just focused on eating it. Nian Han and Auntie Chang must not have eaten. Send some to them, said Xiaoya as he cut off 3 pounds of meat and sent it over to them. Chang Nian Han was overjoyed. It was very rare for her family to have a meal of beef. Even Chang mother looked surprised. Xiao Xiao. 
The meat quality of your beef is really very good. It's even better than the taste of the A5 grade Kobe Wagyu beef over in the east. Aunt Chang said with a smile. Xiao Yao's eyes narrowed slightly. A5 grade Kobe Wagyu beef. This was not something that ordinary people could afford to eat. Moreover, Aunt Chang's warm and moist like water personality, as well as exuding that extraordinary temperament from time to time. Xiao Yao had reason to believe that the mother and daughter must have come from a big family, but he didn't think much about it. No matter what, it was certain that they were good to themselves. Just knowing that was enough. There was no need to care about anything else. The kindness of a drop of water should be repaid by the spring. Returning from Chang Yan Han's home, Xiao Yao couldn't wait to start destroying his large pot of beef. With a big bite, the meat was pink and tender to the extreme. Not rough or stuffed at all. The meat was like jelly, almost melting in the mouth. Biting through the charred and crispy shell, the plentiful juice inside flowed across the room, and the aroma filled the entire house. Yummy, it smells off my tongue. Xiao Yao munched on it without any image. The blood chi value on his body was soaring upwards. In no time, the 30 pounds of meat were all eaten up by him. Xiao Yao's blood chi value increased by a whole 50 points. It was worth half a hundred year old vermilion fruit. This is still just the blood and flesh of a demonic beast in the martial foe realm. It wouldn't be even more awesome if it was in the strong chi realm. Strong anticipation flashed in Xiao Yao's eyes. Chapter 18 Yellow Hair having a party at my villa, fuck him. Right, if we go to the middle of nowhere to find, maybe we can really find this kind of demonic beast owl. After all, the system is a stupid ass. The dog is big. Suppressing people can be rewarded. Suppressing cats and dogs can also be rewarded. So eating demonic beast meat should also be useful. Xiao Yao's eyes were getting brighter and brighter. He seemed to have found a good way to brush up his score. I'm going to the martial arts school the day after tomorrow. Let's go check out the villa first today. Thinking, Xiao Yao knocked on the door of Chang Yan Han's house. Really, brother Xiao Yao you really have a villa? Didn't lie to me. Chang Yan Han looked at him with a skeptical face. Brother Xiao Yao was even poorer than her. And he even occasionally asked her to treat him to grilled sausages after school. It didn't even look like he had a villa. Really, I won't lie to you. Trust me. Xiao Yao smiled and rubbed her head. Brother Xiao Yao, I'm 16 years old. Don't you rub my head. You won't grow tall. Chang Nian Han puffed her cheeks and huffed. Let's go, Nian Han. Aunt Chang. Xiao Yao called a cab. Master. River Villa. Xiao Xiao. That villa of yours is in Mountain River Villa? Mother Chang, who was sitting in the back row, spoke in surprise. Yes. Xiao Yao casually replied back. Is. This yours or? An incredulous look flashed across Chang Mother's face. The old man left behind a legacy. Two days ago I went back to the mountains once only to realize that he had the real estate license and house card for the mountain villa there, and the signature was changed to my name. Ha 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 ha, Xiao Yao said as he casually pulled a lie. TSK TSK, River Villa, this is the most expensive villa area in Qinglan City. Young man you've earned a lot, the driver master said with an envious face, as the car traveled all the way, gradually left the city. River Villa was located in a well-known resort area in Qinglan City, and there were only nine sets of villas for sale in the entire resort area. People who could live in the river villa were either rich or noble, such as Sun Wangqian who had a set of river villa villas. Number 5. Xiao Yao's villa was numbered number 1. Number 1 villa. The king of buildings. Sold to the public for $280 million. Hey, the front is closed to the public. My car can only park here. Sorry, the driver master said to Xiao Yao. It's fine, small problem, Xiao Yao said with a smile. Then the three of them walked towards the resort area. Hello, sir. May I help you? The staff of the resort area greeted them politely, and there was no such thing as a bully, a dog in the fight, stopping them from going in. We are going to the river villa. Are several of you going in to visit someone? I'm sorry. In that case you need to make an appointment, and we have to contact the head of the household on our side to get their permission to go in. The staff member kept his smile and said, No, we are going home. Xiao Yao took out his room card in his hand. Villa 1, Sir are you the head of household of Villa 1? Very sorry, distinguished sir, madam, welcome home. The staff's attitude was uncharacteristic, compared to the previous formulaic attitude. This moment's posture was unknown how much lower. I will show you the way. Xiao Yao's trio followed the staff into the resort. The staff then drove a special car to send them to Villa 1. Sir this is Villa 1, you can contact me if you need anything. The staff exchanged contact information with Xiao Yao. The river resort would arrange a full set of housekeepers, cleaners, cooks, and gardeners for the owners of these villas, so there was no need for the owners to worry at all. Aha! Uh -huh. Xiao Yao nodded. Then he used his room card to open the villa. As soon as the door opened, a burst of ceremonial flowers directly hit him in the face. Move times move times move times. 
The booming DJ in the villa kept sending out wild music, and the flashing neon lights of various colors illuminated people's eyes uncomfortably. On the expensive sofas worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, there were girls in stockings with bare feet on them carrying jugs of wine and bouncing like crazy. The ground was full of melon peels, fruit shells and bags of food and snacks, and there were also many beer bottles on the coffee table that were messily dumped there. Xiao Yao frowned. His face instantly became unsightly. He coldly walked in and turned on the lights. The brightly shining headlights overshadowed the flashing neon all of a sudden. F asterisk CK. Which ungrateful person turned on the lights? A yellow-haired young man sitting in the main seat broke into a curse. Who are you guys? Why are you in my house? Xiao Yao questioned as his gaze narrowed. Ha, huh? what did you say? The gazes of the men and women on the sofa fell on Xiao Yao's trio. The yellow-haired one in the lead wore a flowered shirt and walked towards Xiao Yao with his breasts bared and carrying a wine bottle. You said this house is yours? Otherwise? Ha ha, ha ha ha, laughing to death. Look at you wear this poor look. Altogether less than a hundred dollars. You tell me this house will be your? Laugh my ass off. Yellow hair took a sip of beer and said disdainfully. If this house is yours I will eat this beer bottle. Ha 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 ha. The men and women on the couch laughed. At that moment, a surprised voice came. Ha, Chang Yin Han, why are you here? A youthful girl dressed in hot pants walked towards them with a glass of orange juice. Why? Mo, you know her? The girl called Ah Miao nodded. Recognize, brother Wang. She's my classmate. Zhang Miao nodded. Her family is rich? How could it be? Chang Yin Han is notoriously poor in our class. Every time there's a group party in class she won't even go to it. Zhang Miao snorted and shook her head in disbelief. When Chang's mother heard her words, a pained look of self-reproach flashed across her face. Mom, I'm fine. Chang Yin Han squeezed her own mother's hand. Ha ha, ha ha. So that's how it is. The friends of poor cunts are also poor cunts. That's a laugh. Kid, you're pretending to be a wolf in front of your brother Wang. What? And this house is yours. Just like you. You can't afford to buy a chair here with your lifetime salary. Yellow hair pointed at Xiao Yao with a bottle of wine. Extremely disdainful. The house is not mine. Is it yours? The room cards are all here. Xiao Yao held up the room card in his hand and said. Room card? Oh, it's really a room card. Where did you pick it up? Go, send it to my uncle. He jerked the room card from Xiao Yao's hand and threw it to the back. A junior rushed to pick it up. Kid, you probably don't know. My uncle is the head of business here. But he told me that this house has never been sold. So you're the owner if you pick up a room card? What? You want to bring your sister here to pretend to be the owner? You want to bring your sister here to pretend to be the owner? Funny. The yellow hair looks at the age is not big. But speak that is really a top arrogant. Get lost. Hurry up and get out. While well, grandpa I am in a good mood today. Get lost now and I'll let it go. Otherwise, I'll let my uncle call the police. Say you stole our room card. At least I'll let you go to jail for a few days. That's interesting. You're not very old. But your mouth is quite smelly. Did your parents give birth to you in a cesspit? Your mouth is full of maggots. Xiao Yao revealed a cold smile. What did you say? You dare to curse me. Yellow hair turned back violently. I think you don't want to live. He carried a bottle of wine and was about to smash it towards Xiao Yao's head. The last person who talked to me like this is still in ICU without waking up. Xiao Yao casually grabbed the bottle in Huang Mao's hand and it directly appeared in Xiao Yao's hand. Clang! He smashed the bottle on the young man's head. And he was instantly smashed on the head. Then, Xiao Yao directly probed his hand and pinched his jaw. Giggle! Shoving the broken wine bottle directly into his mouth. Ding! Congratulations to the host for defeating a strong Qi Realm first level powerhouse. Blood Qi value plus 20. Spirit points plus 200. Ah! Woo woo! Ah! The young man covered his mouth and sat on his butt, letting out a heartbreaking roar. Hit him! Ah! Hit him for me! You guys get on me! He yelled with a snotty nose and tears. Several young men hurriedly pinched up their bottles and rushed towards Xiao Yao. Do you know who I am? Do you know who my father is? You dare to hit me. You won't be able to walk out of this mountain village. Xiao Yao squeezed his bones. Just when I was worried that there was no one to fight for me. Just when I was worried that my realm was slow to rise. This is all experience value delivered to my door. No hobbies in my life. Favored brushing small monsters. Bang. Xiao Yao kicked a young man more than 10 meters out. Directly fainting from the kick. Then with a slap. He directly scraped off a young man's face skin. He was like a martial arts god stooping down. One step at a time. But in just two or three seconds there were several young men lying on the ground who didn't know if they were alive or dead. Xiao Yao drew a wet towel to wipe away the blood on his hands. Ding. Host defeats refined viscera. Ding. Host defeats bone refining. Ding. Host defeats. In one fell swoop. Xiao Yao had harvested more than 40 points of blood chi value. Brother Xiao Yao. You're injured. Chang Yanhan said worriedly when she saw the blood on Xiao Yao's hands. It's fine. It's their blood. 
Xiao Yao said indifferently. Just then, a chaotic sound came from outside. What are you doing? What's doing? What are all doing? A middle-aged man with a beer belly and a suit rushed in with a group of security guards. Chapter 19 Offended a big man? No, it was offending an ancestor. Uncle, help me. He hit me. It hurts so much. Uncle. Fuck. Sima, who beat you up like this? Ah ah ah. Big belly rushed towards yellow hair. The corner of Xiao Yao's mouth twitched when he heard the name. Sima, dead mom, was a real nasty image. Uncle, that's him, this guy. Yellow hair's mouth couldn't even close in pain, but he still forced himself to endure the pain and told his uncle about it. It was evident how much he had to hate Xiao Yao in his heart. What? Good good good, good guts, coming to the river villa to beat up people. You have guts. Hit me. He greeted the security guards without saying a word. Xiao Yao's face showed joy. Good for him. He likes to come up here and do it without pushing too much. Otherwise, he would have to use his mouth to force them to do it. How tiring it would be. What? Why didn't Xiao Yao hit them first? You're kidding. He's a law-abiding citizen of the new era. He only defends himself. He doesn't hit people blindly. Bang. The security guard rushed up with his baton and was directly kicked out by Xiao Yao. Immediately after that. Crack. 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 Three seconds later. Ding. Congratulations to host. Ding. Congratulations. Ding. The blood gas value added another 30 points or so. Putting it all together. It was almost almost 500. You. You don't come over. I'm going to call the police if you come again. When Big Belly saw Xiao Yao approaching towards himself. His fat body trembled more than a little. And his two roped legs trembled with him. I'm defending myself. There's no point in calling the police. And I didn't even call the police when you were able to break into a house. Xiao Yao said disdainfully. You fart. How can this villa be yours? Dang dang dang. Fatty's cell phone rang. Hello? Fatty C. I forgot to tell you. Villa 1 has been bought by a mysterious big brother. You pay attention. He should be coming in the next two days. I told you that this big brother is mysterious. I can't find any information about him. He's definitely not an ordinary person. Pay attention to him. Serve him with the same attitude as you would serve your parents. You hear me? The voice of the old boss of River Resort came from the other side of the phone. Mr. Lee is late. Late has been offended. This sea fat man trembling with a crying voice said, almost paralyzed directly to the ground in fear. What did you say? A roar like a lion's roar came from the other end of the phone. Fatty C was so scared that he almost sat on his butt on the ground. Fatty C, are you serious? Why did you start so fast? You want to sell villas can sell so fast I have to offer you up. You fucking offend people so fast, then I'll have to put up your spirit seat. Mr. Lee's voice roared angrily. I'm telling you, you'd better immediately immediately now. Use all means to obtain this big shot's forgiveness. Fatty C was terrified, but he still shivered his lips and tried to argue. Mr. Lee, you... You say there is a possibility that that big man hasn't come yet. And then this one I'm offending right now is coincidentally picking up the key that that big shot dropped and then coming over here to impersonate it? What do you think? You have cerebral palsy, right? What kind of divine logic are you? You have maggots in your brain, don't you? Turned into a septic tank? But, Mr. Lee, he looks like a young guy around 20 years old. He doesn't look like a big shot in any way. So young? Mr. Lee on the other side of the phone froze. Then so. You pass his photo over to me to see. Oh oh oh. This will be passed. Fatty C secretly took a picture of Xiao Yao. Xiao Yao even gave him a hand gesture with a smile on his face. At this moment, the River Resort office building. Mr. Lee stroked his chin. Could it really be a mistake? That big shot shouldn't be a youngster. Is there really something so fortuitous in the world? He pondered. Ding dong. The cell phone rang. Mr. Lee hurriedly took the phone. Scanned the photo. Young indeed. Looking like a college student. He stroked his chin. Not right ah. Why does this photo look more and more familiar? Let's see. Crap. In the next second. He directly slid off the office chair and sat on his butt on the floor. My goodness. It's this ancestor. He finally remembered. It wasn't the young man who single-handedly fucked Sun Wang Chin Crown Bar that day. That young man was practically the god of martial arts in the world. A single kick could send someone more than 10 meters away. He dodged bullets with his body and deformed his pistol with his hands. This is not a big shot. He's an ancestor. If Sun Wanqian was killed by him, he's the general manager of the resort. If he hadn't been able to get his hand into his sister's clothes, he would have had to go in and squat for a while, which is so fast put out. He hurriedly dialed the phone back. Good good good, Fatty C, you're good. How about, manager, is it a misunderstanding? I knew how a big shot could be so young. He looks like a poor kid. How can he be a big shot? said C. Fatty as his waist began to straighten. Well, 
It's true that you didn't offend the big man. I knew it, manager I'll tell you. Our division Quan Jia has been the general manager of the river resort for so many years, you can definitely rest assured that I can see people's eyes, I absolutely cannot. What you have offended is my fucking ancestor ah, f asterisk ck, you bastard, stand there and don't move, you're going to get forgiveness from this great man today even if you fucking knock your pig brain out, I'm coming over to clean you up. Saying that, manager Lee was rolling and crawling as he rushed out of the office and towards the villa area. His body that almost never exercised and occasionally just did some simple spanning exercises with his female secretary was now rushing towards the villa area at the speed of a hundred meter sprint. Fatty C was almost dumbfounded after listening to his manager's words. He only knew that the waistline he had managed to hold up with great difficulty was now directly broken. Pouncing. He knelt down in front of Xiao Yao at once. Ha, huh, Xiao Yao. You're here too. Just then, a surprised voice came. Xiao Yao turned his head to look. Surprisingly, it was Shun Shiryun. Why are you here? Xiao Yao asked suspiciously. My home is right here. The second villa next door is my home. What about you? This is you. Shin Shiryun probed and saw a chaotic scene inside the house. Wow, are you guys is this a gangster interaction? Interaction? Interacting with what? It's an interaction where you cut me and I cut you. Haven't you ever seen a TV show? Shin Shiryun laughed. Xiao Yao's mouth twitched. HM, it wasn't? What happened then? Uh, it's actually like this. Xiao Yao briefly told this matter. Ah. Shin Shiryun turned her head to look at Fatty C, who was kneeling on the ground, with an angry face. I remember you. Last year you your sister's brother-in-law seemed to have come to my dad to talk about cooperation. I didn't expect you to be so bad. When I go back, I will definitely tell my dad and tell him to cancel the cooperation with you. Also you will no longer be an employee here from now on. Shin Shiryun waved her hand. How come you're so bullish that you can just say you're fired? Xiao Yao asked curiously. Aha, uh -huh, the river resort is one of my family's properties ah, uh, these nine villas are also being sold by my family. Shin Shiryun said rightfully, the corner of Xiao Yao's mouth twitched, I'm going to fight with you all evil capitalism. Chapter 20 Spacing out a strong chi triple heavens powerhouse to vomit blood? Fatty C's head was now knocking on the ground, his body was trembling non-stop. Right at this moment, a middle-aged man in a suit, sweating profusely, rushed in hurriedly, hoo hoo hoo, manager Lee gasped for air. He came up without saying a word and flew up to kick Fatty C's body. Gave you face ha? Huh? Who told you to treat the honorable mister? Head of household like this. Shit. I'll beat you to death. Bang bang bang. Manager Lee kicked towards Fatty C one foot at a time as if he was venting. Fatty C was curled up on the ground. Not daring to move a bit. Alright, Lee Lei. Stop pretending. Shin Shiryun said softly. Oops. Big Miss Shin. Why are you here? You are. Lee Lei turned around with a pug-like smile rubbing his hands with a humble face. Xiao Yao is my friend. Shin Shiryun stroked through the hair hanging in front of her forehead and said softly. I know, MS. Shun, it's all my fault this time. It's me who was lax in my reign. My fault. Li Lei froze, and then he was frantically slapping himself in the face. In his heart, he cried out for goodness and hell. This ancestor knew Shin Shiryun. This was his big boss's young lady. And the two men are unmarried. Women are not married. And a talented. A pure and beautiful. Looks like Shin Shiryun also on his maintenance tight. This relationship, in the future will not change the name of the ant. Hiss. Luckily it's not me who offended him. Or else I'd have to go find a brick to slap myself with. Li Lei's heart clanked sharply. Celebrating and having the kind of palpitations after a robbery. Damn fatty C. Really pit. F asterisk CK. Thinking of this, he kicked him with another air spinning roundhouse kick. Alright, Li Lei. Don't fight anymore. You'll go to jail yourself if you hit a problem. Shin Shiryun knitted her willow brows. This Li Lei she familiar. Although it is the manager of the resort, sounds bullish and coaxing. In fact, it is only the nine villas of the villa's butler. Usually see the head of the household that is a fawning. Spine is basically no straight up time. Simply born a lackey saint. How dare you offend Mr. Xiao. I think it would be better to beat him to death. Li Lei spat hatefully. Fatty C shuddered and didn't dare to say anything. He was now sinning even if he said one more word. Taking in a breath of air was a sin. He was also angry. What a nephew. Professional pit uncle. You are not called Wang Sima. Not called Wang Sijio. How to pit to my head. Fatty C hated this little brat in his heart. Okay, you get someone to clean it up. It's a mess full of garbage. How to live. Xiao Yao shook his hand in disgust. Then he spoke to Chang mother and the others. Aunt Chang. You and Yan Han go upstairs first and choose a favorite room. Right. 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 This lady and this young lady. Let me introduce you. Our no. One villa is the king of the river villa's building. With three floors above ground, two underground floors.
covering an area of. Li Lei immediately fawned and greeted him. If the two of you like a quieter room, my personal recommendation is on the third floor, which has a total of four rooms. Sitting north to south, he followed the two towards the upper floor. Shun Shuri Yun, on the other hand, took out a phone. Hello, dad, that Wang Keki and Si Ku Fu's father's son offended my friends. Hmm, a very important friend. Okay, thanks dad. Shen Shi Yun hung up the phone. Xiao Yao, I've already told my dad that our Shen group will cancel all cooperation with their Wang family. How about that? I'm awesome, right? She asked with a smile as she put her hands behind her back. Awesome awesome, I'll buy you a drink today. Xiao Yao chuckled. Fatty C, who was lying on the ground, trembled. Finished. Not only was he screwed now, even his brother-in-law and sister's family were screwed. It was important to know that Shin's group was the benchmark of Qinglan City in the commercial field. If the Shin group unilaterally terminated their cooperation, if Shin's group unilaterally terminated their cooperation with them, then there are basically no more companies in Qinglan City that would dare to cooperate with them. The Wang family is not far from bankruptcy. The Wang family is not far from bankruptcy, and not far from living on the runway. Ringing bell, as expected. Yellowhair's phone rang before long. Yellowhair had already been beaten by Xiao Yao and was groaning on the ground, unable to move, let alone answer the phone. Then he could only rely on Fatty C to do the job. Hello, Grass Nima's little brute. What the hell have you done? As soon as he picked up the phone, the roar of his own brother-in-law came from the other end. Not, F asterisk King my mom. Isn't my mom your mother-in-law? Fatty C's head was filled with black lines. Brother-in-law, calm down. It's me, it's me. Fatty C said softly, F asterisk CKU, sis, oh, it's run, where's Sima, this little brute, you ask him, what the hell has he done, who's he offended, the Shin family suddenly wants to cancel our contract, I've got 10 million dollars riding on it, I've mortgaged my house and car, grass 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 grass, the voice on the other end of the phone sounded like he was going crazy, Wang Sima's father was already on fire, brother-in-law, the thing is, Fatty C briefly told the matter once, put, the sound of spitting blood came. You two pitbulls, I'll fuck you up. Puff. The sound of a heavy object falling to the ground came then the phone smashed directly on the ground. It hung up automatically. Hello, hello, brother-in-law, brother-in-law, brother-in-law. Fatty C yelled at the top of his lungs for a long time without a response. Ding. Congratulations to the host. Spitting out the blood of a third-ranked stamina realm powerhouse in anger. Blood chi value plus 40. Spirit points plus 400. Xiao Yao. Not what did I do? Did you get spit out blood? Casting a spell through the air? Xiao Yao was flabbergasted. Is this a case of people sitting at home? And blessings coming from the sky? In that case he was still looking forward to the rich second generation coming to mess with him more often. Preferably the kind that beat up the young ones and came to the old ones. Then he can end up in a pot. Each and every one of these rich kids was rich. And their realm couldn't be worse after the aura revival. Alright, get lost, get lost. Xiao Yao waved his hand with a bored face. A few young men who still had the ability to act hurriedly got up from playing dead and rushed towards the door with their heads down. Trash away, or else stay here for dinner today. One set meal like him. Shaya pointed at yellow hair who was lying on the ground twitching. His mouth full of glass slag stuck all over. A few young men shuddered and hurriedly folded back to clean up. One young man saw a liquid on the ground and couldn't find a napkin. So he directly lowered his head and licked it up. Shaya felt a chill down his spine as he watched. Alright, Shaya. Things are settled. I'll come and play with you sometime. Shin Shiryun looked around with her hands behind her back. This decoration in your house is just better than my house. I also don't know why dad didn't pick villa number one. It's obviously built by your own family. Shin Shiryun looked at the decoration of the villa and muttered brokenly. After he left, Xiao Yao went back to his room. Counting the time. It seems like three days have passed since the last time he ate Zhugua. He took off the Zhugua from his system backpack with a thought. Marrow refining stage. I'm coming. Chapter 21, Stepping into the Refined Marrow, I'm really not a lowly controller. System, check the panel. Host, Xiao Yao. Realm, Wufu Realm Bone Refining Stage, Blood and Qi Value reaches 600 to break through to the next realm. Technique, Pine and Crane Physical Forging Technique, Yellow Grade Medium. Martial Skills, 8 Extreme Fist, Yellow Grade. Wind Driving Steps, Yellow Grade. Shooting Star Blade Technique, Xian Grade. 18 Palms of Dragonfall, Xian Grade. Items, Flare Blade, Lower Grade Treasure Weapon. Centennial Vermilion Fruit X2, White Silk Stockings, Basketball Boy Figurine, Photo Album, Blood Chi Value, 549, Blue Star Normal Adults Blood Chi Point is 4, Spirit Points, 832, Evaluation, Enough to Qualify to Remove the Small and Call it a Dish Kuan, Xiao Yao gripped the Zhugui in his hand before swallowing it in one gulp, Boom, 
A terrifying power flowed through his body, and in the darkness of the night, Xiao Yao's body was actually glowing, emitting a faint luster from within. Boom boom boom. The muscles all over his body emitted gusts of white eyes as intense bone-piercing pain came through. It's a bit painful. Is this the refined marrow? Xiao Yao's face twisted. He clenched his fists in death, and his skin turned red like a freshly baked branding iron. Boom. With a roar from his body, his realm had successfully reached the realm of marrow refining. The characteristic of this realm was that the marrow was like mercury liquid. Is this the refined marrow stage? It feels completely different from the previous four realms. No wonder it takes 200 blood chi values. It's too strong. How come the aura hasn't revived yet? I can't control it anymore to conquer strong enemies. Xiao Yao let out a low roar. Even if it's just a vibrating roar, I can shatter a person's eardrums from a distance of 10 meters. It's a hundred times more than that king of the hundred beasts. Is this the power of stepping onto the path of cultivation? Xiao Yao swung up and struck the air. Rumble. A gust of sound waves tumbled and finally blasted against the wall. A shallow fist mark appeared. Driving the wind don't can kill the enemy through the air. Although it's not as exaggerated as the power chi externalization written in novels, my strength is already no weaker than the so-called harmonized power masters in urban literature. My strength will increase once I've reached the stamina realm and I'm able to use my true chi. A smile surfaced on Xiao Yao's face. Ding! Releasing system mainline quest. Please ask the host to break through the stamina realm within 7 days. Mission success. Open the silver level lucky draw carousel. One chance for a silver 10 consecutive draw. Battling sword true intent. Spirit elemental pill x3. Quest failure. Punishment none. Mainline quest. Break through the stamina realm in 7 days. Good. Good. Xiao Yao laughed lightly. It had only been 7 days since he awakened the system. Breaking through the stamina realm in 7 days really wasn't that difficult. Let's work on the pine crane body forging technique. I'm going to the martial arts school the day after tomorrow. A Huanjin sect master should be able to provide me with quite a lot of blood chi value. Xiao Yao's eyes flickered. In his eyes was thick anticipation. When the day of aura recovery came, it would be the time for him to kill the four directions. If the immortal sect members wanted to mess around on earth, they would have to ask him if Xiao Yao agreed. The next day, Xiao Yao didn't go anywhere. He practiced the pine crane body forging technique for a day in the courtyard. It's true. The potential of the yellow grade technique has come to an end at the Wufu realm. Xiao Yao mused. He had only grown a dozen points of blood chi value after practicing for a day. It was just better than nothing. However, this technique should not be wasted. If I don't need it, I can teach it to Nian Han. After thinking about it, Xiao Yao called Nian Han. Brother Xiao Yao, what are you calling me for? I still have to do my homework. Chang Nian Han looked at Xiao Yao, who was wearing a white practicing robe. Suspiciously, Nian Han. Do you want to become a martial arts master? Xiao Yao asked. A martial arts master? Really? Brother Xiao Yao you're not lying to me. Are you? Chang Nian Han revealed a skeptical look, but also vaguely revealed anticipation. Xiao Yao knew that the little girl didn't have any hobbies in her day-to-day -day life, but she liked to read books, and she also liked to read those martial arts novels. She worshipped those fastidious warriors in the books to the core. Of course it's impossible to lie to you. Look! Xiao Yao slowly lifted his left foot, and then gently stepped on it. Boom ka! The green stone slab was chopped up by his foot. And then Xiao Yao once again performed the eight extreme fist and swung it through the air. Phew! The wind of his fist whistled out and the bright red dripping roses in the flower bush seven or eight meters away were shattered by his punch. Ah ha! So powerful! Is this for real? Brother Xiao Yao, this really isn't magic on your part! Chang Yan Han exclaimed in surprise. Of course it's real! How could I possibly lie to you? Do you want to learn? Want to! Brother Xiao Yao can you teach me? Of course, now you follow my movements together. Although it will be difficult at first, you must keep up. Just do it a few more times and you'll be fine oh. Xiao Yao set up the starting pose of the pine crane forging technique. Okay, good. The little girl had a surprised look on her face and followed Xiao Yao's movements with excitement. It was indeed difficult at first, and she almost fell to the ground several times. But after following a few times, Chang Nian Han was able to keep up. The little girl has good qualifications. Xiao Yao laughed lightly. Under the system's display, Chang Yin Han would reach the peak of the martial husbandry realm after the revival of the aura, but that was a realm that she reached by her own efforts when she was alone and without any money or background. It showed that the little girl's talent was bound to be extremely good. Now with Xiao Yao's teaching, her future achievements would only be higher. The martial husbandry realm was by no means the end of her journey, and neither was the stamina realm. Brother Xiao Yao, I feel a hot air rising in my belly. That's what it is. It's so comfortable. Chang Yan Han's little face was red, even as her body twisted and her red lips slightly opened. Xiao Yao instantly felt his head get big. Nian Han, don't talk, don't talk. Xiao Yao wanted to stop it, but it was already too late. 
Ah, so comfortable. It's over. Xiao Yao lightly stroked his forehead. This time, he couldn't wash himself even if he jumped into the yellow river. He's going to become a lolicon who likes little Lolitas. A big pervert. He'll be famous for the rest of his life. As expected, Auntie Chang's shout came from upstairs. Nian Han. Xiao Xiao. What are you doing? Immediately followed by. Xiao Yao. I've come to look for you. What are you doing? Why do I hear a woman screaming? When good things don't come, bad things come in pairs. Xin Shi Yun also walked into Xiao Yao's home. At this moment, Chang Nian Han's face was flushed red to her ears, and her body was drenched in fragrant sweat. He, Xiao Yao, couldn't even wash himself by jumping into the yellow river. Xiao Yao, what are you doing? Sure enough, as soon as he turned his head, he saw Shen Shiryun's exasperated figure. And Chang Nian Han had also taken off her outer clothes because she was too tired from practicing. There was only a small white fitted undershirt inside. The fine white collarbones were glistening under the sun, as delicate as marble. Upstairs, Chang's mother also peeked out to cast a skeptical look at him. I Nima. Xiao Ya was now crying without tears. Chapter 22, Jing Ming Martial Arts Center. Formal Fist Patriarch vs. Cohen Fist Patriarch. So, have said that we were practicing just now ah, why don't you believe me? Aha, I'm really not a lullicon. Aha, you have to believe me. I, Xiao Yao, am a decent man, and Nian Han is only a few years old. No matter how horny I am, there's no way I would do such a thing to a 16-year-old little girl. Aha, are you listening to me? Aha, M, you're being aha, I'll teach you the same thing once and you'll see. Half an hour later. Ah, so comfortable. Xiao Yao is really comfortable. Do it again. Xiao Yao. Shen Shiryun's face was crimson as she lightly bit her red lips, an expression of enjoyment on her face. As her body swayed, her perfect figure was hidden. It was just too bright for her eyes. Damn it, goblin, who is this tempting? He was a young man with blood and vigor. Xiao Yao turned his head sideways. It's good to be able to explain it. Xiao Yao, you can't really be some great hidden martial arts master. Shen Shiryun asked curiously. Really, really, brother Xiao Yao is awesome. He can crush the green stone floor with a single kick. Chang Nian Han nodded frequently, her eyes filled with admiration. Wow, you're so powerful. Xiao Yao, can you perform for me? Shen Shiryun's eyes glowed as she pounced over and grabbed Xiao Yao's wrist. Sorry, my martial arts only kill, not perform. Xiao Yao made an inscrutable look and pushed her hand away. Cut, civilized society, you still want to kill people? Then you won't have a chance to show your martial arts for the rest of your life. Shin Shi Yun was not amused. Xiao Yao smiled without saying anything. You don't know, when the aura is revived, not to mention killing people, I'll go to the east and destroy a country and no one will dare to complain. Otherwise, I'd have to go straight to the top of his head with my sword. Okay, let's eat, it's getting dark. Xiao Yao washed his hands and walked towards the inner room. Aha, I haven't tasted Auntie Chang's handiwork yet. Nian Han I'll rub a meal at your house today. Of course there's no problem, Sister Shi Yun. My mom's cooking is excellent. The two were holding hands and looked as close as good sisters. Actually, I still want to try Xiao Yao's handiwork. Sister Shi Yun I advise you to dismiss this immature idea. Why? Seeing Chang Nian Han's serious expression, Xin Shi Yun couldn't help but feel curious. Brother Xiao Yao's cooking is more powerful than poison. I took it to feed the stray dogs, and the stray dogs took one sniff and ran to the trash can to rummage for food. Ah, ha 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 ha, laughing my ass off, Xiao Yao. Even the dogs dislike your cooking, Xiao Yao. The next day, Xiao Yao got up early in the morning. He walked out of the villa and a driver from the resort drove him to the famous Jingming Martial Arts Hall in Qinglan City. The teacher of the Jingming Martial Arts School was 62 years old this year, but he looked like a middle-aged man, with thick hair, a full heavenly court. Every step was steady and powerful, and his body exuded an air of unruffled authority. He was the president of the Qinglan City Martial Arts Association, and a renowned master of Xing Quan. In his early years, he used to be the personal bodyguard of a big shot in the Dashia military. He was famous throughout the martial arts circle. Once a martial art reaches the height of a Huan Jin patriarch, all bodily functions will also delay the rate of aging. Therefore, the average national martial arts patriarch was between 100 and 120 years old. The longest lived one was the Taijiquan Grandmaster who died three or four years ago, having lived to be 141 years old, almost breaking the limit of human lifespan, shocking the world. Aya. Today it's Grandmaster Luo versus Grandmaster Koen Kwan. It's been years since I've seen this match between masters. Yes, the last time was 16 or 17 years ago. The battle between the Bagua Palm Grandmaster and Grandmaster Luo. Half of the national arts circle came. That one was really too stunning. Even that one big shot from the military behind Patriarch Luo was shot. Countless celebrities and merchants were there. 
and there were even some hundred-year-old families from the Magic City and the Imperial City. The scene was an event. Unfortunately, after the end of that battle, not long after that, there is the news of Hong Kong City Clan Master being stabbed to death by a gangster with a knife. Kung Fu was no longer high, but also afraid of kitchen knives. All of a sudden, the name of our martial arts world fell from the altar. Now it is declining day by day. And Patriarch Luo also retired from that big brother in the military and came here to open a martial arts school in Qinglan City. Now the national martial arts world is not enough. All rely on us old things to support. It's not easy to come out of a Kung Fu sect master I'm curious tight. Yes, it would be great if we could build up the momentum for our martial arts again through this battle. After all, my martial arts school has really been depleted of talent these past few years. It's only taken in three disciples this year. I'm no better than you. I've only taken in two. A white-haired patriarch said with a sigh. The two men were sect masters from Jia City and Ning City, which were next door to Qinglan City. One was a Wing Chun Kung Fu Grandmaster and the other was a Tong Bei Kung Fu Grandmaster, both of whom were over 90 years old. However, because none of their disciples could reach the realm of the Grandmaster to succeed them, they were unable to retire to enjoy their twilight years and they still had to teach boxing every day at their age. How many years has it been since a new Jean Zong sure emerged? This Kung Kwan master I heard is still very young, only 27 or 18 years old. Seems to be called Wat Chang Tushin. This Kung Kwan is his self-created fist, so he took the name of the word Tushin into the Kung Kwan. 27 or 18 years old? That's just the age of a master. Can it really be to a grandmaster? I'm really a bit skeptical about the gold content of this Kuan fist patriarch, and also creating his own boxing style? Is it really reliable? You must know that Luo Zongshir Xing Quan is passed down from the old ancestors. During the Republican period, Xing Quan was famous in the entire Chinese martial arts world. What kind of Kung Quan is this? Can it be compared to Xing Quan? But one cannot ignore the existence of genius. Historically, the Misty Fist Grandmaster, Grandmaster Hua, was already the number one in Jin men at the age of 30 or so. I don't know how many Grandmasters have lost to him. Yeah, yes, the heroes of the world are like the Krishan Carp in the river. One must not underestimate any of them. Several patriarchs nodded. Today, this Jingming Martial Arts Center was considered to be extremely lively. Not only were there several patriarchs from the martial arts world, there were also well-known entrepreneurs from Qinglan City, including the mayor of Qinglan City, the secretary, and the presidents of various associations. All of them had come to support the event. Dad, why are so many uncles and uncles here today? Is this martial arts center so powerful? A Mercedes-Benz commercial vehicle came down with several figures. At the head of the group was a middle-aged man wearing a suit with a tough, imposing-looking face. He was the head of Qinglan City's largest enterprise, the tens of billions of dollars worth Shen Group, Shen Hongyi, and following beside him was his own daughter, the Shen family's eldest daughter, Shen Shiryun, as well as Shen Hongyi's bodyguard, Ah Zhong. I heard that he was a retired soldier who had served in the best army in China, the King of Soldiers. Of course, today is a great event in the national arts world. The formal fist Luo Grandmaster versus the newly promoted Koan Fist Grandmaster. This is a big deal. It is also placed in this era of rapid technological development. To be placed in more than 10 years ago. Then, Patriarch Duel. Half of China's celebrities and merchants have to rush to the meeting. Even the country would have to go all out to create momentum. Magic City. Imperial City. Deep City. Hong Kong City. Hangzhou City that scene. I had the honor of following your grandfather to see it back then. It was really amazing ah. There are quite a few several hundred years of inheritance of the family have people there. Shin Hongi marveled. Cut. Isn't martial arts no matter how powerful it is still afraid of bullets? No matter how powerful those patriarchs are. Can they stop bullets? Shin Shiryun was unimpressed. Yeah, it's because of this that the national martial arts have gradually declined. In the last century, it was a mandatory requirement for those big shots to find a personal bodyguard that you must be a master of national arts. A year's salary is $5 million or more. Isn't that amazing? Unlike nowadays, national martial arts masters are reduced to opening martial arts schools, and the rich and powerful are looking for bodyguards from ex-soldiers or large international security companies. But Master Luo is different. He was the personal bodyguard of a big shot in the military back then, and has taken bullets for others. That's why so many people come here to give him face. When you go in later you watch more, listen more, learn more, and talk less. Hear me, Shen Hongi said seriously. Well, I know, dad, but my friend also knows martial arts oh, he is also very powerful. With a foot just like that, the lapis lazuli slabs were all cracked by him, Shen Shiryun said. Ha 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 ha, this is nothing, you'll get a better understanding once you're inside. Shen Hongi waved his hand and laughed. Miss. It's not difficult to break the lapis lazuli with one foot. Many people in the national martial arts world can do it. 
Ah Jong also spoke out. Yeah, sure Yoon. Compared to the patriarch your friend is just a three-legged kung fu. Shen Hongyi waved his hand carelessly. Last time you asked me to break off the cooperation with the Wang family couple was because of him. Wasn't it? Shen Hongyi revealed a smile. You care about him so much, is it a boyfriend? Dad what are you babbling about? Shen Shure Yoon pouted. Ha 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 ha, my precious daughter. Who do you deserve in this Qinglan city? If you want to like it, go after it. They say that a woman chasing a man is separated by a veil. I really don't believe which man can block my Shen Hongyi daughter's charm. But, dad ugly words in front. My future son-in-law can never be a worthless and incompetent person. Chapter 23 Ding. The host encountered a divine sea realm powerhouse. Oops, dad, I don't have a favorite. Don't make up your mind. Shin Shure Yun pushed her own father. Moreover, if I really like someone, it's not because of what he has. It's just that I simply like him as a person. Your world is too materialistic for me. Shin Shure Yun shook her head. Good good, you said it. Let's go in first. Shin Hongyi smiled. And the few people walked into the Jingming Martial Arts Center. A crowd of business bigwigs rushed up to exchange pleasantries and flanked Shin Hongyi as he took his seat. And at this moment, in the street where cars were coming and going, there was a burly and strong man who was looking forward and looking at the street as if he was waiting for someone. Hey, Tang Meng, who are you waiting for? A sharp-tongued middle-aged man poked him with his elbow. It Woon, T be a girlfriend, you kid. Without saying a word, Can Ah, uh. Sun Chang smiled lewdly. Tell me about it. What does it feel like? More than 30 years have not known what a woman's flavor is. Sun Chang had a lewd face and even licked his lips. Female your mom, I'm waiting for a big shot. You know shit. A big shot? How big? Tang Meng, you and I are still unclear. What big shot can you know? Sun Chang was skeptical. You wouldn't have been tricked. You have this naive look that crooks love the most. I'm telling you Tang Meng you have to be careful. Don't be tricked into going to northern Burma karma waste. Otherwise you won't be able to play with women. Cheat you, idiot. I'm waiting for a martial arts master today. You know nothing. Tang Mang slapped Sun Chang on the head. But not only did Sun Chang not care, his eyes widened. A martial Dao sovereign? Really? You actually know this kind of big shot. Hiss, this can't be too awesome ow. Then is this sect master willing to accept you as his disciple? Tang Mang shook his head regretfully. That must be because you don't have the talent. I'm different. I'm gifted. When the patriarch comes he'll definitely take me as his disciple. Sun Chang grinned. Tang Mang blankly glanced at him and didn't say anything. Consider him dreaming and talking in the middle of the day. Right at this moment, a cab slowly came, appearing unusually eye-catching amongst the crowd of luxury cars. Tang Mang had good eyesight and saw Xiaoyao in the cab at a glance. Coming, the patriarch is here. Where is it? Where is it? With a jolt, Sun Chang hurriedly stretched his neck to look around, only to see that from the cab, a young man in a white t-shirt walked down. Patriarch Xiao. Tang Mang greeted him with a respectful face. Patriarch Xiao, let me introduce you. This is my friend, Sun Chang. Hello, my name is Xiao Yao. Xiao Yao nodded with a smile on his face. Fierce, fierce, fierce. Are you sure this is a zone sure? Sun Chang looked like he was in complete disbelief. This isn't even 20 years old. Right, this is a fucking college student. Right, and you're calling him a patriarch? Don't joke with me. Sun Chang pulled Tang Meng aside and said. Do I have to lie to you? Is a patriarch something that can be used as a joke? I really don't believe it. Such a young patriarch. That Cohen Fist patriarch being in his 20s is already outrageous enough. You're directly super doubling it. How old is he? 19? 20? Patriarch Xiao is 19 years old. Is a 19-year-old patriarch out of your mind or out of my mind? He started practicing martial arts in his mother's womb? What fist did he practice? Eight extremes. Don't believe it. Eight extremes? This kind of most masculine boxing. To become a patriarch, one's physique must at least keep up with it. Not to say that one's waist is big and round, but it's definitely not possible to be as skinny as he is. Let's go. Tang Meng. Xiao Yao spoke indifferently. It was normal to not believe it. If he were himself he wouldn't believe it either. It was just that he didn't need to explain anything. When he suppressed all the sect masters in this martial arts school, naturally, someone would believe it. Good, good. Tang Meng answered. Then he looked at Sun Chang. You love to believe it or not. Then he led Xiao Yao to the Jingming Martial School. Ding, detected that the host is about to enter a powerful sect. There are many strong people. Please be careful with your words. Shrink your head and behave. Xiao Yao, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to strike hard. Tang Mang led Xiao Yao to sit down in an inconspicuous seat. Here, Patriarch Xiao, the one sitting in the main seat is the owner of this Jingming Martial School. The formal fist Patriarch, Patriarch Luo. Tang Mang pointed at the middle-aged man in the center position who wore a practice uniform with a smart look and said, 
Patriarch Luo is 62 this year, but he looks just like a middle-aged man in his early 40s. Xiao Yao narrowed his eyes and sized up Patriarch Luo. That Patriarch Luo seemed to have sensed something and turned his head violently. Ding! A peak stamina powerhouse is paying attention to the host. The host is in danger. Dangerous! Peak stamina chi? This guy isn't much better. Could it be that he's old and has passed the best time for cultivation? However, Peak Stao Chi was the second strongest person he had ever seen after Xin Shi Yun. Suppressing this strong person would definitely bring him notable blood chi values and spirit points. Here, the few over there are other local Zong masters. They are. Tang Mang introduced them one by one. People who practiced martial arts had sensitive six senses and could easily sense the sights and gazes of others. Xiaoyao's unconcealed measuring gaze caught their attention at once. It also triggered a system prompt as a result. Ding! A strong chi fifth sky powerhouse is paying attention to the host. The host is in danger. Danger! Ding! A strong chi eighth heavenly powerhouse is concerned about the host. Danger to the host. Danger! Ding! The sixth heavenly strength of chi is watching the host. Danger to the host. Danger! Ding! The host is being watched by too many powerful people. The situation is urgent. The host must run for his life. Most of them are at the strong chi realm. It looks like the average person's strong chi realm is the ceiling. And to get to the realm of the fate spring one would still have to be an exceptionally gifted person. Xiao Yao rubbed his chin. Right at this moment, a young man wearing black practicing clothes walked out from the field. Quick look, Patriarch Xiao. He is today's challenger, the Kuan Fist Patriarch. Chang Tushin. This Kuan Fist is his self-created style. Taking the word Tushin in his name to be known as Kuan Fist. Tang Meng explained. Ding, ding, ding. The host has encountered a divine sea realm powerhouse. The host has encountered a divine sea realm powerhouse. Say it three times. The host has encountered a powerful man of the divine sea realm. Divine sea realm. Xiao Yao's eyes widened. This was the realm after the life spring realm. Divine sea realm what kind of monster is this? Unimaginable. System. Can we view the panel? 1000 spirit points. Scram. Poor bastard. You wait. I'll smash you to death with spirit points when the time comes. Xiao Yao cursed. Then he rubbed his hands together with a fiery face. This was a divine sea realm ah. More powerful than Shen Shi Yun. If he suppressed him, how awesome must this reward be? I didn't dare to think about it at all. Right at this moment, as someone in the martial arts hall shouted loudly, Patriarch Chang has arrived. Now, the Kuan Fist Patriarch Chang versus the Formal Fist Patriarch Luo officially begins. With a command, Patriarch Luo also slowly stood up. The two came to the center of the martial arts hall. Chapter 24, I'm here to kick ass. Can you fight me? Please, please. In the next second, Chang Tushin made a move. Koen step. Reveal chicken feet. Transform Koen hands. Only because fist. Koen flash. Koen Sean leaning. Susan's six styles. Bang bang bang. The two fought back and forth in the middle of the field. What a Koen fist master. This Koen fist of Chang Tu Koen is not simple. Yeah, this set of fists combines offense and defense and even incorporates dodging and footwork, especially that Kuan Shan leaning, it has the style of Baji fist sticky mountain leaning, bojangling all the strengths, what a Kunquin master, the rising star of our art world is truly awesome, several patriarchs nodded their heads in praise, Chang Tushin's boxing was very powerful, striking out with great force and speed, the two of them couldn't distinguish between victory and defeat for a short period of time, alright, it's my turn to strike, Xiao Yao slowly got up after finishing the last melon seed in his mouth, Grandmaster Xiao, what are you doing? Tang Mang saw Xiao Yao get up and did not walk towards the front. His heart immediately flinched. This patriarch Xiao wouldn't really be here to kick the bucket. Come come come, make way, make way. Xiao Yao pushed through the crowd. Crap, who the hell? Don't push, fuck, who touched my head? Push it, don't touch my head. What asshole touched my head? Fuck, which asshole touched the head of the asshole in front of me? I got a mouthful of dandruff. Xiao Yao pushed through the crowd along the way not forgetting to touch heads one by one. The system's trigger was to touch heads. He's having a blast right now. Ding. Congratulations to the host for suppressing the first level of the stamina realm. Blood chi points plus 20. Spirit points plus 200. Ding. Congratulations to the host for suppressing the peak of the wufu realm. Blood chi value plus 7. Spirit points plus 35. Ding. Congratulations to the host for suppressing the second level of the Zhuangqi realm. Blood value plus 30. Spirit points plus 300. Ding, congratulations to host. Xiao Yao had suppressed an unknown number of strong people along the way. His blood chi value and spirit points were soaring upwards. Passing through the crowd of people Yui allowed him to harvest close to a hundred blood chi values. The blood chi value that the stout chi realm could provide him was simply not too much. Over 700 blood chi values now. It's not far from the blood refining realm. Xiao Yao clenched his fists. 
All those blood chi values were saved by him and not utilized for the time being. He finally squeezed his way to the front row. All right, all right, stop fighting. Chang Tushin had just swung out a powerful coin palm when Xiao Yao leapt out. What are you doing? Chang Tushin cursed. Suddenly you jumped out of a martial arts match and you don't want to die. This coin palm of mine is so powerful that it can dent your brain. At this moment, there were also disciples who came up to pull Xiao Yao down. This gentleman, this is the time for the martial arts competition. Please don't mess up. There were also spectators who frowned. Which disciple is so ignorant? To come and make a mess during a grandmaster's competition is a disgrace. If this were my family's child I'd have to pull his pants down and whip him. A grandmaster duel. It's not something that anyone can interfere with. According to the rules of the martial arts world, you'll be expelled from the sect. Several patriarchs were pointing their fingers at Xiao Yao, frowning with great dissatisfaction. Xiao Yao, why is he here? Shun Shuryun, who was sitting on the other side, was also surprised to see Xiao Yao. You recognize? Shen Hani asked. Shen Shiryun nodded her head. It couldn't be the one who lives in Villa 1, right? Aha! This kid, isn't very good. Getting Shen Shiryun's affirmation, Shen Hongi was disappointed. He had thought that if he could live in his family's number 1 villa, he would be a non-rich person anyhow. A good family education is certainly there, plus will also be national arts. He even suspected that it is which national art family out. That if and his Shen family combination that is also considered a strong combination. But I did not expect that this kid is so ignorant of the rules. This is to be placed in the last century. Stirring up the national martial arts master's duel that is to be abolished martial arts. Sure Yun, reduce your dealings with him in the future. Shen Hongi said softly, Dad, what do you mean by this? There is no meaning. The most important thing for a man is to know what's right. Know the rules, whether it's in the business world or elsewhere. Look at him. He doesn't look like he knows the rules. It's only because the two patriarchs have good tempers. Otherwise it would be fine to directly suppress him with a slap. Shen Hongyi said. Xiao Yao. Will something happen to him then? Shen Shiryun was a little worried in her eyes. Dad. Help him. Let's see. The two patriarchs are kind and generous. He doesn't see anything happening to him. Shen Hongyi shook his head. And right at this moment. Xiao Yao uttered a sentence that made all of them plummet. Both of you. I'm here to kick the bucket. Can you fight me? Chang Tushin? Patriarch Luo? Other patriarchs? The rest of them? Hmm. Yes there's also a few uncles sitting up there. You're also zone masters aren't you? Can you come down and fight with me? My name is Xiao Yao. I'm also a. In your words, you're also a zone sure right. Specializing in eight extremes fist. Petrified. The entire room was petrified. Speechless. The whole room was speechless. Did this kid grow up drinking Sanlu? Not. He's the grandmaster of eight extremes fist? Then I'm the founder of eight extremes fist. If he's a grandmaster, my 20 year old kid is also a grandmaster. Is your son a martial arts practitioner too? No, he's a gunfighter with a high hit rate. What kind of gun? So powerful? A gun that everyone has a handful of. One shot. Already several have come to the door to ask for abortion fees. Six. Tang Mang slapped his head hard. Sure enough, the thing I was most worried about has happened. Tang Mang, this friend of yours is really bullish. He really thinks he's a patriarch, even if he is a sect master. For him to challenge so many people by himself, that's not nonsense. You. Ugh, Tang Mang shook his head. He didn't want to go and explain anything to Sun Chang. However, he wasn't optimistic about Xiao Yao this time either. There might be a gap in strength between Zong masters due to various factors, but this gap wouldn't be very big, and it was absolutely impossible for a Zong master to beat several Zong masters. Alas, Patriarch Xiao, you're still too reckless. Tang Mang shook his head. Nonsense, simply nonsense, Shir Yun, this friend of yours. I really have no words, he's all more than just uneducated, he's simply sick in the head, you're not allowed to hang out with him anymore, challenging a few of the greats of the national martial arts world, what the hell was he thinking, just because he knows a little bit of martial arts, he thinks he's really a grandmaster, simply, unaware of what's going on, Shen Hongi said with hatred, his senses towards Xia Yao had fallen again and again, and now it had hit rock bottom, miss, the master is right, this Xia Yao is really too confused about himself, the strength of a national martial arts sect master. Barehanded dozens of people are no big deal at all. He challenged several martial arts sect masters in one breath. The difficulty of that is even more soaring. The ones who can have this kind of strength have never appeared before in this era. You have to know that a messy fist kills a master teacher, let alone a group of master teachers. With bare hands and empty fists, he definitely won't be able to win. Ah Zhong also cautioned so. Humph. Xin Shiryun looked at Xiao Yao below with a smile at the corner of his mouth. Her face became a little worried. Big dummy, what a time this is. You've become a laughingstock and you're still smiling. 
Chapter 25, One Shot Flying Out. Oops, what's the matter? Are the several patriarchs afraid of me? Xiao Ya deliberately revealed a punchy gangly smile. Several patriarchs' old faces twitched. Laozi is afraid of accidentally beating you to death. Young man, since you are practicing eight extreme fist, who is your master? Say it out old man might recognize it. Patriarch Luo said indifferently. My master is myself. The uneducated speaks for me. Humph, not knowing the heights of heaven and earth. Eight extreme fist is an inheritance left behind by the old ancestors. You don't have anyone to teach you how to acquire eight extreme. You wouldn't come from where you learned a little bit of triple kicks and then boast about eight extreme fist. A patriarch chided with an ugly face. Whether it's a three-legged cat or not, your excellency won't know if you come and try it. Or are you afraid to? Xiao Yao provoked for the second time. That patriarch immediately burst into a rage. You said I don't dare. You're an unknown brat. You're also worthy of fighting me. Know who I am. I am the Mantis Fist Patriarch of Narrow City. Any one of my disciples would be no match for you. That patriarch said in a furious rage. A disciple beside him then immediately asked for an order to go on the field. Dongxi, you go. He greeted and a disciple walked out. Under. Go Dongxi. Dog, good name. But you can't. Why? You were touched on the head by me. I won't fight you. Someone else. Well, you weren't touched on the head. It's you, said Xiaoyao pointing to a country-faced middle-aged man beside the Mantis Fist Patriarch. There is no reward for touching the head. There is no benefit in fighting again and wasting stamina. Not doing it. Good guy. This kid is really good at picking people. Pick the Grand Master in one go. Yes, eldest brother has been practicing martial arts for many years at Master's side. And his Mantis Fist can be said to be able to receive and transmit freely. So in the future, he will be able to inherit Master's mantle and carry forward the mantis fist to great heights. A few disciples said in a loud voice, that eldest senior brother walked out with a serious face and arched his hand at Xiao Yao. Under. A.I. Kuan. A.I. A.I. Kuan? Good name. Xiao Yao gave a thumbs up. You do it. Without saying a word, A.I. Kuan lunged towards Xiao Yao, coming on strong. Then, he slumped to the ground. Ding. Congratulations to the host for suppressing a strong Qi Realm first level powerhouse. Blood Qi value plus 20. Spirit points plus 200. Eh? Pretty weak. Why don't you come, patriarch? At this time the crowd burst into an uproar. How is he so strong? A.I. Kuan was even defeated by him. Crap, he can't really be a grandmaster. The palm he used to defeat A.I. Kuan just now seemed to be the heavenly palm from the eight extremes fist. Hiss, is he really a grandmaster? Such a young grandmaster? It's not true. The crowd was talking. But no matter what, they all looked at Xiao Yao with a bit of curiosity. Shut up. At this moment, the Mantis Fist Patriarch slapped the table and stood up. Good brat, even my disciple was defeated by you. Then let me meet you. Swish. The Patriarch directly pounced over. Then. Dang. Flew out. Ding. Congratulations to the host. Suppressing a bone refining stage powerhouse. Blood Chi value plus 4. Spirit points plus 20. How did this guy practice to become a Zongshir? It's too watery. Xiao Yao helplessly held his forehead. But this scene fell in the eyes of the others that was a different story. What did I just see? He defeated the Mantis Fist Grandmaster in one move? I saw it. What he just used was the sticky mountain leaning from the eight extremes fist. It knocked the Mantis Fist Patriarch away in one go. My god, he really is an eight extremes fist grandmaster. Such a young patriarch, this is too powerful. The crowd was filled with gasps of amazement. Looking at Xiao Yao with a blazing gaze. I'm going, Tang Mang. What you said is true. This person you brought is really a grandmaster. Sun Chang pulled Tang Mang's arm and said with a look of disbelief. I've long said he's a grandmaster. You just don't believe it yourself. Oops, Tang Mang, you can't blame me either. After all, I'm short-sighted and haven't seen a teenage patriarch before. I offended the grandmaster with my quick tongue. You can help me apologize to the grandmaster. I know I was wrong. Sun Chang pleaded. I don't care about this. You go find the grandmaster yourself. Tang Mang waved his hand and said. And on the other side. Dad, I told you. This friend of mine is very powerful. Look at how he just knocked that what's his name Zongshir out in one go. How dare you say he's not good in the future. Shin Shiryun smiled smugly. Shin Hongi frowned. Hiss. This time it's me who underestimated someone. I, Shin Hongi, admit it. This Xiao Yao is quite impressive. Such a young Zong master. Not bad. Shin Hongi's attitude changed abruptly. Even A Zhong revealed an expression of admiration. Eight extreme fist patriarch. I am also no match for him. For him to achieve this at an age is truly amazing. Hearing Shin Hongi recognizing Xiao Yao, Shin Shi Yun revealed a smug smile. Dad, you also have times of misreading ah, ha 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 ha, humph, your dad, I'm not an immortal, how could I not be wrong about someone? You girl, said Shin Hongi, 
shaking his head. However, even if he is a sect master and desperately wants to prove himself, he shouldn't come up and challenge so many sect masters, right? Knowing that the difference in strength between sect masters is very small, he wants to use the other few sect masters as a whetstone, stepping on them to get to the top, but in turn, he will sharpen his own steel blade and step on the air. Shin Hongi shook his head, and at this moment, the several patriarchs finally began to pay attention to Xiao Yao. Young man, you are really a patriarch of eight extreme fist. It's true that there is a successor in our art world, but you shouldn't be so arrogant to challenge several of us with your own strength. We're not all just freeloaders. A patriarch shook his head. Patriarchs practice martial arts with their mouths? The faces of several patriarchs came down ugly. Good brat. However, sharpness is easy to break. So a few of us will barely grind your temper. A few sect masters walked out. Together with the Kuan Fist Patriarch and the Xingyi Fist Patriarch, there were a total of seven people. Wing Chun, Bagua Palm, Hung Gar, Cannon Fist, Xingyi Fist, Kuan Fist, and Hun Yuan Xingyi Taijiquan. The seven grandmasters were fighting Xiao Yao together. Good. Seven great masters versus the eight extremes fist master. This is news that can go down in the history books of the national martial arts world. It's too scary. How could I ever see such a scene? A grandmaster versus grandmaster. Where did this young man get the confidence? These are seven grandmasters, not seven old farts. The crowd murmured. Right at this moment, several patriarchs moved. Various powerful punches greeted towards Xiao Yao's body. Ding. Congratulations to the host. God's power, defeated a strong chi realm fifth heavily strength, blood chi value plus 60, spirit points plus 600, ding, congratulations to the host, you're both a man of letters and a man of arms, defeated a strong chi realm sixth heavenly body, blood value plus 70, spirit points plus 700, ding, congratulations to the host, you're strong, defeated the eighth level of the chi realm, blood and chi value plus 90, spirit points plus 900, ding, congratulations, at this moment, Xiao Yao was almost so cool that he was flying away, and the people outside the arena were also so cool that they were trembling. It was because in a few shots, all the other patriarchs except for Patriarch Cohen Fist and Patriarch Luo had already been sent flying by Xiao Yao with a single move, falling into unconsciousness. Chapter 26, The Host is Divinely Powerful, Defeating a Divine Sea Powerhouse. High on drugs? Not a biochemist? Playing with abstracts? How much did it cost to hire you guys? The surrounding people were confused. These few sect masters were usually more powerful than one another. What with one person beating up dozens of disciples? One punch at a time. What hitting someone like a hanging picture? What smashing through a green stone slab with one punch? Today how one is more brittle than the other? Like crispy crispy shark was sent flying out with a single move? Good. So strong. Even the national martial arts genius Cheng Tushin was startled. The speed of Xiaoyao's square strike was just too fast. In just a few moments. Several national martial arts grandmasters were shaken out by him in one go. What the hell is his body made of? Patriarch Luo narrowed his eyes. Just now when several patriarchs struck he saw with his own eyes that a few strikes had clearly landed on Xiaoyao's body. However, they didn't affect him at all. It couldn't create any damage at all. This physique of his was harder than a lapis lazuli plate. Alright, alright, the body's moving around. Let's get on with it. Xiaoyao shook off his hand as he looked at Cheng Tushin and Luo Zongshir. His eyes glowing especially Chang Tushin. This was a powerhouse he wanted to suppress the most. What kind of amazing gift would a Divine Sea Realm powerhouse bring him? Attack! Don't give him a chance! Patriarch Luo and Chang Tushin glanced at each other, and the two of them encircled towards Xiao Yao one after the other. Koan Palm. Show Chicken Feet. Koan Frame. Susan's Six Styles. Transform Koan Hands. Quan Shan Leaning. Susan's Six Stances. Kill Crazy. Kill Like Crazy. The Koan Fist Patriarch only attacks not defends, this Cohen fist is so smooth, it even vaguely reveals a rhythmic sense of unity of form and spirit, I didn't expect this Cohen fist to be so varied, this Cohen fist master is really powerful, grandmaster Luo isn't weak either, with the two of them joining forces, this eight extreme fist grandmaster is unavoidable, only Xiao Yao was enveloped by the two men's tidal wave of attacks, descending dragon, 18 palms, boom, a sonic boom sounded out, and then a deafening dragon roar rose from the field, boom, the two great masters were directly sent flying. Chang Tushin? Patriarch Luo? Everyone? Not. You're not an eight extreme fist patriarch? What's the deal with this long in? Say, are you a cultivator in disguise or not? You made a dragon's roar? You're playing the dragon falling palm here, right? We're all about martial arts. But you've changed your style? Ding. Congratulations to the host. You have great powers. Defeating the peak of the chi realm. Blood value plus 100. Spirit points plus 1. 000. 
Ding, congratulations to the host, the host's magical power is boundless, defeated Divine Sea first level powerhouse, rewarded with Vudra unbreakable body, red sky true aura, sure enough, I knew there was something good, Xiao Yao grinned, he didn't care what it was first, as long as it was good, the effects would be seen when he went back, acknowledging the admission, he smiled and arched his hand at the dumbfounded crowd, in the next second, the crowd stirred, what was that dragon roar just now? No I just watched that 8 extremes fist patriarch slap out his palm and the air distorted. Can martial arts be as powerful as this? No, he's a cultivator right? Can't it be that the aura is about to revive and the cultivators are about to come out? You're dreaming here? Just as the crowd wanted to make friends with this powerful 8 extreme fist patriarch, but the prowler had already gone somewhere. Hey, patriarch Xiao, where have you gone ah? The martial arts center is in complete chaos now. Everyone is thinking of meeting you. Tang Man called Xiao Yao. It was very noisy on the other end of the phone. Mr. Tang, my Qinghai martial arts school invites Mr. Xiao to discuss martial arts. What kind of cow or horse is the Qinghai martial arts school? Of course we have to give priority to our Hongtu martial arts school. Mr. Xiao, with a salary of $50 million a year, would you be interested in working for me as a personal bodyguard? Mr. Xiao, my husband is on a business trip in Hong Kong. Do you want to be my personal bodyguard? We can have a close exchange. Xiao Yao's scalp went numb as he listened. Luckily he slipped away quickly. I've already left. Don't look for me. After saying that, he hung up the phone. Young man, ahead is Deer Ridge. I can only send you here. Young man I advise you not to go up the mountain alone. Recently I heard that this Deer Ridge is infested with wild animals. It's very dangerous. The driver parked the car on the outskirts. Not far away was a silent mountain ridge. Beyond the mountain range there was an iron net, on which was written the words wildlife infested. Dangerous, the words danger, were written on the fence. I know. Thank you master. Xiao Yao paid the money and stepped out of the car. It's lucky that Qinglan city still has such a barren mountain that hasn't been contracted by developers. Xiao Yao smiled, flipped over and leaped over the iron net, and the whole person rushed straight into the deer ridge. It's good to raise my strength first. System, check the panel. Host, Xiao Yao. Realm, Wufu Realm Marrow Refining Stage, Blood and Qi values reaching 600 can break through to the next realm. Technique, Pine and Crane Body Forging Technique, Yellow Grade Medium, Vudra Unbreakable Body, Xian Grade Medium, Martial Arts, 8 Extreme Fist, Yellow Grade, Wind Driven Steps, Yellow Grade, Meteor Blade Technique, Xian Grade, 18 Palms of the Descending Dragon, Xian Grade, Items, Flare Blade, Lower Grade Treasure Weapon, Centennial Vermilion Fruit X1, White Silk Stockings, Basketball Boy Figurine, Photo Album, Blood Chi Value, 1364, Blue Star Normal Adults Blood Chi Point is 4. Spirit points, 3872. Breakthrough. With a thought, Xiao Yao directly broke through. Boom. The blood chi all over his body tumbled as if it was boiling hot water, burning red all over his skin. At the same time, it was as if there were flames sizzling in his internal organs, incomparably scorching. Roar. Xiao Yao let out a low roar. A fist punched towards the air. Bang. The wind of his fist shook, and not far away, a large tree that required one person to be environmentally friendly was smashed by his fist and wood shavings flew. Success. This is the peak of Wufu realm. Xiao Yao knocked his body hard. Not even a bullet could penetrate it. Next, it's you. Green dragon treasure blood. A drop of golden blood hovered in his hand. Strong Qi realm. Here comes the old man. Ha 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 ha. Boom. Xiao Yao swallowed the green dragon treasure blood in one gulp. Ang. The earth shattering sound of a dragon's roar exploded in the valley. Boom. Xiao Yao's body trembled violently so painful, it feels like dying, f asterisk ck, why didn't the SEMA system tell me it hurt so much, his body that had already been quenched was actually quenched a second time by this green dragon treasure blood, the width of his meridians expanded by a full 10 times, a body's chi began to soar at a speed visible to the naked eye, Xiao Yao felt that he was now a humanoid beast, and his blood chi could even vaguely turn into substance, when his blood chi fully exploded, bullets could hardly enter his body, and he was like a small sun when he was walking, what kind of terror is that? He was already like a god of martial arts on earth. Alright, the body has been quenched. Until the pain subsided a little bit, Xiao Yao knew that he was about to advance. The second realm. The Qi strengthening realm. Chapter 27, Breaking Through the Strong Qi. Humanoid missile like powerful. The power of the green dragon treasure blood had not been used up yet. And under the effect of the treasure blood, Xiao Yao sensed a Qi growing stronger and stronger in his Dantian. Ding, detected that the host is about to ascend to the stout chi realm. True chi automatically converts to red sky true spiritual chi. The original ordinary true chi suddenly became immensely strong. A powerful aura erupted from around him. 
Fei Tru Chi. So this red sky true aura is a Fei Tru Chi. Xiao Yao was ecstatic. Fei Tru Chi far exceeded ordinary true Chi in both power and characteristics. And this kind of true Chi would also soar in power when the life spring real Chi was converted into spiritual energy. In the long run, this reward was considered extremely amazing. The biggest gap between secular people and immortal sect disciples was never the realm, but rather the various feats and martial arts as well as treasures, the innate foundation and so on. In Xiao Yao's case, his innate foundation was even more solid than that of an immortal sect disciple. After all, an immortal sect disciple couldn't possibly take the green dragon's precious blood to quench his body, right? He he he, or a revival, a little bit of anticipation. The red sky true spiritual chi in his body was expanding. It then flowed through the meridians and penetrated the limbs and bones. Ding, congratulations to the host, promoted to the stout chi realm. System panel updated. Ding, the silver lottery carousel is open. Reward issued, silver carousel 10 consecutive draw opportunities. Battling sword, the spiritual elixir. Boom, Xiaoyao pulled out the flare blade from within the system space. And then, gimme, the blade was drawn. A terrifying pressure covered the front. And in the next second, a terrifying blade light broke through the air. Crackling, dozens of large trees collapsed. Strong, this is really strong. Xiao Yao was ecstatic. The characteristics of this battling blade true intent were extreme sharpness and extreme speed. With a single blade, all things could be cleaved apart. With a drawing knife, a blade can cut through water. And a blade can cross a river. Combined with the meteor blade technique, the power was truly outrageously powerful. Ding, green dragon's blood and dragon falling palm are detected to have similar attributes. Dragon falling palm is now dragon falling divine palm. The system beep sounded again and Xiao Yao glanced at it. The original Shen grade upper grade dragon falling palm had turned into an earth grade lower grade. Good good good, this one is good, love it love it. Dragon subduing divine palm. Boom, Xiao Yao roared and slapped his palm out. Aang, a heaven shaking dragon roar echoed through the mountain range as a Zheng sized divine dragon condensed from true chi flew out. Boom boom boom. Everything within a hundred meters in front was destroyed by this single divine dragon. It was almost as if it had been blown up by a missile. Ridiculously powerful. It was too outrageous. My goodness, it's turned into a humanoid missile. Xiao Yao's mouth was wide open. If this were to come in the city the slap wouldn't be able to pierce through a building? Let's see. What else? Oh yeah. Vidra, unbreakable body? Xiao Yao clenched his fist. Bang bang bang. A sonic boom sound came from the air in his palm and the space was slightly distorted. Once this Vajra unbreakable body is on, the blue fire gatling can't even kill me. Xiao Yao grinned. Right. Silver draw. Try it. The illusory silver carousel appeared in his eyes. Drawl. Wow. The carousel spun. Ding. Congratulations to the host. Obtained unearthly quality item. 99 roses. Give them to your goddess and you'll be the best lick spittle ever. Ding. Congratulations to the host. Obtained an ordinary quality item. 10 million Chinese coins. The host has finally gotten rid of his status as a pauper. Congratulations. Ding. Congratulations to the host. Obtained an unearthly item. A set of barbecue spices. Cheer up. Go set up a stall. Junior. Ding. Congratulations to the host. Acquired fine quality item. Yellow grade medium grade martial arts skill open mountain fist. It's a trashy martial arts skill with no special features. Ding. Congratulations to the host. You have obtained a fine quality item. The blood chi formula. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an excellent quality item. Xian grade mid grade stance. Treading snow without trace. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an excellent quality item. Inferior grade treasure weapon. Guilt wind chasing boots. It didn't explode anything particularly stunning. But the guarantee will be much higher. The effects of things like the blood chi dan formula and the mountain opening fist were not very obvious to him. Currently Xiao Yao didn't even look at any of the feats and martial arts below the Xin level. But, this body technique and treasure weapon are still useful. He took out the guilt wind chasing boots while putting them on. This treasure artifact automatically transformed into a pair of casual shoes. It feels like the wind has been generated under my feet. Step on the snow. Swish. Xiao Yao's feet stepped on the void in a split second of effort unexpectedly rushed out over 200 meters. Awesome. From now on I'll be an ancient warrior with the ability to fly over walls. This time it's not a loss. Xiao Yao couldn't stop smiling. System, check the panel. Host, Xiao Yao. Realm, first level of the strong Qi realm. True Qi value reaches 200 to break through to the next level. Technique, pine crane body forging technique, yellow grade medium. Vudra unbreakable body, Xian grade medium. Martial arts, eight extreme fist, yellow grade. Wind driving steps, yellow grade. Shooting star blade technique, Xian grade. Dragon subduing divine palm, earth grade. Treading snow without trace, Xian grade. Open Mountain Fist, Yellow Grade, 
items, flare blade, lower grade treasure artifact, guilt wind chasing boots, lower grade treasure artifact, spirit elemental elixir x3, barbecue seasoning, roses, blood chi dan formula, hundred year vermilion fruit x1, white stockings, basketball teen figurine, portrait collection, true chi value, 110, spirit points, 3872, evaluation, a small rookie chicken coming out of the novice village, this blood chi value has turned into true chi value, then the function of the spiritual yuan dan is, spirit elemental pill, one provides the host with 30 points of true chi value, three of them eaten better be able to reach the second level of the strong chi realm, with a thought, Xiaoya swallowed all three spirit elemental dan together, boom, boom, feeling the red sky true spiritual chi in his body grow, his strength once again rises by one level, ding, system prompt, the host has reached the stout chi realm, from now on, no rewards will be provided for suppressing a wufu realm powerhouse, Xiao Yao, stupid system, isn't a mosquito's leg still meat? What's wrong with you in the wufu realm? Isn't this world made up of millions of wufu realms? How can you emphasize the power of the qi realm without the backdrop of the wufu realm? It's simply a ruthless guy. Forget it. I don't care. Let's look for any powerful beasts. Xiao Yao shook his head and looked around. Ding, demonic beast group detected. White moon silver wolf. Oh exuberant, a pillow comes when you want to sleep? At some point, the sky gradually darkened and in the darkness, a pair of green eyes flickered with scarlet light, just worried that I have nowhere to utilize my strength, little babies, your grandpa is coming, dragon subduing divine palm, boom, Xiaoyao raised his fingernail and exhaled with a slap, the golden divine dragon illuminated the night, a bunch of wild wolves directly stood up in sweat, letting out screams of dying mom, big brother, you're using the dragon sword to kill a chicken, we are just ordinary wolves, you don't have to look down on us, ordinary is good, True chi is precious, so use it, with the dragon slayer's palm, these dozens of wolves were all reduced to dregs, ding, the host is strong, killed the first level of strong chi demonic beast, white moon silver wolf, true chi value plus one, ding, the host is strong, slay the second strength demonic beast, white moon silver wolf, true chi value plus two, ding, this dog system, this true chi value addition is really low, and the spirit points are gone, Xiao Yao cursed, he slaughtered more than 30 silver wolves with this slap, the true chi value had only added more than 50 points, but this dragonfall divine palm's power is too abstract, the ashes are all raised with one palm down, and I had wanted to find some powerful demonic beasts to roast and eat, Xiao Yao shook his head, forget it wolf meat isn't good either, I hope there are powerful demonic beasts deeper down for me to slaughter, Xiao Yao turned his head towards the depths of the mountain forest, chapter 28, host danger, encountering a vital spring realm great demon, Xiao Yao, Bear meat is delicious, love to eat it. What, to do? I, don't know ah, uh, there's no signal here, I can't even make a call. Nian Han, we're not going to die here, are we? It's all your fault. Excellence, Su Xing, it's all your fault for wanting to come on this adventure. Now get lost, and there are wolves, what do you say? Don't be afraid, Luja, I, I brought a lighter. Excellence brought a wooden sword, right, right. The young man named Su Xing held the lighter in his hand the only faint light the four of them had in the darkness of the night, what's the use, a lighter is still useful for scaring dogs, does it scare wolves, and you, excellence, you're more useful with a wooden sword than with an iron bar, do you want to burn a fire with a wooden sword, Lu Jia angrily cursed at the two, I, I'm a, sword, sword saint, my sword, that's, what it is, it's just a fart, excellence you middle child, what time is it you're still dreaming here, if you're a sword saint you go kill that wolf, no, not really, my Tongtian sword is still sealed at the moment, but, if I can awaken my previous life, nervous, excellence you're hopeless, Lu Jia was on the verge of crying, she still had great years left to enjoy, and today she was going to be buried in the belly of a wolf, Nian Han, what to do ah, we're about to die, I'm so scared, the four had retreated to the corner, Su Xing was holding a blue lighter in her hand, a little bit of firelight reflected the four people's fearful faces, more than 10 meters in front of the four there was a gray-furred wild wolf that was showing its teeth at the four. Ferocious intent was revealed. Finished, it's finished, my lighter is about to run out of fire. Sword Saint hurry up, kill that wolf. Su Xing watched as the lighter's flame became weaker and weaker little by little. His face was incomparably flustered. Damn it, if I can restore my cultivation from my previous life. Unseal ah, my Tantian sword. Excellence gripped the wooden sword in his hand tightly, his body trembling unceasingly middle-aged, excellence how long are you going to keep this setting up, Lu Jia was in tears, if I make it out of here alive I'm going to cut you off as a middle child, she yanked on her voice, 
Just then, the lighter's flame went out. Su Xing couldn't get it to light up. It's finished. The lighter's fire went out. It's all your fault Lu Jia. Why are you screaming so loudly? Ah, how dare you blame me if you didn't bring me here would this have happened? It's finished. I'm going to die. Ow. The wild wolf let out a roar and pounced towards the four. Brother Xiao Yao taught me. Taught me. Just at the moment when the wild wolf was about to pounce on the four. This is the. Eight extreme fist. Tong Tian. Palm. Chang Yan Han closed her eyes and slapped her palm towards the wolf's jaw. Bang. The wild wolf was directly sent flying by her palm. Hitting the ground a few times. Then it let out a wail and fled into the dense forest aside. Ah. Got it. At this moment. Su Xing raised the lighter in her hand. The three of them looked at Chang Nian Han with a dumbfounded expression. Nian Han, you are also too powerful, so you know martial arts. Just now you slapped away a wolf with one palm. Lu Jia hugged Chang Nian Han tightly with a face of surprise. Burying her head in her incipient pair, she rubbed and rubbed. Awesome awesome. Nian Han you're too awesome. You're much more awesome than those two losers. A middle child and a big dumb ass. Lu Jia cried and laughed, with a sense of celebration after the robbery. You two learn from Nian Han, two big men are not reliable at all. Humph. Lu Jia crossed her arms in disdain. Chang Nian Han was also a bit confused. When did she herself have so much strength? Was it just because of those few moves she practiced with Xiao Yao earlier? At this time, Excellence rubbed her chin instead. Nian Han, was that move you just used the Tong Tian palm from the Eight Extremes fist? Ha, huh? I don't know ah, it was a neighboring brother of mine who taught me self-defense. That brother of mine is very powerful. He knows martial arts and can chop up a green stone slab with a single stomp of his foot. Excellence's eyes instantly lit up. Sure enough, there are powerful forces hidden to the depths in this mundane world. If not for the fact that I lost my cultivation in my previous life, I should also have left a shocking name on this vast earth. The name of the Tong Tian Sword God for all eternity. Ouch. Excellence hurriedly covered his head. There is an end. Excellence how much longer are you going to move that setting of yours? Lu Jia scolded. Excellence touched his head and didn't say anything. It's a pity that, the mundane people are not able to understand what I'm thinking. Lu Jia, Chang Yan Han, Su Xing, stop arguing, let's hurry up and get out of here. I don't know what else is going to pop up later, and wolves all come out in packs. This wolf is most likely going to get help from the pack. Let's hurry, Chang Yan Han said. Right right right, go go go. Several people were about to leave this place. Just then, boom, a sound of breaking wind came. A gray shadow flew over brushing past several people and ruthlessly smashing into a tree. It was the black wolf that had fled earlier, and at this moment, this black wolf's waist was broken in its entirety, and it was already dead on the ground. The earth shook. A shadow stepped out from the darkness of the night. This shadow was incomparably huge, roughly estimated to be five meters tall. Roar! The brown bear let out a deafening roar. The four people were instantly frightened and blanched. What a! Big bear! How could there be such a big bear? Su Xing said in horror. His teeth were chattering. A five meter tall bear was simply unheard of. It's finished. We just got out of the wolf's den and into the tiger's mouth again. We'll definitely be accounted for here this time. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm still young. I don't want to die. Lu Jia was scared ducks sitting paralyzed on the ground. Crying loudly. The other few weren't much better. Xiao. Xiao Yao brother. Where are you? Chang Yan Han was also filled with fear. This kind of behemoth really wasn't something she could deal with. Not to mention the Tong Tian palm. The transported earth fist was useless. Has this life failed? Everything can only be saved for the next life. Excellence's middle-aged sickness was already sick to death, and he would die to carry out his setting to the end. Just then, a uh, bear. Bear meat is delicious. Bear meat isn't sour. This is much better than wolf meat. Ding. Warning. Warning. Host. Run. Fate spring realm demon detected. Fountain of life demon detected. Oh, come on. It's still a great demon? Five meter tall bears are indeed rare, and it looks like the mutation has gradually begun in some places in the wild. This bear's future potential is still okay. Well, it's worth killing for me. Xiaoya held up his flashlight and shone it directly on the brown bear's face. The brown bear was uncomfortably stabbed by the light and let out a roar as all of its attention shifted to Xiaoya's body. Ah, there's someone. Not, Nian Han. Why are you here? Hearing a familiar voice, Chang Nian Han turned her head. Brother Xiaoya. She showed a look of surprise. Just then, the brown bear roared angrily and rushed towards Xiaoyao at the speed of a hundred meter sprint. Nian Han you can't do this, if you don't go home this late, Auntie Chang is going to be worried. Xiaoyao lectured with one hand in his pocket and one hand holding up a flashlight. Careful, brother Xiaoyao, it's coming, handsome brother, quickly duck out of the way, the bear is coming, crap, be careful. Lu Jia and Chang Nian Han and the others let out anxious cries. 
Chapter 29, Backhanded Slap Out of the Golden Dragon. You're telling me to believe in science? Bang. So ah, uh, Nian Han. Brother Xiaoyao is a man who has been here before. Girls should go home earlier. And don't run around either. It's dangerous in the middle of nowhere. Hello, Nian Han? Are you listening to me? Hello, Nian Han? And at this moment, the four Chang Nian Han were already dumbfounded. Roar. The giant bear was unable to move as Xiaoyao slapped his head. It couldn't help but feel mortified. I'm a 5 meter tall giant bear, and you're a kobold of less than 2 meters. How dare you look down on me? The giant bear was incomparably enraged as he waved his bushy palm towards Xiaoyao. Die, stupid human. Ah, it's annoying. Can you shut up? Xiaoyao pulled out his ears. A backhanded slap was thrown out. Bang. The black bear was flung dozens of meters away by his slap. Chang Nian Han? Lu Jia? Su Xing? Excellence? No. Which one of you is the black bear anyway? It's better to be a little more controlled this time. No need for the dragon subduing God Pong. Let's dismember him first. Xiao Yao raised his hand. Swish. The flare blade that flashed with golden light appeared in his hand. As soon as this flare blade appeared, it directly illuminated the surrounding space of tens of meters, brighter than even the central light bulb. I should be the first person to use the meteor blade technique for dismemberment. Ha! Little black bear. You have honor with it. Swish. In the next second, Xiao Yao slowly swung his sword. Battling sword true intent. Cut. Boom. The radiant red sky true spiritual chi turned into sword light and whistled out. Snort. The rays of saber light tore through the void, emitting a roaring sound. Ow. The black bear let out a miserable howl as uncountable amounts of blood gushed out from its body. In the next second, the behemoth fell to the ground with a thud. The four people had been petrified in place. Nian Han. What is this brother? Of yours coming from? Is it in a movie? Lu Jia opened her mouth as if she was dumbfounded. How could it be making a movie? The feeling of blood splattering on my face can't be faked. Su Xing wiped the bear blood off his face with his mouth wide open. I don't know. Isn't brother Xiao Yao a martial arts practitioner? Chang Yan Han herself was dumbfounded. But, where did it look like he practiced martial arts like that just now? A glowing knife, flying out more than 10 meters of blade light. How to look at this as a batch of metaphysical awe. Knife guessed it. Strength is really amazing. When I recover my cultivation have the qualifications to fight with me. Excellence held the wooden sword, coldly spoke, but from his trembling hands can be seen that his heart is not calm. I've found it, found it. This must be the legendary immortal cultivator. I told you that immortal cultivators exist. I can't. I must find a way to get him to take me as his disciple. My dream of becoming a sword saint has touched the light of day. I'll ride the wind with my sword and rid the world of demons. My ideal. Aha. Immortal cultivator. I want to cultivate immortality too. Excellence's heart let out a roar of excitement that was hard to suppress, but the mystery and cold arrogance on the surface still had to remain. This was a necessary lesson of being a senior middle-aged dilettante. Ding! Congratulations to the host. You have killed a great demon of the fate spring realm. True chi value plus 20. Spirit points plus 200. Ah, dog system. Xiao Yao was already powerless to spit. However, he also had a feeling that if according to the system's judgment, the current time should be some time after the recovery of Aura. Then it was inevitable that the people and things he would encounter in the future would become more and more powerful. Brother Xiao Yao, what was that blade light you had just now? It's so powerful. Chang Nian Han looked at Xiao Yao with a look of reverence, her little eyes glowing. Brother, brother, hello, my name is Lu Jia. I'm Nian Han's best friend, you're really awesome, you're the most handsome boy I've ever seen. Xiao Yao lowered his head and saw a little girl, shaking her henna, looking at him with little stars in her eyes. Is this the legendary fine branch hanging fruit? No, are all female children this well developed these days? He turned his head and looked at Chang Nian Han again. Well, it seems that this female child is the exception. Ha 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 ha, my name is Xiao Yao. I'm sort of Nian Han's older brother. How did you guys end up here? Too careless for a big night. Hungry, I will roast some bear meat for you guys. An hour later. So fragrant, delicious, this bear meat isn't stinky at all. Lu Jia gulped down the roasted bear meat, looking like she had a big appetite. All the nutrition went there ah. This is really, raging ah, Nian Han should be quite stressed with her. Xiao Yao shook his head and laughed in the sun. Chang Nian Han noticed Xiao Yao's gaze and touched her chest with a tasteless face. Brother Xiao Yao big pervert, but it's okay, Nian Han is still young, there's still hope, but she didn't know that the so-called giftedness was something that was first revealed at a young age. You guys eat quickly, I'll send you guys out later when you're done. Xiao Yao smiled, he took a bite of the bear meat, the swallowing technique in his body was activated. Sure enough. To them it's just ordinary bear meat, but to me it's a great demon of the fate spring realm. Thanks to this stupid system, 
feeling the crazy plus one true chi points on his panel. Xiao Yao revealed a contented look. Brother Xiao Yao, aren't you going out with us? There's no rush. I still have to stay here for a while first. You guys go out first. Xiao Yao waved his hand and said. This was a big treasure. If he could encounter a few more of these things in a night, his leveling up would be gnarly fast. All right, but, brother Xiao Yao, what the heck was that you just did? Don't think too much. We're new age youngsters. We have to believe in science ah. Xiao Yao said casually. Roar. A large tiger with colorful dangling eyes and white forehead pounced over in the bushes on the side. This world is the world of science. Don't believe in those esoteric things. Study hard and serve the motherland is the right thing to do. Saying that, he raised his hand and swung out a slap towards the side. Aang. A golden dragon roared and rushed out. Golden light once again illuminating the night. The tiger was slapped into slag. A few people nodded numbly. They were already not surprised. In the middle of the night, having a fire here attracted an unknown number of wild beasts. What kind of wolves, jackals, tigers, bears, had already come for several rounds. At first they were scared and blanched. Later, after Shaya talked about believing in science and rejecting superstition while then slapping out a golden dragon, they were then completely numb. Science teaches you to slap a golden dragon, right? What principle is this? It's not taught in the books. Schools don't teach this either. Which school did you learn it from? We want to transfer there. Chapter 30, Taking a Tiger with Only White Tiger Bloodline as a Pet. Xiao Yao sent Chang Yin Han and the others out of the Deer Ridge, and then went deeper into the mountains once again. Although there's still a year to go before the aura recovers, it's already beginning to show in some of the deep mountains and old forests, and some sort of change has already begun. Xiao Yao pondered, the fact that a brown bear could grow up to 5 meters tall and act like a small mountain. This could already explain a lot. This deer ridge was still relatively large, spreading endlessly and running through three cities. Wild animals were in the minority. Ding. Warning. Warning. Fate Spring Realm Demon detected. Please run away. The system's alarm sounded. A yellow shadow leapt out from the mountains and forests, letting out a roar as it pounced on Easy. Good fellow. This tiger is really big. Xiao Yao looked surprised. This tiger was a hair bigger than those northeast tigers. Even some of the tigers from the primitive mountain forests were not this big. Moreover, a trace of humanized intelligence actually flashed in this tiger's eyes. Fruity. Xiao Yao raised his hand. Boom. The dragon subduing god palm slapped out. And the earth-shaking dragon roar illuminated a dark night. Roar. The tiger let out a cry of fear. It turned around and fled towards the distance. A faint layer of white light unexpectedly appeared on his body. Ding. White tiger bloodline great demon detected. The host is in danger. Danger. White tiger bloodline? Xiao Yao violently withdrew his hand. This tiger had actually returned to his ancestors. His body contained a trace of white tiger bloodline? It would be too much of a pity to kill it just like that. Xiao Ya thought about it. He decided to subdue this tiger with white tiger bloodline. And that tiger, seeing that Xiao Yao's dragon subduing divine palm did not fall, turned around and ran away without the slightest hesitation. Where do you want to escape to? Xiao Ya performed his lightweight skill of stepping on snow without trace and sat on the tiger's body in a flash. I'll give you two choices. Serve me as your master. Or, die. Swish. With a wave of his hand. The flare blade appeared in his hand and pressed against the tiger's neck. The tiger's entire body shivered as the cold blade light pierced it. It let out a whimper and finally obediently prostrated itself on the ground. Very good. From now on you will be my mount. Let's give you a name. Xiao Ya thought about it. You possess the bloodline of a white tiger. I hope that you can return to your ancestry to become a divine beast white tiger in the future. So let's call you white hair. I don't know if you're a female or male tiger. TSK TSK. Xiao Ya shook his head. Ding, congratulations to the host, accepting a vital spring realm great demon with a white tiger bloodline, true chi value plus 20, spirit points plus 200, for the next period of time, he and white hair went on a killing spree in the middle of deer ridge, white hair was responsible for gathering monsters, and he was responsible for killing them in seconds, when they encountered powerful demonic beasts, they stewed them and ate them, in one night, half of deer ridge was swept away by Xiao Yao, check the panel, host, Xiao Yao, Realm, 4th level of the strong chi realm, true chi value reaches 500 to break through to the next realm. Technique, pine and crane body forging technique, yellow grade medium, vudra unbreakable body, xian grade medium, martial arts, 8 extreme fist, yellow grade, wind driving steps, yellow grade, shooting star blade technique, xian grade, dragon subduing divine palm, earth grade, treading snow without trace, xian grade, open mountain fist, yellow grade, items, flare blade, lower grade treasure artifact. Guilt Wind Chasing Boots, Lower Grade Treasure Artifact, Spirit Elemental Elixir X3, Barbecue Seasoning, Rose Flower, Blood Chi Elixir Recipe, 
100 years vermilion fruit x1 white stockings basketball team figurine portrait collection true chi value 437 spirit points 5324 evaluation two and a half meters out of the novice village for a small rookie fourth level of the stamina realm this cultivation level is already quite enough it's time to go out xiao yao left deer ridge with white hair just as they were coming out of the corner Xiao Yao encountered a group of marshmallows and the residents at the foot of Deer Ridge getting together not knowing what they were talking about. Officer, that's it. Normally the Deer Ridge is kind of quiet even though it is infested with wild beasts. Occasionally there are wolves barking we're used to it. But last night was outrageous. Wolves barking, bears roaring, wild boars snarling, tigers grunting, and the most outrageous thing was that we heard a dragon's roar. Do you think there's something unclean in this Deer Ridge? This old man. Dragons are things that don't exist. Did you hear it wrong? How could it be? We all heard it. And that dragon's roar wasn't just one. There was one every few minutes. It's like it's in heat. Screaming non-stop. Yeah, yes. And the Deer Ridge also has a golden light at night sometimes. I think you guys should really send someone to check it out. Maybe there really is a dragon hibernating here. The 60-something-year-old uncle said mysteriously. Air. Old wave imagination is quite rich. Usually novels did not read less. Right? The police uncle had a head of black lines. I'm telling you guys. This kind of thing the state has to focus on. Otherwise at that time what aura recovery? What Shan Hai Jing recovery? What weird recovery? What eschatology descends? What will you guys do? There's no time to prepare. Police. Xiao Yao listened for a while, and a wave of sweat washed over him. There was a sense of shame of being caught in the act of doing something bad. The feeling was that he had made too much noise in Deer Ridge yesterday. Go go go. White hair hurry up. He slapped the tiger's butt and the tiger let out a low roar of dissatisfaction and then ran in another direction. One person and one tiger, cautious all the way, finally returned to the river villa. Mr. Xiao, you are back. The welcome guest of the river villa greeted her with a smile on her face, and when she saw the lethargic white fur standing beside Xiao Yao, her face suddenly turned white. Staggering back a few steps she almost fell on her butt. No need to rush. This is my pet is very obedient and not aggressive. Xiao Yao smiled and slapped the white hair on the head. The white hair shook its head in dissatisfaction as it stomped hard towards the ground. Splat! The lapis lazuli floor tiles were crushed by its stomp. The greeter was so scared that she sat on her butt on the ground. The look in her eyes seemed to be asking Xiao Yao. You call this non-aggressive? Xiao Yao's face turned ugly. Good you white hair. The field that was demolished. Snap! Xiao Yao kicked towards the tiger's butt. White hair turned around and fled. Xiao Yao's kick landed on the ground. The greeter's face turned green. It's true that it doesn't have much offensive power. But for you, what a person. One foot crushed the green stone slab. No wonder he dared to take a tiger as a pet. Rich people's hobbies can be eccentric, but they can't be evil. Mr. Xiao, are you sure your pet is not aggressive? If it hurts the other residents, it's fine. Go back and I'll make a big iron cage for it. Xiao Yao said indifferently. This is good. Although she was skeptical that an iron prison would not be able to shut down this tiger. But the tiger wasn't looking at her quite right anymore. Although she liked to help others eat, she didn't like to feed the tiger herself Ah, Hurriedly, she made way. Xiao Yao walked back to River Villa with white hair on his toes. You brat, be quiet. If you scare Nian Han and Aunt Chang, I'll stew you at night. Drink tiger bone soup. Xiao Yao threatened. White hair had a jolt and instantly shrunk his head. It's not too late for a gentleman to take revenge. One day I'm going to turn over a new leaf and become a master. Chapter 31 The probability of a robber is 0%. And the probability of a demonic giant is 99%. Heavens, brother Xiao Yao, why did you bring a tiger back? Seeing Xiao Yao bring back the white fur, both Chang Yan Han and Aunt Chang looked at the big tiger with a look of fear. Ha, huh, this is, well, a big cat mutated big cat, not a tiger. Ha 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 ha, Xiao Yao frantically gave white hair a wink. The white fur understood and immediately shrunk its head to make a meek expression. Surprisingly, it strangely let out a meow. Is there such a big cat? It's bigger than even the Northeast Tiger. Brother Xiao Yao, you can't fool me just because I'm stupid. Chang Nian Han said skeptically. How can I fool you? This is really a cat. By the way, it's, it also eats grass. It is. White hair. Go eat grass. Xiao Yao kicked up. The tiger jumped aside with a disgruntled face and began to bury its head in the grass. It was the first time he had ever been a tiger that he was so frustrated. Other tigers were the dominant force in the forest and only ate meat. In his own place, he not only had to be obedient, but also had to eat grass. He is really the most miserable tiger. But he can't help it. That human can slap a golden dragon. That's a golden dragon. It's a hundred times more powerful than this tiger. He's scared. He's never seen a human who's so ungodly. 
Sometimes should be like this. The time to be soft to soft, the time to be hard to hard, not only to be hard, but also to have the momentum of the dragon. As for now, it is good to be soft first. Is it really a cat? Brother Xiao Yao, can I touch it? Chang Yin Han fluttered her big eyes and asked curiously. Of course, white hair, give your sister Han a touch. White hair whimpered and drooped his head towards Chang Yin Han. Now it was good. Not only did it have to be bullied by this brutal human, but it also had to be touched on the head by this little girl that it could slap to death. Slap. Xiao Yao went up and slapped. What kind of attitude do you have? Reluctant. You're still aggrieved. Aren't you? Give me a smile. A twisted smile appeared on White Hair's face. I smile. I smile is not okay. Respect the tiger right ah. Wow. Really obedient ah. Mom you also come to touch ah. Chang Yan Han said to Chang Mother. At first Chang Mother was a bit scared. A few moments later the two were teasing the white hair with a smile on their faces. I'm going to take a shower. You be good and play with the two of them. Or else. In Xiao Yao's hand. A burst of golden light flashed. Yelp. The white hair was so scared that its sweaty hair stood on end. And all of a sudden. It fell to the ground. Touch. Feel free to touch. I won't be done until I'm bald today. At noon. Xiao Yao took a nap and the doorbell of the villa rang. It turned out to be the two brokers who had come to the villa earlier who had sent him a silk banner. Apart from that. Mr. Xiao, our chief has great admiration for your awesome hands, and now our police have received a very crucial case, and we hope you can help us. The inch-headed policeman looked at his watch with an anxious face while saying to Xiao Yao, What is it? Let's talk as we walk. The two men invited Xiao Yao to sit in the middle of the police car. It's like this. Mr. Xiao, there's a kindergarten on Orchid Road right now that's been hijacked by robbers. A class of children were all hijacked by that robber. He has a gun in his hand and has taken many hostages. We want to ask Mr. Xiao to save them. Don't you need a sniper rifle? That robber is experienced. Or he's hiding in the sniper's blind spot. There's a 99% chance that a hasty shot will hurt the hostages. The policeman said with a sad face. So we can only get the special offense team. The police officers with high skill to infiltrate and find a way to save the hostage. Subdue the robbers. Earlier we heard about your deeds Mr. Xiao. You once dodged bullets with your flesh at the crown bar. So we want to ask for Mr. Zhao's help. The police officer said. His face was a bit constricted. He was afraid of being rejected by Xiao Yao. A character like Xiao Yao. Even if he refused it would be a normal thing. To put it more bluntly. What did other people's life and death have to do with it? Even if Xiao Yao was unwilling. He could not force the other party. As the car traveled on the road. Xiao Yao's silence grew longer and longer. The inch-headed policeman was afraid that the next second Xiao Yao would come and say turn around. I'm not going. I can help you guys with this matter. Suddenly. Xiao Yao said, alas, I'm sorry to bother you, since Mr. Xiao refused, we'll think of another, whom, what did you say, you promised, the inch-headed policeman had a peak of joy, of course, but I have a precondition, what condition, that robber I want to kill on the spot, a flash of viciousness flashed in Xiao Yao's eyes, he remembered what the old man had told him back then, the reason why he was able to pick up Xiao Yao back under the mountain was because Xiao Yao was abducted by human traffickers, therefore, he grew up hating human traffickers to the extreme, including the kind of guys who hit their aim on small children. Just like this robber. How dare you use a small child as blackmail? Then don't blame him, Xiao Yao, for being ruthless. I'll have to consult my superiors on this one. The inch-headed policeman hung on to his Bluetooth. No need to ask for instructions. As long as he can save the hostage, he can be killed. The chief said that Mr. Xiao can lay the kill. Then things are simple. Xiao Yao casually leaned back in his seat and closed his eyes. Mr. Xiao, do you already have a plan? Do you still need a plan? Yes, that's a robber. She has 31 students in a class under her, including the teacher, and he has a gun. That classroom is closed on all sides with only a few windows, so even if we had to sneak in it wouldn't be easy. Honestly our confidence really isn't very high. We also purposely invited a few sect masters and experts from Qinglan City's National Martial Arts Community. But, even so, the probability of failure is as high as 70%. One slip up and the robbers will kill the hostages. The inch-headed policeman said worriedly. I can't wait to kill that robber. The inch-headed policeman clenched his fists in a deadly grip. Xiao Yao gave him a sidelong glance. What's your name? Zhang Gang. If I'm not mistaken, this hostage-taken kindergarten teacher, Zhang Qian, is your sister, right? Xiao Yao pointed to the list of hostage-takers and said. Right, Xiao Qian is my sister. She has always loved her job and valued those children. And I am familiar with her nature. Really when it comes to the critical time, Xiao Qian will sacrifice herself and die with the robbers. The inch-headed policeman clenched his fists in death. 
But I can't do anything, I guarded the people, but can't guard my own sister. A man's tears don't flow lightly, but only before the heartbreak. The inch-headed policeman's eyes were reddened, but he still maintained his stalwart demeanor. Brother, you are a hero, don't worry, I will save your sister. Nothing will happen to everyone, the only one who will die is that robber. A cold smile surfaced at the corner of Xiao Yao's mouth, and he suspected that this kind of unscrupulous robber would not be some future Mordor giant, right? In that case, TSK TSK. Chapter 32 The Demon Cultivator Brothers Who Were Poked to Death by a Pair of Chopsticks Rewarded with the Prison Suppressing Demon Fist Qinglan City, Qinghe International Kindergarten Director Fong, I'd like to ask why we haven't acted yet. One minute later, the danger to the children will be one point greater. Yeah, now that a few of us are there, and your special attack team members are ready to go, we can sneak in and rescue them at any time. Several rather hale-looking old men surrounded Director Fong. Among them, that Patriarch Luo was also present. And even the Koan Fist Patriarch Cheng Tushin was also present. Several people. We have to wait for one more person. Wait for who? All of my Qinglan City's Patriarch experts are here. Did you find any more helpers? Director Fong? Right. A teenage hero. A teenage hero? The Patriarch frowned. Very young. Right. It is young. In his early twenties. Nonsense. Nonsense. Director Fong. You're joking with us. A ten hairy kid. He can't even take care of himself, right? And you're asking him to save people? The patriarchs were in disbelief. Director Fong, I don't know what you think, but you can't put the children in danger because of a kid whose strength is unknown and is still late. That robber's mental state isn't right, and the children are in danger at any moment. You hurry up and let us cooperate with the secret agent team to save them. Within ten paces, I won't be afraid even if that robber has a gun, a patriarch said aloud. This, Director Fong was also a bit hesitant. Indeed, several patriarchs plus the special offense team, this lineup was already luxurious enough. If none of them could save anyone, then Xiao Yao's arrival would be of little significance. Thinking about this, Director Fong was a bit shaken. All right, since that's the case, then I'll trouble the several patriarchs. He gave a Jiang Hu salute to the few people. Well said. A few people's tiger eyes glared as a majestic aura was revealed. Leaping forward, I am most cynical of such bandits in my life. I must open his brain. An iron sand palm patriarch said as he waved his large bushy hands. Special offense team ready. Ready to infiltrate at any time. Director Fung gave an order. A group of special attack teams were ready. Surrounding towards the kindergarten. Several sect masters also began to move. Go. The leader of the special attack team waved his hand tactically. And several people bent down and surrounded that classroom. Patriarch Chang. Patriarch Luo. Later on. We will pry open the windows on the east side. Please. The two of you sneak in as fast as you can to subdue the robbers, the special attack leader said. The kindergarten's classroom was huge. The window on the east side just happened to have a piano next to it. The thug's back was to the piano. It was a covered dead end. No problem. With my coup and flash. Within 10 meters, one second is enough. Chang Tushin nodded. The special attack leader nodded. He waved his hand. And immediately a special attacker used a special prop to noiselessly pry open the glass door. And then slowly removed it. Up. The two men looked at each other. Swish. Chang Tushin leaped up first and wordlessly tumbled over the window, successfully sneaking into the interior. Luo Zongchu followed. But just then, a gun was aimed at Chang Tushin's head. Are you guys unable to understand human language? Ah, have to force me to kill hostages. Right. Bang. The man smashed the handle of his gun hard on Chang Tushin's head. Blood flowed down his head. Chang Tushin was furious and wanted to fight back. If you dare to fight back I'll kill these brats. The thug said viciously. Get out. Then he roared at Patriarch Luo with a fierce face. Helplessly, Luo Zongshu could only retreat. The thug held a gun to Cheng Tushin's head. Be honest, if you dare to move, I'll ask my brother to kill a hostage. At this point, Cheng Tushin was shocked to realize that there were two of the thugs, and the two were twins who looked exactly the same. One was holding hostages in the open, and another was secretly preventing the police from sneaking in. They had been tricked. The thug brother in the center of the classroom sneered. Reaching out with his big hand, he grabbed another kid from the side. He locked one hand around the child's neck and put a gun against Zheng Xian's head with one hand. I knew you guys would play tricks. Cops are the most cocky. So I purposely saved my hand. Oomph. Laughter flashed in the thug brother's eyes. Withdraw. Leave me alone. Retreat quickly. Cheng Tushin yelled at the special attack team outside the window. Go. The special attack team leader's face changed. He knew that the mission had failed. Hurriedly, he wanted to lead his men away. Yo. Leaving in such a hurry, you didn't even confiscate your gifts. The gangster brother sneered. 
one hand held a gun against Cheng Tushin's head, while the other hand threw a grenade out. Go, move, boom. A violent explosion came out. One by one, the special attack teams fluttered and dodged out. They were in an abnormal state of disarray, including a few patriarchs who were blown up in the dust. Although there were no casualties, their infiltration operation this time had failed, and they also lost a patriarch. Not only had they angered the thugs, but even one of their own had gotten hitched. It would be difficult to infiltrate again next. Director Fong frowned. What to do? Is it really only possible to let them go? It is really not willing ah. Right at this moment, a sedan drove in at a very fast speed and stopped not far away with a drift. Director Fong, how is the situation? I've already invited Mr. Xiao here. The inch-headed policeman came down from the car with an anxious face. You, you guys are? He saw the ugly-faced Director Fong, as well as the gray-haired Zongshir and the special attack team members. Alas, the infiltration plan has failed. Not only that, but Patriarch Cheng Tushin has also been taken hostage by them. These thugs are surprisingly twins. Each time they take turns to commit crimes, leaving us police with the illusion that there is only one of them. We've been tricked. Chief Fong viciously swung his fist at the car. This, that kids, and Xiao Qian are all right. The inch-headed policeman's face was very uneasy. For the time being, it's fine. But if you want to save people again, the risk and difficulty will become even greater. And ruffling the thugs again I'm really afraid that the hostages are going to have an accident. Director Fong shook his head. The inch-headed policeman's face was ashen. The scene was in a subdued atmosphere. Then, Mr. Xiao, it's already pointless. Please ask Mr. Xiao to go back. He can't help us anymore. Director Fong shook his head. There was no point in having another Xiao Ya when the special attackers and several Zong masters couldn't do anything. But, should we not let Mr. Xiao try? The inch-headed policeman hesitated. Young man, don't joke. What can a brat do that several of us Zong masters and the special attack team together can't do? Exactly. Ruffling the thugs again. What if they hurt the hostages? Things don't happen more than three times. The second chance is our last chance. Definitely can't give this precious chance to a brat to try. The patriarchs also spoke up. At this moment, a voice came out. Just because you guys can't, doesn't mean others can't. Immediately afterward, a silhouette stepped down from the car. A few sect masters are old and decrepit. It's only natural that they can't do it. He spoke flatly. Who are you calling old and decrepit? Kid which family's descendant are you? Speaking so insensitively. Not even a little bit of tutelage. The several sect masters burst into a rage and just raised their heads wanting to see what Junior dared to make such wild remarks. This look, G.A., directly froze in place. Long time no see. Several people. Xiaoya walked with his hands in his pockets with a calm face. Xiao. Patriarch Xiao. So it's Patriarch Xiao in person. Forgive us for not recognizing M.T. Tie with our eyes. We have offended Patriarch Xiao. Just now. How much the necks of the several old patriarchs were stretched out like giraffes. Now they were shrunken like tortoises. Seeing Xiao Yao coming, each one of them shrunk their heads and acted like human beings. He he, a few of you didn't say that just now. Xiao Yao opened his mouth with a leathery smile. Misunderstanding. It's all a misunderstanding. Ha, ha. The patriarchs smiled sarcastically. Even patriarch Luo very respectfully arched his hand towards Xiao Yao. I didn't expect that the person invited by director Fong was actually patriarch Xiao. Patriarch Luo said with a bitter smile. Patriarch Luo and Patriarch Xiao know each other? Director Fong asked suspiciously. Patriarch Luo smiled bitterly. More than knowing each other. Director Fong, if you had said that you had invited Patriarch Xiao, we wouldn't have come to help. With Patriarch Xiao around, what's the point of having us? It's also a waste of a rescue opportunity. Ha! Huh? Director Fong froze. Patriarch Luo briefly talked about Xiao Yao's actions at the Jingming Martial School. After listening, Director Fong sucked in a breath of cool air. The surrounding special attack team members all looked at Xiao Yao with shocked faces. Even the inch-headed policeman was dumbfounded. I didn't expect this young man to be so powerful. Originally, he thought that he could single-handedly take on Sun Wangchen's bar, so his hands were definitely good. But this was not good. This was simply heaven-defying. A person who single-handedly challenged seven great masters, all killed in one move. What kind of a master is this? The god of Wushu is alive. What's the situation now? Xiao Yao didn't pay any attention to the shocked expressions on the faces of several people and said casually, Yes, Patriarch Xiao, the matter is like this. Director Fong briefly described the situation. Patriarch Xiao, see what you need. We will fully cooperate with you. Right, that's right, Patriarch Xiao, as long as you give the order. A few of us old men will accompany you to make a break for it even if it's a mountain of daggers and a sea of fire. Several patriarchs also took a stand. Patriarch Xiao, please make sure you save these children. 
This is the hope of dozens of families. Patriarch Luo also arched his hand. It's useless for you guys to come if there's really a mountain of swords and fire. Xiao Yao glanced at them indifferently. The several patriarchs were immediately filled with shame. I will save the people. He narrowed his eyes and looked at the classroom. Here, Patriarch Xiao. Director Fong handed over a telescope. No need for this. This thing can't see as far as I can. It's only a few hundred meters away. Director Fong? A few hundred meters? Only? Are you serious? Xiao Yao looked at it for a little while. He spoke faintly. Director Fong, do you have chopsticks here? Chopsticks? Director Fong froze. Yes, give me a chopstick. Xiao Yao calmly said. This, Patriarch Xiao, this is not the time to eat right. What do you want to eat? After today's events are over, I will personally host a banquet for you. Director Fong frowned. Who told you that I want to eat? This time to eat is not a brain disease? I want chopsticks to save lives. Xiao Yao looked at Director Fong with an odd expression. Ah, save, people? There is there is. I'll immediately call someone to fetch the chopsticks. A police officer took a pair of disposable chopsticks from the car. Here, Patriarch Xiao. Director Fong handed the chopsticks to Xiao Yao. Well, it's almost at this angle. Xiao Yao weighed the chopsticks and muttered to himself. Eh? What is Patriarch Xiao doing? Can these chopsticks really save lives? A Patriarch asked doubtfully. It can't be that you want to stab someone to death by throwing chopsticks through a wall from hundreds of meters away. This is also too super metaphysical. What with the human sniper rifle setting? Can ah, you guys watch. Then, Xiao Yao's gaze condensed. Bang! He threw it with one hand. Zip! A sharp popping sound came out. A stream of light streaked out at a speed that was hard to reach with the naked eye. Who? Who fired that shot? Director Fong cursed at the sight. If you disturb the robbers and injure the hostages the consequences will be your responsibility. Alright, Director Fong. No one shot. It was me who threw the chopsticks. Xiao Yao said indifferently. Chopsticks. Chopsticks? The corners of Director Fong's mouth twitched. No, just now that one clearly even poked the air and exploded. You tell me it was chopsticks? Fat. What happened? Well, it seems like Patriarch Xiao threw out a chopstick. How is this possible? A chopstick can poke the air? You all heard that sound just now. That was a sonic boom. The Patriarchs were all abuzz. Are you saying that's the strength of a human being? The chopstick shot out like a meteor, poking through the wall like a piece of white paper. And at that moment in the classroom, the Thug brothers were still smug. Brother, this plan of yours is really tops. These few cops are definitely out of tricks. That's for sure. I can play with them like a monkey. Just like that group of drunken fools. Hey, just thinking of those cops' sad faces makes me want to laugh. The gangster brothers looked at each other and laughed. Chang Tushin was tied to the side, his face ugly to the extreme. However, brother, a short time those police should not act. You see this female kindergarten teacher looks white and tender. Why don't we have a good time first? These days have been in exile. I haven't tasted a woman's flavor for a long time. The thug brother looked at Zheng Qian's white face, and fragrant soft body with a greedy face. Zheng Qian noticed the other party's gaze and trembled. A color of despair flashed in her eyes. Could it be that her clean body was about to be sullied by this kind of brute? She even wanted to die with the two thugs. You can play if you want. Be careful. The thug brother nodded his head. He knew what kind of virtue his own brother had. Okay. The thug brother was ecstatic as he rubbed his palms towards Zheng Qian with a smile on his face. Just then, a stream of light broke through the wall. What the hell? Brother get out of the way. The thug brother's face changed drastically. He called out sharply. But it was still too late. Bang. The stream of light passed directly from the thug brother's temple. And then it ruthlessly stuck on the wall. Eh? Brother. Plop. His body directly planted on the ground. Chopsticks. How could it be chopsticks? When the thug brother saw that the murder weapon that killed his brother was actually a chopstick, his whole body was bad. Damn it. Teasing old me again and again. You guys really think I'm a sick cat. The gangster brother picked up his gun and was about to shoot towards a child. Well, there's a bit more. Well, this angle is just right. Go you. At this time, Xiao Yao had already picked up the second chopstick and threw it like a dart. Swish. The sonic boom sounded again. Ding. Congratulations to the host for decapitating the peak of the fate spring realm. Twin devil cultivator. True chi value plus 100. Spirit points plus 1000. Ding. Congratulations to the host for killing the peak of the vital spring realm. Twin devil cultivator. Rewarded with a Xian grade top quality martial art. Jingue voodoo fist. Oh exempt. Xiao Yao smiled crookedly. Tracing a Nike arc. Chapter 33. The middle aged sick kid wants to worship me. The system says he's a future sword saint. Time rewind to a few seconds ago. Seeing his brother being pierced through his head by a chopstick. The thug brother was shocked and enraged. But he was also completely ignited with rage. 
He turned around to look for cover, then he carried his gun and was about to shoot at the nearest kid, but just as his hand was about to pull the trigger, a sound of breaking wind came, getting closer and closer. He immediately reacted, his heart was shocked, and he was about to dodge, but the sound of the wind was already close to his ears. The next second, poof, the second chopstick broke through the wall and pierced through his temple, ruthlessly sticking into the wall. Clang, the Thug brother's pistol smashed to the ground, his entire body fell towards the ground, and in the last second before he died, his eyes were filled with endless confusion. Where the hell did this chopstick come from? Why is it so accurate and so amazingly powerful? Could it be that his brother had done all the bad things and was judged by the gods? All right, go save the people. After throwing out the two chopsticks, Xiaoya clapped his palms and smiled. Ha, huh? Director Fong was dumbfounded. Patriarch Xiao, what do you mean? Well, those two guys have already been settled by me. Hiss. Everyone instantly sucked in a breath of cool air. It was important to know that the place where those two thugs were hiding was a visual blind spot, and it was impossible to accurately judge their position through the wall. This was also the reason why snipers didn't dare to shoot at random, as it would only scare the snakes. But what about Xiao Yao? Your inhuman throwing power is also even if. How did you calculate their position? Prejudgment? Superpower? Perspective eyes? Fortune telling? It's unbelievable. But it was too late to think about it. Quickly, quickly, save the people. Director Fong waved his hand and ordered. A group of special attack teams rushed towards the classroom. Hiss. Several patriarchs stood in front of the two corpses with a look of horror on their faces. Both of these two were killed by a sharp object penetrating their temples, killing them with a single blow. And look at the chopsticks that are still stuck in the wall. What kind of amazing control is this? As far as I know these two criminals are hiding behind the wall. Right. In the case of eyes cannot see things, accurately across hundreds of meters, to chopsticks through the thick cement wall, and then two people killed in one blow, and the wound are in the solar plexus. Such tactics I can only say. The gods of heaven have descended to earth. The patriarchs looked at each other one after another, and in their eyes was a look of extreme shock that they couldn't hide. Patriarch Xiao, how on earth did you do this? Several patriarchs looked at Xiao Yao with awe. Just like that. Then that. Then Shu. Then bang. That's it. Xiao Yao gestured with his hand in the air for a while. The several patriarchs looked on in awe. All right, since the matter is settled to nothing I'll leave first. Xiao Yao said to Director Fong. Well, Thanks to Patriarch Xiao for stepping in this time. Patriarch Xiao is kind-hearted and chivalrous. Serving the country and the people. It's really admirable. Don't call me Patriarch. You are at least in your 40s. It's not awkward to call you like that. Just do it. You call me Xiao Elder Brother. I'll call you Brother Fong. Xiao Yao waved his hand. This. This can't be done. Why don't you call me Fong Di and I'll call you Xiao Lao Brother. Xiao Yao, you're old enough to be my father. Do you think it's appropriate? Director Fong scratched the back of his head awkwardly. At this time, the inch-headed policeman Zhang Gang also brought his sister Zheng Qian to Xiao Yao. He apologized to him repeatedly. Xiao Yao waved his hand to indicate that it was nothing. Several patriarchs still wanted to ask Xiao Yao for more advice. That patriarch Luo even asked with a puzzled face. Could patriarch Xiao have cultivated the legendary true qi? What true qi, patriarch Luo? We are in the 21st century that we have to believe in science. We can't spend the whole day tinkering with these nonsensical things. People who practice martial arts are just doing it to strengthen their bodies. Xiao Yao waved his hand with a righteous face. Well, Patriarch Zhao's lesson is right. It's me who took the liberty. Patriarch Luo arched his hand and said. Well, if there's nothing else I'll leave first. After saying that, he leapt into the air and used the snow treading body technique. His body transformed into a residual shadow slicing through midair. And in an instant, he flew several hundred meters away. It didn't take a moment for it to disappear in the eyes of the crowd. Patriarch Luo? This is called believing in science? Are you serious? Patriarch Xiao is truly a heavenly being. Zongshir Luo was incomparably lamenting. System, check the panel. After leaving from the kindergarten, Xiao Yao did not go home he went straight to the food market in Qinglan City. Host, Xiao Yao. Realm, 5th level of the strong qi realm, true qi value of 500 can break through to the next realm. Technique, pine crane physical forging technique, yellow grade medium, vudra unbreakable body, xian grade medium. Martial Arts, 8 Extreme Fist, Yellow Grade, Wind Driving Steps, Yellow Grade, Shooting Star Blade Technique, Xian Grade, Dragon Subduing Divine Palm, Earth Grade, Treading Snow Without Trace, Xian Grade, Open Mountain Fist, Yellow Grade, Jinjiehu Foxing Fist, Xian Grade, Items, Flare Blade, Lower Grade Treasure Artifact, Guilt Wind Chasing Boots, Lower Grade Treasure Artifact, Spirit Elemental Elixir X3, Barbecue Seasoning, Rose Flower, Blood Chi Elixir Recipe, 100-year vermilion fruit x1, white stockings, 
basketball teen figurine, portrait collection, true chi value, 537, spirit points, 6324. Comment, look at the panel once for every breakthrough? Look again and you're still the two and a half meter little chicken who walked out of the novice village. It's the fifth level of strong chi, and it looks like it's not far from the fate spring realm. Xiao Yao laughed lightly. If the stamina chi realm still belonged to the realm of humans, then the life spring was a completely different realm. After reaching the full circle of the chi strength realm, the true chi in the body is completely compressed and finally transformed into a spring, which is known as the fate spring. Spiritual power erupted from the life spring, which was a power that was even higher than the level of true chi. Spiritual power evolves all things, raising hands and feet like a god to open shirt disadvantage, and can even briefly stagnate in the air. That was the realm that was truly on the path of cultivation. Let's buy some vegetables and go back. Ask Auntie Chang to make something delicious at night. Xiaoya thought, picking and choosing at the food market. Ding, ancient spirit fruit detected, red sky dragonitis fruit. Just as Xiaoya passed by a fruit stall, the system suddenly beeped. Ha, huh? Xiaoya froze and his eyes whirled towards the fruit stall, finally resting in a box of apples. Red sky dragon inflammation fruit, seriously? He narrowed his eyes. Boss lady, how do you sell these apples? Xiaoya picked up an apple and asked. Three dollars a caddy, crisp, sweet and juicy, keep it delicious. The chubby wavy-headed boss lady said with a smile. Good, I'll take all of this box. Half an hour passed. Xiaoya joyfully returned to the villa holding a box of apples and a few bags of vegetables. In the living room, Xiaoya picked up all the apples. System, all of these are red sky dragonitis fruits? Please don't dream. Host, the red sky dragon inflammation fruit is an ancient spiritual fruit that is watered by the red dragon's precious blood and swallows the essence of heaven and earth. How could there be a box of it? The system said breathlessly. Oh. That means there's only one. Xiao Yao stroked his chin. Just eat them one by one. Nian Han. Eating apples? No. She just saw Chang Nian Han coming back with her school bag. Eat. Chang Nian Han smiled sweetly. Xiao Yao smoothly threw an apple over. Ding. Ancient spirit fruit detected. Red sky dragonitis fruit. Xiao Yao stumbled and saw that Chang Nian Han took the apple and wiped it before sending it to her mouth. He went up and snatched it with a sliding shovel. This one. Oh. I licked it. Another one for you to eat said and shoved another big apple into Chang Nian Han's hands. Ah, Chang Nian Han made a big red face. Xiao Yao didn't care. He held that apple as if it was a treasure. Click 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 click. Two bites were eaten in one go. Crap, this power, it's so damn hot. A terrifying heat rolled through Easy's body. He felt that the true chi in his body had actually increased by a full ten times. My realm. Seventh level of the stamina realm. Xiao Yao lost his voice and roared in shock. One fruit could raise him two realms. Host don't make a fuss. The medicinal power of the red sky dragonitis fruit is more than that. If it wasn't for the system's quick action, you would have burst into flames just now. The rest of the medicinal power is stored in the host's body and will be released when he enters the fountain of life realm. Worship the great system. Xiao Yao. But this red sky dragonitis fruit is indeed powerful. I feel like the power of the red sky true spirit chi within me has skyrocketed by a large margin. No. Red sky. Does that mean? Xiao Yao's eyes flashed. It wasn't an accident. This red sky dragonitis fruit could indeed resonate with the red sky true spiritual chi. The two were similar and homogenous spiritual energy. Brother Xiao Yao, what are you thinking? Seeing Xiao Yao's face change several times in a minute, as well as his incessant recitation of words, Chang Nian Han showed a puzzled look in her eyes. Was brother Xiao Yao practicing some kind of supreme martial arts again? Nothing, by the way. Nian Han, are you still practicing the pine and crane physical forging technique that I taught you last time? Aha, I've been practicing. Brother Xiao Yao's martial art is too powerful. I feel so much stronger. Chang Nian Han rotated her arms and said with a smile. Two days ago in judo class I put the teacher down in one go. Brother Xiao Yao you don't even know that look on their faces when they looked at me at the time. Mouths were open like they could stuff 10 eggs in them. Chang Nian Han said exaggeratedly with her hands in the air. Oh, then how about I teach you another set of boxing today? Really? Chang Nian Han's face was delighted. Of course it's true. Xiao Yao touched her little head. Go. Go to the courtyard, Xiao Yao said. By the way, brother Xiao Yao, today I invited my friends to the house for dinner rug. It's fine. Come on. It's quite good. It just so happens that I bought quite a few dishes today. Are those friends from last time? Aha, aha. By the way, I also called Shi Yun's sister. Sister Shi Yun said that last time in that martial arts center you escaped too quickly. And this time I will never let you escape so easily. He he he. Do you think sister Shi Yun likes you? Brother Xiao Yao. What are you talking nonsense? I'm not talking nonsense. Look at you two. You're both handsome men and women. Sister Shiryun's family condition is also good. 
Brother Xiao Yao, you're not bad either. You're a martial arts expert. You two are a good match. Why don't you just get married? Chang Yan Han counted on her fingers. Hey, you little girl, worrying blindly about my matters. Xiao Yao raised his finger and gently knocked on his head. Agu, you're hitting me on the head again. I'm not going to be able to grow any taller because of you. One meter five is quite good. Small potato in the south. Someone will love you when you go to the north. Oomph, ignore you. Brother Xiao Yao is too bad. Chang Yanhan flipped her ponytail and turned her head to raise her small mouth in a haughty manner. Then do you want to learn my boxing technique? To be to be. Brother Xiao Yao teach me. Chang Yanhan's face changed and she directly pounced over shaking Xiao Yao's arm. Then you're so good looking. Learn it well. This boxing style I'm teaching you is called the Eight Extremes Fist. Ever heard of the Eight Extremes Fist? Aha. Then watch. I'll give you a fight first. Saying that, Xiao Yao took a step out. Bang. The grass shook tremendously, followed by him swinging his fist out. A sonic boom emanated from the air as Xiao Yao used his hands and feet to quickly finish a set of imposing and terrifyingly lethal eight extreme fists. How about it? Can you comprehend a few points? Seeing Chang Yan Han's eyes staring at him motionlessly, Xiao Yao frowned and reached out his hand to shake it in front of her eyes. This is an epiphany? A flash of surprise flashed across Xiao Yao's eyes. The little girl's talent was so good? Watching him fight a set of punches and having an epiphany? only to see the bright light in Chang Yan Han's eyes getting more and more intense. And then she slowly put up the starting stance of the eight extremes fist and practiced it with one punch and one kick. The scene was quite like that of a patriarch. This comprehension is extraordinary. Looks like I'm going to raise a female martial god? Xiao Yao stroked his chin and thought. It was a good thing that Nian Han was strong. He then walked to the side and started practicing his newly acquired fist technique. The Jin Gui Voodoo Fist. Boom. Xiao Yao's eyes were slightly closed. And then his aura abruptly changed. It was like a golden lohan with angry eyebrows, and a domineering and masculine aura gushed out from his body. It appeared as if an invisible great devil had appeared before his eyes. He waved his fist seal to suppress the great demon. Xiao Yao, we're here. At this moment, Xin Shiryun's voice came from outside the courtyard. Four figures, two men and two women, walked into the courtyard. Boom. A few people had just stepped into the courtyard when they felt a terrifying pressure enveloping them. Lu Jia was the most unbearable. Directly flopped. Ducks sat on the ground. Excellence and Su Xing clenched their teeth in death and held on, their faces distorted by it. Xin Shi Yun held onto the wall, probably because she was the least affected due to her innate spirit body. However, her face was also pale with shock. Several people stared at Xiao Yao in horror. Only Xiao Yao's body swayed. His body seemed to emanate a boundless golden light, like a supreme hegemon traveling, waving his fists with the intention of seemingly tearing the souls of himself and the others to shreds. This is the power I have dreamed of, this is what I've always looked after. Excellence's eyes stared deathly at Xiao Yao's movements as he roared in his heart. Xiao Yao, what the hell are you? Xin Shiryun's eyebrows were knitted tightly. By now could she not understand that Xiao Yao was not a simple national martial arts expert at all. This terrifying aura was by no means something that an ordinary national arts master would be able to break out. Could Xiao Yao be an immortal cultivator? Xin Shiryun was shocked by this guess of hers, but there was nothing else to explain this current scene other than an immortal cultivator. After all, you've seen that national martial arts master practicing his fists when his fist can envelop a whole garden making it difficult for people to breathe and unable to move. Never seen it before, right? Xiao Yao, quickly stop it, we're running out of breath. Xin Shi Yun cried out as her eyebrows knit tightly. Xiao Yao only stopped his punches when he heard the voice. You guys are here? Ha, huh? what's wrong with you guys? He looked at the sweaty, panting four with a surprised expression. It's not all your fault. Xin Shi Yun gave him an angry look. Brother Xiao Yao. What on earth was that boxing technique you did just now? It was really too powerful. Lu Jia patted the fruit on her chest with force and said with a shake of surprise. A new fist technique I learned. Does it have a name? This boxing style? Excellence asked. There is. Fist of the subdued prison voodoo fist. Fist of subduing the spectral prison. Luohan voodoo. What a domineering boxing method. Excellence marveled. Eh? Young man. You are a little bit serious with your middle two diseases. Please master accept the apprentice's worship, accept the disciple. At this time, without saying a word excellence even knelt directly in front of Xiao Yao. Eh? I don't accept disciples. Xiao Yao waved his hand and said. Ding. The host's aura is unrivaled. The absolute sword saint submits on his own. Does the host accept the sword saint's disciple? Accept. Reward heaven's ultimate lower grade martial skill Tontian sword skill. Do not accept. Reward none. Xiao Yao directly froze for a hole. Absolute sword saint? You mean this middle-aged kid in front of you who thinks about being a sword saint every day? Are you serious? You're not joking with me? No. Even dreams can come true? 
then it's not too late for me to start dreaming about being a heavenly emperor. Chapter 34, Disciple. Look at this, a sword opens the heavenly gate. Well, in principle I don't take disciples, but principles can be altered. Xiaoyao stroked his chin. Ah, brother Xiaoyao, aren't principles not subject to change? At this moment, Chang Yanhan lifted from her state of epiphany and had just walked over when she heard Xiao Yao's words, she reflexively retorted, Little girl, if I say it can be changed, it can be changed, look at the sincere expression on your classmate's face, do you think it's appropriate to reject him? Ah, do you think it's appropriate, or do you think that brother Xiao Yao, I'm such a cold and heartless person, I've said it a hundred times, I'm a good person, kind and good person, Xiao Yao tilted his head and asked, slightly slightly, Chang Yan Han spat out her little tongue. The Xiaoyao brother she knew really wasn't a kind and good person. She remembered that last year. He would grab her gum and eat it. She was bullied and touched her head, causing her to be one meter and a half tall after a year. However, there are some words that Chang Yan Han only dares to spit out in her heart. Otherwise she is afraid that Xiaoyao will give her another chestnut to pop her head. Alright, get up. I'll reluctantly accept you as my disciple. Xiaoyao held up Excellence's arm. Ding, congratulations to the host, successfully accepted the future sword saint as a disciple. Reward Tontian sword skill. Many thanks master. Excellence was ecstatic, his face filled with smiles and yearning. Xiao Yao didn't move, but in his heart, he was also happy. This damn future sword saint was first crippled for him to fool around with. By the way, he picks up another overwhelming sword technique. Is it a loss? No, earned a lot. Moreover, since this disciple can become a sword saint, that means he must have a world of talent. Do not have to care about him. Throw two books of martial arts techniques to him to practice on their own. Hang a cheap master's name by yourself. Hey, 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 hey. This way a reckoning. Their own blood earns no loss. Xiao Yao ah Xiao Yao. Can come up with this method you can be really too chicken. Thief oh no. Smart. Well, since I took you in as a disciple, I won't keep it to myself, and will definitely teach you with all my might. You first say. What things do you want to learn? Excellence's eyes lit up and he blurted out without hesitation. Sword. Well, the sword is also considered one of the arts that master specializes in, right? Xiao Yao nodded his head in a pretentious manner. Then what else are you good at? Xiao Yao? At this moment, Xin Shi Yun suddenly asked with a sly wink. She was going to find a way to pull out Xiao Yao's old tricks today. Sword. Knife. Fist. Palm. I can do anything. Don't believe me. Then watch this. Bang. Xiao Yao backhanded a palm towards the sky. Roar! A golden dragon made of true chi rushed out. Ha! Huh, you're for real? Xin Shi Yun looked dumbfounded. On the contrary, Chang Yan Han and the others were already not surprised because they had already seen Xiao Yao's dragon subduing god palm many times. You've already seen the fist, then the sword. Swish! With a big wave of his hand, the flare treasure sword appeared in his hand. Giggling! And then Xiao Yao slashed out with a knife through the air. Boom! The terrifying blade sword and split a large tree in the distance in half from the center. And finally the sword. Xiao Yao was satisfied in his heart as he watched the dumbfounded expressions of several people. If it wasn't for the sake of fooling this sword saint into limping, he wouldn't bother performing these things. Sword. Sword. As soon as Xiao Yao thought about it he damn well didn't seem to have a sword. Forget it. Forget it. If I don't have a sword. I don't have a sword. It's just a big deal. Sword. Come. He let out a long shout and activated the Tong Tian sword technique. Snort. Instantly, a terrifying light flashed from the depths of the clouds, and in the next second, a sword light broke through the air and descended from the sky like a thunderbolt. Crap, there really is a sword. Looking at this invisible long sword in his hand, Xiao Yao was dumbfounded. This Tong Tian sword skill was truly worthy of being a heaven grade martial skill. It was too damn awesome. Apprentice, since you like swords, let's see how this sort of masters is. Xiao Yao held the sword in his hand and slightly reversed it, and then, he chopped out a sword towards the sky. Watch this. The name of this sword of my master is one sword opening heaven's gate. Giggling. A sword light that was so bright that even Xiao Yao was illuminated by it penetrated the sky. The wind and thunder were vast. And the sword light was sizzling. This sword was so powerful that it went straight into the clouds. As if it could really break open the gates of heaven with a single sword. The sword energy turned into a fierce wind whistling the hair of the crowd. In the next second. The clouds were directly dispersed and split in two by a powerful sword light. It was truly a sword that opened the heaven's gate. Excellence looked at the sliced cloud layer and couldn't calm down for a long time. Good. Good strong sword technique. One sword opens the gate of heaven. What a domineering name. One day I will also open the heaven's gate with one sword. Excellence clenched his fists in a deadly grip. The color of infinite longing filled his eyes. The corner of Xiao Yao's mouth twitched. 
This heavenly sword technique really can't be used blindly. This heavenly grade martial skill really isn't a cover. He was drained of all his true chi with just one sword. Now his legs were soft. A baby could push himself over. The remaining few people looked at Xiao Yao with more and more reverence. Xiao Yao. Seriously. Are you an immortal cultivator or not? Shun Shi Yun asked. It is. Brother Xiao Yao. Tell us. Don't do what you did last time. Saying something about believing in science than slapping a golden dragon. Senior, you even opened the heavenly gate with a sword today. You must be a legendary immortal cultivator. Excellence asked the same. The two decorations further back, Su Xing and Lu Jia, also stared with curious eyes. All right, I won't hide it from you now. I am indeed an immortal cultivator. Moreover, in the near future, Blue Star will see a revival of Aura. That's right. As he became stronger and stronger, there were some things Xiao Yao no longer intended to hide. Before, it was because he was afraid of getting himself into trouble. After all, he wasn't strong enough back then. But by now, he already had enough ability to protect himself. There was no need to hide it either. Moreover, with the revival of Aura and the Immortal Sect appearing in the world, this was not favorable for Huaxia who maintained order in the secular world. Instead of watching the disciples of the Immortal Sect come out and mess up Huaxia, it would be better for him to conspire with the state to suppress the Immortal Sect. Moreover, with the help of the state, Many things would be easier for him to carry out. There was no need to hide and tie his hands when doing things. Most importantly, those high-powered bigwigs would most likely become even more powerful existences in the future. If he contacts in advance and then suppresses it, TSK TSK TSK, this reward, that shall not get a soft hand. Therefore, telling Shin Shi Yun and the girls first is not a wrong thing. Ever since he went up to the Deer Ridge, Xiao Yao had felt it. The aura had gradually recovered from some remote areas and the white hair was one of the creatures that had been transformed by the aura, and the time shown by the system was most likely the time when the aura was fully recovered. According to this, the world's chaos was not far away. Chapter 35 Informing of the Aura Recovery Proceeding to break through the vital spring. Aura Recovery A few people looked at each other with disbelief in their eyes. Is this true? Brother Xiao Yao, Chang Nian Han said in surprise. How could I lie to you guys? White hair, come here. Xiao Yao turned to greet. Swish. Only to see a huge tiger rushing out of the home, leaping and smashing on top of the lawn. Ah, tiger. Lu Jia was so scared that Shua Fru trembled and sat on her but on the ground. Excellence and Su Xing's faces also went white. Xiao Yao, there's a tiger. Xin Shi Yun was even more scared that her entire body was now hanging on Xiao Yao's body like a sloth. Come down, big sister. You come down first. Don't come down. I'm afraid of the tiger. You drive it away. Xin Shi Yun buried her head in Xiao Yao's neck and stammered. It won't bite. It's a pet I keep. You hurry up and come down. Xiao Yao's head was filled with black lines. Zun do fake do. What am I lying to you for? Fine then. Shin Shi Yun reluctantly got off Xiao Yao. Her little face was flushed. Che, badass Xiao Yao. Unexpectedly not eating this. Chang Nian Han looked at Shin Shi Yun who was beaming with an unhappy face and her small mouth curled slightly. Brother Xiao Yao is a straight man. Soft and hard. It looked like he had to think of other ways to deal with her. However, Xiao Yao touched his nose. This niece was so plump that she almost couldn't suppress the gun. White hair is what I encountered in Deer Ridge. It's reasonable to say that tiger's as stout as it doesn't exist in our southern region. Moreover, white hair is more humane than an unusual tiger. I'm sure Nian Han knows this. And this is the effect caused by the revival of Aura. Just like the 5 meter tall brown bear you encountered last time. It was also affected by Aura to undergo mutation. And this is just the beginning. Once the Aura is revived. Animals will transform into demonic beasts. Plants will become elves. All sorts of heavenly treasures. Demons and devils will pop up. And there will even be ancient immortal sect cultivators coming out. The world of the future. You can imagine it. Xiao Yao grinned lightly. Seeing the shocked looks on the faces of several people. Xiao Yao pursed his lips. It looked like they were shocked. Then how did you know about these things? Brother Xiao Yao? Chang Yan Han asked. I learned about it by chance when I met an immortal cultivator who passed on a dream to me, and practiced supreme arts. Xiao Yao pretended to be profound, but you guys don't need to be too scared. This aura recovery is a general trend. The so-called soldiers come to block the water and water to cover the earth. With me, no accidents. The matter has come to this. So let's eat first. Smiling, Xiao Yao turned around and walked into the villa. After the meal, Xiao Yao passed on the pine crane body forging technique as well as a yellow grade boxing technique to a few people. As long as they practiced properly, it wouldn't take long for their strength to be comparable to the current generation of sect masters. Xiao Yao, Xiao Yao, I feel like we are going to save the world. Xin Shi Yun clenched her fists with an excited face. It was said that youngsters had dreams, 
but the same was true for young girls. When the secrets of the world are discovered, an oily sense of responsibility is carried on your back. At that moment, you will feel that you are different, a savior sent by God to save the world. And this, Xiao Yao called it, middle school disease. Master, when will you teach me swordplay? Before leaving, Excellence hugged a wooden sword and looked at Xiao Yao with a thirsty face. Swordsmanship, there will be. However, before practicing the sword you have to have a strong body first, otherwise how can you hold the sword with your fragile body like a chicken? So, first practice the boxing and pine crane body forging techniques I gave you. The way of the sword emphasizes gradual progress. There's no rush. When the time comes, I'll teach you the ultimate swordsmanship. One sword to open the gates of heaven. At that time, you will be the absolute sword saint on this earth. Xiao Yao flirted, a peerless sword saint. Excellence clenched his fists. What you said, master, makes too much sense. I want to be the absolute sword saint. There was ambition in his eyes, a blazing sun and a vast sun, manifesting his ambition everywhere. Successful in fooling. Hot-blooded youths are just good at fooling. Now I'll be able to take this heavenly sword technique with peace of mind. Otherwise I'm not really at ease with holding such an awesome sword technique. Xiao Yao shook his head. He returned to the villa. Time always slipped away inadvertently. Soon, a month passed. During this month, Xiao Yao didn't do much. He just wandered around on the road all day long, looking for robbers, thieves, bikers, punks, and rich kids. When he found them, he would take them with him to his lair, and then he would go to the door, and then he would end them all, reap a wave of true qi value. This has led to the Qinglan city police almost turning into a mahjong parlor in the last month. Xiao Yao's performance was better than all the police officers combined. Director Fong's old face was smiling like a chrysanthemum. His Qinglan city's crime rate for the month turned out to be the lowest in the province. The higher-ups praised him fiercely. It was all thanks to Xiao Yao, the man who cracked down on lawlessness and wiped out evil, who was simply his lucky star. When he saw Xiao Yao now, he was close to kneeling down and shouting Big Brother. Today, he heard that a rampant biker gang had been wiped out and all its members were tied up in dumplings and left outside the police station. Tomorrow, I heard that a rich man was beaten up because he molested a girl on the curb, and then his father, his grandfather, his uncle, his uncle, his first cousin, and his third cousin all went in for tax evasion. The day after that, the exiled murderer was kicked into the ICU. Anyway, the Qinglan City Police Department was empty. Xiao Yao was happy too, so he just wandered around all day long, and that Jinchi value boost was fast. Check the panel. Host, Xiao Yao. Realm, ninth level of the stamina realm, reaching 1. 000 true chi value will allow you to break through to the next realm. Technique, pine and crane body forging technique, yellow grade medium, vudra unbreakable body, xian grade medium, martial arts, 8 extreme fist, yellow grade, wind driving steps, yellow grade, meteor blade technique, xian grade, dragon subduing divine palm, earth grade, treading snow without trace, xian grade, mountain opening fist, yellow grade, prison suppressing demon fist, xian grade, heavenly sword technique, heaven grade, Items, Flare Blade, Lower Grade Treasure Artifact, Guilt Wind Chasing Boots, Lower Grade Treasure Artifact, Spirit Elemental Elixir X3, Barbecue Seasoning, Rose Flower, Blood Chi Elixir Recipe, 100 Year Vermilion Fruit X1, White Stockings, Basketball Teen Figurine, Portrait Collection, True Chi Value, 999, Spirit Points, 10243, Evaluation, Congratulations. Upgraded, walking out of the novice village two and a half meters by two big vegetable chicken. Peak of stamina chi now. At this pace, it's not far from the fate spring realm. Xiao Yao stroked his chin. Ding, releasing system mainline mission. Please break through the vital spring within three days. Successful, rewarded with sun true flame spark. Earth grade middle grade martial skill. Great sun burning sky seal. Earth grade lower grade sword skill. Green lotus sword song. Xiao Yao's eyes narrowed. This reward, it was just too rich. Good things aren't afraid of being plentiful. Let's have the usual lucky draw before the breakthrough. Xiao Yao laughed lightly. He had already accumulated over 10. 000 spirit points. And with 500 spirit points a time for the silver draw. He could have a 20 consecutive draws. Chapter 36 Breaking through the vital spring realm. Chang Nian Han's body. System. 10 consecutive draws. Do it for me. Xiao Yao barked out in order. Splat. The silvery carousel silhouette appeared in front of his eyes. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a fine quality item. Strong Chi 1 Demonic Beast, Steel Horned Bell Deer Blood and Flesh, 50 pounds, more, 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 more. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a fine quality item. A fine steel sword, it's nothing but hard. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a fine quality item. 
Yellow Grade Medium Grade Sword Technique. 3 Talents Sword Technique. It's not a very special sword technique. It's not bad. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a fine quality item. Yellow Grade Top Grade Fist Technique. Cohen Fist. A fist technique based on a dance with divine characteristics. Pair it with a pair of pants and a centerfold. And a basketball. And you've doubled its power. 9 things already. They're all things that aren't useful to me. But it would be appropriate to give them to Nian Han. Xiao Yao rubbed his cheeks. Did his luck end here? Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an epic level item. Divine Grade Feats. Blade and Sword Heavenly Scripture. With a sword in your left hand and a sword in your right. The sword will subdue the world. And all the gods will be protected. Xiao Yao. Divine Grade Merit Technique. This is a Divine Grade Merit Technique that is even higher than the Heaven Grade Merit Technique level. Blade and Sword Heavenly Scripture. The name sounds awesome. Woohoo takes off. A look of ecstasy appeared on Xiao Yao's face. There are still five. Zero 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 points left. Let's save them for when we draw something else. Xiao Yao rubbed his cheek in thought. Blade and sword heavenly scripture use. Xiao Yao's mind moved. Boom. Countless torrents of energy surged into his mind. It was as if he was listening to the sound of the great Tao, which shook the world. Xiao Yao snapped his eyes open. And in his pupils, there were black blades and silver swords blooming with divine light. Xiao Yao sat upright. His precious face solemn one hand pointing to the sky and the other to the earth. A wave of arcane fluctuations flowed. Sword. Swoosh. He pointed out a finger in the void. And an astonishing sword light shot out violently. Blade. Swish. He once again probed his hand and the flare blade fell into his hand. Giggling. The terrifying blade light rolled up a hundred grasses and a thousand piles of snow. What a terrifying blade and sword heavenly scripture. With one blade, I can even cut through an aircraft carrier. Xiaoya wore a shocked expression on his face. This was the extent of the terror of a god tier technique, directly raising his attack power by a level. Good. Next, break through the life spring. Xiao Yao grinned. As he operated the blade and sword heavenly scripture, the 999 true qi value on the panel had turned into 1000 at some point. Xiao Yao completely fell into slumber. Compressing and condensing the true qi into a life spring required time. And that time was very long. Therefore, Xiao Yao was in seclusion for three whole days. Inside the garden. Butterflies dragonflies, ants, and all kinds of insects stayed on his body. After three days of not moving at all, Xiao Yao's clothing even had a thin layer of light gray on it. His brother Xiao Yao all right? Chang Yan Han and Xin Shiryun looked at Xiao Yao with worried faces. It should be fine. Xiao Yao must have been practicing some powerful technique again. Xin Shiryun laughed. Well, I believe that brother Xiao Yao is the most powerful. Chang Yan Han nodded her head vigorously. Just then, outside the villa. This should be the place. I didn't expect that lowly mother and daughter to be able to live on such a nice ground. Were they adopted by some big money? Outside the villa, a middle-aged man in a black suit and a young man in a white suit with gold-rimmed glasses got down from an expensive Cullinan. Zhang Wei, go knock on the door. The middle-aged man faintly ordered. Okay, dad. Drip drip drip. The villa's doorbell rang. Who is it? Chang's mother was cooking in the kitchen. She wiped the water stains on her hands and went forward to open the door. Click. The gate opened. Two familiar faces fell into her eyes. It's. You guys. Chang mother's face completely changed. Anger. Unwillingness. And fear flashed through her eyes one after another. It's us. Chang you may. I didn't expect you to bring your own daughter to live in a villa. Which big money is on the list in this Qinglan city? The young man sneered and questioned. Wei Zheng. How to talk. No matter what. She's your great aunt. The middle aged man lightly chided. There was no hint of blame in his tone. Cut. What great uncle mother. But just a servant girl for good luck. Su Wei Zheng disdainfully bristled. What do you guys want here? We mother and daughter should have long since lost any relationship with the Su family. Chang mother said in an unkind tone. Chang you may. If you say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter? How can I say that the blood flowing inside that bitch is also my Su family's blood? Isn't it a perfectly normal thing for us to come and bring her back to the Su family? Su Wei Zheng laughed playfully. Thinking about it, seven or eight years have passed. I don't know how that poor girl from back then has grown up now. It's not good to not look good. Said he was about to squeeze inside the villa. Alas, you can't go in. Chang's mother wanted to block, but was pushed away by the young man. Is this your way of treating guests? Guests come and you plan to leave them outside the door? The middle-aged man, Su Xingrui, questioned indifferently. What kind of guests are you guys? Back then, you were the ones who drove Nian Han and I out of the Su family. What are you doing coming to us now? Aren't you afraid that humiliating us isn't bad enough? Chang Yumei said in a cold voice. Back then, she was originally a maidservant of the Su family, the largest mansion in Jia City next door to Qinglan City, and was violated by the Su family's youngest master one night when he was drunk. 
pregnant with Chang Nian Han, the Su family, for fear of the family scandal, let the Su family's eldest young master marry him, to be a concubine. She lived in the Su family as the concubine of the Su family's eldest young master for five or six years. During these five or six years she not only had to be bullied by the wife of the Su family's eldest young master who was explicitly married to her, she also endured the blank stares of the Su family's first family lineage, and even the family's subordinates couldn't look up to her. Later on, the Su Di Xiao's legitimate wife gave birth to a child. She then also lost her role, and the two of them were casually thrown out of the house by the Su family. They didn't care if the mother and daughter lived or died. The mother and daughter lived in Qinglan City for seven or eight years, originally thought that this life and the Su family would no longer have any relations. They didn't expect that they would come to their door again. Chang Yu Mei, I'm not afraid to tell you. Recently the Su family is going to cooperate with a big family in the Magic City. Marriage rushing, but most of the women in the third generation of the Su family have already been married. Think about it, the only one left seems to be the one in your family. So the family intends to, to take you guys back, let you all enjoy glory and wealth. Then, your daughter will marry into the big families of Mordor. Of course, an open marriage is impossible, but there is still hope for a concubine just like you. Su Xingrui said smugly, this is the family's gift to you. Chang Yu Mei, where is your daughter? Come out and let us meet her. Chapter 37, Fate Spring Realm Triple. True, I don't eat beef. Nian Han is not going to see you guys. You guys go away. I, Chang Yu Mei, made my child and I suffer for half of our lives because of a thought back then. I will never let her follow my old path again. Chang Yu Mei's thin body blocked in front of the two. I will never send my daughter into the devil's den again. Because of her own experience. She knew that the flight tipping in those prestigious families might appear to outsiders to be enjoying endless glory and wealth. But in reality what status does a concubine have to speak of? Once you lose your husband's favor, your life is completely ruined, and the subordinates and nannies all despise you. What's more, perhaps after getting tired of playing directly rewarded to their own men, which has no difference with the raising of an animal, and even more than the animal is very bad, at least the animal will not be beaten for no reason. And you, once your husband's legitimate wife look at you upset, your life is going to be a disaster. Therefore, Chang Yu Mei will never send her daughter to this kind of place again. Saying nothing will not do. If you say no, you can't. What are you? Su Zhang Wei stepped forward and pushed her away. Where is that little bitch? Quickly call her out. Old Mi is going to bring her back to the Su family today. Several people searched the house, planking and smashing all sorts of things all over the place. Stop. You guys stop. The commotion in the villa instantly caught the attention of Chang Nian Han and Xin Shi Yun in the garden. Mom, who are you guys? Chang Nian Han saw her mother, who had fallen to the ground, and rushed forward to help her up. She glared at Su Junwei's father and son with an angry face. Phew, you're that little bitch? It's not bad looking. TSK TSK TSK. Rather, it's cheaper for that stupid young man from Magic City. Su Junwei stroked his chin looking at the youthful and beautiful girl with infinite vigor in front of him and licked his lips. This kind of still a little bit of youthful is a different flavor. Who are you guys? Chang Nian Han blared at them with a face full of anger. Sister Shi Yun, call the police. Good. Shin Shi Yun said and picked up her cell phone ready to call the police. Phew, there's another big beauty here. TSK TSK, this is good. I like it. I can lick these long legs for a year. Su Zhang Wei licked his lips. A flash of amazement flashed in his eyes. This was much better looking than those what school flowers and department flowers he played with. Especially those long round legs wrapped in white stockings made him stand up at once. Too much of a poke at sexual fetishes. The socks could soak up the water for a few years. Seeing Su Zhangwei's lewd gaze, Xin Shi Yun felt incomparably disgusted. She had seen this kind of gaze on those men in college so many times. It was disgusting. She dialed 110 on her cell phone. Chick, how dare you call the police? Have some fun with brother Su first. Su Zhangwei lunged towards Xin Shi Yun. Snap. Xin Shi Yun's gaze narrowed as she lifted her leg to deliver a yin kick. She and Shang Nian Han had been working out the pine crane body forging technique together for the past few days, and now her strength had long been incomparable. Two or three big men couldn't beat him, let alone Su Zhang Wei, an overindulged male. Ow. With this kick, the chicken and egg instantly flew. Black, yellow and red flowed all over the place. Su Zhang Wei's eyes were glaring out. In that instant he clearly heard the sound of a broken egg. Pouncing. The entire person planted on the ground at once, foaming at the mouth. Instantly his body convulsed. Zhang Wei, bitch. Su Xingrui saw his precious son fall to the ground and became furious. Wasn't this kick directly nullifying his son's precious heirloom treasure? You damned bitch. Uncle Wang, make a move and arrest this woman for me. Su Xingrui said coldly. Outside the door, a pale silhouette flashed into the villa. Third master. The old man respectfully arched his hand at Su Xingrui. 
As the third master of the Su family, how could he go out without someone to protect him? This old man was his personal bodyguard, a grandmaster in the national martial arts world. Abolish this woman for me. If she dares to waste my son, I'll sell her to Burma as a prostitute. Su Xingrui said viciously. All right, third master. The old man's eyebrows were low and smooth, his hands naturally drooping, and there were thick calluses on his bushy palms. This kind of thing, he has done a lot, and he is also used to it. Snap. The old man was like a tyrannical dragon and rushed towards Xin Shiryun. Xin Shiryun's face instantly turned white. Although her current stance had improved, she was still essentially just a 20-year-old girl. Just as that old man's palm was about to fall, rumble, the villa suddenly began to vibrate crazily. Su Xingrui stumbled and almost sat on his butt on the ground, and that patriarch was also shaken to the core. Chang Yan Han helped her mother up and exchanged a glance with Xin Shiryun. Brother Xiao Yao made a breakthrough. Rumble, as expected. In the next second, there was a flash of electricity and thunder in the sky. Xiao Yao, who was sitting in the garden, opened his eyes violently. A tongue god like aura erupted from his body. This terrifying aura directly rushed up to the sky, dispersing the clouds as Xiao Yao's aura stirred around him like a gale emitting a deafening roar. As he exhaled and inhaled, white streams of qi surged out of his nostrils and tumbled in the air, turning into white mist that covered the entire garden. Countless flowers, plants and trees grew wildly under the nourishment of this white mist. The remaining medicinal power of the red sky dragon inflammation fruit lurking within Xiao Yao's body was all stimulated. At the Dan Tian, more and more spiritual energy gushed out from a vortex made up of spiritual energy. That was his life spring, and at this moment, next to this life spring, two other life springs were slowly taking shape as well. Is this the medicinal power of the red sky dragonitis fruit? Surprisingly, it allowed me to break through to the third sky of life spring in one breath. Xiao Yao's face revealed a look of surprise. Ding, congratulations to the host, successfully breaking through the fate spring realm, system mission completed, ding, congratulations to the host for breaking through the fountain of life realm, character panel updated, ding, congratulations to the host for breaking through the fate spring realm, system rewards issued, ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the sun true flame spark, the middle grade martial art, great sun burning seal, ground level lower grade martial art, green lotus sword zone, system, check the character panel. Host, Xiao Yao, Realm, Life Spring Realm Triple, Spiritual Energy Value of 400 can break through to the next realm. Technique, Pine and Crane Body Forging Technique, Yellow Grade Middle Grade, Vudra Unbreakable Body, Xian Grade Middle Grade, Sword and Sword Heavenly Scripture, Divine Grade Lower Grade, Martial Skills, 8 Extreme Fist, Yellow Grade Upper Grade, Wind Driving Steps, Yellow Grade Middle Grade, Shooting Star Blade Technique, Xian Grade Middle Grade, 18 Palms of the Descending Dragon, Xian Grade Upper Grade, Treading on snow without trace, Xian grade middle grade, mountain opening fist, yellow grade middle grade, prison suppressing fist of the vulnerable devil, Xian grade upper grade, sword technique of the passage to heaven, heaven grade lower grade, green lotus sword song, earth grade lower grade, great sun burning seal of the heavens, earth grade middle grade, items, sun true flame spark, flare blade, lower grade treasure artifact, guilt wind chasing boots, lower grade treasure artifact, spirit elemental pill x3, barbecue seasoning, Rose flower, blood chi pill recipe, 100 year vermilion fruit x1, white silk stockings, basketball boy figurine, portrait collection, spirit value, 300, spirit points, 5243, evaluation, dingy's cultivation warren, birdshot for cannon, grizzled author don't take the panel water word count, ha, Xiaoyao squeezed his fist and slowly emerged with a sentence, I don't eat beef, chapter 38, turn yourself in at the door, I've killed three people, ha, Xiaoyao frowned, he was naturally aware of the commotion in the villa. After all, even though he was in a breakthrough, his consciousness was still in the clear. He he, Nian Han's old family has come to the door? Interesting, go take a look. He got up and shook off the dust on his body and walked towards Nian Han's home. Alas, stopped? Phew, I thought there was an earthquake. Scared the hell out of me. Su Xingrui palpitated and patted his chest. Uncle Wang, keep doing it, don't stop. Good. Uncle Wang's gaze flinched as he erected his palm and ruthlessly slapped towards Xin Shiryun again. As an iron sand palm patriarch, this slap of his could even shatter rocks. Boom! A crunching sound came out as Uncle Wang was directly sent flying backwards. The entire palm of his hand was bent into an extremely weird arc from the wrist. Just like an old and withered branch, the bones had completely snapped, relying on the skin and flesh to still connect the arm from separating the palm. Uncle Wang's face was incomparably pale as he gripped his wrist. Cold sweat was all over his forehead. He looked at the silhouette that suddenly appeared in front of Xin Shiryun, and a strong fear flashed in his eyes. Who are you? He questioned with difficulty. 
Snap. Xiao Yao didn't even look at him and threw out a slap in the air. An aura actually heckled Uncle Wan's body and vanished into thin air. Ding. Congratulations to the host for killing a Fate Spring Realm first level expert. Spirit points plus 100. Spirit power value plus 5. This scene scared everyone silly. Especially Su Xingrui, whose body trembled. It was as if he had seen a ghost. Wiping a large living person out of midair with a casual slap? Was this a human or a ghost? Brother Xiao Yao, did you succeed in your breakthrough? Aha. Uh -huh. Xiao Yao reached out and touched Chang Yan Han's head. Then she saw that Aunt Chang had a bump on her forehead. With a frown, she gently stretched out her finger and pointed it through the air. Aura surged and the wound on Aunt Chang's head was instantly healed. At that moment, everyone was dumbstruck. Xiao. Xiao. What are you? Doing? She looked at Xiao Yao with a puzzled face, incomparably surprised. It's a long story. Aunt Chang. Just think of it as an immortal cultivator's means. Xiao Yao laughed. Xiao. Xiao have you become an immortal cultivator? Aunt Chang was incomparably shocked. Yes. What? What immortal cultivator? Kid. Say what kind of magic you are doing. What trick did you use? But that Su Xingrui was absolutely unable to believe it. Having lived under the light of materialism for decades he absolutely did not believe in these so-called strange powers. He flatly insisted that Xiao Yao was doing magic tricks and pretending to be a ghost. He he, ignorance is blameless. So be it, let you see it. Xiao Yao shook his head helplessly, only to see him raise two fingers. Green Lotus Sword Song. Hoo hoo hoo. A rolling gale surfaced around Xiao Yao, only to see an emerald green lotus bloom, with a tiny sword chi strewn around the lotus. Its sharpness could pierce one's eyes even if one just looked straight at it. Go! Xiao Yao flexed his fingers and flicked. Swish swish swish. Countless tiny sword chi flew out. Snip snip snip. Several sword lights flashed by, only to see Su Xingrui's hands and feet all chopped off. Ah ah ah. He was cut into a human stick and fell to the ground, letting out a fearful howl. So painful. It hurt so much. Ah. Believe it now? Xiao Yao asked with a smile. Believe it. Believe it. Ah. It hurts so much. It hurts. He nodded his head frantically and let out a miserable scream with a snotty nose. Well, since you believe it, then go to hell. Xiao Yao waved his hand. Bang. Su Xingrui's body directly exploded into smithereens. There was no longer any benefit for Xiao Yao to kill the martial and stamina realm ones now. Shen Shi Yun and the others sucked in a breath of cool air. Little. Xiao. You are. Killing. Someone. Aunt Chang said in fear. It's okay. Aunt Chang. But it's just some mole crickets. Besides, they have done a lot of evil. I don't kill them they will not have a good end sooner or later. Saying this, he smoothly slapped Su Zhangwei, who had already broken his egg on the side, to death as well. Then Xiao Yao waved his hand. Hoo hoo hoo. The gusts of wind turned in the villa and in an instant, the villa was organized. Even the broken bases were mended by his aura. Shen Shi Yun and the others were dumbfounded as they watched. Too powerful. Brother Xiao Yao I want to cultivate immortality too. Me too, me too. Xiao Yao I want to cultivate immortality too. Shen Shi Yun also looked excited. Fine, fine. I'll teach you some other techniques later. Xiao Yao smiled and said. At this time, Shen Shi Yun clutched her skirt with a bit of a twist. Is there that kind of gongfu that progresses faster? Her face was red as if it could drip blood. A pair of beautiful turquoise blue eyes revealed even more of a demonic charm. What kind of one that progresses faster? Xiao Yao asked reflexively. It's just double cultivation or something. Eh? Xiao Yao was sweating. This niece was even playing straight ball and was getting bolder and bolder. There can be. I'll take you to practice when the time comes. Xiao Yao said. Ha? Huh? Xin Shi Yun grew her mouth. Zun do fake do. Aunt Chang. You guys stay at home first. I'll go to the police station. After lunch, Xiao Yao said. Ha? Huh? It's fine. What are you going to the police station for? The three of them looked puzzled. Something as big as the aura recovery definitely needs to be told to the officials as well as the Su family. If you don't mind, Auntie Chang, why don't you guys go with me to the Su family tomorrow? How about I help you guys work things out together? Really? Naturally it's true. I won't lie to you guys, Xiao Yao said with a smile. Good. After dinner, Xiao Yao went straight to the police station. He dialed the phone number of the inch-headed policeman, Zhang Gang. Hello, Brother Zhang. Brother Xiao, what wind blew you here? Zhang Gang came out of the station with the phone in his hand. Did you catch any more criminal offenders? Yes. Who? Me. Zhang Gang? Brother Xiao. You can't talk nonsense. It's not nonsense. I killed someone. I killed three. Xiao Yao said in a serious manner. Are you serious? Seriously. You're not joking with me? Nope. Zhang Gang's face changed. You come in first. I'll look for Director Fong. Zhang Gang said with furrowed brows. Chapter 39. Telling the truth. 
Going to the military ministry. Brother Xiao, what the hell is going on here? Looking at Xiao Yao, who was sitting in front of him calmly and unhurriedly sipping his tea. Director Fong's heart was in a state of panic. You have to say that Xiao Yao has killed someone. Look, which murderer is drinking tea as leisurely as he is? But if you say he didn't kill anyone, he admitted to killing three people. And the police also went to his house to investigate and collect evidence. This thing is really true. So Fong is in a difficult position. Although Xiao Yao has helped the police to deal with many incidents, big and small, and has worked hard for a lot of credit, but you have killed someone, which is a big red line in China. Even if you have a lot of credit, if you touch this red line, you should be dealt with according to the law. Therefore, Director Fong was now in a dilemma. But on the contrary, Xiao Yao didn't seem to care. Director Fong, although I have killed people, but the ones I killed were the ones who deserved to be killed. That Su Xingrui had multiple murders under him, and all those rivals of his in the shopping malls were all killed by him in an extremely brutal way, and that Su Zhangming once induced to violate dozens of young girls, among them there are also underage, and afterwards even those who refused to accept his hush money family all killed. And that Wang Yishan, as Su Zhangming's big hand, has killed many innocent workers collecting debts, so it can be said that all three of these people have a way of taking death. Xiao Yao calmly took a sip of tea and said, I know, although I know, but brother Xiao Ah, even if they deserve to die, then the law should be the one to punish them. You can't lynch them. Director Fong frowned. I know, that's why I came here today to tell you one more thing. Director Fong. Xiao Yao crossed his legs. What is it? Director Fang asked rhetorically. It's a matter that concerns the survival of Huaxia and even the entire Blue Star. Director Fong, your rank might still be a bit short. I demand to speak with the bigwigs of the military department personally. Xiao Yao said calmly. So serious? Director Fong sucked in a breath of cool air. Then, this, I know you can't make a decision. So Director Fong, you can relay what I told you to the top and see how they react. Xiao Yao continued. Good, you say it. Director Fong nodded his head. Seeing that Xiao Yao's gaze had become grave, he also looked grave with it. He only saw Xiao Yao come slightly closer to Director Fong, and then spoke faintly. The aura is going to revive. Director Fong, I'll say it again. The blue star aura is going to recover. At that time, animals will turn into demons. Plants will become essence. And there will even be ancient immortal sects coming out of the world. The entire blue planet will be plunged into deep water. And China, as an eastern power, will naturally bear the brunt of it. Xiao Yao said seriously. Brother Xiao, you're not playing games with me. But in the next second, he couldn't speak. Only to see a cluster of fire suddenly rise on Xiao Yao's finger. And then he flicked it and the fire covered the entire handcuff. In the blink of an eye, the handcuffs were turned into flying ashes. I don't have to joke with you. And I, Xiao Yao, am not idly trying to joke with you. If Director Fong doesn't believe me, I can still show my means. Such as, only Xiao Yao was seen making a seal with one hand. A big flaming seal rotated in his hand. And a scorching aura came out. Frightened Director Fong retreated back and forth. And it was as if this interrogation room was going to be burned by this scorching flame. Director Fong's face completely changed. He was completely nonplussed. He stood up in fear and backed up again and again. This is my divine ability. Destiny Great Sun Burning Sky Seal. Just this small square inch seal in my hand can completely vaporize half of Qinglan River. Xiao Yao said indifferently. I don't know. Does Director Fong believe it? Xiao Yao asked. Looking askance at him. FaZe. Believes it. Brother Xiao. Immortal Master Xiao. Please also collect the avatar. Director Fong wiped his forehead. That little seal was just too hot. Xiao Yao dragging it was like holding a small sun. It was about to bake him dry. Then, is it possible for Director Fong to contact the top? The aura recovery concerns all the living beings of Blue Star. This matter cannot be delayed. Good good good. I'll contact the above. Director Fong nodded repeatedly. For the next half an hour, Director Fong made a dozen phone calls in a row, cascading upwards. His mouth was dry from speaking. Finally, the matter was finalized. Because of the importance of the matter, the military department was immediately ready to receive Xiao Yao. Fifteen minutes later, outside the police station, the military helicopter arrived. This is Brother Xiao, right? I am the Southern China Military Department. Shen Hongtang, a middle-aged man in his thirties or forties came down from the helicopter, looking a bit familiar. Xiao Yao couldn't recall who it was for a moment. Please, Brother Xiao, he said to Xiao Yao. Xiao Yao nodded and walked onto the helicopter. Since he was traveling to the base camp of the Southern Military Department, Director Fong did not have that qualification, and Xiao Yao was just the only one invited. The helicopter traveled through the air. The weather today isn't very good. The wind is very strong, causing the airflow to be very unstable. 
the helicopter pilot frowned and said, How long until we reach the southern military headquarters? Shen Hongtang asked. Normally there is half an hour left, but because of this weather, I think it will still take more than an hour. The driver answered honestly. Too slow. At some point, Xiao Yao appeared by Shen Hongting's side. How about this? Lieutenant Shun, you point me in a direction. We'll go to the military headquarters first, and this brother will slowly fly the helicopter over. Xiao Yao said. Ah, Shen Hongting was dumbfounded. It's a deal. The next second Xiao Yao actually pulled him and jumped directly from the helicopter. Ah 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 ah. Shen Hongting's face went white. He didn't have a damn parachute on. This was the end, going to fall into a meat pie. Calm down, Lieutenant Shun. Xiao Yao said, only to see his aura rolling up all over his body. Although the Fate Spring Realm did not allow for flight, but with his majestic aura, Xiao Yao wanted to briefly lag in the air. It was still not difficult to even fly for a while at a high altitude with light energy. Boom! Xiao Yao's body shook as his lightweight skill, treading snow without trace, was executed. Hoo hoo hoo! The gusts of wind around him swept past his ears as he pulled Shen Hongtang and disappeared directly into the distance. Lieutenant Shun, that direction? That way. What next? This way. Okay. Hoo hoo hoo. Xiao Yao sped through the sky with a person. Shen Hongting was numb. Xiao Yao was really going against the sky. The whole time he was seen stepping on a few leaves on a few trees to lend his strength. Although it wasn't exactly aerial flight, it wasn't far off. Before he came here, he was still skeptical about the so-called immortal cultivation and the revival of aura. He didn't expect this to be true. Ding, the host's magical powers are great. The first level of the Divine Sea Realm powerhouse worships the host. Spirit points plus 1000. Spiritual power value plus 50. Xiao Yao's eyes narrowed. Sure enough, the military department was just bullish. An adjutant was at the Divine Sea Realm. Now there was some anticipation of meeting those real bigwigs of the military department. Chapter 40, The Immortal Sect Recovery Claim. Big Brother's Fear. Old Wu. Do you think this immortal cultivation and aura recovery is true? It's hard to say, with my 5,000 years of history in China. It's also true that there are many things that science can't explain. Alas, if the aura really recovers, it will be another big trouble. No matter what, protecting this country and its people is what we should do. In the Southern Military Department, a few old men gathered together. They were all big shots in the military department. In China, they belonged to the kind of big shots that could shake a party with a stomp of their feet. However, so much time has passed. Why hasn't Hong Tang brought anyone back yet? An impatient old man frowned. At your age, isn't it good to be calm? Is it so short of time? The weather forecast said they had high winds and heavy rain. Maybe this affected the speed of the helicopter. Wait a little longer. An old man at the head of the group looked gray-haired, yet looked unusually hale and hearty. He was the commander-in-chief of this southern military division, Chen Anqing. As soon as Chen Anqing spoke, everyone else stopped talking, patiently waiting up here. Just then, a silhouette in the sky was getting closer and closer. What's that? Someone said as they raised their head and pointed at the sky. That? Even Chen Anqing narrowed his eyes. It seems like two people? People? The old people were shocked. People in the sky? Closer closer. It's really people. I'll go. I've seen a lot of things in my life. I've never seen a person flying in the sky. An old man grabbed his beard in shock. Protect the chief. At this time, as those two silhouettes got closer and closer, there were soldiers carrying their rifles and surrounded the old people in unison. Putting up their rifles, they aimed at the silhouettes coming from midair. Don't be impulsive. I Hong Ting. Chen Anqing put up his hand, and the soldiers' rifles all lowered. Hong Tang is back. That young man is Xiao Yao, right? What a surprise to old me. Chen Anqing's face showed surprise. Xiao Yao had just arrived and showed them a vicious hand off. Hoo hoo hoo. As the wind whistled, Xiao Yao carried Chen Hong Ting and came with his lightweight skills. At the end of the day, he flipped over and landed firmly on the ground. Two deep footprints on the ground were sunken in. Xiao Yao put Shen Hongting down with a calm face. Ha 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 ha, youngsters make heroes ah. This is really a youthful hero. Let the old man I've grown to know ah. Chen Anqing stroked his palm as he led the people closer towards Xiao Yao. This is. Xiao Yao narrowed his eyes. Come, brother Xiao Yao, let me introduce you. This is the commander-in-chief of my southern military region. Chen Anqing, elder Chen. So it's commander Chen. Meet Commander Chen. Upon hearing that the old man in front of him was actually the commander of the southern military region, Xiao Yao could not help but stand in awe. Born under the five-star red flag, it was these people who were silently paying for their peaceful lives. Little friend is polite. Originally, we old guys were still skeptical about what little friend said, but we didn't expect little friend to show us such a hand. Awesome awesome awesome. Chen Anqing looked at Xiao Yao with a fiery face, with the power that Xiao Yao was showing now. 
It was simply a god on earth. It could be called a humanoid nuclear weapon. Xiaoyao's kind of power even if he was sent to a certain country to decapitate the head of that country would not be difficult at all. He could sit in the town of Huaxia, which was the biggest security guarantee for Huaxia. Moreover, Xiaoyao was bound to have significant information about the upcoming aura recovery, and he might even have other resources at his disposal. It is enough to let Huaxia walk in front of all the countries. So, for Xiaoyao, they definitely want to befriend and draw in. If it wasn't for the fact that he was a bit old, Chen Anqing couldn't wait to become sworn brothers with Xiaoyao right now. This is nothing for me. Elder Chen is overpraised. There's no time to lose. So let me explain the matters of aura recovery to all of you. Xiaoyao said. He had never been a person who liked to waste time with polite pleasantries. It just so happened that the few old men were the same. Little friend Xiaoyao. This way please. Inside the conference room of the military ministry. If there were outsiders here. They would have been shocked to no end. As several bigwigs who had shaken China to its core had prepared paper and pens, and were obediently sitting in their seats like elementary school students listening to a young man at the head of the room, many of them were people who appeared on TV, and even the one from the imperial capital of China had initiated a video call. The time of the Aura's revival will be roughly 10 months from now, on the 4th of August in the year 2025 A.D., this is the day when the Aura will be completely revived on a global scale. However, according to my observations, in reality, Reiki has now slowly begun to revive in some remote mountainous regions, primitive forests, and amongst the oceans. During this period of time, I had once encountered many unusually sized animals in a barren mountain in Qinglan City, which is enough to prove that the aura has already arrived quietly without our knowledge. Xiao Yao said seriously, once the aura revives, all the creatures around the globe will undergo mutations under the nourishment of the aura. At this moment, an old man raised his hand. I have my doubts, little friend Xiao Yao. Is there a fixed category for the mutation of this creature? Is there a limit to growth? Unfortunately, there is no clear category, but I can tell you that for the powerful ones among them, the bloodline will undergo a regression, towards that of the ancient divine beasts, and the powerful ones among them might possess the mighty godly power of opening up mountains and boiling the sea, just like in novels and television. Xiao Yao said gruffly, the faces of the several bigwigs instantly changed. If these creatures appeared, it would be a real disaster for humanity. Chen Anqing frowned. On top of that, there will be an ancient immortal sect appearing. Xiaoyao once again threw out a heavy bomb. Ancient immortal sect? What is this? Some bigwigs looked puzzled. All of you can understand that in the Blue Star before tens of thousands of years of ancient times, there was the existence of a cultivation civilization. The powerful ones flew through the sky, lifted their hands to pick the stars, and took the sun and moon. But because of a certain reason, the aura of the Blue Star disappeared. Those powerful characters disappeared from the blue star, but before they disappeared they left behind an inheritance, and that inheritance is the ancient immortal sect. In the ancient immortal sect there exists a large number of immortal cultivators, the so-called immortals as understood by mortals, and every one of them has a strength that is not weaker than mine or even more powerful than mine. Once these ancient immortal sects with great strength are revived, guess whether this group of incoming immortal cultivators will submit to the state's management. At once. The faces of the several bigwigs became unsightly and abnormal. Flying in the sky, picking stars, taking the sun and the moon. They couldn't imagine what the blue star in the ancient times had experienced. But when it came to Xiao Yao's strength they knew a little bit about it. If what was about to come out was a batch of monsters like Xiao Yao, if a group of monsters like Xiao Yao were about to come out, the horror of the matter would be uncontrollable. Even the whole world would be turned upside down. Chapter 41 Warning The host has mistakenly entered a powerful immortal cultivation sect. Grinning, he killed up. Then, what should we do next? A few of the bigwigs looked a little unsteady. The thought of a bunch of flying characters about to appear in this world sent chills down their spines. Three points. Firstly, Universal Buwu. Xiao Yao raised his finger. The first realm of cultivation. Wufu realm quenches the human body skin, flesh, tendons, bones, marrow, blood and organs. As long as there are corresponding gongfu and medicinal herbs, the quenching can be accomplished without the need for spiritual qi. So my personal proposal is to start popularizing cultivation of immortality in the four major military departments of Huaxia first. Of course, I will provide the cultivation techniques and martial arts, as well as the Dan formula. Strive to make sure that after the recovery of Aura, Grand Xia can walk ahead of all the countries. Xiao Yao said seriously. Several bigwigs were nodding their heads. Just for the fact that Xiao Yao was willing to take out precious Gong Fa and martial techniques, they had to respect him. The second point, evacuate the foreigners. My Chinese bloodline can't stray to another country. Only with the unity and determination of all will we be able to get through the difficult times. In a month's time, 
Start evacuating the overseas Chinese from around the globe, Xiao Yao said. But, the sudden evacuation of overseas Chinese, the other country's side is not good to deal with ah. A bigwig showed concern. Old son, what time is it? The aura is reviving. China itself is facing a big crisis. And you're still here worrying about what other countries think? Chen Anqing asked with a frown. It's normal for old son to have worries. I'll solve this matter. Xiao Yao smiled lightly. If any country has a problem with the evacuation, I will personally go to their country and have a good chat with their country's top brass. After all, I've always been used to convincing people by force. Xiao Yao said with a leathery smile. Ha 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 ha. Xiao Yao Jr. is bold and courageous. Chen Anqing laughed happily. He naturally knew what Xiao Yao meant by convincing people with reason. And the third thing? The third thing? I hope that I will be given absolute power within the official Huaxia government. The chaotic world should use heavy punishment. In order to deal with the recovery of aura, I want to suppress all the unruly. Those who do not obey will be killed. Those who do not follow kill. Those who don't comply will be killed. Xiao Yao's gaze turned cold and stern all of a sudden. All sorts of bulls and devils will pop up next. I don't have that much time and energy to ask for instructions one by one when it comes to suppressing them with thunderous means, so I hope that the Huaxia officials can delegate their power to me. Please make sure that you believe that I, Xiao Yao, won't make any moves that are unfavorable to the country. Xiao Yao said seriously, the silence that several bigwigs fell into, regarding this request of yours, I allow it. Only the voice from the other end of the video came out. Next, I appoint you as the chief commander of the Huaxia Aura Recovery Program. With the power of life and death in your hands, and the power of preemptive action, the four major war zones in the southeast, northwest, and north will all fully cooperate with your plan. The hope of China is in your hands. Xiao Xiao Yu, make sure, don't let us down. The old man who lived high up in the imperial capital slowly said. Xiao Yao looked aghast. Don't worry, with me sitting on this earth, there will be no chaos. Several big brothers looked at each other, their eyes revealing shock. They really didn't expect that the one from the imperial capital would dare to delegate power like this, with the four major war zones all under the control of a young man. What kind of honor was this? In ancient times it would truly be one person under 10,000 people. Hiss. A boy with no name had all of a sudden stood in a position higher than all of them. It was simply unimaginable. Thank you, Fuhrer. Xiao Yao will definitely not let Hua Xia down. Xiao Yao lightly smiled. Lastly, Xiao Yao has an unforgiving request. Chief Chen. I wonder if I can gather all the elite soldiers of the southern military region to have a dueling battle with me? Xiao Yao grinned. This was one of the major reasons why he had come to the southern military region. Being the most elite soldiers of Dixia, there must be no shortage of powerful characters, as long as they were all suppressed. Xiao Yao felt as if he saw countless spirit points and spiritual energy values waving towards him. Eh? Several bigwigs looked at each other. They didn't know why Xiao Yao would make such a request. After all, you're so awesome. Is it necessary for a full-ranked big brother to fight a bunch of newbie village recruits? Although I don't know what Commander Xiao is going to do. Naturally it's no problem. Old son, urgent notice. Immediately have all the soldiers gather on the training grounds. I don't care what they're doing right now. Even if they're pooping make them clip their poop off and rush over. Chen Anqing said sternly. Yes, that elder son made a standard saluting motion and then walked towards the outside of the conference room with big strides. In no time. By the time Xiao Yao and the rest of them all arrived at the training ground, a bunch of uncountable soldiers had already gathered here. Ding! Warning! Warning! Warning to the host! Extreme danger to the host has been detected. The host has appeared in a clan with multiple divine sea realm powerhouses. Please run away! Please run away! Xiao Yao didn't move, but in his heart, he was overjoyed. As expected, the divine sea realm powerhouses that were extremely rare in the outside world were actually pluralized here. It's awesome! Worthy of being a soldier of the Grand Xia, there really was no shortage of gifted people. The group of soldiers stood in an extremely standard military posture. Their expressions solemn. Just looking at the podium revealed a hint of disbelief. Originally, there were usually only a few big brothers on the podium at the moment. Why would there be a young man who looked even smaller than them? The warriors looked at each other. Very puzzled. What right did a small young man have to stand in a position with several military region bigwigs? Ahem. Good morning, all warriors. Chen Anqing picked up the microphone and said loudly, Good morning, chief. The warriors greeted one another. I called you all here today for no other reason. It's actually that Mr. Xiao is coming to challenge all the warriors of our southern military region. Chen Anqing glanced at Xiao Yao, who was standing next to him with a smile on his face, and said loudly, What? The moment these words came out, the warriors below immediately stirred. Mr. Xiao, that's the young man? He's going to challenge all of us? Not. Challenging all of us? Is he taking fake medicine? 
With his thin arms and legs, I can beat ten of them, the ones like him I can beat a hundred of them alone, it's not an exaggeration, I can knock out two of them with one slap, it's not April Fool's Day, the chief is joking with us, the soldiers below discussed this in an endless stream, they looked at Xiao Yao with disdain in their eyes, mainly Xiao Yao's body looked too thin, and his bare skin was glowing white, whiter than a woman, in the army where bronze was the beauty, Xiao Yao's skin color was the most despised, it was simply a symbol of weakness, a group of Chinese warriors who had gone through all sorts of harsh training really didn't look at a youngster in the eye, it was no different from an ant pointing at a bunch of elephants and saying I will challenge you, chapter 42 the dragonfall god palm comes out, seeing me is like seeing an earthly martial arts god, alright, fellow warriors, I'm sure you're all very shocked to learn this news, but I can honestly tell you all, your chief is not joking with you, I am indeed going to challenge all of you alone, not by taking turns as you may have imagined, but by all of you present, Chief Chen, how many people are present right now, Xiaoyao asked with a smile, a total of 962 people, Chen Anqing answered truthfully, that's right, it's the 962 of you present together, I'm going to challenge all of you alone, not only that, I'm going to put all of you down within a minute, Xiao Yao grinned. At that moment, the scene was silent. The fighters were all dumbfounded. This person wasn't even taking fake pills. He was simply a psychopath. Even if they were over 900 little babies, it was impossible for them to be defeated in one minute. It's hard enough for you to step on over 900 ants in one minute. Which mental hospital ran out ha? Huh? You are. You think you're a pigeon. We'll explode if you look at us, and melt if you get close. Exactly. It's too funny. You think you're an immortal cultivator. You can suppress all of us with one palm of a flying dragon in the sky? You've read too many novels. Alas. I didn't think that the chief would call us here just for this kind of thing. It's really a waste of time. I don't want to waste my time here anymore. The soldiers were speechless. It would be better to listen to the psychopaths here than to go back and sleep a little more. The several big brothers were all smiling. Just now they had seen Xiao Yao's means of flying from the air but they hadn't really seen his real strength. So at this moment, they were also very curious. What kind of earth-shattering and terrifying greatness would an invincible immortal cultivator display? Naturally, he was also curious, only to see Xiao Yao take two steps forward, and then leapt into the air, leaping down from the four to five meter high podium. Yo, it's a bit of strength, but at four or five meters high this is just basic. Indeed, we are all able to jump from a height of eight or nine meters per capita. Chen Xiao is even more capable of jumping straight down from a height of over ten meters. That would be truly awesome. After all, he is the champion of the ability competition. Chen Xiao is the king of our southern military region. I think Chen Xiao could kill this kid all by himself. Right, Chen Xiao. The soldiers were all gathered around a young man who was wearing an undershirt and looked very lean and strong. He was Chen Xiao, the soldier king of the southern military region. Whether it was fighting, endurance, weighted running, or marksmanship, they were all number one in this southern military region. He was the elite of the elite, the king of soldiers of the king of soldiers. I can put him down in three moves. Chen Xiao looked at Xiao Yao and grinned. Worthy of being Chen Xiao. Awesome. The warriors patted his shoulders and laughed. Xiao Yao's gaze narrowed. Ding. Peak Divine Sea Realm Powerhouse detected. Danger. 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 A Peak Divine Sea Realm Powerhouse has shown hostility towards the host. Please quickly kneel down and kowtow to him to apologize. Xiao Yao. What a Peak Divine Sea Realm. I like to rise to the occasion. Your name is Chen Xiao right? Xiao Yao asked as he pointed at the young man in front of him. It's me. They all say you're very powerful. Then you'll be the first to PK with me. Xiao Yao casually hooked his hand. Naturally, but I won't be responsible if I hurt you. Chen Xiao said. After all, this young man was brought by a few chiefs. If he was the grandson of a certain big shot and held a grudge against him because of that, it would be a loss. You don't have to be responsible for this. Just go ahead and take your shot. I'll count it as a loss if you touch me. Xiao Yao waved his hand and said casually. Eh? The corner of Chen Zhao's mouth twitched. Why is this kid so pretentious? Does your mom know about this? I really want to give him two big mouths to taste. Chen Xiao assumed a fighting stance and leapt into action. Then went up and did a left square stomp. Then, snap, two big mouth sounds rang out. Chen Zhao's entire body flew backwards. Who am I? Where am I? What am I going to do? His head was in a daze. Just now, he had rushed up like this and then collapsed to the ground. The whole thing didn't even take more than a second. What the hell did this young man do? Crap, did you guys see what just happened? Clear as a motherfucker. My eyes were blurry. I just heard two pops and then Chen Xiao flew out. His speed was like a shadow. This is the kind of speed that people can achieve. He can't be a monster that came out of nowhere. The soldiers looked at each other with shock and disbelief in their eyes. Xiao Yao, on the other hand, looked as normal and was unimpressed. Alright, 
the most powerful one amongst you, Chen Xiao, has already been defeated by me? It's your turn next it's too troublesome to go one by one, let's do it together, it's easier to do it all in one pot. Xiao Yao rubbed his fist. Shit, this kid is also too arrogant. Exactly, defeating Chen Xiao just because he's invincible? There's a limit to how powerful Chen Xiao can be on his own. He wants to challenge more than 900 of us, he thinks he's Superman. Brothers, go, let's show him some power, slap him one by one, avenge Chen Xiao. Ha 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 ha, well said, smack him into the crooked mouth Dragon King. I want to whip his crotch. Shit, bro, a fetish can be cold but not evil. The soldiers cooed blindly, and then a group of them swarmed together. It was said that there were more than 900 people, but in reality there were only about 40 people who rushed up. But even so, it wasn't like any of them could be defeated on this blue star anymore. I've told you all to come together. There's only 40 or so of you. It's no fun. Xiao Ya shook his head. He slowly probed out a hand. All 900 pairs of eyes open up and watch. How I'm going to suppress all of you in one move. Boom. Said Xiao Yao as he slapped out his palm. Dragon subduing god palm. Boom. A heaven shaking dragon roar resounded. The power of the dragon falling divine palm struck by the vital spring realm was not comparable to that of the stamina realm at all. A ten foot divine dragon condensed entirely by spiritual energy rose up into the sky. A terrifying burst of spiritual energy stirred on its golden body as the divine dragon tumbled in the void. Alive and extremely divine. Even every dragon scale on its body could be seen truly. Aang. The divine dragon's mighty keening shook the entire southern military region. As soon as this divine dragon appeared, a terrifying pressure immediately filled the entire field. And in a single glance, over 900 good soldiers were shaken to the ground by the divine dragon's pressure. Unable to move, they raised their heads to look at the figure that stood proudly like a god, only to see the golden divine dragon encircling Xiao Yao, setting him off like an earthly martial god. Chapter 43 Harvesting the Rewards of the Military Region Breaking through the 8th level of the Vital Spring, the power is monstrous, directly pointing at the Jia City Su family. Ding, congratulations to the host, you've suppressed the peak of the Divine Sea Realm, rewarded with a thousand years of Jade Fruit. Ding, congratulations to the host for suppressing the first level of the Divine Sea Realm, Spirit Points plus 1, 000, zero, zero. Spirit Power Value plus 50. Ding, congratulations to the host for suppressing a peak life spring powerhouse, spirit points plus 300, spiritual value plus 30. Ding, congratulations to the host. Sounds rang out one after another, and in no time at all, Xiao Yao's spiritual energy value had added a whole 500 points. His realm had directly reached the terrifying 8th level of the fate spring realm. Hiss, this breakthrough is too easy. Xiao Yao sucked in a breath of cool air. Ding, reminder to the host, strong chi, life spring and divine sea are all accumulations and metamorphoses of spiritual energy in the body, and it's only natural that these three realms will progress faster. The system rarely spoke out and prompted. I see. Xiao Yao grinned. Fast is good. Ga fast. Let's talk about the back later. The front will rush up first. Hu hu hu. The golden dragon roamed around Xiao Yao. His body stood in place a terrifying spiritual energy was constantly vibrating. Xiao Yao's entire body was wrapped in the golden dragon as if it was glowing all over. Is this the power of an immortal cultivator? A few bigwigs from the military department looked at the lifelike golden dragon roaring the sky. Their faces were filled with shock. It was truly too astonishing. With this heaven-destroying power, that golden dragon was nowhere near the power of even a missile. They finally had a concept of the world after the aura recovery that Xiao Yao had mentioned. Humanoid nuclear weapons. Humanoid nuclear weapons everywhere. What a terrifying world it would have to be. The big brothers looked at each other. It was imperative to hold on to Xiao Yao the world's number one immortal cultivator, to the death. If China wanted to be far ahead in the new era, it could only rely on Xiao Yao. And don't hide it, since you want to show off your muscles, let's break through here, spiritual energy value pile it all down for me. Xiao Yao gave an order. Boom. Uncountable amounts of spiritual energy gushed out from the three life spring springs in his dantian, visible to the naked eye. There were another five spiritual energy vortexes spinning before slowly taking shape. Boom. A terrifying aura shot up from Xiao Yao's body. It shook everyone present and they all trembled madly and violently. Fate Spring Realm, Eight Heavens, ha 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 ha. Xiao Yao raised his voice to the sky and his voice exploded like thunder in the base of the southern military region. The soldiers were blown sideways by the thunderous sound. One by one, the bigwigs were holding onto their chairs, looking at the figures suspended in the air by the aura, their faces full of shock. Sunhai's sound shook the wind and thunder. It was simply comparable to a deity-like existence. As the eight vital springs vibrated, Xiao Yao only felt endless spiritual energy flowing through his limbs and bones. Those spiritual forces were like arms, and he felt unimaginably powerful. 
Even the Fate Spring realm is already this powerful. It's really hard to imagine the realms behind it. More and more I'm looking forward to the recovery of the spiritual chi and the ancient immortal sect. You guys must not have imagined that there's me. Xiao Yao, sitting on the throne in the current world, clenching his fist. Xiao Yao confidently collected his breath, falling from midair. How about it? Heads, this is the power I can display. He smiled and said to the several bigwigs of the military department. Snap. Several people all clapped their hands with smiles. What an eye-opener. Too strong. I almost thought I was facing a deity. The old man surnamed Sun said as he wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. Commander Xiao, can they all possess this power of yours as well? Chen Anqing spoke out and asked. No, I am special. In the current world where Aura has not been revived, it is impossible for them to have my level of power. But they can have the power of the Wufu realm. As long as they quench their bodies according to my Gongfu and medicinal prescriptions, they can all reach the Wufu realm by virtue of their talent. Xiao Yao said. A few big brothers showed a look of regret, whirling around but then they asked. Then what kind of power does the realm of martial husbandry have? The realm of martial man refines the physical body until the skin is like a steel membrane. The flesh is like iron. The tendons are like gnarled dragons. The bones are like jade. The pith is like mercury. The blood is like boiling water. The organs and bowels have no leakage of the true body. And the body has the sound of tigers and leopards thundering at every turn. This is the pinnacle of the martial arts realm of the great fulfillment of the physical body. To reach this realm, the human body can ignore bullets. Hundreds of thousands of pounds of force between the hands and feet. Even a high-speed truck can be used with the help of the body. It's comparable to the Hulk. Xiao Yao said forcefully. Hiss. The bigwigs all sucked in a breath of cool air. Just the first realm of Wufu is as terrifying as this. If the whole name of Buwu is used, everyone in China can become a super warrior. At that time, the lighthouse in Cherry Blossom 2 grips dare to China to point fingers. Direct super warrior pushed to their old home. On September 8th of next year, we will enjoy the cherry blossoms in Tokyo. A few bigwigs were trembling when they thought about it. After that, Xiao Ya left the pine crane body forging technique, the eight extremes fist, the mountain opening fist, and all the yellow level techniques that he couldn't use in the military. By the way, he also left behind the Dan formula for the body hardening liquid, which were all useless items he had drawn from the lottery. Naturally, he also managed to obtain what he wanted from the military department, as well as the power to execute everything in the mundane world. And the thing he was going to do was to punish the Su family in Jia City. After that, the military sent Xiao Yao back home by helicopter. It then worked feverishly to conduct experimental martial arts deployment in the four major military regions. In a month's time, the evacuation of foreigners would begin, as well as the preparations for the universal deployment of martial arts. Brother Xiao Yao, you're back, are you alright? Xin Shiyun and Chang Nianhan as well as Mother Chang had been waiting for Xiao Yao in front of the door for a long time. It's alright, everything is settled, Xiao Yao said with a smile. Really, Brother Xiao Yao, what did you rely on to solve it? Chang Nianhan was still a bit worried. Your brother Xiao Yao is an immortal cultivator. There's nothing I can't solve. Let's go. Go back. I'll give you some goodies. Several people entered the villa. Xiao Yao took out the hundred year vermilion kingdom and split it into two. It was given to Chang Nian Han and Xin Shi Yun respectively. It pushed their cultivation into the skin refining stage. Mother Chang refused because she had no intention of cultivating immortality. After the two women succeeded in breaking through the realm, their skin became even fairer, and their appearance went to the next level. Therefore, they were even happier for a long time. During the meeting, Chang's mother also told Xiao Yao about what happened back then. It was not far from what he understood. I see, Aunt Chang, if you don't mind. I will take Nian Han to Jia City tomorrow. Go to Jia City for what? At the mention of Jia City, Chang Mother's face changed a bit. Not for any other reason. Just for you and Nian Han to get out of the way for what happened back then. You treat me Xiao Yao like your own son. Nian Han treats me as her brother. Your matters are my matters. My Xiao Yao's loved ones must never be angered. Whoever insults, dies. A thick killing intent erupted in Xiao Yao's eyes. This, Xiao Xiao. That Su family is powerful in Jia City black and white, it even has a military background, the whole body will be affected, we can't fight them, Aunt Chang knows that you are now powerful, but, Chang's mother was still a bit hesitant, ha 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 ha, no matter, Aunt Chang, you still don't know me well enough nowadays, as long as it's within China, there's no one I can't offend, a mere Su family is nothing, consider yourselves to be accompanying me on a trip to take a break, Su family, I will make them pay a painful price, at this moment, Xiao Yao transformed into the Crooked Mouth Dragon King and suppressed all disobedience. Chapter 44, Ka City. Cruise Ship. Dinner Party. The stage is ready. The protagonist is chalked up. Jia City. 
Su family, Su Sheng Ruei, the Su family's youngest master, frowned as he dialed out one phone call after another. How come third brother hasn't been answering his phone? And Zhang Wei, he's not answering the phone either. Magic City's Tang Xiao is about to come. Su Sheng Ruei was spinning around from side to side in place. Anxious, right, where did young master go? At this time, he pulled a maidservant and asked. The first and second young master seem to have chartered a cruise ship. The servant girl replied softly. These two any are do wells. What a time. Still thinking about playing. Su Sheng Rui pulled out his cell phone and made a call. Dad, what's wrong? The commotion on the other end of the phone was quite noisy. With men and women screaming and music vibrating. Su Sheng Rui frowned. Magic City's Tang Xiao will be arriving at my Su family tomorrow. You're fooling around with your brother outside. But on the other end of the phone, Su Jingli didn't care at all. Dad, this is what you don't understand. We young people have our own circles. This cruise ship I chartered is for Magic City's Tang Xiao. He'll be out on the high seas with us tomorrow. Young people play a little more openly. Su Xing Ruwei thought about it and said something reasonable. In that case, then you treat young Tang well. Don't treat him badly. Don't worry dad. I'll definitely treat Mr. Tang so well that he won't want to go back. Right. Dad, do you have any money on your side? What? Is it the balance of the cruise ship? I'll ask Uncle Ma to put a million dollars in your card. Thanks dad. Su Jingli smiled and hung up the phone. Then play the music. Then dance. Su Jingli's excited shout came from the other end of the phone. Ugh. Su Xing Rui shook his head. Loser ah. Time went back to a day ago. You guys are going to Jia City? Xin Shuryun's eyes couldn't help but light up when she heard that Xiao Yao and the others were traveling to Jia City. That would be just right. Dang dang dang. You guys look at this. Saying this, she pulled out a luxurious invitation. This is. Xiao Yao looked at the invitation and frowned. Ha ha ha, an invitation to a big luxurious cruise ship, Xiao Yao you don't know, but Lu Jia is from Jia City, and I heard that tomorrow the Su family's eldest young man, Su Zhenli, and the Su family's second youngest young man, Su Zhenghong, have chartered a big yacht, and all those young masters and young ladies from the big families in Jia City have been invited, this is from Jia Jia, he he he, Xiao Yao, do you want to go with my lady, Xin Shi Yun asked with a smile, Xiao Yao thought about it, the Su family, wouldn't that be just right? It would be good to go and collect some interest back first. Can ah, uh, I'll go with you, Xiao Yao said with a smile. The next day, they traveled to Jia City in the Shin family's special car. The cruise ship is officially active in the afternoon, so we can still sleep in the hotel for a few hours. Shin Shi Yun shook her long legs wrapped in white stockings in the car. Xiao Xiao, Auntie is old, so what cruise you go with Nian Han and Shi Yun? I'll wait for you at the hotel, Auntie Chang said. Okay Auntie Chang. Tomorrow I will personally bring you to your door to the Su family. Xiao Yao said with a smile. You guys are going to the Su family? Right, going to the Su family to deliver a gift. Are you going? Xiao Yao smiled and snapped. Yes, yes. Xin Shi Yun laughed happily, not realizing the seriousness of the matter in the slightest. In the evening, Xiao Yao, Xin Shi Yun and Chang Nian Han took a car and headed towards Jia City's Jia Ning Pier. Jia Ning Pier was connected to a tributary of the Pacific Ocean and was indeed suitable for accommodating large cruise ships. Wow! Chang Yanhan looked at the huge cruise ship spread out in front of her and showed a marvelous expression. How about it? Spectacular! Isn't it? This cruise ship has a market value of more than 3. billion oh. Xin Shi Yun said with a smile. Xiao Yao didn't have much of an expression on his face. He was just thinking that this cruise ship could carry a few of his dragon subduing god palms. Nian Han, Sister Shi Yun, on the deck of the cruise ship. Xiao Yao saw Lu Jia who was wearing a bikini swimsuit. She was surprisingly followed by her disciple. Excellence. However, the other one called Su Xing didn't seem to be here. And after asking about it, it seems that he is sick, running the show. Let him retire sick from now on. Lu Jia ran towards them with an excited face. Nian Han, the quality of this best friend of yours needs to be strengthened. At this time, Xiao Yao said quietly. Ha, huh? why? Chang Nian Han asked with an innocent face. She doesn't speak of martial virtues and bumps into people with a ball. Xiao Yao rubbed his nose and said, At this moment, with that pair of huge fruit swing, the nosebleeds of the male compatriots around them almost spewed out. Chang Yan Han couldn't help but blush as well. Brother Xiao Yao you're being a hooligan. Unable to help herself, she turned back and pinched her own. It was too small. Squeezing it hard was useless. Chang Yan Han was on the verge of crying out. It was clearly a child of the same age. Why is there such a big difference? If you say she's rich, She's penniless, if you say he's poor, she has a whole airfield. Ah, brother Xiao Yao is here too. Hello brother Xiao Yao. Lu Jia smiled and waved at Xiao Yao. The top and bottom began to shake. Master, you've come too. I've broken through the flesh refining realm. 
Excellence greeted Xiaoyao with a respectful face when he saw him here. Xiaoyao took a look and saw that good lord, he had really broken through. This is the future sword saint. He is really gifted, relying on himself to cultivate at a fast pace. Not bad, one tenth of my level back then. Keep up the good work. Good master, I will put everything I have into the immortal path. The road to immortal cultivation is long. With you, master, my path is not lonely. Excellence was like holding a wooden sword in fighting chicken blood. White smoke coming out of both nostrils. Xiao Yao had a black line on his head. Living treasure, when he really becomes a sword saint in the future and then looks at the current black history I wonder what he will think. Yo, Miss Lu. At this moment, two young and sturdy figures walked towards them. Both of them looked similar. And both of them were each holding a buxom bikini beauty. Su Zhenli and Su Zhenhong looked at Lu Ji as henna and their nosebleeds almost flowed out. If I remember correctly this niece is just the same age as my own bitch's sister. Right. How to be so horrible inclusively. The dinner is about to start. Are you still not going in? The two asked. I'm waiting for my friend. Lu Jia said as she pointed aside. The two men obediently glanced sideways and froze the moment they saw Chang Yin Han. They picked up the picture their third brother had sent them two days ago and looked at it again and again. Crap. The bitch's sister sent herself to the door? Chapter 45, brother? What brother? Brother what? Don't recognize. Let's throw him into the sea and feed him to the sharks. Seeing these two people in front of her looking at her with strange gazes, Chang Yan Han frowned. The two men did not move and smiled, hiding their cell phones behind them. Su Jingli compared a look to his brother. Su Zhang Hong nodded, and then took the cell phone and walked to the side wanting to make a call. But this scene was how could it escape Xiao Yao's gaze. He naturally knew that the duo wanted to tip off their elders. Snap. Xiao Yao reached out and stopped Su Zhang Hong, then snatched his cell phone. Snap. With one blow, he threw it directly into the sea. Su Zheng Hong? The brain suddenly short-circuited for a few seconds. Immediately afterward, he directly exploded. Shit, who are you? You robbed my cell phone. Miss Lu, look at the person you invited. What quality? No way, I can't stand this. Fuck, the more I think about it, the more angry I get. The more I think about it, the more I lose. Su Zheng Hong's face was ugly. If you can't bear it, don't bear it. Come and hit me. Xiao Yao grinned, revealing an expression that owed him a beating. He had come here specifically to stir up trouble. If the two gentlemen of the Su family were to be peaceful he might actually reach out and not hit the smiling man. But if you do, hum, the dragon god palm serves. Just do not know your head in my dragon which is more hard. Hey, look at my temper. I've never seen you so beaten up. Swish. Su Zhenghong said that he was going to swing his fist and beat Xiaoyao up. There is no skill. It's all brute force. The purest hooligan fight. The fist goes to the head. Bang. Xiao Yao raised a foot and kicked him more than 10 meters away. The system beep didn't sound, indicating that this punk wasn't worthy. Su Zhenghong covered his stomach and convulsed on the deck. See, I was acting in self-defense. Xiao Yao skimmed his mouth and said, Self-defense, I'm defending your mother's old sow. Su Zhenghong was trembling with anger. This cruise ship was chartered by their two brothers, and they were still beaten up in their own territory? Uncle can't bear it. Aunt can't bear it either. Security, security, give me someone. Beat him to death. He directly greeted the security guards on the field. One by one, security guards carrying sticks rushed onto the deck. Xiao Yao leaned on the railing and smoked a cigarette, gulping down the clouds with a calm face. Apprentice, I'll give you 30 seconds to clean up all of them for me. I'll test your strength. Xiao Yao said. Yes, master. Excellence jumped out like chicken blood at the sound of his voice. Today, I, Excellence, am conquering the world on behalf of my master. If you want to fight my master, you must first pass me. Tong Tian sword. Sheath it. Swish. Excellence directly drew the wooden sword in his hand. Xiao Yao. If you're a middle child, you'll be fine after that age. So bear with it for now. Snap. Not to mention, Excellence's self-created swordsmanship really does have the flavor of a grandmaster. No wonder he is the future sword saint. Crap. This blind sword move of his wouldn't be the future Tong Tian sword technique. At this moment, Xiao Yao suddenly thought. That reward he received. The Tong Tian sword technique seemed to be a sword stance created by excellence. Blind Shang. I seem to have happened to Hua Dot. In a few round trips, excellence knocked a group of security guards to the ground. He was in the flesh refining realm. His flesh was like iron. Beating a group of security guards was not a piece of cake. It was as simple as killing Cohen. Who the hell are you guys? Come to find trouble right? Su Zhengli frowned and questioned. Otherwise Lu, you think I'm here to play? Pretend what ah. You don't just want to call your family people. Come to take Nian Han away. I don't know what's in your stomach. Xiao Yao grinned a disdainful smile. Su Jingli's brows furrowed and his gaze sank. 
you know, then my third uncle and third brother? Oh, dead, and a Zongshir. Together I slaughtered them, something wrong? Xiaoya touched his nose and said casually, swish, instantly, the two men's faces changed, you dare to kill my Su clan's people. The two men roared hysterically, can't kill, only allowing your Su family to kill others not allowing others to kill your Su family's people? What kind of reasoning? Xiaoya had a disdainful look on his face. My Su family has that capital. You dare to kill my Su family's people. Measure yourself if you have that capital. Su Zhengli was furious. Hey, you still have a point. Slap. Xiaoya went up and slapped him. Might as well tell you guys. I came to Just City this time to solve your Su family's troubles for Nianhan. Today, when I heard that you guys are having a silver party here, I purposely came over to find some trouble first. Ha ha ha. Didn't. I didn't think so. Too. Right. Xiaoya reached out and threw Su Zhengli's cheek hard. You're finished. Offended my Su family. You're absolutely finished. No one can save you. Su Jingli stared at Xiaoya with a deadly glare. No one had ever dared to bully her like this. She had never been wronged like this in her entire life. Oh exempt. I'm so scared oh. Bang. Xiaoya backhanded him with a slap and sent him flying. Don't blame me for not giving you a chance. Feel free to use whatever means you have. But I'll admit defeat if I wimp out a bit. Xiaoya said disdainfully. Fine fine, it's you who seeks death, it's you who said so. Su Zhengli's face was livid. Go, bring over the pistol in my jacket pocket. Su Zhengli commanded to the security guard at the side. Yes, young master. The security guard forced himself to stand up through the pain and ran towards the inside of the cruise ship. At some point, the cruise ship had slowly started traveling on the sea, and had already driven a short distance. Ahead is the open sea, even if I kill you there. No one would dare say anything. Kid, you're finished. Su Zhengli and Su Zhenghong, who had crawled back, glared at Xiaoya with a scowl on their faces. The wind is very noisy today. Xiaoya looked at the sea in the distance and said casually. At this moment, there were more and more people gathered on the deck. Most of them were upper class figures of Jia City society. Among them, there were even the sons and daughters of bigwigs from the southern military region in there. And they were also friends with the Su family. Brother Su, what did you encounter? Who beat you up like this? A fat man staring at a big belly among the two asked. It's this pussy, took us to the point where he dared to make a move on us, and he even killed my third uncle and third brother. Su Jingxing pointed at Xia Yao and said, Brother Chen, when we return to the shore, you must send someone to arrest him. Small problem. Fatty Chen waved his big hand. How dare you kill someone? Dog's guts. I'll inform my big brother to tell him to lead the soldiers of the military department to block him on the shore. As soon as he comes ashore, He'll be pressed inside the dungeon and executed on a date to be chosen. Fatty Chen's face was domineering, and some of the surrounding big family's young ladies' eyes glowed as they looked at his domineering posture. Fatty Chen was so pleased with himself that he looked like a pig with his fat meat shaking all over his body. He took out his cell phone and dialed a number. Hello, big brother Chen Xiao. Right, I'm on a cruise ship now. We have a murderer here. You hurry and bring the soldiers here. Arrest him. He's a violent man. You'd better bring your guns here. Fatty Chen said loudly. At this moment, Xiaoya walked up to him and snatched his cell phone. Ugh, what are you doing? Give me back my cell phone. Fatty Chen's face was ugly. Xiaoya gently raised his hand, and Fatty Chen's height of 1 meter 6 couldn't touch the phone. Hello, Chen Xiao, is this your brother? Chen Xiao on the other end of the phone, who was originally ready to call on a few of his brothers, suddenly stopped the movement of his hand. Crap, why was this voice so familiar? You are? I just beat you down yesterday, and now you don't recognize me? Hiss. Chen Xiao sucked in a mouthful of cool air as cold sweat climbed directly up his spine. Family members, who understands ah, I'm already sweating my ass off. HM, why don't you say anything? Chen Xiao, is this your brother? Xiao Yao frowned and asked again. Ah, nope, I don't recognize him, he is not my cousin at all. Commander, do you see where he has offended you? Anything that offends you is punishable as treason. I heard you're in the open sea, why don't you throw him to the sharks? Fatty Chen? Green bean eyes blinked. Not. Kidding? Are you really my cousin? Sure you're not being taken over? Chapter 46. What? The cruise ship is sinking? Doesn't matter. I'll step in. Directly hand tow the cruise ship. Here. Here's the cell phone. After saying that, Xiaoya handed the cell phone back to Fatty Chen. Do you say that you'll jump off yourself or I'll break your legs and throw you off? Xiaoya asked. Don't. I won't bother you to do it. I'll do it myself. Fatty Chen's face was ugly or he didn't know that he had messed with someone he couldn't afford to mess with. Even his old brother who was the military region's soldier king couldn't afford to offend him. Pouncing, his fat body rushed towards the railing. Wait a minute, brother Chen. Su Jingli hurriedly spoke out to stop him.
Don't say it. It's pointless. I've offended someone I shouldn't have. I'm dead. Fatty Chen jumped directly into the sea with a sniffle and a tear. No. I mean someone went to get the gun. We still have salvation ah. Su Jingli wiped a cold sweat on his face and said. Unfortunately, Fatty Chen was already happily playing games with the sharks in the sea, and he couldn't hear Su Jingli's words. When Fatty Chen jumped down to the sea not a moment later, the security guard came back with a gun. Su Jingli grabbed the gun from the security guard with an ecstatic face. Ha 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 ha, one gun in hand, the world is mine, it looks like you have some strength. Kid, even Fatty Chen and his family can't afford to offend you. Unfortunately, my Su family is no match for theirs. Die. Bang bang bang. Su Jingli shot out a barrage of bullets in one breath. Everyone else on the deck couldn't help but close their eyes, afraid of seeing the bloody scene of Xiao Yao being shot into a sieve. On the contrary, Chang Yan Han and the others were calm. Especially excellence. He even looked at the gun with glowing eyes. I wonder if my sword can cut through bullets. Su Jingli felt puzzled as to why these people were so calm. Could it be that they thought I was carrying a toy gun? But the next second he just knew why. Not only Su Jingli, everyone sucked in a breath of cool air. Only a few bullets stayed motionless in front of Xiao Yao. Xiao Yao casually raised a finger. With a light touch, the bullets turned into pieces. It was as simple and casual as crushing a Wangjai steamed bun. Su Jingli fell to the ground with a thud. See? The hell? Crap. This is really a ghost. Shit. The heavens are above. I must be dreaming. Su Jingli was so scared that he was directly incontinent. The smell of urine filled the room, and yellow liquid flowed across the room. Alright, I've given you the chance to perform your tricks. This bullet of yours isn't big enough. Look at mine. It should be like this. Only Xiao Yao spread out one palm. Spiritual energy condensed in his hand, transforming into a basketball-sized ball of light. Look. This is only big enough. From now on, follow this standard of mine. Spiral pill size. Boom. Saying that, he gave a gentle push. Everyone's faces changed. The crowd screamed and scattered in all directions. A ball of light this big? You're a pro at hand rubbing atomic bombs aren't you? Boom. The deck was directly bombarded by the terrifying ball of spiritual light. Su Zhengli was bombarded by this move and couldn't leave a bit of slag behind. There was just one Su Zhenghong left looking at the place where his brother was originally lying with a face full of fear. It was now a big hole. Oh, there's another one here. Swish. Xiao Yao flexed his fingers. Foolish apprentice. I'll teach you a move of the green lotus sword song. Snap. The small green sword flew out and came back holding Su Zhenghong's head. How about that? Handsome. Isn't it? Too handsome. Master teach me. Excellence's face was filled with eagerness. This was the sword art he wanted to learn off. Taking the enemy's head from a thousand miles away. Want to learn, right? Let's see you perform. No problem. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Master, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. Master. Excellence patted his chest and guaranteed. Tell you to eat shit and you go to? Eh? That doesn't taste too good. Xiao Yao. At this moment, the huge cruise ship unexpectedly started to pour. The young ladies and gentlemen on the cruise ship screamed in fear one by one. The cruise ship went into the water and now started sinking at a speed visible to the naked eye. It turned out that just now Xiao Yao's one spiritual power light ball had directly leaked water from this cruise ship. Damn. Accidentally overplayed his hand. Xiao Yao helplessly rubbed his nose. Brother Xiao Yao. What should we do? Are we going to be buried at sea? Chang Yan Han asked as she grabbed Xiao Yao's hand. Although Xiao Yao was a powerful immortal cultivator, he couldn't plug up the cruise ship if it was leaking. It's not like immortal cultivators are repairmen. Small problem. Watch me. Only Xiao Yao stepped out. Swish. He landed on top of the sea wrapped in a terrifying force. And then Xiao Yao put one hand against the cruise ship. Rise for me. Boom. Terrifying power revived from within Xiao Yao's body. The sea turned up waves all over the sky. And Xiao Yao looked up to the sky and whistled. Just like a god reviving. That cruise ship was actually hardened by him with a monstrous huge force. Aha. Uh -huh. The cruise ship is floating. It's up. It's up. That man toppled the cruise ship up. It's so awesome. Is he an immortal cultivator? He's so strong. So capable of toppling. So powerful. I want to give birth to him. Slow down. Slow down. The wheel is coming at my face. Only to see Xiao Yao surprisingly topple a cruise ship hard. And then as he powered up. Xiao Yao stared at the cruise ship towards land. Ding. Congratulations to the host. Shocking the strongest of the vital spring realm. Sure enough there were a few fate spring realm powerhouses on this cruise ship. Though not many but it also provided him with a portion of his spiritual energy value. It's possible. Ninth level of fate spring. Breakthrough. Boom. Xiao Yao raised his voice to the sky and the ninth spring in his body gradually emerged. Terrifying spiritual energy stirred the sea. He dragged the cruise ship towards the shore. 
Chapter 47, Cruise Ship Sinks, No Sun, Cruise Ship Okay, The Sun Is Still There, The Cruise Ship Is Fine, The Sun Is In The Mail. What did you say? Rikako and the others' cruise ship is sinking? How could it sink for no reason? The Sioux family had yelled at the cell phone and with a dumbfounded look on his face. It seems like it was hit. Through. The scared voice on the other end of the phone came out. Do I look like a fool to you? Two black lines on the forehead of the Sioux family head. The cruise ship was pierced? Big brother. This is a cruise ship that's squarely worth several hundred million dollars. Not a ship toy. You couldn't even punch through it even if the backstrap man came. Really? Master. Now many families in Joshing City have received calls from their children. The cruise ship has been pierced by a spiral maru. The voice on the other end of the phone continued to ring. Not. You are addicted to playing are you? Do you think I look like a fool? Su Xingrui spoke through gritted teeth. Oh, house master, the wind has changed. It's now saying that the cruise ship is being dragged up. That person dragging the cruise ship is rushing towards the shore. Su Xingrui, there's a lot of people at the pier. The police are all here. Master of the family, do you want to come and take a look? Look at your mother. You're fired. Ha, huh? master of the house, why did you expel me? Is it wrong to tell the truth? The voice on the other end of the phone was directly confused. Cerebral palsy, playing me for a fool. What spiral pill? People towing cruise ships. Why don't you tell me about aura revival? Novel brain. What kumba you think about all day long? Wait isn't it going to tell me someone dinged the signing system? Silly thing. Su Xingrui casually threw his cell phone onto the sofa. Old ma, prepare the car. I'm going to see which idiot is blindly spreading rumors. A Maybach slowly drove out from Su's house. Wow, there are really so many people. What's the situation? Director Wang. Su Xingrui held his belly and squeezed through the crowd blocking the pier. He walked over to police chief Wang Dalong. Ah, it's Ba Su, Ba Su, something's wrong. Chief Wang held a telescope and looked out to sea. Someone has pierced a cruise ship with a spiral maru. The cruise ship is going to sink. But I heard that the guy retoed the cruise ship. Director Wang laughed. Chief Wang, do I look like a fool to you? Not like ah, uh, how could parent Su's wise and honorable face look like a fool? Then you're here to tell me nonsense? Chief Wang, how about you are also the police chief of Jia City? The face of our Jia City, you have to speak through the brain, cannot be the same as incontinence, said to come. Now in the end what is the situation? My son is on a cruise ship ah, uh, if the cruise ship is going to sink won't my son be in danger? If something happens to my son and my nephew, Su Xingrui was still rambling. Director Wang, however, happily raised his binoculars. Coming, it's coming, the cruise ship is back. Ha, huh? it's really here? Su Xingrui grabbed the binoculars. It's really here, it looks like it's fine. The cruise ship being pierced must be a prank by someone. As a huge cruise ship got more and more docked, the crowd at the pier were starting to stir. Son, are you alright? Daughter, scared mom to death. Honey, nothing can happen to you. Otherwise, what will happen to our child? If something happens to you, I'll have to reluctantly stay with your husband, but I can't let go of your mom. I can't break up with your boyfriend's mom either. So don't let anything happen to you. Maintaining the status quo is the best. As the cruise ship got closer, someone seemed to finally get a good look at it. Crap, there seems to be a silhouette underneath the cruise ship. Nima, this cruise ship is suspended. Crap, someone is really dragging the cruise ship. Is he a superman? Immortal cultivator? Click click click. Flashbulbs clicked. Cell phones and cameras were bursting with shots. Xiaoya dragged the cruise ship to take it all in. And he didn't say much. The recovery of Aura was something that would happen sooner or later. And letting the general public know about it earlier wouldn't be a bad thing. Boom. His body's Aura stirred. And the nine life springs rotated at high speed. In the end, the sea tumbled and his figure shot up violently. The cruise ship's speed instantly increased. Boom. It finally managed to dock at the shore. Arrived. Arrived. Hurry up. Where did that fierce man towing the cruise ship go? Look for it. Where did Superman go? I must catch an exclusive interview with Superman's big brother. The reporters searched everywhere, but Xiao Yao's silhouette had already disappeared. At this moment, the young ladies and gentlemen on the cruise ship slowed down. One by one, their hearts palpitated. Relatives rushed up one after another to look for their own silhouettes. Hey, where are my son and nephew? Su Sheng Rui, who couldn't find his son and nephew anywhere in the crowd, pulled a woman and asked, Su family master, the woman was slightly shocked to see Su Xingrui, your son and nephew, oh, are dead. Su Xingrui only felt his head buzzing. Dead, how did they die? Who dares to kill my Su family's people? It was because of killing your Su family's people that the cruise ship was blown through by Spiral Maru. Ha! Huh? Su Xingrui instantly only felt that the CPU was almost burned off. In the end, he only came to his senses after the woman explained half a day. 
That person dragging the cruise ship was actually the murderer who killed his son. Su Xingrui was jolted. Old Ma, let's go. Go home. Okay, my lord. However, master, the two young masters were murdered. Are we not going to take revenge? Old Ma asked doubtfully. Revenge? Revenge a turtle. I didn't hear that he can tow a cruise ship. Can you beat him? But, master, we don't need to fight hard in the modern world. We can outsmart them. Outweet? That's a good idea. Let's send your mom to do some seduction. Poison her kombucha? Uh, master this is not good. My mom is 87 years old. Then send her to your daughter. Uh, my daughter has AIDS. Fuck, you piece of shit. Get lost. Yes master. At this moment, Xiao Yao, who was being searched for by the crowd, had already taken Chang Nian Han and Xin Shi Yun and the others off from the cruise ship. Halfway through, Lu Jia followed her parents back, while Excellence heard that Xiao Yao was going to pick a fight, so she had to follow him. So the two men and two women took a cab together and headed to the Su family. This is the Su family. Excellence, go up and knock on the door. Xiao Yao said, Okay, master, said Excellence as he went up and was about to reach out and knock on the door. What are you doing? Xiao Yao asked as his face sank. Knocking on the door. We're here to pick a fight. Who told you to knock on the door like that? There's no skill at all. I'll teach you. Learn. Bang. Xiao Yao went up and kicked a door more than 10 meters away. Excellence looked dumbfounded. The big iron door that flew out instantly scared the lady gardener in the yard who was pruning the branches and let out a chicken call. It also drew everyone in the Sioux family over. At this moment, the Sioux family's oldest three quacked, and the Sioux family's oldest was on his way back. There was only one second oldest sitting in the Sioux family. What man? Chapter 48 A fist is power. A fist is power. To make a powerful fist is power. Su Li Rue, the second oldest member of the Su family, rushed out. Ahem, it's alright, just came to tell you guys that I'm here to pick a fight. Xiao Yao waved his hand. Looking for a fight? Dare to come to my Su family to find fault. Don't want to live. Su Lao Air waved his hand. The novel essential runner security corps then rushed up in a swarm. Practice ah, snap. Xiao Yao threw out an aura. Dry flying a group of security guards. Sure enough, not much potential. He shook his head regretfully. It's getting harder and harder to level up these days, so I'll have to specialize in finding tougher targets to pick a fight with in the future. Xiao Yao shook his head. Awesome right, I'm strong no. Do you still believe me when I say I'm looking for a fight now? Xiao Yao grinned at Su Lao Air. You, who the hell are you guys? Su Lao Air face fear Xiao Yao this big hand wave. A dozen security guards directly fly, then successfully led the poop and retreated. This is really too powerful. Just then, a Maybach whooshed in. Ha, huh, where did this door go? Su Xingrui clutched his briefcase and jumped down from the car. Forget it, whatever, no matter, big deal, penis heavenly big deal. He rushed towards Sully Rue. What's going on, big brother, didn't you go to pick up Ali and Ah Hong? Su Li Rue had an odd look on his face. Don't mention it, big brother, Ali and Ah Hong are dead. What, who did this, dare to kill my Su family don't want to live? Su Li Rue was furious. Big brother, in the end who is it, I must make him pay. I don't know either. That person can hand rub spiral pills. Ha, huh? Sully Rue blinked his eyes. Big brother, if you ask me, you shouldn't be impulsive. This matter needs to be considered in the long run. That person can still drag a ship across the sea. Big brother, how about having a new one? Su Xing Rue cast a look of contempt. Ha ha ha. Sully Rue rubbed his forehead and didn't say anything. Goon, then do you have any good ideas? Big brother, give birth to a new one. Sully Rue? Alright, are you two done chatting? At this time, Xiao Ya clapped his hands and said, Who are you? Su Xingrui narrowed his eyes and cast his gaze. Big brother, he's looking for a fight. You don't know that he can. Can be arrogant right? It just so happens that I am also arrogant. Just happen to hold a stomach of anger. Want to find a person to vent a little? Kid your luck is very bad. You hit the old man gun up. Su Xingrui unbuttoned his suit and waved his hand. Just picked up an iron bar from the ground next to him. Now anyone dares to come to my Sioux family to find things right. My Sioux family has been rampant in Jaw City for so many years. You don't know how powerful I am anymore. Carrying the iron rod. He shook his head and walked towards Xiao Yao. No. Big brother. What I'm saying is that he can be powerful ah. Su Li Rue covered his forehead. His own big brother was too impulsive. And at this time, Su Xing Rue had already walked in front of Xiao Yao and raised his stick. Lazi today this stick down shall not open a dipper for your head. Saying this he was about to smash towards Xiao Yao's head. Your son is dead. I killed him. Su Sheng Rue? That's right. The cruise ship was also lifted by me. How about that? Are you going to open me up? Xiao Yao stood with his hands in his pockets with a smirk on his face. I, 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 love the magic of spinning in circles. 
Thinking of you thinks of your heart blossoming. Su Shang Rui suddenly held up his stick and spun around in place twice, then turned around and walked away. Oops, second brother ah, you didn't tell me when a guest came, give them a good reception. He touched his mouth with an embarrassed face, as the saying goes, friends come from afar, it's not a pleasure, ha 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 ha, he dropped the iron rod in his hand without moving, alright, don't play around, nothing is wrong, I just want to tell you something, Xiao Yao casually probed out his hand, he sucked the iron rod on the ground next to Su Xingrui over, and then the spiritual energy turned and the iron rod was compressed into a small iron ball, then Xiao Yao casually clicked his hand and the small iron ball melted, your son, nephew, and third brother have all been slaughtered, why slaughtered, because they wanted my sister to marry someone, to be a mistress to someone, let me introduce you to my sister, Chang Yin Han, oh yeah, she seems to be your own daughter, said Xiao Yao pushing Chang Yin Han out, get it, your Su family didn't grow a pair and jumped in front of me, so I'm now coming to put an end to your Su family, roughly speaking, it's just to finish you and your second brother off, then donate all of your family's assets, then the Su family is disbanded, the guilty go to jail, and those who aren't guilty get the hell out of here, it's relatively easy, my time is precious, don't worry, it won't hurt, it'll be over as soon as my eyes are open, Xiao Yao said casually, but brother Su Xingrui's mouth twitched, what a relatively easy one, you're playing with my Su family like a toy, right, your excellency, why are you so aggressive, there are laws and regulations in China, your excellency is not allowed to be so unscrupulous, Su Xingrui finally spoke seriously, oh, I also know that ah, but, is your Su family really clean underneath your ass? If the things you have done were to be put on the table, a hundred deaths would be enough, right? Xiao Yao said. Your Excellency, do you have any evidence? I don't need evidence. Based on what? By the fact that I have a big fist. Xiao Yao poked out a hand, and then he slapped his palm through the air, and a golden divine dragon shot out violently. It went straight into the sky, surrounding Xiao Yao's body. His aura stirred up, setting off gusts of wind in the Su family's compound. Fist is power. To make a fist is to make power. A powerful fist is power. Bullying with a fist is oppressing with power. You're not convinced? Hold it in. When I say the Sioux family is finished, the Sioux family is finished. The king of heaven will have to pass me a cigarette when he comes. Xiao Yao lit a cigarette, his domineering demeanor leaking out. On the side, Shun Shi Yun, Chang Yin Han and Excellence all had glowing eyes. This is so handsome. This is a real man. In front of the absolute fist. What power? Connections and money are all bullshit, all to the side, once the dragon subduing divine palm comes out, who dares to come to your rescue even if your Su family is bullish, Su Xing Rue two brothers face white, trembling with fear, how can we play this game, we play the game is to play in the rules, you directly smashed the game machine to come up to the real fast fight, this how to play, the game is over, not true, there is still a chance, Su Xing Rue's gaze moved as he looked at Chang Yan Han, daughter ah, save father ah, it was father who was wrong, please forgive father, in the future, father will definitely treat you well, please forgive father this time, Su Xing Rui directly shifted his gaze to field Nian Han, Nian Han, you tell me, should we kill him, Xiao Yao frowned, in the end, she was Chang Nian Han's father, she still had the right to decide, brother Xiao Yao, no matter what he is my father, Su Xing Rui nodded frantically, that's right, good daughter I am your father, Xiao Yao frowned, what you mean is, so you hurry up and send him away, this old den disgusts me to death, still wants to sell his daughter, go to hell, you go sell your ass, Su Sheng Rui, who am I, where am I, p.s, it's officially time for the debut, next 1000 free swag for love power plus one more chapter, do as I say, if I can't do it you guys have the final say, chapter 49 dragonfall divine poem, green lotus sword song, great sun burning heavenly seal, please choose the dowry you want, daughter, how could you do this to me, I'm your father, Su Xingrui looked at Chang Yanhan with a face of disbelief. You still know you're my father? Those who don't know think that you're a bod from some Elysium. Sold me off right across the room. I ba. Don't think that I'm one of those brainless, stupid, white, rich women. Although I'm small, but I can whip people really hard. Chang Yanhan rolled up her sleeves and waved her small fists. Xin Shi Yun on the side narrowed her eyes and pondered. Silly white sweet, rich white beauty, brainless, seems to have an illusion of scolding me. You you you, rebellious daughter, you rebellious daughter, I should have your mom you in the first place, Su Xing Rue covered her chest, and she could barely catch her breath, what did you say, the moment these words came out, Chang Yan Han was like a lit dynamite that instantly exploded, you dare to scold my mom, brother Xiao Yao, can I whip this old dang, smoke whatever you want, it's the country's fault if you smoke to death, Xiao Yao inhaled his cigarette, 
Getting rid of harm for the people. I'm a good person. No need to thank me. Good. Chang Yan Han directly strides towards Su Shang Rui. Su Xing Rui took a look. Good. God help me too. Xiao Yao stood still smoking without any movement at all. If he could capture this little girl as a hostage, he might really have a chance to escape. He threw a look towards his brother. Su Li Rui. The other party immediately understood. Good for you little bitch, with your potato-like height, you still dare to fight me. Su Xing Rui stood up and was about to slap out with his backhand. Su Shang Rui was also circling around to Chang Yan Han's back, ready to strike at any time to lock her up. However, Chang Yan Han's eyes grunted and rolled around. Bang bang. The two front and back teasing in legs flew out. One must know that she had eaten a hundred years of vermilion fruit and had officially stepped into the ranks of martial artists. These two kicks were the death of a son. Two big men were directly kicked by her face twitching. A breath almost did not come up. Fainted in pain. Sprawled on the ground twitching more than. I told you to curse my mom. Kick you to death. You old dang. I'll see how you cheat on someone else now. The tools of crime are folded for you. Snap. Chang Yan Han wasn't relieved yet. And viciously kicked two more times towards the two people who had fallen to the ground. The corner of Xiao Yao's mouth twitched as he watched. This girl looked small. But people were really violent. He shouldn't really raise a female martial god out. Alright, Nian Han. Stop fighting. If you keep fighting, you'll kill them. Xiao Yao called Chang Yan Han back. After all, it's your nominal father. It's not a good influence if you really beat them to death. Let me do this kind of cruelty. Xiao Yao patted Chang Yan Han's shoulder. Brother Xiao Yao you are really a good person. Chang Yan Han was touched. Xin Shi Yun was on the side of the clueless tree clueless fruit. Alright, ready to send you on your way. Xiao Yao grabbed with his big hand and the green colored sword she spun around his fingertips. Go! Swish! The sword chi sword out. At this moment, a Cullinan rushed in outside the door. This young man is here. Boss Su, where is my wife? A young man who looked like a dude to the extreme jumped down from the car. He was the so-called Magic City's great young man, the young master of the Lu family in Mordor. Puffing, a sword chi slashed through, and a splash of blood flew out and splattered on the face of the Lu family's great young master. What is this? Ketchup? He reached out his hand and touched a bit and licked it. It doesn't taste good. Like drinking blood. Shaking his head, he was about to speak. Bone crunching, a human head rolled in front of him. Crap, Lu Di Xiao's face turned green. Su, boss Su. He looked up to see Xiao Yao was pinching a lime green sword chi in his hand. Cerebellum instantly shriveled up. Are you guys making a movie? I, I probably. That, went the wrong way. Well, goodbye, bye. With that he quietly tried to retreat back to the Cullinan car. Giggle, a sword chi soared out from Xiao Yao and the Cullinan was sliced into hundreds of pieces. Lu Dishao's legs went soft in fear and he directly flopped his butt on the ground. His pants were wet for a second. I'm good. No. 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 You didn't go wrong. Are you that Magic City's great young man? It's here to marry Nian Han. Isn't it? Xiao Yao smiled and spoke at this time. The Magic City big young man was filled with panic like he was looking at the devil. First nodding his head then shaking it. It's. It's. Right. It's not. Either. Here. This is Chang Nian Han. My sister. She's the one you're marrying. Well, this side of the dowry to accompany the dowry I also prepared three kinds. You can see to choose one or all of them. What? What dowry? Lu Dashao looked at the courtyard with a twisted face. This scene is simply too abstract. Not far away two headless corpses. Blood flowing all over the ground. In front of him just two heads. And then in the pool of blood two teenagers two young girls standing with a smiling face to talk to him about the dowry. This scene is inevitably also too bizarre. Let me show you ah, this first dowry is my dragonfall divine poem. Boom. Xiao Yao raised his hand and slapped it. And a huge golden dragon made of converged spiritual energy hissed as it roamed the sky. One slap down and you'll be in pieces. Unable to feel the pain. The second piece is this green lotus sword chi in my hand. A single sword can cut off your head very quickly. You definitely won't be able to feel any pain. The third piece is this great sun burning sky seal of mine. A strand of the sun's true flame can burn you to black charcoal in a split second. As a new age youth I am also more humane. The ones I prepared for you are all painless dowries. You pick one. Xiao Yao said with a smile. The corners of Lu Di Xiao's mouth twitched. The top of his head was going up in white smoke from the shock. You're helping me with this dowry by sending it to the king of hell to be picked up in person. Right. That. I don't marry can I. In fact. After thinking about your sister's national color. Matching me is still a bit of a waste. Oh. She deserves better. I do not deserve. Not worthy. Lu Di Xiao moved to back away. His legs had been softened by fear. Then you mean to withdraw from the marriage? How can you tell my sister to meet people in the future? No way. You must choose one of these three dowries out of three. Xiao Yao raised his eyebrows and said in a cold voice. 
Lu Dishao shivered and almost cried out. God, if I knew that this is the situation back in Jia City, I wouldn't have come even if I killed myself. I, I, can I make a call and ask my dad? Can, can, by the way, help your dad to choose one too. My dad won't marry. It's okay, I'll give it to him. I'll thank you for my dad. It's okay, they're all in-laws. They should be. Alas, why don't I personally send it to your house? Lu Dasho was instantly scared out of the third emoticon in your phone. Send it to my house? You want to send my whole family to see Hades you just say straight. You want to kill someone and you're still so grandiose. If you're capable of doing it, just slap me down. I guarantee I'll die in a second for you. Lu Dasho's heart jumped into his throat. He slowly dialed his dad's phone. In the eyes of this rich second generation, when things are undecided, they look for their dad, who definitely has a solution. Chapter 50, must ask me to go to Magic City. How can I refuse then? Father, I, how is it? Have you seen it yet? Oh, my god, son, it's not that your father is talking about you. Although this Su family is good in Jia City, but it's nothing compared to my Lu family in Mordor. That Su Lao Deng must send his daughter to the door. It's just to climb onto our Lu family's big ship you know. Don't be fooled by a few words. I've arranged it all for you. Waiting to be picked up. You'll play for two days. And when you're tired of playing you'll play for your brother for two more days. Which is also considered to be an explanation with Su Lao Deng. We'll give the Su family a little bit of the Jia City business. Forgive him for not daring to bark at me. Before Lu De Shao could say anything. His father. The old Deng on the other end of the phone blabbered a lot. Seeing Xiao Yao's face getting colder and colder. Lu Da Xiao went numb. Dad, you're the one who's going to run into the barrel of a gun. I called you to negotiate for me. I didn't ask you to provoke people and play with people. Your own son is going to play them to death. As soon as Lu De Xiao looked up Xiao Yao was already standing in front of him. Snap, he grabbed his cell phone. Hello, old Deng, your son is going to ascend to heaven. You're coming to keep him company. Who are you? I'm talking to my son. Give the phone back to my son. So I said, I'm going to kill your son. Do you want to stay with him? What did you say? Who are you? At this moment, the Lu family head, who was far away on the other end of the phone, finally realized something. Tell Su Lao Deng to answer the phone. Oh, Su Lao Deng is dead. Your son will also be going to accompany him soon. Xiao Yao touched his nose and casually said, Shit, how dare you kill my son? Do you know who I am? No, Laozi is the Lu family. So bullish, I'm so scared. So your son is about to die do you want to come over? Buy one get one free. How dare you? Hey. I'm the kind of person who can't afford to be provoked. I don't even eat beef anymore and you dare to provoke me. I like you like that. Open the video. Xiao Yao hung up the phone and opened the chat software. Dial the video call to the guy with the note Lao Dang. As soon as the video opened, it was answered in seconds. And then the old face on the opposite side started to spew. Just you wanna kill my son right? Brat, I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of rash guys like you. If you dare to touch a hair on my son's head today, you'll never live to see the light of day in China. You're not afraid of death. I don't believe your relatives are afraid of death either. If you touch my son, your friends and relatives will die too. I'll chop them up and feed them to the fish in Huangpu River. I'll see if you're afraid. On the side, Lu Dishao watched his old man do his best to threaten. He almost spat blood. For the first time, he felt that his old man was such a loser. Reverse negotiation. You're not only jumping back and forth horizontally at the ghost gate yourself, but you also have to bring me along. This unreliable old den. I should have known better than to call you. Speak more if you can. Xiao Yao's face grew cold as he admitted it. He was a little fired up. If you want to say that he doesn't talk about martial virtues, it doesn't matter if he's a rascal. Anyway, he's the kind of person who strikes when he can't talk. What's the matter? You're not convinced? Hey, hey, you can beat me no. Look, this head he's big and round. Xiao Yao stroked Lu Dashao's head. Lu Dashao suddenly felt a chill go straight from the soles of his feet to the sky and it seemed like Hades was beckoning to him at that moment. Then, I just pinched it, and you see how it is. Hey, he blew up. Bang, a head exploded in the next second. Look, like fireworks, is it good? Xiao Yao grinned at the old face on the other end of the phone. The old face on the other side was crooked with anger. I Naima, you dare to kill my son. Killed it all. What can you do? Well well well, dog thing, you have big guts. What is your name? Give me your name. Xiao Yao, you're not convinced? Xiao Yao, right? I'm going to chop up your whole family and feed them to the fish in the Huangpu River. Come to Magic City if you can. If you can, come to Mordor. Even the King of Heaven has to kneel down in my territory. You really want me to come to Mordor? Yes. You don't regret it? Regret is your son. Hey, I've never seen such a death wish, but you asked me to come. Then I'm really coming. Hurry the fuck up. I can't wait to kill you. 
Good good good, I like it when you're polite. He was worried about how to continue harvesting spirit points, but this time, his good brother in Magic City sent an invitation. A big city like Magic City must have a lot of experts, so this would be a good time to have a good time. Alright, I'll come right away. I like your kind of politeness. Xiao Yao grinned and hung up the phone. He dialed Chin Xiao. Hello, prepare a helicopter for me. I'm going down to Mordor. Mordor? Commander? Did someone in Mordor offend you? Don't call me Commander from now on. Just call me Mr. Xiao. You're right there's someone called the Lu family in Mordor who offended me. Oh, I'll get a few brothers to drive a tank to blow up the Lu family do you think it's okay? Xiao Yao? Not. You say blow up? Is there no law? Ha, huh? then how will you handle it? Leave it for me to personally go over and blow it up. Right. You first investigate the Lu family for me. Let me think about it ah. Well, the crime. Is that. Is that I suspect them of colluding with an organization outside of China and leaking confidential information about China. Good. I'll immediately ask for instructions from the top. Okay. Speed ah. Then the helicopters hurry up and send them to me. Don't worry. Then Xiao Yao hung up the phone. Xiao Yao are we really going to Magic City? Chang Yan Han and Xin Shiryun looked at him with a curious face. Of course we're going. People invited me so warmly. How can I not go? Good lord. Magic City is a cosmopolitan city. I haven't even been there to play. I want to go too. Xin Shiryun happily raised both her hands. No problem. Nian Han. Give Auntie Chang a call. Tell her that the Su family's matter has been settled. And that we plan to go to Magic City for two days. And whether she wants to continue to stay in Jia City on vacation or go back to Qinglan City. I'll send someone to send her back. Okay, brother Xiao Yao. Chang Yan Han nodded. A few moments later, my mom said she wants to have fun in Jia City. And for us to have fun in Magic City. Okay. Half an hour later, a helicopter appeared in the sky above the Su family. Chen Xiao came down from the helicopter. Mr. Xiao. We've found it. You have anticipated things like God. The Lu family in Magic City has indeed colluded with an offshore organization. They sold confidential information about China to Little Day and Lighthouse. Ha! Huh? They really sold out? This is good. There's even less guilt in exterminating it. Good good. Let's go. Go to the Magic City. Someone has invited me to be a guest. And at this moment, the more the Lord of the Lu family in Magic City thought about it, the more angry he became. Little brat. Dare to kill my son. I have to get you killed. No way, I'm going to find someone to mess you up. He thought about it, that Xiao Yao was so arrogant. Maybe there was someone behind him. So he called a few of the family heads who usually have a good relationship with Silver Party. To get Xiao Yao killed together. Chapter 51 Lu Family Manor Well prepared, ready to set Xiao Yao off with fireworks. The speed of the military helicopter was very fast. And in the blink of an eye, they arrived at the outskirts of Mordor. Xiao Yao also saw a bald man running a live broadcast outdoors when they got off the airplane. Graduate student? After you come out of graduate school your monthly salary will definitely not be less than 2W. If it's less than that you come to me, I'll make it up for you. I'll make it up to you. I'll make it up to you every day. What right do I have? Don't bother me every day. How can a graduate student watch me live? I can't call you dad even if you give me 10 million dollars. Be a man with backbone. Dad. 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 Well. Well. This person is quite humorous. Xiaoya looked over and said to Chen Xiao. Ah. Uh, right. Indeed quite humorous. Chen Xiao replied honestly. They got into an off-road vehicle that the military district had prepared long ago and drove towards the center of Magic City. Midway Xiao Yao opened Lu Di Xiao's cell phone, dialed a call. Lao Deng, your grandpa Xiao Yao is already on his way here. You wait for me. Saying this Xiao Yao also took a picture of the oriental pearl not far away and passed it over. At this time, the Lu family in Magic City. Lu Yuan looked at the tall pearl of the orient in his cell phone and furiously and fiercely snapped the rice bowl in his hand on the table. Ah, you little brat who killed Lousy's son still dares to come to Lousy. Ah, come on people, have the several family heads arrived yet? He called the butler and asked. Old Yuan, coming, coming, don't rush us. Several figures came in one after another from outside the house. Yo, eating right now. Aha, come on people, add a few pairs of chopsticks and bowls. Lu Yuan nodded with a depressed face. Several family heads sat down at the dining table. Family head, the chicken soup is here, where to put it? A nanny walked in with a casserole. Put it here for me. I love chicken soup. A householder raised his hand. Like to drink more. A two and a half year old hen. It's fresh. Lu Yuan said and gave him a bowl of chicken soup. Calling a few of you here this time is actually nothing. Just a little Yakuza. Killed my son. And now he's threatening my old man to come to my house to fuck me. And he's already on his way here. That kid is quite capable. His fists and feet are quite good. That grip pinched my son's head and exploded in one go. I thought I'd ask you guys to help me out. 
I'd like to ask you to help me out with some connections, find some people to get him, Lu Yuan said, a small matter, your business is my business, Lu family master, a little Yakuza, being good with his hands is nothing, he has a great gun, as the saying goes, a gun is fast at 7 paces, a gun at 7 paces is fast and accurate, I like hunting these days, I've got a few hunting rifles, I'll send them over to you, equip your security team with them, one for each of them, that kid is coming to the head to charge him with explosions, a family head said with a big wave of his hand, right, house master ma is right, it doesn't matter if you're good with your hands, more than 10 years ago, what national martial arts master was still killed with a knife, a messy fist kills a master, my family has a team of top international bodyguards who retired from the middle east, I'll call them over to protect master Lu now, another person waved his hand in a grandiose manner, I can also put out a special bodyguard on my side, the number of people can pile up and kill him, I have a batch of newly trained Tibetan Mastiffs, each one of them is ferocious, comparable to wolves, I'll pull them over for Mr. Lu, I have a batch of steel knives that are as good as mud, with knives, one man, one knife, even the best kung fu master is afraid of a kitchen knife, unless he'll be invincible, exactly, small problem, what's a little Yakuza like Master Lu afraid of, he doesn't even need to be afraid of a special force, with a good body, can he still fly a dragon and slap a dragon in the sky? If that's the case I'll jump into the Huangpu River overnight and run for my life. A few people were completely unconcerned. Good, if this incident can be resolved, I'll take care of the listing of the company for a few of you. I'm familiar with the Yamaguchi Gumi people in Sakura country. I can directly ask them to list your companies over there. Listening to the words of a few people, Lu Yuan thought about it and felt that it does make sense. He was a bit out of shape earlier. A person is powerful again there is a limit he cannot go to heaven, the worries in his heart were sort of put down, ha 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 ha, then I'll be grateful to family master Lu, many thanks to family master Lu, I'll leave the listing of the company to you, the Yamaguchi Gumi side is also troublesome for family master Lu, the few people laughed loudly and said, good to say good to say, come come come, drink chicken soup, drink chicken soup, half an hour later, the special bodyguard group, shotguns, and refined machetes promised by the head of the family were all delivered to the Lu family villa, a crowd of people surrounded the villa. Not a single fly could fly in. Several family heads were sitting in the villa with Lu Yuan, waiting for Xiao Yao to arrive with a confident look on their faces. I'll have to chop that kid into pieces when he arrives, then I'll feed him to Master Zheng's Tibetan Mastiff. Lu Yuan said viciously. Ha 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 ha, in that case, one person is not enough. Zheng family master said with a smile. Then I'll chop up his entire family, feed it to the Tibetan Mastiffs, his friends and family too. That would be enough. Ha 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 ha. Several people laughed out loud and pushed their glasses around the table to drink Mautai. Good wine. Refreshing. Right at this moment, a car slowly came and stopped not far from the Lu family villa. Mr. Xiao. This Lu family had once assisted the spies from the Lighthouse Kingdom in obtaining confidential information from China. From that, he made a billion dollars. At the same time, he has a very good relationship with the Yamaguchi Group, the Yakuza organization of the Sakura country. Every year, he has to supply several hundred million Chinese dollars to the Yamaguchi group, and with the help of the Yamaguchi group, he's even engaged in human trade trafficking many times. There's also the human organ business. This time, the imperial capital side almost activated most of the state machinery in order to help Mr. Xiao investigate the Lu family. I didn't expect that this investigation would turn out to be so shoddy. Chen Xiao looked at the information in his hand looking unusually indignant. What the imperial capital side means is that, wants Mr. Shout to take the Lu family, the families that have interests entangled with the Lu family, and the Yakuza's branch in Mordor all. Chen Xiao made a neck wiping motion. Titus rather understands what I mean. Don't worry. Don't want them to say I will do the same. Xiao Yao sneered. He led Chang Nian Han, the three of them and Chen Xiao towards the Lu family villa. Phew, this Lu family lord is prepared through and through. With so many people, those who don't know would think that Godzilla has come for him. Looking at the bodyguards surrounding the villa, Xiao Yao laughed. Master, let me get on, I'll fuck them up. Excellence gripped his wooden sword and leapt into action. Go on a door, you are now refining meat, not iron. People with shotguns, a few barrels will come crashing over and beat you into fireworks. Xiao Yao slapped him on the head. That's why young people are reckless. When he was in the meat refining realm he was a meticulous bunch. He didn't eat beef until he was strong. What is this called? Indecent development. Don't be a wave. What? What do you say to a wave? Fireworks. Chapter 52 A move of the great sun burning sky seal vaporizes half of the manor. Witness the diversity of species. Here. This bastard is here. Seeing this bastard makes me want to go up and kill him. Killing my son. It's really fucked up. Lu Yuan saw Xiao Yao's several figures from the surveillance. 
but family master Lu. Those women next to him are quite nice, especially the white silk one. I wonder what it tastes like when you make water to drink. I do like her legs, how about this, we'll grab her later, and the stockings will make water for you, and I'll lick her legs, good idea, good brothers screwing together together. The two family heads also ignored the contemptuous eyes of the others and agreed at once. At this moment, Xiaoyao had just approached the villa. Swish swish swish, a row of 40 to 50 foreign burly bodyguards were on him, picking up double-barreled shotguns, they all aimed at Xiaoyao, he's going to set off fireworks this time, ha ha ha. Several family heads came together in front of the monitor and laughed maniacally. Tell them to pay attention. Don't hurt my beauty. Don't worry, I like your beauty too. It won't get hurt. The family heads got together and laughed very brightly. Outside, Chen Xiao came to Xiao Yao's ear. Mr. Xiao, most of these bodyguards are international mercenaries, as well as those evil spirits from the Middle East battlefield, as well as some foreign security companies. It's not good stuff anyway. Xiao Yao grinned. What kind of words are you saying? I'm a good citizen of the new era, with a penchant for nuclear peace, don't think of me as some kind of murderous demon, eh, sorry, Mr. Xiao, Chen Xiao honestly apologized, just, you this piece I am really not flattered, alright, I announce, the game starts now, Xiao Yao walked closer to the bodyguards and opened his hands with a smile on his face, fire, the bodyguard captain received the order from inside the villa, with a big wave of his hand, bang bang bang, Countless double-barreled shotguns erupted into starbursts in unison. The power of these double-barreled shotguns could put down even a bear with a single shot. And when it hit a person, the power was simply human fireworks flying in the sky. Stop. Xiao Yao flexed his fingers. The aura instantly wrapped around all the bullets. And then he clenched his fist with one hand. Boom. All the bullets were crushed into pieces by the terrifying spiritual energy. Ha. Huh? The few family heads in the villa who were waiting with smiles on their faces to see Xiao Yao get fucked to death all directly froze in place. Nima, so abstract, a magician, not, are you serious, all right, there's actually a slogan I've been wanting to shop for once, Xiao Yao laughed lightly, looking at the expressions of those bodyguards who looked like they had seen a ghost, he was exceptionally happy, fools, feel the terror of not eating beef, I am atomic, boom, Xiao Yao cupped his hand and made a spell, great sun burning sky seal, the true fire of the sun shot up into the sky, transforming into a large seal in the white sky, the roiling flames set the surrounding air on fire, and the temperature of this villa instantly soared. The terrifying flames radiated from one side, like a sun hanging high in the sky. Those bodyguards looked at this scene that was comparable to a miracle. People were dumbfounded, and at this moment, the several family heads in the villa who were watching the live broadcast were also dumbfounded. Crap, what the hell? No, Lu family lord, what kind of pervert are you telling us to deal with? F asterisk CK, family master Lu, you've messed with a god. Haven't you? Shit, is this a human being? Family Master Lu, you're a real pit. It's not enough for you to die on your own. You want to drag us into it. Shit, I don't know if I can survive if I go out and sell his ass right now. Xiao Yao grinned as he looked at the team of bodyguards whose formation was disrupted. Go! Boom! The great sun burning sky seal fell violently, and the sun true flame rolled over the earth. In a single glance, dozens of gun toting bodyguards were instantly reduced to flying ash. Not to mention those so called carrying a knife. And what big Tibetan mastiff? That is even more tragic. The opportunity to appear on the debut are not turned into flying ash. Even the Lu family villa was burned down half of the breath. The roof of the building was burned clean. Several family heads all open air. Ding. Congratulations to the host for slaying the strongest person in the fate spring realm. Ding. Congratulations to the host for killing a vital spring realm demonic beast. The system rang non-stop. All right, system I know you're going to release the quest to make me break through the divine sea realm. Don't release it, give it to me directly. I'll break through now. Xiao Yao waved his hand dismissively. Little fellow, I've already prejudged your prejudice. Ding, releasing mission. Please ask the host to overthrow the devil Dao family in front of you. Lu family, extremely companion family. Successful mission rewards the three killing blades, earth grade upper grade, mad shadow blade, medium grade spiritual artifact, the method of breaking through the extreme realm. The nine life springs are transformed into a single life spring, opening up the 10,000 fathoms divine sea. You've chosen to go against me. Your systemic rebelliousness is really strong. It's really ginkgoized. It's really brain dead. Xiao Yao was speechless. It just wouldn't go along with him. The main fight was hilariously raw and rebellious, not respecting him as a host at all. But the reward was still the same fuck it's done. First, he would finish off the Lu family and then he could break through the divine sea. Ha ha. Xiaoyao grinned and led a few people to step onto the scorched black ground towards the Lu family villa. Lu family master, I've come to be a guest, do as I say. 
I won't play false with you, and at this moment, the Lu family lord in the villa was already trembling. I really didn't expect to offend not a person, but an ancestor person. Really don't talk about martial virtues. The mortal world has the mortal world to play with. Brother, you've gone beyond the scope of the program. It's a complete and total dimensional blow. As soon as they saw Xiao Yao walk into the villa, the other few family heads looked at each other. They directly pressed family head Lu to the ground. Don't move, Junior Lu Yuan, you guy who is doing wrong for the people. Today we are going to rid the people of evil. Several people were holding Lu Yuan in custody with sullen faces. When they turned their heads and saw Xiao Yao walking towards them, they immediately revealed a fawning expression. You are Mr. Xiao, right? This little child Lu Yuan, it is really an animal to the extreme. A few of us have been ambushing him for a long time, and we finally found a chance to take him down today. Please still dispose of him. Mr. Xiao, they escorted Lu Yuan to Xiao Yao. Mr. Xiao, stay away. The breath from the bastard will pollute your holy light. Mr. Xiao, this enough dog dare to look directly at your divine face. I'll gouge his eyes out. Mr. Xiao, this bastard dares to breathe. Disgusting Mr. Xiao with his vile carbon dioxide breath. I'll stop him from breathing right now. Several family heads who were usually high and mighty and worth billions of dollars were now all like licking dogs in front of Xiao Yao as they went forward and backward towards him, humble to the extreme. The corners of Xin Shi Yun and Chang Yanhan's mouths twitched madly, worthy of being a big shot, really able to bend and bend. Today is also considered to be a witness to the diversity of species. Even Lu Yuan almost spat out a mouthful of old blood. One second it was brother Lu Long brother Lu Short, and the next second it turned into a bastard and a dog. Really fucking proficient in changing faces off. Chapter 53, Breaking Through the Divine Sea. Nodding the crowd. The end of the Yamaguchi Gumi will come. Xiao Yao grinned. There are life treasures every year, but this year there are especially many. But unfortunately the one who entertained me was Lu Laodang. Not you guys, so you can get the hell out of here. Yes yes yes. A few people were ecstatic when they heard Xiao Yao tell them to get lost. One by one. As if they were amnesty they were about to walk towards the door. I said I told you guys to get lost to king of hell, silly eggs. Saying that, Xiao Yao flexed his fingers and green colored sword she shot out. Swish swish swish. Instantly, there were a few more piles of meat slices on the ground. Just as neat and tidy as the lamb rolls in your home shabu shabu hot pot. Chen Xiao, send someone to end their home for me. Yes, Mr. Xiao, what about the property of these families? Take your account? Chen Xiao asked. What do I need that for? The aura is about to revive. Money is of no use. Take this money and go get all those mountainous, barren hills in China to come to the city. And by the way, acquire some medicinal herbs from abroad or something. It's all needed. The aura recovery started from the wilderness mountainous areas. They are the most dangerous group of people. I guess maybe there are already animals that have become fertilized in places you don't know about right now. Xiao Yao said with a twinkle in his eyes. Yes, Mr. Xiao for the country and the people. Great justice. Chen Xiao bowed with incomparable respect. All right. Stop kissing ass. I'm a simple person. As long as you don't offend me, it's good to talk. Xiao Ya waved his hand and Chen Xiao went to do his own thing. Lu Yuan was currently lying on the ground. With a face of despair, he looked at Xiao Yao. I admit it. It didn't occur to me that the one who has been gaming me is not a mortal. Instead, it was a deity. I, Lu Yuan, admit it. He he, gaming? You think too highly of yourself. How can you be worthy of gaming with me? My opponent is never in the secular world. Whether you're a multinational CEO, an international superstar, or a national official, you're nothing more than that in my opinion, in how rich and powerful that are all mortals. Big fist is the hard reason. Mood is good to play with you. Mood is not good. You do not even have the qualification to speak. Xiao Ya lit a root of Zhang Nanhai with a disdainful face. He he, you are the winner. You say what you want, but I believe that the country won't let people be so unscrupulous. Can you be more powerful than an atomic bomb? You kill people like a scoundrel. Scourge good people. You'll exterminate your family at every turn. You'll get your retribution. Lu Yuan said angrily. Scare me? You think the above are vegetarians. They usually don't waste too much energy on your Lu family just. Whenever the above wants to go all out to find out what things can't be found out. You and the lighthouse spy shit. As well as the Yamaguchi Gumi shit you think you can get away with it? Not to hide from you later I went by the way to the Yamaguchi Gumi's branch in Mordor also to the end. One day the mood to go to a small day to move their MT. Fuji to the top of the Tokyo Tower. And then make the Yasukuni ghost toilet into a tower of heads for a little day. Xiao Yao pressed the butt of his cigarette on Lu Yuan's brow. Burning a mark. Lu Yuan gritted his teeth in pain. I don't believe you have the strength. You love to believe it or not. You can't see it anyway. Alright. I declare the game over. Lao Deng. 
On your way, Hades is waiting for you to set the table. Wait. At this time, Lu Yuan yelled. Wait for your mom. With that Xiao Yao raised his hand and slapped out. Lu Yuan was directly smashed to pieces by him. You guys wait here for a moment. I'm going to make a breakthrough. After killing Lu Yuan, Xiao Yao turned around and said after Chang Yin Han and the others. Immediately, he sat down on the ground with his knees crossed. Those spiritual energy values that were saved were directly added to all of them by him. Ding, detected the host completing the mission. Reward has been issued. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the earth grade upper grade martial skill 3 killing blades, medium grade spiritual weapon mad shadow blade, the method of breaking the boundary of the fate spring extreme realm. Rumble, as Xiao Yao breathed in and out. This area of the villa estate began to tremble like crazy. That breath was just too terrifying. It was like a magnitude 9 earthquake. The color of the sky changed drastically and wild winds rose up in all directions. Xiao Yao was able to cause monstrous gusts of wind just by breathing. Divine Sea Realm. This realm's spiritual energy is as majestic as the sea. He could turn a river into a sea with the lift of his hand. And he could travel in the sky and earth and step in the air. And he could go anywhere in the world. It is already an extremely powerful realm. And in this realm, even nuclear bombs can't kill Xiao Yao. After all, he wasn't a fool. He would fly when a nuclear bomb came. He wouldn't stand still and take it hard. It's truly divine. The movement of Mr. Zhao's breakthrough was simply like a natural disaster. I never thought that one day a person would be able to fight against this heaven and earth nature with his own strength. What a powerful greatness that is. Chen Xiao, who had come back from dealing with matters, saw the earth-shattering commotion of Xiao Yao's breakthrough and couldn't help but be filled with admiration and envy. It's just that the aura of this heaven and earth has yet to be revived. So where exactly does the aura that Mr. Xiao is trying to break through come from? He wouldn't even think that Xiao Yao's aura would all be provided to him by the system. Brother Xiao Yao is powerful again. The last time he made a breakthrough at home the commotion wasn't even this big. Chang Yan Han and Xin Shiryun looked at each other. Yeah, if only I could be this powerful like Xiao Yao. Xin Shiryun bit her thin lips as she thought of the dual cultivation method that Xiao Yao mentioned last time. No, this time when she went back she had to double cultivate with him ruthlessly. The nine life springs in Xiao Yao's body slowly united and finally transformed into a black hole like giant life spring. Success, the only fate spring, this is the life spring extreme realm. Next, divine sea, I'm coming, boom. The fate spring expanded crazily once again. An uncountable spiritual energy from the system was endlessly supplied to Xiao Yao. His aura once again skyrocketed a notch. The tumbling sea took shape in Xiao Yao's Dantian, a 10,000 foot divine sea, a rank that could not be described as one in 10,000. Too strong, it feels like inexhaustible spiritual energy. Xiao Yao opened his eyes. From pulling out the thousand-year Xianyu fruit that he got from suppressing Chen Shao. Thousand-year Xianyu fruit, unconditional breakthrough of one rank. Swallowed in one gulp. Swish, the deep sea tumbled once again. Expanding another 10,000 feet. 20,000 feet of monstrous divine sea. Xiaoyao's cultivation had managed to reach the second sky of the divine sea. He completed his breakthrough and finally opened his eyes. Looking at the gazes of several people. Xiaoyao thought for a moment. He made a point in the air towards the several people. The few people were immediately startled. Rumble. Uncountable amounts of spiritual energy burst out from Xiao Yao's body. Surprisingly, Chang Yan Han, Shun Shur Yun, and Shen Zhao's bodies were cleansed inside and out. It pushed all of their cultivation levels to the peak of the martial artist realm. Among them, Chang Yan Han and Shen Shur Yun even directly broke through the Qi strength realm. As for Xiao Yao, the power consumed was merely a drop of water in the divine sea. The few people were instantly ecstatic. Many thanks to Mr. Xiao. From now on, Chen Xiao is at the head of Mr. Xiao. Chen Xiao even half kneeled in front of Xiao Yao in excitement. No need for you to look up to me. Next give me a direction. I'm going to exterminate the Yakuza's branch in Magic City. Xiao Yao said. Yes. Master, where's mine? Where did mine go? At this moment, Excellence looked at Xiao Yao pitifully. You? Xiao Yao glanced at him. You are the future sword saint. Work hard on your own and believe in your own talent. Don't take shortcuts. It's shameful to get something for nothing. With that, he turned into a stream of light and flew off into the sky. Only Excellence stood in place with an uplifted face. Master is right. I am the future sword saint. It must not be plucked up. I have the talent. I'm going to work hard. Excellence was like playing chicken blood. The poor kid was crippled by neglect. P.S. The last time I said more ah. Although not to a thousand free gifts. Everyone free for love power walk. No need for you to break the bank. Free gifts to walk a walk. Support the author. 1000 free for the love of power generation as usual plus more. Chapter 54, Killing with a Symmetrical Split, Yamaguchi Gumi Extinction, Magic City Yamaguchi Gumi Branch. Yesterday, 
Lu Sang sent us another 100 million Chinese coins, it's really a great big drop of injustice, I drop very much like it. Lu Sang is still a good person, especially his daughter is especially good, she's comparable to those enlightenment teachers in our Bigfoot chicken empire, is it really that good? Of course, the last time seven of us fought her, it was like a vixen possessed, hiss, it's so divine, we must see it properly, crusade against this vixen, the three leaders of the Yamaguchi Gumi gathered in a large villa, leisurely drinking old wine, when HQ first sent the three of them to China, they were originally very reluctant, unexpectedly, after coming here, they don't want to go back, here is really cool ah, cool to spiral up to heaven, specifically how cool please refer to the action blockbusters produced by Cherry Blossom Country, only you can't think of it, there is nothing they can't do, Lu Sang said that he has a few friends who want to let us, the Yakuza, help them get their companies listed in the Bigfoot Chicken Empire, that's easy to say, 100 million drops of Chinese currency for each person, plus their daughters would be great, in Yuyasha-san, why do you drop so much like other people's daughters, speaking of this, that Inuyasha-san sighed deeply, at the time in the Yakuza, in order to get to the top, I let my drop's daughter sleep all over the group's top brass, and only then did I get this opportunity for me, mentioning this makes my heart ache ah, Inuyasha-san's face was full of regret, now that he had the chance he must ruthlessly retaliate back, sleeping someone else's daughter back, hiss, Inuyasha-san you're such an animal, unlike me, I always let my wife out to drop for such things, Inuyasha, my grandson San, you, at that moment, the other chief timidly raised his hand, I'm all for letting my old mother out on the field, Inuyasha, my grandson, Xiao Yao, who stood in the doorway listening for half a day, had a black line, the little life playing is really nasty and perverted, swish, he made a big move with his big hand, the silver gray long knife that was glowing with black light appeared in his hand, is this the power of a spiritual weapon, it's true that only the divine sea realm can bring out the full divine power of a spiritual weapon, this blade can cut through a building, why don't we, try our hand at this foot chicken's villa first, Xiao Yao had a bright idea, boom, a terrifying spiritual energy vaporized from his body, his clothes fluttered, and at this moment, Xiao Yao was like a revived god on earth, even the heavens shifted, ha, huh? is it going to rain, hearing the rumbling sky outside the window, my grandson frowned, don't mind it, it's not very normal to rain, don't even need to be afraid of thunder, just drink, it can't split this villa of ours, also, continue to drink, Chinese wine is really good, unlike the sake we have there, there is no point in drinking it, after all, it is a big country with rich culture, if only it was from our Bigfoot chicken empire, you mean, got it got it, boom, a thunderous thunder fell, right at this moment, Xiaoyao slashed out, three killing blades, the earth shattering blade broke through the air, ten jang of the blade strewn across heaven and earth, smashing down towards the large villa in front of him, in a single glance, the villa started to collapse crazily just like paper mache, what the hell, an earthquake, Nima, in Yuyashikuan, look outside, ah this, lunar sky rush, crap, it's over, swish, a shocking blade slashed through the villa, it sliced it hard down the middle, this blade on flew through the middle of the wine table, grazed the heads of the three people and rushed into the distance, even the earth was torn apart by this blade, not bad, or more symmetrical, sure enough, it is still symmetry that is the most beautiful, Xiaoyao stood outside the door and compared for a while, revealing a satisfied smile, he carried the knife and walked into the villa, you, you are, giggling, a blade cut through, a black line stretched from his forehead to his crotch, a silhouette was instantly sliced in half by Xiaoyao, the art of symmetry, perfect, Xiaoyao snapped his fingers, the other two were directly numb with fear, saw man of light, law king ace, the one with the sword must be the grim reaper, that move of his just now was called crescent sky rush didn't you see it, Inuyasha and my grandson cowered in fear, yo, bastards, is this the Yakuza, Xiaoyao asked with a grin, Inuyasha and my grandson looked at each other, this person is bound to come here with the intention of killing people, and he absolutely cannot admit it, or else he himself will be symmetrically divided, not a drop, not a drop, this is not the Yakuza, that's right, we drops are Chinese people, great drops of good people, Xiao Yao nodded, well, your tone is quite Osamu-like, ha ha, born drops like that, that's right, born to drop like this, the two men breathed a sigh of relief, thinking that this Chinese people are really stupid, I guess they are just focusing on cultivating immortality, and their brains have not finished developing, but, what's with the Yakuza written on that plaque of yours, think I'm stupid, at this time, Xiao Yao pointed at the plaque above their heads that said Yamaguchi group, ah, uh, this, the two stammered for words, also, Huashia really can't grow out of you too animal-like, I, 
Inuyasha tried to speak, giggling. A blade or a sword passed. Symmetrical split. Blood splattered all over my grandson's face. Ah, ah. He let out a hoarse scream. Still trying to trick me? Take me for a fool? I'm going to ask one more time if this is the Yakuza or not. It is. This is the Yakuza. It's the drop. Don't kill me. Promote friendly relations between China and Japan. We can be friends. My grandson spoke in a trembling voice. Being a good friend of Nima. Being a dog is too much. It's the Yamaguchi group that's right. It's you Yamaguchi group that I'm killing. Swish. Shaya once again sorted out a slash that killed my grandson. Nyo Ma. He spat and turned around. Ready to leave. Just then, the phone rang on my grandson's corpse. Xiaoya went up and answered the call. Kara, wow la grease, wo fight drama die la die la. Speak human, who are you? Where's my grandson? I'm your father. Who the hell are you? Where is my grandson Jun? Put him on the phone. Dead. What? How did he die? I killed him. Big guts. You dare to kill our Yakuza. Stop barking. Let go of your ass. You dared to kill my Yakuza. You're finished. Give me your name. My name is Ojiru. Oh knife voice? Ugh, good boy. Baka, you're dead. 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 Tear up your old mother. Idiot. Xiaoya directly hung up the phone. He walked out of the villa carrying the three killing blades. Well, let's have another slash. After thinking about it, Xiaoya slashed out horizontally. Giggling. The villa was instantly chopped to pieces and looked like it was being suppressed by a cross that fell from the sky. Hey, the three leaders of the Yakuza have been slaughtered. Call someone to come over here and clean up. Xiaoyao skimmed his lips and made a call. All right, thanks mister. Xiao. Small problem. Xiaoyao shook his head and turned into a stream of light and rushed up. Chapter 55 Road Encounter with a Jindan Realm Demonic Colossus. The system told me to run for my life. Xiaoyao was ecstatic. After leaving the Yakuza's villa, Xiaoyao walked on the streets of Mordor. Alas, cultivation is getting higher and higher. And it's getting harder and harder to raise it. What a son of a bitch system. At this moment. Ding, detected a fifth level Jindan realm demonic giant, an absolute powerhouse, unbeatable, please run, a demonic giant, golden Dan, my goodness, I love it, stupid host, what are you mad about, run away, a single fart from the Jindan realm can kill you, fuck, stupid host, you're still approaching people, tell me if you're tired of living, if you keep this up, I'll change hosts, hey, giant of the devil's way, I could kill you with a mouthful of spit, run, um, system, if you want me to run you have to tell me which one is the devil's way giant right? Otherwise I won't know which direction to run in. Xiao Yao rubbed his head and said. Ding, ding, ding. The devil Dao giant has been marked. Please run quickly. Host, run. Only to see a grandmother carrying a handbag at a bus stop not far away. Accompanied by a middle-aged bearded man in black clothes and pants with a duck tongue cap. In Xiao Yao's gaze, he had a big red exclamation mark on his head. Which was simply redder than his aunt's blood. At this time the bus pulled up and the two walked onto the bus. Okay. Thanks system. Xiaoyao nodded and then rushed towards that bus. No need to thank. As long as the host knows the system's good intentions. Hey, you're running the opposite way. Foolish host, you're running backwards. You've got a bone in your head. Don't you? Sooner or later. You'll have to change hosts. Xiaoyao ignored the system's hysteria. A hundred meters or so in the blink of an eye. He got on the bus the moment the doors closed. The bus closed its doors and slowly drove away. Mom, I just saw an uncle he shooed from here to there in a flash. Not far from the convenience store there was a four or five year old child sucking on a lollipop saying to his mother who was playing with her cell phone with her head down beside her. Child, good boy, you're looking at it wrong. Didn't look wrong. Mom, I really didn't see wrong. That uncle is Superman. He's really fast. That mother helplessly squatted down and stroked her child's face. Son, is it finally your turn to be a retard? Good boy, child, even if you are retarded mom still loves you. Child. If Xiaoyao was here he would have to give a thumbs up to a great mother's love. At the moment, on the bus Xiaoyao eyes always follow that bearded middle-aged man. Sure enough, great China, geniuses come out. Not until the last moment you never know what you will achieve in the future. Xiaoyao shook his head. This middle-aged man looks like a skillful pickpocket. The bus had only traveled for three stops and he had already harvested four or five wallets. He was a purse harvester. And such a minion of the bottom of society. But the future is able to become the Golden Dan realm of the Devil's Way Giant. That is the Golden Dan. At every turn to destroy the sky and the earth. To go up to the sky and the sun shoulder to shoulder the existence of the sun. He could only sigh at the impermanence of the world. The large intestine wrapped in the small intestine. Xiao Yao shook his head. No longer thinking much. His spiritual energy swayed around him. Squeezing through the crowd. Who is it? Don't crowd me. Ouch. What are you doing haha yo. Don't move. If you don't stop squeezing. 
My baby will come out. In the back row of the bus, the pickpocket stared intently at the satchel basket of a gray-haired grandmother. He had been following the grandmother when he was in front of the bank. He had seen the grandmother take out $100,000 in cash, and this $100,000 would soon be his. With this $100,000, he can be on the clock again tonight. As the saying goes, love starts with the clock, and the clock stops with the intention of being hard to get even. Nowadays the world pickpocket is more and more difficult to mix, and the competition is fierce. He has not been on the clock for more than a month. I don't know if the girl has forgotten him. Tonight, he had to punch the clock for dozens of hours to make himself the brightest star in that girl's heart, then swipe a few carnivals for his favorite beauty hostess. No matter how to say oneself is also a list one big brother is not it. Finally well, leave $20 to go to Shasien to eat a beautiful duck leg rice. Perfect. Pickpocket think about it all have to give themselves a hard point of praise. He stretched out his own ghost shadow trail hand. Seven turns around the last reached into the grandmother's satchel to go. Groping around, it was easy to have touched the thick mannequin. And at this moment, the old granny a look of sadness. The face of a thick cloud of gloom does not go away. Their own old partner has a terminal disease. Even if they take out this few years to save money 100, 000 yuan, but also just a drop in the bucket. But, no matter how hard it is to cure the disease, even if the future to live in the flyover, pick up trash cans of leftovers she also want to save their old partner. Two people rely on each other for half a lifetime, has long been each other's only. In case her own old partner died, she didn't want to live. Got it. The pickpocket's heart was happy. Slowly took his hand back. Just at this moment. Snap. With a crunching sound, a white palm landed on his wrist. Bro. What's so great? I saw your face change a dozen times. A high look. The pickpocket raised his head and saw a young man looking at him with a smirk. Kid. I advise you to mind your own business. Said the other hand as he pulled out a small knife from the waistband of his pants beside him and pressed it against Shaya's abdomen. Want to mind your own business? Don't even look at how many pounds you have. Be careful I'll give you an opening. White in. Red out. He threatened in Xiao Yao's ear. Xiao Yao laughed lightly, his eyes looking around. There were quite a few people in the car who had already noticed this scene, but were silently staring at their cell phones, not listening, while the afterglow was constantly glancing this way. I'm hard. Bro, you might not be able to poke me with this knife. Laugh your ass off. Do you think you're adamantin? The pickpocket asked with a sneer of disdain. Ugh, how do you know that? Xiao Yao grinned. You're a prophet? Knife it. Knife your sister knife. You don't know what you're doing. A flash of ruthlessness flashed in the pickpocket's eyes. Swish. His hand violently pushed towards Xiao Yao's abdomen. There was a clang. The knife broke. Ha. Huh? The pickpocket looked at the knife in his hand the person directly stayed in place. I get it. Kid you've got a steel plate clamped on you. Good you're a faker. This time I'll give you a break. Swish. He swung the broken knife towards Xiao Yao's face. However. Xiao Yao just maintained his smile and his gaze slightly glared. The pickpocket's outstretched wrist unexpectedly jerked back halfway. Swish. It was stuck into his eye socket in one go. Ah. The pickpocket let out an agonizing shriek. And it wasn't over yet. It was like his hand was possessed. It also made a vicious turn inside the eye socket. Then pulled it outward. Good lord. Pulling out an eyeball. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. The pickpocket's face twisted in pain. And yes. It turned into the look of the first emoji in your phone again. Chapter 56, The Host's Divine Might is Overwhelming, Suppressing a Gene Dan Devil Dao Giant, The System Turns into a Licking Dog in Seconds, Ding, The Host is Awesome, The Host is Powerful, The Host is So Powerful, The Host is Going Up to the Heavens to Stand Shoulder to Shoulder with the Sun and Shine, Ding, Congratulations to the Host for Suppressing the Gene Dan 5 Day Demonic Giant, Rewarded with a Top Grade Spiritual Weapon, Dragon Subduing Demon Flag, Earth Grade Medium Grade Martial Art, Amazing Sword Art, Extremely High Grade Spirit Elixir, Tai Chi Jade Liquid Pill, Ding, The Host Admires the System to the Core, Five Bodies to the Ground, Admiration is like a river flowing endlessly, It's like the Yellow River Flooding, Extra Reward for a Set of Medium Grade Spiritual Weapons, Eight Floating Swords, Xiao Yao's eyes doubled over again. Not bad. The stupid system did its job again today. Just like this kind of one. Host, you're too awesome. You simply let the system. Let me. Shut up. Okay, honorable lord host. Xiao Yao, didn't this system change its nature today? Turned from a poisonous barman to a licking dog? Could it be that my kingly aura has shocked the system? Xiao Yao scratched his head without thinking much. Hey, bro, are you alright? Why are you so careless? Look at that, Agu. I've taken out my eyeballs. That's so bloody. Brother. Xiao Yao had an exaggerated expression. The pickpocket was in pain and angry. Your family can pick out your own eyeballs if you're not careful. Ah, uh, is this something that can be solved by carelessness? This is hell. 
The pickpocket's agonizing scream completely attracted everyone's attention in the carriage, and at this moment that old granny also reacted. With a face of panic, she covered her satchel. It must have also known what had happened to her. Ouch, young man, thank you, she said as she took Xiaoyao's hand. Little problem, grandma, you'd better protect your bag. Don't be dumbfounded, Xiaoyao said. Alas, it's not that I'm dazed, it's mainly that old man in my house. Ugh, the old granny's face instantly became bitter. Alas, every human being has their own bitterness. Xiaoyao shook his head. Granny, this elixir go back and give it to the patient to take. I'm from a family of Chinese medicine practitioners, and this elixir is my family's ancestor. Saying this, he shoved it into the old granny's hand without a second thought. All beings suffer, especially some disadvantaged groups in this society. For him it was just a matter of lifting his hand. Help if you can. But if the old granny didn't believe him and didn't give this elixir to the patient, he will not be what? Ping Shui met, can help already helped, he is not a saint mother, the world has the world's destiny, granny met him as destiny, but because do not believe in him so that his old partner missed the opportunity to save his life is also a kind of destiny, that's all, hey, can anyone call the police, this is a thief, call the police to arrest him, Xiao Yao said to the surrounding passengers, ah, it hurts me to death, who, dares to call the police, if you guys dare to call the police, I'll remember you all for the rest of my life. When I get out I'm going to kill you all. I'll make you all suffer. That pickpocket was sweating profusely from the pain. His forehead veins bulging yet he was roaring in defiance. One could only say that it was worthy of being a future giant of the devil's path. And was truly able to endure pain. And hearing the pickpockets threat a car full of people surprisingly one by one all lowered their heads in fear and played with their cell phones. Alas. Xiaoya sighed as he crouched down and fumbled around the pickpocket's body. Seven or eight wallets were turned over. Ah, that's my wallet. My wallet was actually stolen by him. There's a gold ring in my wallet. There's a bank card in my wallet. There's over a hundred thousand dollars stored in it. Seeing those wallets, there were some people who immediately raised their voices. Then they squeezed through the crowd to come in front of Xiao Yao, stretching out his hand. Thank you, thank you, this is my wallet. Xiao Yao glanced at them indifferently. Then he backhanded the wallet and threw it out the window. Ugh, that's my wallet. Why did you throw it out the window? That's it. You gave us back our wallets. Give me my money back. My wallet is LV. Famous brand. Several people screamed one by one at once. Hysterical at Xiao Yao. You guys say it's yours? I also said it was blown in by the wind. Xiao Yao said casually as he brushed it off. I damn. This is my wallet. Little young you. Shu. A sword chi cut across his cheek. Xiao Yao raised a finger with a blazing fire burning on it. All of a sudden, the temperature in the carriage went up. You what, HM, what were you about to say? The man shivered and instantly pissed himself. Nothing, nothing, I didn't say anything, my mouth was a little itchy, it's just moving a bit. He crooked his mouth, then covered it dead. What about you guys, you guys don't want your wallets. That's not my wallet, I don't have a wallet. I remember, my wallet is watered down, it's not LV. I don't seem to have my wallet with me today. Several people, one by one, looked at Xiao Yao's fingers and shivered. Shit, a few days ago, there was news about someone carrying a boat on the sea. Today, they damn well met this kind of bullish person. What luck, he stepped on dog shit on his way out. Xiao Yao sneered, he grabbed the pickpocket who was blind in one eye. Since this is the case, then bye bye. The next second he jumped straight out of the car window. In a flash, he was gone. The carriage was silent. No one dared to say a word more. Until a few moments later, it was determined that the people were almost gone. Only then did someone open their mouth. Damn, you're great at spells? Having an atomic bomb is awesome. Don't let me see you next time, or I'll give you a big fucking fight. As he opened his mouth the others, one by one, became indignant and wanted to open their mouths. Swish, a sword chi flew in from the window. A direct sword chopped off the hand of the person who spoke. Blood filled the sky. Then it skewered his mouth. The carriage instantly fell silent. By the time the car stopped at the side of the road, a group of people got out of the car with soft feet. Thinking back again but realizing that they could no longer remember the man's face. Xiao Yao, who had left with the pickpocket, slapped the pickpocket into crumbs halfway through the journey. It was only natural that the future giant of the devil Dao could not be allowed to grow up. It was essential to strangle him in the cradle. The host is wise and powerful. His magical powers are vast, too powerful. The system began to pat the horse's ass again. This is nothing. I can even suppress a Dan transformation realm powerhouse. Xiao Yao bristled in disdain. Zun do fake do? Don't believe it? Disbelieve. Xiao Yao's eyes gurgled. You give me the position of a Dan Transformation Realm powerhouse and I'll go suppress it for you. Righteous fathers, free small gifts to go away. 
Tomorrow continue to add more O. Like to support a wave of O. You look cool I am also happy. Today collected a lot of emoticons. Earned. Chapter 57 Immortal Cultivator's Mentality. Divine C4. The Dan Transformation Powerhouse of the Northern Military Region. Ding. The direction of the Dan Transformation Realm Powerhouses has been marked for the host. A shrunken map of China was presented in front of Xiao Yao. Xiao Yao zoomed in and zoomed out again. And it turned out to be in the Northern Realm. The Northern Military Region's garrison. Got a count. Xiao Yao grinned. This system was quite good at fooling people. However, it also proved sideways that the system's intelligence was not as strong as imagined, or else his abacus beads had turned into bullets whistling past the system's head, so how could he not notice it? But before we go, let's break through the realm first. Xiaoyao took a step out and his figure turned into a stream of light rushing into the long sky. He had to find a quiet place to make a breakthrough. Where was the quietest place in Magic City? Of course it was the top of the Oriental Pearl. Swish. Xiaoyao bought a small pot of wine at the convenience store and got two more small dishes. This was a man's joy. One couldn't forget to have fun while cultivating immortality. He stepped on the void and appeared beside the oriental pearl in a flash. Wow wow wow. So high. So high. Standing on the oriental pearl tower and looking down is also too good. There were fashionably dressed Mordor girls in the oriental pearl tower taking pictures of the clouds to punch in. Standing here. I have the feeling of having a panoramic view of the mountains. I really don't know what it's like to stand at the top of the oriental pearl tower. I really want to see it. The girl said in awe her face filled with longing. Alas, that's impossible. No one can get to the top of the Pearl of the Orient. If you fall down accidentally, you'll turn into mush. That's it. Don't dream about it. Unless you can fly and swoosh up there like in novels. Her two girlfriends joked. I know that too. It's just a joke. Come over here and take my picture. She's. She turned her back to the glass and struck a cute pose. Ha. Huh? Just then, the BFF who was holding up the camera to take the picture lifted her head like she'd seen a ghost. What's wrong? I think I just saw a figure flash past outside. Ha, huh? this is a few hundred meters in the air. How could there be a silhouette you're not kidding? Exactly. You must have seen it wrong. Nope, it really seems like a silhouette. He's even carrying a bottle. Ha, huh? oh oi. You were having too much fun with your boyfriend last night and your cranial high is now hallucinating. You're going to die. You're making fun of me. Ouch, isn't it? Is your boyfriend good? Give me a try? Fuck off. The three girls started to fight. At this moment... Xiaoyao had already arrived at the top of the Oriental Pearl Tower. He took a sip of white wine and looked at the flashing neon lights below. The buildings were as small as models. The people were even smaller than ants. How long can the peaceful scene last? Once the aura recovers the entire blue star will change drastically. Mortals are mortals after all. Too weak. Short lifespan. Weak power. Simply. Minions. After breaking through to the Divine Sea Realm, Xiaoyao's lifespan had skyrocketed to a full 500 years. And after reaching Jin Dan, he was even able to live for a thousand years. After gaining great power, his mindset was also gradually changing. It would become more and more cold. And those who offended him had no mercy. And their hands were raised. Bloody killings. Will become more normal in the future blue star. Xiaoya pulled out the Tai Ching Jade Liquid Great Restoring Dan. Tai Ching Jade Liquid Great Return Pill. Extremely high grade spirit pills. Taken from the top of Tai Ching Mountain. The thousand year old spirit spring is supplemented with hundreds of heavenly materials and treasures to refine it and it contains extremely thick spirit power. Xiaoyao opened the Dan box and a rich and exotic fragrance emanated out. The elixir flowed with luster. And just by taking a single breath, one could feel the spiritual energy in his body running rapidly. Xiaoyao swallowed the elixir in one gulp. Boom! Monstrous spiritual energy exploded within his body. And the divine sea tumbled once again as waves lapped up from the sky. It hardened and expanded by 20. 000 Zhang once again. 40,000 Zhang divine sea. Xiaoyao's cultivation reached the fourth level of the Divine Sea. His strength had skyrocketed once again compared to earlier. The next step is the Jin Dan realm. A Jin Dan figure was a big shot level powerhouse in those ancient immortal sects. His body was like a vast sun. His golden body overlooking the world. Xiaoyao drained the bottle. If you don't work hard to cultivate immortality now, you'll be a brother in the 10,000 souls in the future. Xiaoyao shook his head. The road was still long and he still needed to work hard. Then his figure turned into a stream of light and disappeared into the sky. Straight into the north. In the northern military region, snow filled the earth for 3,000 miles, with fire trees and silver armor. Xiaoyao followed the system's logo and soon arrived outside the northern military region. A silhouette descended from the sky, and the northern realm warrior who was on duty was startled. Xiaoyao glanced at it. Wufu Realm Stage 1. Flesh Refining Stage. It looked like the four major military regions had already started popularizing martial arts and had already received noticeable results. 
Not bad at all. Who is the visitor? The station warriors looked at Xiaoya with horror on their faces. This guy seemed to have come down from the sky just now, right? One should not have blinked. They raised their guns in their hands warily. Although there was fear in their eyes, they still didn't retreat one bit. It's me. Xiao Yao spoke indifferently. Chinese chief commander. Xiao Yao. Said Xiao Yao as he flashed his identity card. Drop. The access control machine swept and instantly opened the door for Xiao Yao. Greetings chief commander. The two bowed to Xiao Yao with a shocked face. Hard work. Xiao Yao nodded and pointed a spiritual energy flying out from the air. Boo boo. Crunching sounds emanated from the two warriors' bodies. The two advanced to the flesh refining stage. Thank you, chief commander. The two men's faces instantly turned red with excitement. Xiao Yao took a step into the middle of the northern military region, towards the place marked by the system. Xiao Su was currently in his office correcting documents. His status in the northern military region was just like Chen Anqing's status in the southern military region. And most importantly, he was only 40 years old this year. He was in his middle age and was a valiant warrior. The soldiers in the northern military region all teased that if a character like Xiao Su appeared in a novel, he would be a proper northern war god, the kind of character whose daughter and wife live in a kennel, and who, with a single phone call, rushes in with 100, 000 soldiers. Every time he heard such words, he just shook his head with a bitter smile. Where did he get his daughter and wife? His wife and daughter died in an accident a long time ago, and he only learned of this news three months later, without his daughter and child, Xiao Su who had lost his attachments, had even dedicated his life to the northern military region. For the warriors flirting he just laughed. What northern war god? Where is such a great power ah? Also an order. 100. 000 warriors rushed. Warriors stationed at the border cannot be said to move? Rush to one person to give you a slap almost. Day by day you force things more. This side of the warriors just arrived. The matter is resolved. Go back to the ass or not sitting hot. You give the order again. Everyone has to give you two slaps. After half a day's work, Xiao Su rarely got up and walked to the desk to exercise. A turn around, only to see a young man sitting on his position. Chapter 58 Five Emperors Yin Magic Body The sword is used for thousands of miles to cut down foreign enemies. Who are you? Xiao Su frowned. The gods were out of the way. This room of his was unlocked from the inside. When did this young man come running? Surprisingly, he didn't notice it at all. Chief Xiao, don't you recognize me? My name is Xiao Yao. You, are, Xiao Su's eyes widened violently. Chief Commander, Xiao Yao nodded. It's me. Xiao Su was just relieved after knowing that it was Xiao Yao. It had long been heard that there was an additional commander-in-chief in Huaxia, which was set up by the one from the imperial capital personally, and his status was even above their four military regions, the commander-in-chief alone into the southern military region. Just one hour, the southern military region up and down on its urfied body. He even passed down the art of forging the body the body quenching prescription, and the heirloom martial arts. Every time he mentioned that commander-in-chief when he chatted with Chen Anshang, Chen Anshang was extremely awestruck and said, the existence of a divine dragon in the sky, where on earth can one find a few times to hear about it? This made Xiao Su also curious about this commander-in-chief, and he didn't expect to finally have a chance to see it today. Since it is the commander-in-chief, it is only normal to have this kind of means. I heard that this commander-in-chief is a divine immortal cultivation figure. TSK TSK TSK. He had never seen any immortal cultivation figure. He didn't know how powerful it was. Was it as powerful as a nuclear bomb? It would be great if he could open his eyes sometime. I don't know what the commander-in-chief's arrival is about. Xiao Su asked carefully. Could it be that the higher-ups have sent out another mission? It's not a big deal. I see that Chief Xiao has also practiced my white crane body forging technique. And now that his realm has reached the fourth stage of Wufu, the bone refining stage, he is quite fast in close combat. Xiao Yao looked at that red logo on top of Xiao Su's head and laughed lightly. I wonder if Chief Xiao is interested in wanting to ride with me. Xiao Yao asked. May I? It just so happens that I've had some doubts in recent days. So I hope that the chief commander will teach me. Good to know. Come on. Chief Commander Xiao. Xiao Su rolled up the sleeves on his arms, revealing his robust arms. He shook his hands. He assumed the starting position of the open mountain fist. The chief commander is careful. I'm coming. Ding! Detection of a Dan Transformation Realm 3rd tier powerhouse about to suppress the host with a supreme offensive fist technique. Ding! Host! Why don't you just admit your weakness and beg him to take you as his disciple? Admit your mother. It's okay, but I don't have an old mother. Roll! Okay! The system was silenced and at this moment Xiao Su waved his fist towards Xiao Yao. Snap! Snap! Soon! Up is this and that and then this! Xiao Su was directly shaken and flew out, taking more than 10 steps back one after another and crashing into the wall. 
Ding, congratulations to the host, divine might covers the world, immortal laws are monstrous, he can be called a supreme ghost talent, he's a great master of the Dan transformation realm, the system worships the host, rewarded with a superb elixir, the heavenly treasure infinite 10,000 transformations pill, extra reward for the golden body, the five emperors magic body, after reaching the Jin Dan realm, one can evolve a supreme dharma body through the Jin Dan in their body, a single thought from the dharma body can suppress heaven and earth, Dharma body is not included in the rating of martial arts, but any Dharma body is comparable to a heavenly martial art at the very least. It is the capital of the ancient immortal cultivators to pick the stars and moon, and to compare with the sun. Five emperors Jin my Dharma body, it can condense the body of the green emperor wood emperor, the red emperor fire emperor, the white emperor gold emperor, the Xian emperor water emperor, and the yellow emperor earth emperor. When the five emperors are fully accomplished, they can transform into the five emperors Huagai and condense the great five elements emperor's golden body. Xiao Yao's eyes lit up. The system was already preparing him for the Jin Dan realm. Good system. Love it love it. In the future, let's curse at one less stupid sentence every day. The system will definitely be grateful when it finds out. Commander in chief strength. Xiao Su admires it. Looking at the young man in front of him who was old enough to be his son, Xiao Su was convinced. The strength that Xiao Yao had shown was far beyond his reach. He had already gone all out. But in front of Xiao Yao, he was still like a weak minion. Moreover, Xiao Yao had easily corrected his deficiencies in the several encounters he had just had. And if it wasn't for the fact that his status didn't allow him to do so, he would have begged Xiao Yao to take him as his disciple. Chief Xiao is polite. Xiao Yao shook his head. It's just a matter of each taking what they need. Since the matter has been resolved, I'll be leaving. Xiao Yao walked to the window and just wanted to leave. The phone on Xiao Xiao's desk rang once again. Chief Xiao, another batch of mercenaries have been detected illegally entering Chinese territory. There are about 30 of them. I know. Order the troops. Move out immediately. Carpet search. Never let any of them enter Chinese territory. My Huaxia is a forbidden land for mercenaries. This group of rats are simply dogbold. Xiao Tianzi became furious. He put on his military coat. Commander in chief. Things are urgent. So I'll excuse myself for now. With that, he was about to walk towards the outside. Wait. Xiao Yao raised his hand to stop him. I'll go with you to take a look. This is good. The two of them walked towards the training grounds of the military region together. At this moment, a team of well-trained warriors from the northern military region had already assembled. Xiao Yao swept a glance. These soldiers had majestic qi and blood, majestic bodies, and one by one, they were all at the skin refining and flesh refining stages. At their level, it was not a difficult task for the whole group to reach the peak of Wufu. Damn mercenaries, thinking of entering my Chinese territory day after day, they are simply looking for death without knowing it, check for me, send out drones, carpet search, not a single one of them can be spared, Xiao Su's face was ugly, these mercenaries were really not powerful if you wanted to say they were, the only problem was that all of them were extremely capable of hiding like rats, every time they searched for these mercenaries, they had to look for a long time, wasting both time and effort, yes, chief. The soldiers respectfully saluted as they all prepared to get into the SUV. Wait, it's too much trouble. Since it's just a few mole crickets, I'll just take care of it by hand, Xiao Yao casually said. The soldiers' puzzled gazes fell on Xiao Yao's body. This, chief commander, these mercenaries are good at hiding. If you want to be alone, Xiao Su showed a difficult face. There is no harm. I am only here, and I can take their heads without taking a step. Thousands of miles away, Xiao Yao laughed lightly. Hiss. At once. The warriors below sucked in a breath of cool air. Their eyes became increasingly skeptical. What about acting out a novel here? Earlier, he had heard that there was a guy in the southern military region who was going to single-handedly take on all the fighters in the entire military region, which was already outrageous enough. Although he didn't know what happened afterward, but it didn't end well anyway. Now there is another one who wants to take the enemy's head from thousands of miles away? Have you read too many novels playing with abstracts? None of them believe it? Xiao Yao grinned when he saw their puzzled gazes. I don't believe it either. But, that's just the way it is. Only Xiao Yao's hand cupped his sword technique. Eight floating swords. Out. Snort. Eight black and gold spirit swords that emitted a terrifying aura rushed up from the sky behind Xiao Yao. They flew around in the void. Gusts of white marks dancing and a burst of sword sounds resounding through the heavens and earth. Those warriors all looked dumbfounded at once. Even Xiao Su was astonished. A human sword immortal. This was the means of an immortal cultivator. Amazing imperial sword art. Go! Yijun pinched his sword finger. And the eight floating spirit swords turned into a rainbow. Disappearing into the sky and earth in an instant. That speed was not much faster than the fastest fighter jet in their military region. 
Chapter 59, East Wind Rapid Sword, The Mission Will Be Accomplished, Delivery, A Sword to Remove the Head, Plus More, Hiss, Is This a Divine Tactic? Has the chief invited an immortal, imperial sword technique? This is the imperial sword technique from the novel, taking the enemy's head from a thousand miles away. Terrifying, it's horrible. The soldiers of the military department were all talking one by one. All right, Chief Xiao, next you just have to wait to collect heads. Xiao Yao let out a light laugh. At this moment, at the northern border of Huaxia, in front of us is the territory of Huaxia. Those guys from the northern military region will definitely carpet search. Let's park the car here. Dozens of silhouettes in camouflage uniforms got down from the car. Over that mountain in front of us is the city. Once we're inside the city, it'll be harder for those guys from the northern military region to find us. Go, be careful, little lives are your own. Don't tighten it on the waistband of your pants for me. This is more important than your eggs. A group of loaded mercenaries plunged headlong into the mountains and forests. With the hidden color of the snow and trees, they had a good chance of escaping the helicopter survey and the search of the northern military region. This time they came prepared. Strange, how come no helicopters have appeared until now? In the past, the helicopters of those guys from the northern military region have long been flying in the sky in a shadowy manner. The mercenary's boss spoke with a puzzled expression. He had once tried to infiltrate into China three whole times, but he had failed every time, but luckily he had survived every time. Therefore, he was considered extremely experienced. He knew all about the northern military region's usual methods, and the only thing left to do was to see what they were doing. However, today, the northern military region is uncharacteristic, not only did not send helicopters, not even a single figure, they simply do not need to lurk, they just waltzed right in, didn't they? It's not right, there must be a demon when things go wrong, I think this is a trick by the Chinese, the mercenary leader stroked his chin, why do I feel as if there's always a pair of eyes staring at me from the shadows, he rubbed his nose with a puzzled and puzzled face, just then, swish, a stream of light cut through the void. It was immediately followed by a crisp sword sound echoing in the void. Not good. Airplanes. Get down. Several people instantly hid tightly and completely merged with the surroundings. However, there was no movement of the airplane. Boss, just now that sound is not quite right. The airplane is not this sound. Wushin flew past. Simply like. Just like what? The mercenary boss asked. White Emperor Holy Sword. Imperial Sword follow me. Slap. The mercenary boss threw a slap on his head. Brush less short videos in the future. Good dough. The mercenary boss grunted. And imperial swords. Do you really think that Huaxia is filled with immortal cultivators? Do you really think there are sword immortals in Shushan Mountain in Huaxia? That place has turned into a scenic spot now. The legend that there are immortals in Huaxia has been dispelled. There are no immortals in this world. We have to believe in the power of science. The gun in your hand is our most powerful weapon understand. Of course, there's also the gun underneath you. Some time ago in China is not very popular talk. Namo Gatling Bodhisattva. Six roots pure depleted uranium shells. A second 3600 revolutions. Merit and virtue of the world well. Even the Bodhisattva has to use Gatling. So the power of hot weapons is evident. And what immortalists are just a piece of shit. If he dares to show up, I'll dislike him into a sieve. The mercenary boss said disdainfully. Well, boss you're right. But why do you know so much about China? Boss? If you know your enemy and know yourself, you can win a hundred battles, worthy of being the boss, admirable. That little brother slowly gave a thumbs up. Then, swoosh, a sword light directly removed his head from his neck, the slightly upturned lips, including the expression on his face remained frozen. What the hell? The mercenary boss was startled. Rushingly, he raised the AK in his hand and aimed it into the air. The remaining mercenaries all panicked one by one. Old, boss, at this time, Someone spoke with a trembling voice. Boss. I. We're surrounded. Surrounded? What surrounded? Surrounded by swords. Mercenary boss? Giggling. The eight floating buttress sword was like a swimming dragon roaming between heaven and earth. A sword out is bound to skewer a human head. Duh did day. Duh did day. The mercenaries fearfully swept their guns in their hands towards midair, but those bullets were all bounced off before they could touch the flying spirit sword. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm quitting. There really is a sword immortal in China. Boss you're punking us. A mercenary smashed his gun on the ground in fear and turned to flee. There's your mother's sword immortal. F asterisk CK. The mercenary boss man was numb. The mercenary had only run a few steps before his head was removed by a sword. The eight-part floating sword traveled across the void, and a head would fall wherever it passed. That scene was horrifying. Shit, who the hell is doing this? Old me only believes in science. The mercenary boss looked at the eight swords flying in the sky with a pale face. At some point, he was the only one of the 30 or so mercenaries left alive. 
Fuck, shit, there really are immortals in China? No way. He looked a little panicked. If there are immortals in China, then there must be gods in the West. Odin. Zeus. God help me. Swish. A spirit sword slashed through, and the mercenary boss took off one of his arms without even reacting. Aha. Uh -huh. The gods of the West can't defeat the sword immortals of China. His face twisted in agony with it. Spare me, the immortals of Huaxia, spare me. Filled with fear, he knelt on the ground and caught out frantically towards the distance. I was wrong, I was wrong, I shouldn't have insulted the Chinese sword immortal. At this moment, Xiao Yao, who was far away in the northern military region, let out a light laugh. The power of the panic imperial sword technique was indeed good. Sending the Grim Reaper to someone's home without leaving the house. East Wind Rapid Sword, the mission will be accomplished, delivery to the door, a sword to pick the head, pick, after removing the mercenary boss's head with the last sword, Xiao Yao cupped his hand seals and the eight floating swords began to return, and Xiao Su and the others just watched Xiao Yao waving his sword finger there, it wasn't until a crisp sword sound came from them that they revealed unbelievable expressions, righteous fathers ah, I don't want you to break the bank, free gifts can be, you see an ad I see an ad, as long as the author code not die to die code, Borrowed body and soul are up code. The keyboard is dry and smoky. So he's dry and smoky. Chapter 60, 1 second. Being human can't be so cruel. Next second. Transforming into a living Yama. Only to see the distant sky dome. A flying sword broke through the air. Cutting through the long sky. Leaving a long white trail in the void. And after that flying sword. There were also seven flying swords following it. And the difference between the leading flying sword was that each of the seven flying swords at the back was strung with four or five heads and the expression of one head was all frozen, revealing a look of horror and disbelief. There were even a few snot and tears stuck into a pile on their faces, looking disgusting to the extreme. Hiss, these guys are those offshore mercenaries. Crap, one, two, three, four, five. A total of 33 heads, one no less, all wiped out. Look at the head at the front. Isn't that a character on our military region's most wanted list? This guy has tried to enter China three times and he escaped in the annihilation battles, this time he was even killed as well, bull, it's like a heifer stepping on a wire, a bull with lightning, is this big brother my Chinese sword immortal, he's so cool, thousands of miles on the wind, a little bit of skull blood, this is like a dream for me, I dream every day of becoming a sword immortal, if only I could worship him as my master, don't you dream about it every day, you're talking nonsense, swish swish swish, the eight flying swords return carrying the heads and circled around in midair, the last 33 heads were stacked in unison. Xiao Yao pinched his hand and the eight flying swords disappeared behind him. How about it? Chief Xiao, isn't this method more human, material and financial, and more time efficient? Xiao Yao asked with a smile. Xiao Sun nodded his head repeatedly. Indeed it saves, but the problem is that we damn well don't know how. Save a turtle. Alright, since things are done, I'll take my leave first. Everyone should also cultivate hard ah, in order not to call yourselves brothers and sisters in the 10,000 soul streamer in the future. Xiao Yao grinned and was about to leave. Wait, Mr. Xiao, the northern border is vast. I'll send a helicopter to give you a ride. No need. Helicopters are too slow. Swish. Xiao Yao took a step and a flying sword broke through the air. He stepped on the flying sword and went straight into the dome of the sky turning instantly to disappear into the endless clouds. Only a soft laugh was left behind at the spot. I, for one have always preferred environmentally friendly ways of traveling. Xiao So, all soldiers, eco-friendly is really eco-friendly, but unfortunately we really can't learn from it. Xiao Yao sat on his flying sword, his hand opened and an elixir appeared. This was the Heavenly Treasure Infinite 10,000 Transformations Pill. It was of the same variety as the Tai Ching Jade Liquid Great Restoration Pill. All of these spirit pills were refined by adding a large amount of heaven and earth spirit materials that contained rich spiritual energy and contained extremely rich spiritual energy. To put it simply, if this one elixir was thrown inside the Qinglan River, the entire river would turn into spiritual liquid. All the fish and animals would evolve, and the mortals who drank the river water would step into the Wufu realm in a very short period of time. A single one could change a city as it was a spiritual substance that captured the creation of heaven and earth. Xiao Yao opened his mouth and swallowed this heavenly treasure infinite creation pill in one gulp. Rumble. The Dantian vibrated and the divine sea expanded. The 60, 000 foot divine sea became a reality. Cultivation straightened into the sixth heavenly layer of the divine sea. Barely. Xiao Yao grinned. At this moment, he had already returned to the magic capital once again from the northern realm with his sword. He made a call to Chang Yan Han and the others. Hello, where are you guys? Ah, brother Xiao Yao, are you done with things? Well, it was done a long time ago, 
and I even took a trip to the northern realm. Wow, the north ah, I want to go too. I heard there's a world of ice and snow there. There's a chance. Where are you guys now? Oh, Sister Shiryun and I are at the IFC near the Pearl of the Orient. You guys are really rich ladies. He he he, Sister Shiryun asked if you want to be adopted by a rich woman. Xiao Yao, forget about being adopted. Dual cultivation is acceptable. Swish, the flying sword cut through the sky and flew towards the mall. Hi, brothers, hello, drive slowly. Xiao Yao saw a large airliner next to him and smiled as he saluted the captain. The captain turned his head to look and gave him an okay sign. Swish, Xiao Yao's flying sword overtook the airplane in a flash. At this time, the captain jerked with a jolt. No, I'm flying the airplane in the sky right now. How did he greet me? Could it be that he's seen a ghost? Xiao Yao circled around the mall and finally sensed two women in front of a jewelry store. It was just that the two seemed to be pestered by someone. Beauties, how come you're shopping by yourself? Is it lonely? Is it lonely ah? Uh? Do you want me to accompany you guys? A pompous redhead with two minions said in a flirty manner. You're blind. We're obviously two people. At an age when we should be studying hard you're going to herd cows. Chang Nian Han said angrily. After following Xiao Yao for a long time, it was as if she had flipped some kind of switch. Her personality was getting hotter and hotter. And she was like a little hot pepper. Yo, a pretty girl with a strong personality. I like your kind of hotness. The tart man didn't mind, but instead was full of smiles. Do you guys like jewelry? I can give it to you guys. My family is in the jewelry business. This jewelry store is owned by my family. My name is Sun Shuayang. Add a friend. How about we talk in depth later? Said taking the cell phone and handing it over. Snap. Chang Nian Han kicked his cell phone away. You go talk to your mom in depth. See if your dad has any opinions. Sister Shi Yun. Let's go. With that, he pulled Shin Shi Yun and the two of them were about to leave. Shit. Shame on you. Two bitches. Sun Zhuoyang's face became ugly. You two go and arrest them. Sun Zhuoyang ordered to the two little brothers beside him. On weekdays this kind of thing he didn't greet his two little brothers to do less. Most of the time it was him who ate the meat, ate and drank, and his little brothers ate the rest of him. So this kind of thing is also considered familiar. Yes, Sun Xiao. The two men smiled sinisterly, turned around and chased towards Chang Yan Han and the girls. A bunch of mole crickets, you really don't know how to die. Auntie I am now a great expert in immortal cultivation, let see me beat you all to death. Seeing the two people rushing towards her, Chang Nian Han had a smile on her face and waved her fists in the air. At this moment, a large hand pressed on her head and gently touched it. Girls, be ladylike, don't talk like me. Xiao Yao appeared with a dark face. As soon as he came over, he heard Chang Nian Han calling her a mole cricket, an unknowing person, and calling herself an aunt. Emotionally, she had learned all that she shouldn't have learned earlier. Brother Xiao Yao, when she saw Xiao Yao appear, Chang Nian Han was happy. Then she was bitter. Xiao Yao's appearance meant that she couldn't make a move again. Brother Xiao Yao you get out of the way. These guys don't know how many good girls they have victimized. I have to beat them to death today. Use the 8 extremes fist you taught me and send them to meet their timey. I can still have a drink with my old deadbeat in the ground. Chang Nian Han's face showed her unwillingness, waving her small fists with a cynical face. Alright, how can a girl's family be so cruel in doing things? Can't you learn from me properly? Be a good law-abiding citizen. Xiao Yao educated. And then he waved his hand at. As easily written as repelling flies. Put. The two men suddenly fell to the ground. Brother Xiao Yao, what did you do? Chang Yan Han and Xin Shiryun blinked their big eyes and asked with a curious expression. Just wiped out their vitality. Shun Shiryun? Chang Yan Han? If I call cruelty what do you call it? King of living hell? Chapter 61 The rich young man told me that his family has been in business for three generations, but I'm fighting three generations of businessmen. What have you done to my brothers? That Sun Zhuoyang saw his two brothers suddenly fall on the ground. His face became ugly, ran over and questioned. Nothing was done. They just collapsed. I didn't even touch them. Xiaoyao casually waved his hand and said, You fart. I don't believe you. Believe it or not. Xiaoyao spread his hands. Grandma, you must have some kind of poison on you. Search me. I want to see what you've done. Sun Zhuoyang's eyes gurgled. If only he could have this kind of poison. A sprinkle of it would knock someone out. It would be much easier to do things in the future and eat meat with ease. Search your mom. Scram. Xiao Yao said with a cold face. You're telling me to get lost? Do you know who I am? No. I'm the young master of the Sun family. Do you know how awesome my Sun family is? No. I knew you didn't know. Then listen carefully. Sun Zhuoyang wiped his red-haired head. My son family company has a market capitalization of tens of billions. Three of the 13 jewelry stores that are in this mall are owned by my son family. Even this mall my son family has shares. 
Are you guys from Mordor? Just one word from my son family can make your whole family unemployed and bankrupt in a second. The men will become beggars. The women will go to clubs to sell their bodies. Sun Zhuoyang said proudly. Bullish bullish. What do you mean by being so perfunctory? Nothing much. It just feels like your excellency is like a person. What person? Heath Ledger. Heath Ledger is. You dare to call me a clown. Sun Zhuoyang reacted violently. Answered correctly. But unfortunately there is no prize. You fucking. His forehead rippled with veins. Kid, I'm telling you right now I don't want to say one more word of nonsense with you. You take my two friends to the hospital right now. Then give me those two women beside you to play for two days. Or I'll kill you believe it or not. I'll kill you at the end of the world. Based on what? Because my family is rich. Rich? Then I still have power. Power? Your power is as big as my old man's. I'm talking about this fist. Xiaoyao put up a fist. Ha! Sun Zhuoyang sneered. Nowadays is the era of brains. Those with empty brute strength are fools. How powerful are you alone you can beat 10 people? A hundred people? Can you beat a man with a sword? With a gun? Sniper rifle? Gatling? Bombers? A nuclear bomb? My family has been in business for three generations. With my word, I can get dozens of people to beat you to death. Sun Zhuoyang looked at Xiaoyao with contempt, feeling like a fool, threatening him with a fist. No way. He had never seen such a comical fool in his life. You think you're it man, or Hua Yuan Jia, even if it's neither. Xiao Yao grinned. I forgot to tell you. My fist specializes in hitting your three generations from business. He took a step forward, picked up Sun Zhuoyang's collar, and said to Chang Nian Han and the others, You guys wait here for a moment. Don't go far. Swish. The two of them instantly disappeared into the mall. Returning to his senses again, Sun Zhuoyang was shocked to realize that he was already 10,000 feet in the air. Ah ha. Crap. Where is this place? His face was slapped down by the fast gusts of wind whirring in his face. The top of the Tower of the Oriental Pearl. Xiao Yao said indifferently. Didn't you say you wanted to see my fist? Now I'm giving you the chance. I hope I don't scare my guts out. Immediately, Xiao Yao's gaze narrowed slightly as he slammed his fist towards the void. Prison suppressing demon fist. Dang. A heaven shaking black fist like several giant size broke through the air and rushed out. The fierce and domineering fist intent instantly enveloping the space. In that instant, the void seemed like a demon god roaring. Lohan's eyes raging and his fist slaying demons. The shocking sound of thunder ripping through the sky resounded high in the sky. Holy shit! Sun Zhuoyang's legs went limp and he almost slipped off the top of the tower. How about this punch of mine? Is beating you for three generations from business enough? Xiao Yao shook his fist. Sun Zhuoyang's legs trembled and his crotch was wet. Three generations of businessmen? My family has been in business since Mrs. Grandpa's time and it's not even enough to beat you with a punch. I'm not some inhumane guy either. How about this? You give your dad a call. Call over and I'll ask him. Okay, okay. I'll call my dad right away. Sun Zhuoyang nodded repeatedly and hurriedly dialed a call to his old man. Dad, you come quickly. Your son I'm going to be finished. Come save me quickly. Did you molest some woman again and mess up? You loser son. Pops has told you. Do things in drips and drabs. Be a little more discreet. If you can use money to settle things. Use money to settle things for me. On the other end of the phone. There was a sigh. Where are you now? I'll be right over. Sun Lin shook his head. He only had this one son. He could only spoil. Spoil to death. I. I'm on top of the Oriental Pearl Tower. Do I look like a fool to you? Really dad. I'm really on top of the Oriental Pearl Tower. I was flying up there. Why don't you say you're in hell? Already half a foot in it. Sun Zhuoyang looked at Xiao Yao cautiously with a pale face. Tell him to wait on the third floor of the IFC. Xiao Yao said. Good. Sun Zhuoyang nodded. Dad you wait on the third floor of the IFC. Right in front of our family's jewelry store. That's more like it, little brat. Still on top of the Oriental Pearl Tower. Nothing to make fun of your dad. If you can go up the Pearl of the Orient, your old dad I'll have to disco on top of Mount Everest. The phone hung up. Xiao Yao carried Sun Zhuoyang back into the middle of the mall. Half an hour later, a middle-aged man with a big belly arrived at the venue, followed by some managers of the mall and the like with a strong front and back, attracted the attention of many people around. Son, what's wrong with you? Seeing his son sitting paralyzed on the ground with a wet crotch and a terrified expression. Your son said that his family has been in the business for three generations. And his family has a lot of money and is a bunch of dicks. So I want to see how much of a dick it is. So I let him call you here. Xiao Yao said indifferently. Dad. He. But Sun Zhuoyang's words had just left his mouth when he was surprised to find that his mouth was sealed. Not a single word could be uttered. Xiao Yao glanced at him. How can I let you open your mouth to remind your father? How can you end their family yourself like this and send father and son to meet the king of hell? This kind of family, casually asked Xin Xiao to check, 8 out of 10 crimes, 
oneself this is for the people to get rid of harm, in the future to become a fairy not to add their own merit, at that time, the merits of the golden wheel on the back, all the way sparks with lightning, chapter 62 watch this and say it again, rich young pops, do I have a chance, plus more, how dickish, so you see it now, here, this is the general manager of the mall, this is the mall security chief, and this is the mall, as long as I come, people one by one have to follow me in front and behind, what do you mean by dick, I'm telling you it's dick, I'm telling you it's a dick, it's a bully, young people, I teach you well, this world people divided into three classes, rich, entitled, and, rich and entitled, I am the highest class, as for you, humph, not even a fart, Sun Lin sneered, the surrounding several guys in suits all nodded their heads and agreed to say yes, only Sun Shuoyang, only felt a chill rushing up from the soles of his feet to the ceiling, father ah, my good big daddy, you dare to talk to this ancestor like that, don't you know that the mall would have to collapse with one of his punches oh, Sun Zhuoyang frantically winked at his old dad, who was now sweating and in tears, but his old man is like blind, can't see anything, still pretending to himself, I see, so powerful ah, I'm so scared oh, so, do you want to look at this and say what you just said again, say it again a hundred times is no problem, kid you, but he hadn't finished his words, buzz buzz, only to see the space around him stirring, Xiaoyao slowly spread out his palm and a green colored lotus flower bloomed and blossomed with it, the stirring sword she instantly whistled around, the floor of the shopping mall, the walls, a sword mark emerged with it, that sword intent enveloped the few people present, the sword she was like a gale whistling in the ears, Sun Lin's legs went numb all of a sudden, you 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 you, his face turned white, and he was suddenly unable to speak as if he had stuttered, suddenly, he remembered, just in the past two days, it seemed that several families, including the Lu family in Mordor, including the biggest gang in Sakura country, the Yamaguchi Gumi branch in Mordor, had all been wiped out in one fell swoop for some mysterious reason, there were rumors in their circle that it was a big figure who possessed terrifying energy, a figure that even the state had to pull him in, it was said that that character mastered transcendent means, comparable to the legendary immortal cultivators, when he first heard this news, he just laughed it off, but nowadays, it seems like things are not that simple, that person really exists, and is right in front of him, what kind of feeling is this, just like when you're walking on the street, brushing up on the news that there are murderers roaming around lately, you don't think about it and laugh it off, then you accidentally bump into a passerby and look, Naya, that guy is a murderer, the murderer is looking at you with a big smile on his face, you bumped into me, how do you want to die, directly you know, reopen it, flop, Sun Lin fell to his knees at once, now that I'm explaining, do I still have a chance, what do you say, Xiaoya let out a light laugh, he unlocked Sun Zhuoyang's seal, congratulations to you father and son, happy to have the opportunity to drink tea with King Yama once, the two men immediately turned ashen, wait a moment, I have something to say, Sun Lin raised his hand, say your mom says, I don't want to hear it, King Yama will listen, bang, with a bang, Sun Lin instantly turned into a mist of blood, his having something to say was nothing more than all that blah 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 I was wrong, I'm willing to submit to you and be a dog for you and all that crap, there is no use, wanna be a Xiaoyao's dog, general is not enough qualification, how to also have a what gene Dan, Dan change potential it, or what divine beast bloodline, what war body, spiritual body, royal body must have it, what, you have nothing, turn left out the door of hell, then, Xiaoyao turned his gaze to Sun Zhuoyang, I have nothing to say, if you don't have anything to say, go to hell, bang, Sun Zhuoyang blew up as well, then, Xiaoya waved his big hand, thousands of strands of aura drilled into the minds of everyone present, it erased this memory directly, immortal cultivator means, the main one was how convenient it was, afterwards, he then called Chen Xiao, ended the Sun family in one pot, once checked, the bad deeds were all over the place, directly ended, this matter spread out again with great speed, the several upper class families in Magic City all trembled, Nima, who the hell is it, it's only been a few days, several plans have been wiped out, it's like a family nemesis, I've lost all my pills, what medicine, it's a small pill that won't make me fall, recently, tell the family to go out less often, keep your head down, keep your head down in your pants, I must have messed with the wrong person, I'd better move, magic city cannot stay, let me take a look ah, well, there's a place called Qinglan city in the south with beautiful mountains and scenery, I'll just move there, it's definitely safe over there, for a while, the several families in Magic City were all on edge, fearing that they had accidentally messed with some big shot and directly crunched it, and at this moment, Xiaoyao and the others had already left Mordor, 
Picking up Chang's mother midway and returning to Qinglan City. Strange. It feels like I've forgotten something. Xiaoya touched his head with a puzzled face. Magic City. A certain hotel. Boom. A crackling and crunching sound came out. A teenager on the bed suddenly opened his eyes. Good. I've finally broken through to the marrow refining realm. Master. You were right. Immortal cultivation should come steadily one step at a time. I'm the man who wants to become a sword saint. How can I do it without a stable foundation? Excellence took a deep breath and clenched his fist. His face full of exhilaration. I feel like I can kill 10 Tysons with one punch right now. No way. I have to hurry up and tell Master the good news. Excellence jumped up from the bed in a flash and picked up the phone. Hello, Master. I've broken through to the marrow refining stage. I feel like I've become so strong. Oh, a breakthrough? HM. Quite good. Xiaoya was lying on the sofa of the villa watching the TV. Right. So, Master where are you? Let's have dinner together and then go back to Qinglan City tomorrow. It's been hard for you guys to wait for me all this time. Oh, I'm at the family villa. Oh, then you're out now. Ha. Huh? Excellence suddenly blinked his eyes. Things weren't quite right ah. Uh. Master, you have already gone back? Went back yesterday. Excellence. Ah, uh, I remember. I told you that something seemed to have pulled down before. So it was pulling you down. Xiaoya slapped his forehead and said, Take the high speed train and come back yourself. Then the phone hung up. Excellence instantly burst into tears. Master Ah, is this disciple of mine a gift from you charging the phone bill? 1000 free small gifts plus one more chapter. As promised. Chapter 63, Smooth Sakura Nation's Female Assassin. Yamada Shinko. Poor Excellence booked a high speed train ticket to go back overnight. And halfway there, he met a girl dragging an overweight suitcase. In line with the good character of the sword saint to help people, he helped that girl carry the suitcase all the way. As a result, the girl not only did not even have a thank you, but instead told him not to add WeChat. In a fit of rage, Excellence directly carried the suitcase back down the stairs. As a result, the girl missed the high-speed train. Excellence was overjoyed. Master, I'm coming. Master, I've broken through to the marrow refining stage. The villa of River Villa in Xinglan City. Excellence, who had finally returned after traveling over thousands of mountains, was excitedly inviting credit to his master. Xiaoyao ate a grape. Apprentice. Ah, a mere marrow refining stage. You don't need to be too excited. Do you know which realms there are in the immortal cultivation realm? Of course. Master you said it. There's Wu Fu. Strong Qi. Vital Spring. Divine Sea. And so on. Excellence said as if he were counting. Wrong. Big mistake. Apprentice. You still don't get it. Throughout the ancient times, immortal cultivators only existed in a total of three realms. Which three? Excellence's eyes widened. Griffin. Daoist. And Senior. Excellence. Your current realm has to shout senior to anyone you meet, while my current realm has to shout senior to anyone who meets me. So you still have to work hard. Don't be complacent. Here, in order to test whether your Taoist heart is firm or not, it just so happens that you will help clean up the weeds in Master's courtyard. Xiao Yao commanded lazily. Yes, Master, my Tao heart is firm and unbreakable, but it's just cleaning up the weeds. Please feel free to leave it to me. Excellence gleefully tumbled right out of the window. Alas, young man, not following the right path. Xiao Yao shook his head. On the other side, Sakura Country's Yakuza, because the Yakuza branch stationed in China was wiped out, coupled with the threatening phone call received by the Yakuza boss, Inegawa Guzaka. As a result, a murderous atmosphere permeates the entire Yakuza today. Inegawa Gosaka had made a lot of connections, and had finally managed to find out who that murderer was, and pinpointed who exactly was trying to be his father on the phone. Yamada Shinkokuan, this time you, who comes from a ninja family. We'll go to China and assassinate this bastard who insulted my Yamaguchi Gumi and killed my Yamaguchi Gumi members. Understood. Hinagawa Gangsaka had found the number one beauty of the Yamaguchi group who also doubled as the number one assassin and sent her to China to assassinate Xiao Yao. Wearing a small white blouse with a hip skirt plus black stockings plus 10 centimeter high heels, and wearing glasses, the very familiarly dressed Yamada Shinko decisively took on this mission. In the past few years, she had used her beauty to assassinate an unknown number of enemies for the Yakuza. There was no one who wasn't seduced by her beauty, and her best skill was hiding poison underneath. Don't worry, Hinagawa Kuan, with me out there, that Chinese named Xiaoya will die for sure. Yamada Shinzi's rosy lips curled into a smile. Even those in high positions couldn't resist her charm, let alone a young boy from China. Yamada Shinko took a flight to China overnight. At this moment, Xiaoya also received a call from Chen Xiao. Mr. Xiao. We found out that the Yamaguchi group from Sakura Country is investigating your information. Is it necessary to make a move to intercept it? Intercept? Why intercept? Release my information to them. 
Xiao Yao said indifferently. Will this be dangerous? Chen Xiao was a little hesitant. There is a hairy danger. I say Xiao Zia. You've been with me for so many days. Don't you understand my temper as a person? Once he, the Yamaguchi Gumi, realizes that it was me who exterminated their Mordor branch. Do you think they'll just let it go? It won't. They might find a way to assassinate you. Mr. Xiao, that's very dangerous. Mr. Xiao, that wouldn't be right. As long as they come, I'll have an excuse to go over there, one way or another. Maybe one day Sakura country will become Sakura province. Hiss. Chen Xiao sucked in a breath of cool air and blinked his eyes. How can I put this plan of Mr. Zhao's? Luring the enemy in. It was simply astounding. He wouldn't be able to figure it out even in 10 lifetimes. All right, do it if you understand. Right. By the way, post a message for me. Just say that I'm looking for a maid for my villa. Well, the standard is going to be the kind of white small shirt plus hip skirt plus black silk and 10 centimeters high heels and then put on glasses girl. Understand. Understood. Mr. Xiao. Hanging up the phone. Xiao Yao shook his head helplessly. What an unteachable child. The IQ still needs to be raised a bit again. At this time, Chang Yan Han walked over. Brother Xiao Yao. I can't imagine that you are this kind of person. Are you recruiting a maid or a bed warming maid? I've already told Sister Shi Yun all about it. Chang Yan Han said indignantly. Oh, and then what? This is her resume. Xiao Yao. At this moment, Yamada Shinzi who had rushed to Mordor overnight and then transferred to a high-speed train to travel to Qinglan City, was however already thinking about what method to use to approach Xiao Yao. A chance encounter on the road? This method is too old-fashioned and doesn't quite work. Squatting next to a streetlight and pretending to be a high school girl then getting picked up and taken home? It doesn't seem to work either. According to the information that Xiao Yao doesn't seem like such a warm-hearted person, looks like we can only start with the people around him. Let's see. Chang Yan Han, a high school student, and Shen Shiryun, a college student? Cut. Two little girls with no hair growing. Big deal. Tie them up. Simple. Yamada Shinko had a disdainful face. Two soft and weak little girls. What are they capable of? With her strength from a hundred battles, one of them could beat ten of them. But she didn't know that the two had long since received Xiaoyao's enlightenment and had become experts at the stamina realm. One slap down could knock her back to the Sakura country. Ha, huh, this is, Villa 1 of River Villa is recruiting a maid, requiring a small white shirt with a hip skirt plus black stockings plus 10 centimeter high heels, and glasses, age control at 26, Yamada Shinko looked down at her attire, why don't you just report my ID here, I didn't expect that, what an unexpected, there's an old Chinese saying called knowing the time, yuck, call to get all the effort, really want to sleep god sends me a pillow, I Yamada Shinzi's luck is really good, good, I'll take this maid's position, Yamada Shinko was all smiles. As long as she could get close to Xiao Yao, her plan was half successful. After all, no man could resist her charm. The next day, the flirtatiously dressed Yamada Shinzi went to River Villa with her forged resume. Originally thought that with such good conditions, she would go through some fierce competition. Unexpectedly, in just half an hour she received a notification from the host family. She herself had been hired. Sure enough, I, Yamada Shinzi, am favored by the heavens. There's no way I'll fail in this appointment. Chapter 64, The Stimulus That Makes Your Eyes Roll Up Is A Soul Search. You say? Female Assassin's Breakdown. After simply changing into her maid outfit, Yamada Shinko carried a broom and swept the floor tiles in the living room that had already been cleaned up by Xiao Yao with his spells. She kept her gaze fixed on Xiao Yao, who was lying on the sofa watching TV, without shifting for a moment. Is this the guy who trashed the Yakuza branch, so young? What exactly did he use? Carrying a gatling over? She really couldn't figure out how Xiao Yao, with this weak looking body, managed to do away with the Yakuza. Forget it. Whatever. As a ninja, fulfilling orders is the first priority. Next I just have to find a way to trick him into bed. Yamada Shinko thought in her mind. I wonder how this man compares to the men I've assassinated in the past. I've tasted too much of the old oil, and I'll want to try something different. This was Yamada Shinko's usual habit. She wanted to have a good time before killing someone. It wasn't a man's prerogative after all. But it was a pity that Xiao Yao couldn't read minds. Otherwise she would have to go up and give her a slap. Screw your lollipop. Mine is a killing stick. Hey, that who? You come over and clean up the coffee table. At this time, Xiao Yao suddenly greeted. Yamada kid's eyes lit up. What an opportunity. All right then, master. She said daintily. Taking the rag, she went to the edge of the coffee table. Bent over, cocked her hips, and unbuttoned her shirt three times. Started slowly wiping up the coffee table. Master, there's garbage on your side too. I'll pick it up for you. She tilted her body closer to Xiao Yao, deliberately pulling her neckline down and exposing it to Xiao Yao's eyes. 
From time to time, there was also some physical contact. Little sample, this is still not mesmerized by my old lady. Yamada Shinko sneered, as expected, but after a few minutes, Xiaoyao slowly got up and stretched. Come to my room for a moment, I have something to talk to you about. Saying this, he turned around and walked towards the upper floor. Yamada Shinzi's heart was delighted at the words. Humph, man, I knew it. Good drop, master. With a toss of her hair, she followed Xiaoyao's footsteps with a sultry stride. When they arrived at the room, Yamada Shinko closed the door right behind them. Then Xiaoyao closed the curtains. It's not good to do this in broad daylight, master. Yamada Shinko's mouth was saying this, but she had already quite literally started to undress. The fragrant shoulders were half naked. It was just Xiaoyao sitting on a single sofa with a calm face, crossing his legs, lighting a cigarette. Who sent you here? Ha, huh? master, what are you talking about? I can't understand. Yamada Shinko blinked. Never mind. I can tell by thinking about it that you won't be able to speak. By the way, do you want to experience something exciting to the point of rolling your eyes kind of thing? Xiaoyao asked. Ah, master you are so perverted oh, but I think it's acceptable oh, and I can put up my scissor hands too. She spat out her tongue and said. In her heart, she secretly slandered. This guy looks young and plays so perverted? It's good that it's acceptable. I was afraid that you wouldn't be able to accept it. Xiaoyao smiled and walked to her side. As long as it's master's order, I can do whatever I'm told to do. She threw a wink towards Xiaoyao. MMM, so good. Xiaoyao pressed his hand on her head. Meow. Yamada Shinko pretended to be cute and rubbed against Xiaoyao's palm. She even let out a scratchy cat purr. Let's get started then. Good drop, master. Yamada Shinko reached out her hand and just wanted to undo Xiaoyao's clothes, only to see Xiaoyao's gaze. An aura that sent chills down her spine ensued. Yamada Shinko instantly felt like falling into an ice cellar. Soul search. Buzz. Immediately after that, a purple light flashed in Xiaoyao's eyes. Countless memories flooded into his mind. That's right, what he had cast was the invincible divine art in the immortal cultivation world. The soul searching technique that was comparable to a lie detector. Ah! Yamada Shinko instantly felt as if there was a blender stirring madly in her head. It hurt so much that her entire body began to convulse. Her eyes rolled upwards and she shivered as if she had been electrocuted. Originally, come, you said, that, the, eyes, upturned, were this, upturned. Yamada Shinko shivered. Ha, huh? still able to talk? It looks like the search wasn't hard enough. Increase the strength. Xiaoyao directly increased the intensity of the soul search. Ah ah ah. Yamada Shinko directly disco danced in place in agony. Not to mention her eyes rolling upwards. Her tongue was even spitting out. Snap. After searching her soul, Xiaoyao casually threw her to the ground. The female assassin of the Sakura country's Yamaguchi Gumi. Yamada Shinko. Kind of interesting. Xiaoyao lightly laughed and sat down on the sofa. And Yamada Shinko, who had just finished having her soul searched, unexpectedly did not turn into a fool. She was deflated and sweating as if she had just come out of the water. You. What the hell are you? Your quality is quite good. You haven't turned into a fool after being searched by me. That's fine. There's no harm in telling you. I'm sure you're also curious about how I overthrew the Magic City's Yakuza branch. I can let you have a good eye-opener today. Boom. Xiaoyao took one step. A terrifying aura swept through the room. His entire body was directly suspended in mid-air as materialized spiritual energy flowed around him. I relied on this power to overthrow the Yakuza. Now you know. Xiaoyao grinned. But that gaze fell like a devil in Yamada Shinzi's eyes. This man is a monster. Run. With a look of fear on her face, she took a deep breath and slightly recovered some of her strength, bracing herself to stand up and rush towards the door. Snap. Opening the door of the room, she just happened to find the two of them, Chang Yan Han and Shin Shiryun, intently lying on the door of the room and eavesdropping. All of a sudden, the three of them were startled at the same time. Yamada Shinzi clenched her teeth. A ruthless color appeared on her face and directly drew a dagger from under her skirt. She took a step forward and locked the two in a necklock. Then the dagger was aimed at the necks of the two. Don't you come over. I'll kill them both if you come over again. If you don't want the two of them to die, you'll let me go. Yamada Shinko looked at Xiaoyao with a stern gaze. This guy is a monster. Must go back and report to the group leader. It's amazing that such a monster-like man has appeared in Huaxia. It's too dangerous. Whatever. You can kill him if you want. Xiaoyao spread his palms with a disinterested face. Brother Xiao Yao, you are too heartless. How dare you put the two of us in danger? Chang Yan Han blinked her big eyes and revealed a wry smile. Right, right, right. Xiao Yao, how could you do this to me? I am your woman. I'm already pregnant with your child. It's been three months. Xin Shi Yun instantly reacted when she saw Chang Yan Han making eyes at her, shouting. She said, "I'm Nima. 
It's three months old without even taking off her pants. I spaced out right. Xiaoyao's head was filled with black lines, but Yamada Shinzi didn't think so. Once she heard that Qin Shi Yun had given Xiaoyao a three-month pregnancy, then this is a great hostage. With her in hand Xiaoyao shall not throw his hands in the air. She grabbed Xin Shi Yun with a death grip. Are you going to let me go or not? Otherwise, the two of them and the child in her belly won't be able to survive. Xiao Yao was indifferent. Oh, Yamada Shinzi was furious. You think I'm joking with you? I'm not joking with you. Good. In that case, I'll kill one person first. Let me show you. With that, she picked up her dagger and stabbed it towards Chang Yan Han's neck. In terms of weight it was definitely Xin Shi Yun who was much heavier. So she killed Chang Yan Han first to sacrifice to heaven. However, Ka, the dagger stabbed in Chang Yan Han's neck unexpectedly directly. Broke. No, not right. Even the dagger didn't stab Chang Yan Han. It was stuck in midair by an invisible gas then it directly broke. Cut. It's no fun. Brother Xiao Yao doesn't fall for it at all. I'm not playing anymore. Chang Yan Han shook her head in boredom. Wow. There was a swing of true chi around her body. Bang. Yamada Shinzi was directly shaken out by an invisible force. The next thing that happened was that she smashed hard against the wall. Falling to the ground, Yamada Shinzi touched his starry head. His mind was broken. He was numb, his body was tired, and his head was about to explode. How can a female high school student in this China be so powerful? Righteous fathers, free small gift punch, the author is going to hum and haw and start coding. Chapter 65, the female assassin is actually a biochemical mother, traveling to Sakura country. Then kill this one first. Yamada Shinko lunged towards Shin Shiryun. Ah ha, why are you lunging towards me? Do I look weak? Shin Shiryun shouted unwillingly. Thud. A fist was swung out. Bang. Yamada Shinko instantly turned into a meteor and smashed through a wall. It fell straight from the upper floor to the inside of the courtyard. Xiaoyao and Chang Nianhan looked at her with speechless faces. Sister Shiryun is really something. You didn't hit her lightly. You broke the wall. That's right. You have to pay for a broken wall. Xiao Yao nodded in approval. Shen Shiryun squirmed and pinched the corner of her skirt, lowering her head shyly. But I don't have any money. Is it okay to pay with meat? Xiao Yao. It's over. His own invincible charm has turned a silly white sweetie into a hardened female hooligan. Sure enough, it's tough when people are too good. It's better for boys to protect themselves when they go out. Flying down from the upper floor, Yamada Shinzi sprayed out a mouthful of blood in a big gulp. Chang Yan Han's casual punch had almost killed her and it felt like several ribs had broken all over her body. It was good that she was also considered to be battle-hardened and her physical quality was relatively good, or else the probability was that she would have lost her life with this punch. Run, hurry up and run, can't stay any longer. This place is simply a nest of monsters. Yamada Shinko's face was pale, not only because of her injuries but also because she was frightened. She braced herself to get up from the ground, then fled towards the door. While fleeing the wounds on her body were oozing blood, an odor of blood filled the garden. So a certain figure that was sleeping on its back in a nook in the corner instantly woke up. Roar! A deafening tiger roar came out. Immediately afterward, a huge shadow covered Yamada Shinko's body. It was the tiger. At once, Yamada Shinko's three souls drifted halfway. Nima, whose nice guy has a tiger in his yard. Other people have cats and dogs that wag their tails when they have guests. If they don't have a chicken, they can still play basketball. But you have a tiger. Do you want to feed it to your guests? And this tiger is so big, it's bigger than the northeast tiger. Bang! White hair waved his bushy palm and slapped down. Yamada kid flew out again. Her brain was so confused that she didn't know how many times she had flown in a day. It felt like it was going to turn into a basketball. White hair. This guy. Gives it to you to eat if you don't mind. Xiaoya walked out from the villa. Hearing this, Yamada Shinko's three souls were once again half scattered. But white hair came close to her. Came up and sniffed and shook her head. What? You said she stinks? Xiaoyao frowned and looked closely at Yamada Shinko. Nice guy, AIDS, herpes, syphilis, gonorrhea. You damn well don't have any of the same awe. Ninjas are so dutiful. Fighting without umbrellas? Xiaoyao was dumbfounded. What crazy babies he used to watch on the internet was nothing. This is the mother of all biochemicals by your side. No wonder even white hair dislikes it. Alas, pitiful. It's so pathetic. For the sake of you being so pitiful. Yamada Shinko's eyes lit up. Brother Xiaoyao. What do you want? No matter how pitiful she is, she is still an assassin sent by the Sakura kingdom. How can you spare her? A pitiful person must be hateful. Seeing as you're so pitiful then I'll kill you. Hmm, Nianhan what did you just say? Ha, huh? no ah, uh, I didn't say anything. Chang Nianhan hurriedly covered her mouth. As expected, brother Xiaoyao's attribute of a living hell has never changed. After saying so much, I'm tired, let's send you on your way. Slap. 
Xiaoyao casually slapped out an aura palm force. Wait, don't you wait, one by one, both of you want to wait, stalling for what time, villains die from talking too much you know, I won't push with you, bang, Yamada Shinko exploded into nothing but a head, Xiaoyao pulled out his phone, Chen Xiao, the female assassin from Sakura country is here, ah, it's alright, Mr. Xiao, nonsense, if I were not okay, would I still be standing here on the phone with you, come over here, take her head away and send it to Sakura nation on the way, just say, they sent ninjas to assassinate high-ranking figures in China. Well, the problem is very serious. Ask them to pay compensation. Just change the name to Sakura Province from now on. Eh? Mr. Xiao. I don't think the Sakura country will agree to this request of yours. Chen Xiao said. I also think they won't agree. Eh? Then you still? I just did it on purpose. Just say so. I'll personally go over if they don't give it. Eh? Okay. Mr. Xiao. You are really great. Small problem. Xiao Yao hung up the phone. Two hours later, Mr. Xiao, Sakura Nation wrote back, they are simply too arrogant. What's wrong with them? Xiao Yao asked curiously. They said that you drank too much fake wine. Xiao Yao? Good good good. Daring to scold and Xiao not eating beef, Yao. This cherry blossom country is really tired of living. Hangs up the phone. Alright, Nian Han. You and the Xi'an stay at home first. I'm going to Sakura country for two days. He greeted the two. Okay, brother Xiao Yao. Chang Yan Han said. Swish. Xiao Yao flew into the sky in an instant. Alas, I'm so envious of Xiao Yao. Can fly. Every day he can play here and there. Xin Shu Yun sighed as she looked at the clear and clean sky. It can't be helped. The aura hasn't recovered and we can't cultivate ah. Chang Yan Han said. That's why I'm planning to choose another path. What path? Dual cultivation with Xiao Yao. This will definitely progress quickly. Decision made. I'm going to double cultivate with him when he comes back this time. At this moment, Xiao Yao, who was flying over the ocean, suddenly sneezed. Achu, who on earth is so hung up on me? Forget it, whatever it is it's also time to arrive at the Sakura country. Xiao Yao's figure flashed and landed directly in Sakura country Tokyo. Halfway there he casually dragged his second-rate yellow hair into an alley. The eyebrow, you guy, that yellow hair looked at Xiao Yao's young and tender looking and didn't even put him in his eyes. He was about to go up with a swing. Snap, Xiao Yao slapped him and his body rolled in place for three weeks. Then he slapped him on the head. Soul search. Activated. A burst of information flooded into his mind. Okay. I know Japanese. I know the location of the Yakuza. It seems that today, the leader of the Yamaguchi Gumi, Inegawa Gosaka, is going to host a certain minister of the Sakura Nation's cabinet at a very high-end nightclub in Ginza. HM, Anal Strong, the author checked. And it seems that Kodomo really does have that last name? This guy's name is a bit familiar. Xiaoyao stroked his chin. Ah, he suddenly remembered. One of the Sakura ministers who had responded to the Chinese site earlier that he had drunk too much fake alcohol was named Anal Strong. Good good good, it really is a clean sweep. Xiao Yao grinned. Swish, the figure turned into a stream of light and headed straight for Ginza. Chapter 66, When the Man Who Doesn't Eat Beef Descends on Sakura Country, Gaga Messy Kill, A Certain Upscale Nightclub in Ginza. The upper echelons of the Yamaguchi Gumi were present. Among them, two men in suits sat in the very center of the couch. Each of them had their arms around coolly dressed, heavily made up waitresses. The hands were still groping around. Ouch, Anal-san, I'll drink a toast to you. I'm grateful to Anal-san for standing up for my Yakuza this time. Hinegawa Gosaka raised his glass and said politely to the middle-aged man. Then he drank the wine in one go. Good talk, good talk, Hinegawa-san. Every year, your Yamaguchi Gumi gives me a lot of good things. Your daughter is even very great. And both my son and I are very satisfied, so I'll definitely help you with this kind of small thing. Anal Strong said with a smile and a wave of his hand. Indeed, my daughter is indeed wonderful. Hinagawa Gosaka nodded approvingly. It's just a pity that my Yamaguchi Gumi's elite female ninjas are gone. I didn't expect that damn Chinese to be so powerful. Even she was killed. Hinagawa Gengsaka shook his head regretfully. Humph, that Chinese man is just too arrogant, simply doesn't know what he's talking about, killing my Sakura country's people, he even threatened to ask my Sakura country for compensation, what cherry blossom country changed to his Chinese Sakura province, simply dreaming, speaking of this, anal strong seemed to be extremely angry, he drank three mouthfuls of wine in a row, I'll take a direct sip, this guy is definitely drunk on fake wine, dreaming all day long, it's good that I didn't seek compensation from him, after all, I didn't enjoy that female ninja either. What a shame. Anal Strong said drunkenly. He wrapped his arms around Hinagawa Gosaka and the two of them were like brothers. Hinagawa-san. In the future, as long as you have main in place, and then a woman in place, 
I can easily take care of your affairs for you. However, the prime minister election in a while is going to trouble you. Anal Strong patted Hinagawa Gangsaka's shoulder and said, Don't worry, Anal Strong, I, the Yamaguchi Gumi, will definitely do my best to help you. It's just that I'm very angry right now. That Chinese guy I really want to kill him. That's not easy. Turn around and I'll post it on the darknet for you. Killing him won't be a breeze. Anal Strong said disdainfully. Our Nichikawa anal combination that's invincible in the world. Anyone who comes will be finished. God stops killing God. Buddha stops to destroy Buddha. Anal Strong laughed as he swished and waved his palms in the air. At that moment, all the Yakuza present laughed out loud. Next, the two men and a few of the Yakuza executives were drunk and were ready to each take their hostesses to play other tricks. Just then, a silhouette suddenly appeared in the seating area. Oh, just your name is Anal Strong right? And call me fake drunk? Clatter! Xiaoyao picked up the Remy Martin on the table and poured it all over him. It instantly doused him with sobriety. Baka Yalu, who the hell are you dripping on? He got up and pointed at Xiaoyao and cursed. I'm your ancestor. Slap. Xiaoyao went up and slapped him. Anal Strong was directly slapped out by him. Asshole. How dare you hit Anal San. Protect Anal Sang. Finish him off. Those surrounding minions immediately drew their swords and killed towards Xiaoyao. Green Lotus Sword Song. Swish swish swish. Sword Chi swung and immediately broken limbs and blood flew across the ground. Who the hell are you? Looking at Xiao Yao merely standing, there was a sword chi waving around his body. Hinagawa Gangsaka was directly numb with fear. Didn't you send a female assassin to kill me before? And now you're not saying that you're going to put a bounty on me on the dark net? You don't recognize it here? Xiao Yao asked with a light smile. You 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 you. Are you? Hinegawa Gangsaka's eyes widened. That's right, it's me. Something that doesn't know how to die. Xiao Yao waved his hand. Swish swish swish, for sword chi sword out and instantly zapped his limbs to the wall. Boom, where to zap next? The sword chi around Xiao Yao vibrated. He grinned a devilish smile. At this moment, that anal strong crawled up from the ground with his head full of blood. You drop, tear 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 drop, dare to kill me. You're finished, don't let go of the Hinokawa army yet. I've already notified the masturbators. You're just waiting to be swept to death by random gunfire. Anal strong said angrily. Damn, you fucking pussy talk a lot. Just because you said I was a fake drinker, you won't survive today. Swish. Xiao Yao waved his hand. For Sword Chi also nailed him to the wall. Masturbation team? I'd like to see how powerful this masturbation team is. Xiao Yao sat down on the sofa with a calm face. Hey. You. Come over here. Pour the wine. He said as he pointed at one of the senior members of the Yakuza. The man trembled and came over with a glass of wine. Moving so slowly? Swish. The head fell off with a flash of sword energy. Second one. Come here. The man rushed up with lightning speed, but his hands were shaking and the wine spilled outside. The service is too poor. Swish. The head fell off again. You, come here. Xiaoyao pointed at the third one. That person was not only fast, but also poured the wine very steadily. Xiaoyao squinted his eyes. In one gulp, he downed the wine. The man breathed a sigh of relief when he saw it. Now he could finally survive. The wine poured is so hard to drink? Swish. With a flash of sword chi. The man's expression instantly froze on his face. Then the head fell off. Not. Hard to drink wine you blame me? I fucking poured the wine. You go find the person who brewed the wine. This was the last thought that flashed through his mind in the end. An hour and a half later. The loaded masturbation team finally rushed into the middle of the nightclub. What a slow arrival. Are they all masturbating one by one? Shaya crossed his legs and gently sipped his wine with a casual look on his face. In front of him were three rows of silhouettes. All with their guns pointed at him. The leader of the masturbation team at the head said sternly to Xiao Yao, I declare, you have been surrounded by us, hurry up and release the anal minister. Xiao Yao let out a light laugh at his words. He put down his wine glass, then slowly stood up, opening his hands wide, his face was full of smiles. I declare, you have been surrounded by me, Captain Masturbation? What mental institution ran out? What exactly are you doing holding the anal minister hostage? As long as you let them go, we can let you go, Captain Masturbation said. However, Xiao Yao smiled brightly. He raised an eyebrow. Only two sword lights flashed behind him. The heads of Anal Strong and Hinagawa Kansaka, who were nailed to the wall like mannequins, were instantly sliced off by a wave of sword energy. Captain Masturbation was directly confused. He fucking dared to kill the hostage? Shoot, shoot him. He waved his hand and beep beep beep. The bullets of dozens of guns in succession spewed out without money. A fire snake illuminating the dim nightclub with incomparable brightness. At this time, the other people in the nightclub had long since fled without a trace. This place has been turned into a battlefield. There is also a chapter plus more. Later to offer. Free gifts to go away. 
Tomorrow continue to add. Chapter 67 gained the power of merit? What an interesting thing this is. Plus more. Da de day. Da de day. Tons of fire erupted. Xiaoyao stood still. Not moving a muscle. He didn't even open his spiritual protection shield. But those bullets hitting his face actually made the dang dang sound of gold and iron clashing. The masturbator captain was stunned. What kind of monster is this? These bullets would have shattered the Hulk into a sieve. But it didn't help this guy at all. Is he made of iron? Xiaoyao's smiling face became more and more like a nightmare in Captain Masturbation's eyes. It sent chills down his body, like falling into an ice cellar. You drop. What the hell? He asked fearfully. Xiaoyao's gaze flickered. I drop. It's the stick man. Stick man. Captain Masturbation's eyes widened. The stick had actually appeared as such a monster. That's a big deal. It must be reported. Report. Report. Spies sent by the stick kingdom have appeared in Ginza. Too powerful. Requesting tank support. He rushed to inform his superiors. Spies? The stick is so bold? How many people have come? Are even you guys no match? Is this sending out a spy organization? It's one man. Eleven? Not eleven people. Rather, it's one person. Twenty-one people? Shit. I told you it was just one person. You drop. Big big drop baka. Slasher drop. If you were really eleven. Twenty-one people I trust you to send you a backup. You tell me one person. Are you helping me as a fool? Get out. The opposite side directly started spewing profanities from their mouths. Captain Masturbation was numb, completely not believing his words ah. That's right, they had mobilized more than 30 masturbators and more than 30 guns. If you say that you can't beat one person, no one would believe you if you said it. But this man was just brass and iron. Alright, you guys have been fighting for so long, you're almost out of bullets. It's my turn. Xiao Yao grinned Yijan. Green Lotus Sword Song. Go. Swish swish swish. Broken sword chi flew everywhere, and in the blink of an eye, it was like playing fruit ninja with a quick sword. The masturbation team members present were killed cleanly. Screams rang out one after another. In the end, only the masturbation captain was left alone. At this time, the person on the other end of the phone heard a burst of screams and finally sensed that something was wrong. It's really that powerful. Good. I'll immediately send someone to support you. Captain masturbation was filled with tears. It's all dead. You're coming to back up a sweater now. All right, you're the only one left. It looks like you found help. Then you're useless. Swish. Xiaoya chopped off Captain Masturbation's head with a flying sword. At this time, he was surprised to find that his cultivation level had broken through. It had broken through to the Divine Sea Seventh Heaven. Ha, huh? system. Why did my cultivation unexpectedly break through? It seems like there aren't many experts among the people I killed. Ding. The host killed the evil cultivator. Gaining a large amount of merit power, the cultivation level broke through on its own. The system responded. Hmm, power of merit and virtue? Good fellow. Then I shall not find an opportunity to come here to condense a golden wheel of merit. Xiao Yao's eyes lit up. At this moment, the deafening gunshots from this nightclub in Ginza had completely spread out. There were even large numbers of masturbators and tankers driving in this direction. The rich people who were playing in Ginza, as well as the owners of the stores all dragged their families out of the street with terrified faces. Have you heard? It's a terrorist attack. A lot of masturbators are dead. Tanks have been sent over. It's some kind of lighthouse nation conspiracy. Hiss. Even tanks are coming. How horrible is this terrorist attack? Forget it. I'd better not play in Ginza today. Go back and play with my wife's sister. Then I'll go find my wife's mom. Want to come along? Good idea. Go go go. Screw together. Screw together. Seeing the masturbation team and three tanks pouring into the neighborhood, the people watching all took out their cell phones and were taking pictures. However, the next second, boom, a huge thing flew out. Ah, quickly dodge, a tank flew out. The tank hit the ground hard, and all of a sudden, several passers-by were tragically struck. Giggle, a sword light fell and the tank directly exploded in a big explosion. The passers-by were immediately frightened and fled in all directions. The tank was sent flying. Is that the Hulk that came? I feel like it's a mini Godzilla. It's outrageous. Ah ha, hurry up and run. The tanks are coming again. Two more tanks were seen flying straight out, wishing to see a flash of light immediately after. The two tanks were sliced apart in mid-air. After the explosion, rolling stars and fire shot out in all directions. The people of Sakura country were numb with fear. This was now a real gathering of people to eat. Shoot. Quickly shoot. Monster. It's a monster in human skin. The masturbators were shaking as they looked at Xiao Yao, who had decimated a row of people with a casual sweep of his sword chi. So weak. Only this weak? It's really meaningless. Jinjio voodoo fist. Boom. Xiaoyao took a step out and clenched his fist violently. Boom. Dark fist light rushed out. The divine might shook the heavens and moved the earth. There were great devils bending their heads and roaring. 
and the Lohan's furious eye subdued the devils. Boom! Everyone in the masturbation squad was reduced to dregs by this punch. Not only that, the buildings of this entire street were pierced by Xiao Yao, from the street to the end of the street with one punch. Rumble! After the violent rumbling, this was barely considered quiet, and the next instant was silence. Xiao Yao shook his head, his figure soared into the sky. At this moment, the prime minister's residence of the Sakura country. Jingle bells, jingle bells, successive phones rang, and the prime minister walked around the room with an impatient look on his face. What the hell? What the hell are you doing? A bunch of losers. One man, one man sent out a hundred masturbators. Three tanks couldn't even beat him. How can there be such a monster in the world? They're aliens, aren't they? If you can't do it, you should disperse everyone in Ginza. Fire the missiles and blow up the place. I'm telling you guys never let that guy leave alive. Otherwise our Bigfoot chicken empire is going to become an international laughingstock. The prime minister of the Sakura kingdom spit and sputtered angrily at the other end of the phone. Shit. Bunch of losers. He hung up the phone and turned around with a twisted face. Crap. He was shocked. Only to see that there was a person sitting on his seat. Who are you? When did you get in here? The guard. Guard. Xiao gently raised his eyebrows. Stop screaming. The guard has already been killed by me. Next I want you to go and do something for me. Otherwise, the next one to die will be you. Xiao Yao raised his hand and a sword like was instantly placed against the prime minister's brow. He trembled and a drop of cold sweat slowly fell from his forehead. Don't kill me. You want me to do anything for you. As long as you don't kill me, I'll do anything. He pleaded. It's simple. I want you to blow up the Yasukuni ghost toilet with your own hands. Xiao Yao laughed lightly. That's right. What else in this world is more fun than this? The prime minister of Sakura country personally blew up the Yasukuni ghost toilet. What a fun thing this was. The free swag continues. And I'll keep adding more tomorrow. Oh, stay tuned to find out how the prime minister of Kadeko blew up the Yasukuni ghost toilet. Chapter 68, Burning the Ghost Toilet. The golden raffle system opens. This, that, giggling. A sword she slashed across his cheek. Three, two, I agree. Prime Minister Sakura directly raised his hands. For him, his little life was the most important. Everything else could be discarded. Half an hour later, a commercial automobile drove into the ghost toilet. Hi, you've worked hard. The security guard guarding the ghost toilet immediately bowed to Prime Minister Sakura. Prime Minister Sakura waved his hand, signaling him to shut up. Then he directly drove his car inside. The trunk of his car was filled with 10 5-liter tanks of gasoline. Because it was night, there was no one in the ghost toilet. He carried the gasoline down and then poured it everywhere. The entire ghost toilet was stained with a layer of gasoline and looked disgusting to the extreme. Finally, he turned on the lighter and a flame leapt up. Snap! The lighter fell, and a flame spread from the ground in all directions, climbing up to the building. Boom! Immediately, skyward flames burned up. Endless waves of heat rolled over. Rolling white smoke shot up into the sky. The night sky's crimson color illuminated brightly, and the searing candle flame completely consumed all the evils. After Sakura Prime did this, she fled towards the outside of the ghost toilet without stopping, fearing that he would be caught in the flames. At this moment, Xiao Yao silently came to the side of a security guard. One hand pressed on his head. Soul control. Go in and slaughter that guy. Xiao Yao gave him the order. The security guard nodded dully. Then he pulled out a pistol from his waist. Carrying the gun, he stepped into the ghostly toilet expressionlessly, immediately followed by several loud gunshots. Interesting. Xiao Yao grinned as he was about to leave. However, he saw many vehicles traveling towards this side in the distance. This isn't good ah. Uh. If the flame is extinguished by you guys, everything I've done will be meaningless. Xiao Yao took a step out. The figure was in the air. Buzz. A cyan-colored lotus flower slowly bloomed in his hand, and countless sword chi surged from above the lotus flower, stirring up the wind and clouds. Shun. Xiao Yao flexed his fingers and flicked. Eighteen sword chi broke through the air and rushed out transforming into a sword formation around the ghost toilet, and the sword chi city wall then emerged, completely subduing it. Anyone outside would be decapitated by the sweeping sword chi as soon as they approached. Not a single person could stop the monstrous fire. The executives of the Sakura kingdom could only watch as the ghost toilet was engulfed by the orange-red flames, turned into ashes, and burned out completely. Not a single crumb could be left behind. It's almost time to play. Let's go back. Xiao Yao stroked his chin and soared into the sky flying in the direction of Huaxia. The next day, the international scene shook. The prime minister of Cherry Blossom Country was surprisingly exposed to have set fire to the ghost toilet, then died in the fire because he couldn't escape in time. China celebrated. The internet was abuzz with discussion on this matter, which momentarily overshadowed the Jia City cruise ship incident that had caught fire earlier. Xiao Yao, 
who had returned to his villa, received a call from Chen Xiao. Mr. Xiao, the ghost toilet was burned. Do you know about it? I know. I just came back from Sakura. Xiao Yao replied casually. Hiss, does that mean you did it? Mr. Xiao, of course. I went to Sakura this time, burnt down the ghost toilets, killed a hundred or so masturbation team members, pushed across a street in Ginza, demolished three tanks, and finally framed the stick country people for this, Xiao Yao said casually. Hiss, Chen Xiao immediately sucked in a mouthful of cool air. Mr. Xiao is righteous. No wonder the Cherry Blossom Country site openly declared to the stick country that they want them to hand over the murderer. So it's Mr. Zhao's masterstroke. Chen Xiao marveled. Now the Sakura country and the stick country are about to quarrel. It feels like they're about to fight. It's really dog eat dog. It's so relieving. The few bigwigs up there are overjoyed. Chief Chen is even smiling from ear to ear because of this. Chen Zhao's tone was indescribably light. It could be seen how gratifying this matter was. Well, don't make a fuss. It's just an appetizer now. When the aura recovers, I want to go directly next door to sacrifice the 10,000 soul streamer. Killing people over there surprisingly adds to the power of merit. Xiao Yao said with a smile. Then, be sure to bring me along when the time comes. I want to add merit power too. You'll have to improve your strength then. There's still more than 9 months until the aura recovery. Work hard to improve yourself. Yes. Chen Xiao hung up the phone. After getting out of this, the next thing to do is to seize the time to break through to the Jin Dan realm. I can't wait to see the power of the five emperor's great magic body. Xiao Ya muttered. Come draw a prize after a long time. System, how many spirit points do I have left? Ding, host currently has 58. 955 spirit points. It can unlock the golden lucky draw carousel. Unlock. Ding, unlocked successfully. The golden lottery carousel will be drawn once for 50. 000, 000 spirit points. Cut the crap. Hurry up and draw. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining a superior quality item. Earth grade medium grade sonic martial skill. Song Long In, a dragon's roar shakes the world. Cover your ears before using it. Don't deafen yourself, or else you won't be able to find a girlfriend. Nonsense remove it for me later. Xiao Yao said indifferently. You'll remove it when you say so? Then I won't give it to you. Xiao Yao, if you talk to me like that, then I'll have to think about whether or not I want to fight at a cross level in the future. Immediately removed. Oh. System. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an excellent quality item. Shen grade mid grade martial arts skill. Snapping finger divine power. Not much use. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an excellent quality item. 5000 years of purple ginseng. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an epic quality item. Purgatory black dragon egg. Purgatory black dragon. As soon as it reaches adulthood, it can possess a Yuan Shen realm cultivation. Crap. Good pet. Love it love it. Xiao Yao's eyes lit up. This was no better than that stupid white hair. In the future, when you go out and ride a black dragon, this is really imposing. I'll be the dragon riding warrior from now on. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a superior quality item. Earth grade superior quality body technique. Nine shadows of the dragon. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining an excellent quality item. Golden Dan Realm Cultivation Puppet. Oh, two more good items. Not bad not bad. After that, some fine. Excellent quality items exploded. None of which were of much use. Xiaoya organized all the things he couldn't use before and planned to give them to the people around him. Ding. Congratulations to the host. Obtained an epic quality item. Great Sun Golden Pill. Great Sun Golden Elixir. A golden elixir condensed from a sun. A super divine quality golden elixir. As we all know, the Gene Dan realm transforms the deep sea into a Gene Dan. And the quality of the condensed Gene Dan is divided into mortal, spiritual, earthly, heavenly, and divine. A divine quality golden dan would already have the appearance of a human immortal. And the super god great golden dan. That was the posture of an absolute ancient saint. Earned hemp. The system is paving the way for me. This is a one-stop service. Right. Xiao Yao murmured in surprise. System. With the fusion of the great sun gene dan I will be able to ascend to the gene dan realm? Theoretically. Yes. And the great sun golden pill is an overwhelmingly powerful golden pill. And it also fits perfectly with the host's red sky true spirit power, allowing him to utilize 120% of his battle power. But the host can quench his body with the green dragon's precious blood in the martial husbandry realm, condense the only life spring in the life spring realm, and the divine sea realm is expected to break the limit and transform into a 10 foot divine sea to condense the golden pill. And together with the great sun golden pill, the host may be able to possess two golden pills. The system explained. All right, you don't need to explain. This sounds like the path of the protagonist. If you don't take it, you'll lose money. Xiaoya waved his hand and said, 
Chapter 69, Time Passes, Breakthrough to Jean Dan, The Vital Spring Great Demon Came to Attack, Time Was Like Flowing Water, Passing in an Instant, Soon, Eight Months Had Passed, Xiaoyao's Cultivation Had Also Reached the Peak of the Divine Sea Realm, Condensing 100, 000 Miles of Divine Sea, And As the Time for the Recovery of the Aura Gradually Approached, Some Remote Areas Were Experiencing Unrest From Time to Time, At One Time It Was Said That There Were Vines Eating People, One Bite at a Time, then they heard that a 10 meter long eagle was seen flying in the sky, surprisingly feeding on tigers, with claws sharper than knives, some people even heard that a wolf escaped from the zoo, which grew bigger than a black bear, with silver wolf hairs standing up like barbs, and could kill a tiger with a slap, there are even rumors that saw a 3 meter high chicken boxing on the mountaintop, boxing is a burst of sonic boom sound, those who watch him boxing do not know what evil, even on the spot to worship this chicken as a teacher, and the city, this period of time the air has become very fresh, once some common haze, smog weather all disappeared, every day is a clear sky, there were many patients who suffered from various diseases, such as respiratory diseases and cancer, who unexpectedly recovered, there was even a young man who suddenly gained strength after a good night's sleep and shifted his girlfriend's pelvis when he was exercising with her in the middle of the day, anyway, all sorts of strange things were happening one after another, all over the blue star. Nian Han, the aura of heaven and earth has started to revive, although it hasn't reached the point where aura gushes out yet, but there is already a thin aura in the air, so you guys can start practicing well and refine your cultivation, Xiao called Chang Nian Han, Xin Shi Yun and the excellence few to him, there are less than two months until the recovery of the aura, time is running out, my request is that you guys raise your cultivation to the fate spring realm before the aura completely recovers, don't tell me that it can't be done, with so many resources piled up, if you guys can't do it, don't follow me anymore in the future, Xiao Yao commanded, in these eight months, he had roamed around the blue star, suppressing many powerful existences, accumulating spirit points, and had also conducted many raffles, he obtained a very large amount of spirit pills, heavenly materials, techniques, martial arts, and weapons, what they couldn't use was all left for them, don't look at the fact that Xiao Yao's current cultivation level was only at the ninth sky of the divine sea, but the resources he possessed were comparable to an ancient inheritance, if it wasn't for the sake of condensing the golden pill, his cultivation might have gotten a terrifying spike long ago, master, why do you say all this is so like, excellence frowned, like what, I don't dare to say, I'm afraid you'll hit me, say, I promise not to hit you, good, well, I feel, master are you going to GA and then command the aftermath here, master if you really want to GA, I will inherit all of your legacy then, bang, Xiao Yao's face was as black as charcoal, with one kick, he sent Excellence flying over 10 meters, Excellence instantly fell on his face, if it wasn't for his teeth being hard enough, he probably would have knocked it almost off, Master, didn't you say you wouldn't hit me, Excellence said as he rubbed his butt, said I wouldn't hit you, didn't say I wouldn't kick you, Xiao Yao bristled, you, Master, you don't speak martial arts, Excellence's face went green, it was too dark, I'm an immortal cultivator, not a martial cultivator, Xiao Yao bristled, in his heart, he secretly slandered, this treacherous rebel, looking forward to his death and then wanting to inherit his system, right, I'm going to go into seclusion for the next period of time to break through the Jin Dan realm, so if there are things that you guys have to deal with on your own, you'll be fine, anyway, with your current strength there shouldn't be anyone who is your opponent, Xiao Yao waved his hand and said, don't worry, master, if someone comes to commit an offense, I will definitely tell him to die 10 deaths, with the sword in my hand as, bang, ouch, excellence flew out again, just shut up, Xiao Yao said breathlessly, after returning to the room, Xiao Yao began to shut down, after I come out of seclusion this time, it's also time to start the universal martial arts, so that the people of Huaxia can quench their bodies by absorbing the aura in the air, Xiao Yao thought, then, he shook his head and closed his eyes tightly, the breakthrough has begun, first, compress the 100, 000 feet divine sea into a drop of water, boom, a terrifying aura revived above Xiao Yao's head, and if it wasn't for the formation he had long ago imposed on this room, this aura might have directly lifted the ceiling off the ground, rumble, the waves of God sea inside Xiao Yao's body was madly compressed by a terrifying force, 90,000, 80,000, 70,000, 3,000, 2,000, 100, 30, 1 Zheng, it's still not enough, continue, Xiao Yao clenched his teeth and once again exerted his full strength. Success! Finally, a droplet that weighed as much as 10,000 pounds appeared in his Divine Sea. Divine Sea Transformation Dan, transform it for me. Great Sun Golden Dan, give me a peer. Buzz! 
A crimson-colored golden dan appeared in Xiaoyao's Dantian. Under the traction of the great sun golden dan, the droplet of water began to shrink at a speed visible to the naked eye, and then a wave of ripples began to rise. It had already taken the initial shape of a golden dan. This breakthrough of Xiaoyao's took a long time, and he did not see him come out of the gate for a whole 15 days. Something has happened, something's wrong. There was still a month to go before the complete recovery of Aura. Chen Xiao rushed to Xiao Yao's villa. Mr. Xiao, something's wrong. My master is in seclusion. Excellence stopped Chen Xiao and said, Ah, then when will Mr. Xiao come out of seclusion? I don't know. Anyway, master has been in seclusion for half a whole month. Mr. Chen, what happened? Excellence asked. Alas, there's still half a month to go. What can we do about this? At the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, we detected a terrifying energy fluctuation approaching towards China, and after the feedback from the Heavenly Eye system, we found out that this is actually a monster shaped like a dragon. Ah, Chen Xiao said, Jialong? Impossible, absolutely impossible. Nowadays, the aura has not yet completely recovered. Even if animals evolve, it is impossible for them to evolve a monster of the level of a Jiao dragon. Excellence shook his head. As Xiao Yao's disciple he was not unfamiliar with some things in the immortal cultivation world. Ten years to become a python, a hundred years to become a boa, and a thousand years to become a Jiao. If it was really a Jiao, this was at the very least a terrifying demon of the Jindan realm. Nowadays, at the early stage of aura recovery, how could a great demon of the Jindan realm appear? It was too outrageous. Although we don't know if it's a scaly dragon, this monster's power is extremely terrifying. We detected that his power fluctuations reached the level of the Fate Spring Realm. Chen Xiao said once again, Life Spring Realm? Excellence frowned once again. Although it wasn't as powerful as Jiao, the Fate Spring Realm could really not be considered weak anymore. At the very least, the current them were far from being a match for a vital Spring Realm existence. After thinking about it, we can only turn to Mr. Xiao for help. Chen Xiao said anxiously, Once this monster ascended to the shore, then the entire China would be in extreme danger. This was because no one in the world could fight against a Fate Spring Realm level demonic beast. Chapter 70, Absence of Excellence, Xiao Yao out of the gate, Great Dao Jindan becomes, Mr. Shua, what do you think of this? Chen Xiao asked, Humph, since there are demons plaguing China, as a Chinese immortal cultivator and the future sword saint of the human race, it is incumbent upon me to do my duty. Clank, Excellence drew the wooden sword in his hand. Could it be that, Mr. Zhuo you are going to make a move to behead Yu Jiao Long. Chen Zhao's eyes snapped open. I am bound to. Go and ask my master to make a move. Chen Xiao, he was directly choked into a black question mark face. Seeing Chen Zhao's dumbfounded expression, Excellence awkwardly scratched his head. In reality, I'm only at the fourth level of the stamina realm. It's okay for you to ask me to fight the chicken that teaches boxing in the mountains. If you're going to ask me to fight the auger that swims in the Pacific Ocean, then you might as well. Not as good as what? Directly open the table. Chen Xiao. Ah, right. Before Master closed down, he said that he left behind a Jin Dan Realm puppet. With that puppet out there, a Jiao. I'll directly pull out his tendons to make a belt. Excellence's eyes lit up. Chen Zhao's eyes also lit up. The four eyes glowed like electric bulbs against each other. I remember that puppet seems to be kept in the warehouse. Mr. Chen let's go and look for it. Said Excellence as he rushed towards the warehouse behind the garden. Rummaging through the cluttered warehouse he managed to find the puppet covered in dust. The puppet wore ancient robes with the appearance of a cultivator. It was extraordinary at first glance, since it is such a powerful puppet. Why would Mr. Xiao put it in the warehouse? Chen Xiao asked curiously. At this time, Excellence touched his head. Oh, I remembered. It takes a lot of spiritual energy to activate this puppet. And Master said that it wasn't as easy as him going up and slapping himself, so he just threw it here. Eh? Then how do we catalyze him? Eh? Right, so how do we prod him? Should we not use the puppet to smash that auger? I have the strength to do that. Chen Xiao slapped his forehead. Numb, completely numb. Remembering that Mr. Xiao had once said that this disciple of his was gifted in immortal cultivation. He had envied him fiercely. Now it was no longer envious at all. I can only pray that Mr. Xiao comes out of the gate. Chen Xiao said breathlessly. Ah, Mr. Chen I have another way. I don't really want to hear it. Just listen to me one more time. I guarantee that this method works. Excellence said. Eh? Then go ahead and say it. I'll listen again. Well, this is what I think. That's not a Jiao Long demonic beast. As the saying goes, since ancient times it's the dragons fighting the tigers. So why don't I bring white hair forward to suppress it? Master once said that white hair is a demonic beast that has returned to its ancestor and has the bloodline of the divine beast white tiger in its body. Once it is stimulated, 
it will surely make that demonic dragon lose big time. Swish. The white hair that was cowering in the corner and sleeping stood up its head in a swish when it heard this. It blinked its big eyes with a confused expression. How did the trouble lead to me? Also, you guys are really lacking in virtue. I'm a demonic beast of the strong chi realm, and you're asking me to fight a demonic dragon of the life spring realm? If you want to take my ashes and mix them with rice, just say so. Roar, roar. White hair grimaced and barked at excellence. Excellence looked at Chun Xiao without blushing. Mr. Chen, how about this proposal of mine? The corners of Chen Zhao's mouth twitched. What you proposed is fine. Don't propose it next time. Right at this moment, the white clouds above the villa began to tumble, and the sky instantly darkened. Dark clouds began to fill the sky, and a golden thunderbolt loomed within the clouds, and a shocking thunderbolt tore through the sky. Rumbling sounds resounded in the ears. It's thundering? What's happening? The two of them looked up to the sky at the same time. Rumble. A thunder followed if down, striking the courtyard. F asterisk CK. Could it be that even the heavens felt jealous because I am talented? So it sent down thunder to suppress me. Excellence said in surprise. Chen Xiao glanced at him faintly. Silently, he moved away. The heavens should have been embarrassed by the fact that they had created such an oddball and were planning to destroy his heavenly path. At this moment, a breath revived in the villa. This breath is Mr. Xiao out of the gate. Chen Xiao said in surprise. But just at this moment, a bucket-like giant golden thunderstorm violently struck down towards the villa. Sending it, the villa is going to blow up. The two people's faces turned green with fear. Swish. At this moment, a figure unexpectedly rose directly into the air from the villa. Jinjia voodoo fist. Boom. Xiao Yao looked up to the sky. Luo Han's eyes were furious. His fist subdued the underworld. With a terrifying explosion, that fist light and the golden thunder collided together. Boom. The golden thunder in the sky was dispersed by Xiao Yao's punch. Ha! Did I provoke the wrath of the heavens by condensing the unrivaled Jin Dan of the world? Interesting, interesting. Deep within the clouds, terrifying thunder built up once again. In the next second, a heavenly pillar of thunder fell, tearing through the void as if a thunder dragon was roaring. It covered the entire villa. Interesting, the five emperors' magic suppressing body. Red emperor, fire emperor body. Buzz, behind Xiao Yao, a giant Dharma body rose up from the ground. The Dharma body stood on top of the sky reddish in color, burning with channels of the sun's true flame. Even the air around it was distorted by the scorching waves. From afar it looked like a mythical fire god. The fire god waved his fist, and the light of his fist blazed like the sun. With one punch, a pillar of fire erupted, completely engulfing the thunder, and then the crimson flames surged into the depths of the sky. The clouds receded and the rain cleared. An incomparably huge hole emerged in the sky, which could not be healed for a long time and there were countless fire meteors falling from the sky. Xiaoya waved his big hand and the sky-covering water curtain stopped all the fire meteors. Heavenly tribulation? Sorry, I'm not under your control. Between Xiaoya's eyes opening and closing, there was a sea of fire boiling and rolling up to the sky, scorching the dome of heaven. No one knew what the Jin Dan he had awakened this time was. The golden Dan he awakened by breaking the limit with the 100. 000 foot divine sea was named by the system as the Great Dao Golden Dan. It was enough to contain the nine attributes of gold, wood, water, fire, earth, light, darkness, wind, and thunder. This great sun Jin Dan was just one of them. The next Xiao Ya was able to condense another golden pill with every advancement in the golden pill realm. Nine golden dawn in nine realms, plus the great Dao golden dawn. It was unimaginable how terrifying it would be for him to break through the Dan transformation realm. Not to mention the current world. Even those hidden immortal sects would never be able to find a second character like Xiao Yao. Swish. Xiao Yao took a step down from the sky above. I've already heard about the matter. There are demonic beasts coming to violate Hua Xia right. I will solve this matter. Xiao Yao said calmly. A life spring realm Jiao dragon was nothing to him. Master, I think. Excellence was just about to open his mouth. Swish. Xiao Yao raised a finger and sealed Excellence's mouth. Don't you feel it? Too much nonsense. You'll be punished for not being able to speak for three days. Woo woo, woo. Excellence pointed at his mouth and shook his head frantically, shedding tears of grief. Xiao Yao was helpless. Now that his cultivation had entered Jin Dan, how could he not see the transcendent beauty of this disciple of his? Sword body, sword bone, sword heart, three swords in one, commonly known as the sword man. Bah, sword saint. In the future the worst can reach the realm of Yuan Shen. Unfortunately, when heaven opens a door for you, it closes a window for you, but excellence still counts as luck. Some people have their windows closed and their doors taken up in the process. For example, the young man who got sick and then retired miserably. That's the one who really called it a day and called it a day. 
Chapter 71 A Half Jiao Escaping from the Immortal Sect Terrifying Strength Overlooking the Secular World Chen Shao Theoretically speaking nowadays the aura has not yet completely recovered, even if the evolution is even faster. Under normal circumstances it is impossible for a demonic beast of the fate spring realm to appear, let alone a Jiao dragon. This matter is quite fishy. I will take a trip with you. Besides, a black, covered in golden runes egg appeared in Xiaoyao's hand. If it's really a scaly dragon, then use its bloodline to warm the dragon egg in my hand. Good. Then, Mr. Xiao, we will prepare the helicopter. For you ah ah ah. Chen Xiao hadn't even finished speaking when Xiao Yao directly carried him and flew off into the sky. That thing isn't as fast as my family's snail. It's no fun to sit on it. What I want to ride more now is a dragon. Swoosh. A bright stream of light cut through the sky of Qinglan City like a meteor. At this time, the Pacific Ocean. Rumble. The waves of the ocean rolled. And a helicopter was hovering over the ocean. At the bottom of the deep sea, a hundred meter shadow was visible to the naked eye as it moved sinuously. Report. Report. The target is starting to move. The target is starting to move. The pilot on the helicopter followed the huge shadow closely. And on the shore, not only was it equipped with five battleships, there were also loaded military personnel going all out with their heads held high. The strength of this great demon was so terrifying that it absolutely could not be allowed to come ashore. Once it did, a city could be completely destroyed by it. Now that Xiao Yao was in seclusion, there was no telling when he would be able to come out of seclusion. You can't always pin your hopes on others. As China's warriors, soldiers, they have the obligation to protect the safety of China. And this great demon fight to the end. Although humans are born weak, humans never give up. The target is 10, 000 meters away from the shore. 9,000 meters. 8, 000 meters. That big demon is in the deep sea. The water pressure at the bottom of the sea is too big. It's hard to injure it with a hot weapon attack. Therefore, one could only wait for the moment it revealed itself to the surface and strike him down with a thunderous force, with all their might. It would even be good if we could just knock him away. It would be even better if he could beat him to the Sakura country next door. In the southern military region, Chen Anqing and a few other bigwigs were staring at the big screen with dead eyes. Soon, they would be able to see the amazing destructive power of the immortal cultivation existence that Xiao Yao was talking about. And they didn't know how it would compare to modern thermal weapons. And at this moment, a giant creature swam at the bottom of the sea. A dragon head and snake body monster covered in azure blue scales. One scale was glowing with a cold luster. And each piece was as sharp as a razor blade, with a cold aura piercing the eyes. At the vital spring realm, he had long since developed spiritual intelligence. He was originally a divine beast of a sect called the Spirit Element Sect in the Immortal Sect. Because recently in the Immortal Sect, there are strong people to realize the sky. Great sense of the future of the world will be a great change. The extinction of the aura is about to revive. The splendor of the golden age of the ancient times will be restored again. So all the great immortal sects are selecting outstanding disciples to enter the world to seek opportunities. Preaching, preaching, and accepting believers and disciples. The great masters of the immortal sects are even planning how to get a head start in the world of great struggles. The immortal sect is even planning how to get a head start in the world of great struggles. No one cared about it for a while. But by chance, it escaped from the self-sealed small world. After escaping, it even realized that there are so many small and weak beings like ants in the world. This is a monstrous great immortal destiny. If he could devour all the living beings in this world, he would completely complete his metamorphosis and become a true dragon, and have the opportunity to glimpse the Jin Dan Avenue, and even leap through the dragon gate and turn into a true dragon. That would not be a normal terror. A true dragon belongs to the top of the strongest even amongst the countless immortal sects of great powers. The spirit element sect is only a middle grade immortal sect amongst the immortal sects and the strongest person within the sect is only a divine C. On top of that, there were even top-grade immortal sects, super-grade immortal sects, and even holy lands. The gap is so big, if he can transform into a scaly dragon, even joining a holy land is a chance. After all, the potential of a scaly dragon is so terrifying. If he was fortunate enough to cross the heavenly tribulation and transform into a dragon, then he would truly be a holy land holy lord level character. A small spirit element sect would be more or less like breakfast for him. As for how to eat weak as a mole-like human, oh, there is no difficulty at all. Just those big birds hovering over his head in some strange iron blocks in front of him, he could whip it to pieces with a single tail. Secular humans were truly pathetically weak. 5,000 meters, 3,000 meters, target rising. The briefings continued to come in. 1,000 meters, 500 meters, target surfacing. Chen Anqing squeezed the microphone and spoke in a deep voice. All ships, all planes on command, attack, absolutely, absolutely, 
absolutely do not let it land on land. Boom! The endless waves of the sea, the flood waves violently rolled up, and then dispersed towards the sides, as a huge object surged out of the sea from the deep sea. Target appears. Attack! The helicopters hovering in the sky, as well as the battleships standing by on the shore pressed the attack button at the same time. Duh did day. Countless bullets poured out towards the dragon. Above the battleship, missiles sprayed with flames broke through the air and rushed out, blasting towards the dragon's head, and below the surface of the water. There was even a torpedo jet rushing out. Roar! A flash of disdain flashed through the gel long's large lantern-like eyes. With just these candy bean-like things, how could it want to injure it? Even if he stood and let you guys hit him, he still couldn't penetrate his scale armor. Roar! He opened his bloody mouth, his body covered in gusts of blue spiritual energy. The sea was its home ground, and in the sea, he was fearless of any immortal cultivator within the fate spring. The endless ocean was aiding him. Boom! Six or seven water pillars surged up. It crashed towards the missiles that shot up in midair. Boom! In midair, the missiles were all intercepted, and those torpedoes and bullets that bombarded its body were easily resisted by the spiritual power and armor. Roar! 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 The dragon let out a pleasurable roar. It was too weak. The humans of the current world were too weak. A vital spring realm like him, in the small world of the immortal sect, out of the spirit element sect, he had to be coy, shrinking his head to be a human being, fearing that he would be directly captured and eaten or used as a mount by some strong person. But when he came to this secular world, he was the king, he is a god, he is the invincible demon that doesn't eat beef. No one can defeat him. The faces of Chen Anqing and the others became incredibly ugly. This was just a demonic beast of the life spring realm, but they had used almost all of their means except for nuclear weapons. Surprisingly, they couldn't hurt him in the slightest. Are immortal cultivators really this terrifying? And this is just the fountain of life. There are still the divine sea, Jean Dan, and Dan transformation realms behind it. Where should mankind go from here? Unlike the depressing atmosphere of the command room, at this moment, Jellone was incomparably elated. Humans were weaker than he had imagined, and these things couldn't even hurt him. The auger dragon instantly swelled up immensely, completely abandoning even the last trace of scruples. Its body surged out of the water. And then, the huge auger tail flung through the air like a giant sharp blade carrying 10,000 pounds of force, tearing through the air and sweeping towards the helicopter in midair. Ah, danger, danger, get out of the way. The pilot turned the fuselage to dodge, but he was ultimately a step too slow. The propeller was directly smashed. The helicopter was bubbling with black gas in midair, staggering, and then crashed towards the water. Roar! Shooting down the helicopter, the auger let out an ecstatic cry. Right at this moment, a stream of light in the distant sky broke through the sky towards this place. Chapter 72 Half Jiao, Jin Dan giants can really know how to respect people. Hitting me actually released skills, crying to death. Eh? Xiaoya rushed to the coast, only to see a helicopter not far away crashing down towards the sea with black smoke. He frowned and raised his hand to point it out. Buzz! A protective shield of spiritual energy wrapped around the helicopter. It then wrapped around it and slowly landed on the shore. That pilot looked left and right with a dumbfounded expression. Looking at the crimson protective shield that protected him with a surprised expression on his face. Report. Report chief. I'm safe and sound. The driver said in shock. Chief. Mister. Xiaoyao has already arrived at the scene. Chen Xiao also rushed to inform Chen Anqing and the others. In the command room, Chen Anqing, who heard this voice from Chen Xiao, immediately let out a deep sigh of relief. It's finally here. Xiaoyao had finally arrived. However, then he couldn't help but start to get nervous. Previously, when Xiaoyao came to the military region, he had said that his realm was only the realm of life spring, but this demonic beast's realm was also life spring. According to Xiaoyao, at the same realm, demonic beasts were stronger than cultivators. So whether Xiaoyao could beat this terrifying Jiao Long or not, this was a question. His heart couldn't help but clench up again. However, Chen Anqing didn't know that Xiao Yao was different from them, civilian players, and different from kryptonite players. He was straight up with a plug-in, hangman for short. He he, is really a Jiao dragon. No, it's a half Jiao. It hasn't completed its metamorphosis into a Jiao dragon, so that's how it is. He's trying to devour humans and use a large amount of human blood chi to help it complete its metamorphosis on the level of life. But it's a good calculation. Xiao Yao sneered. Ding, Dan Transformation Realm Terrifying Demonic Beast Detected, the host currently has two options, 1, run for your life, 2, kneel down and become this demonic beast's human pet, Shao three times to pay homage to the host, Xiao Yao, it's not a life spring, how did it turn into a Dan Transformation, ah, so that's how it is, perhaps this fellow has devoured a large number of humans and can indeed complete a metamorphosis in the future, 
so it seems to be a good demonic beast, refining its bloodline and nourishing my dragon egg. It's about time for this purgatory black dragon to come out. Xiao Yao coughed gently. System, show me some respect. I can suppress this demonic beast for you. Ding, the host has encountered a Dan Transformation Realm Waste Demonic Beast. The host currently has two options. 1. Sacrifice it to the heavens with a slap. 2. Draw out the dragon's tendon and make it into a belt. Please make your choice. Wise and mighty. Divine and powerful. With superior strength and unrivaled natural talent. Host. Xiao Yao grinned. A system that knows how to kiss ass is a good system. And it takes dedication to improve one's performance. Didn't you see some novels where the system directly anthropomorphized and sacrificed itself in order to flatter the host? So, the times have changed. The host's era of coyness is over. Now it's time to turn over and ride as the master. Then I'll reluctantly step in and suppress this waste. Xia Yao let out a light laugh. He casually threw Chen Xiao on the land. And then he took a step out and walked towards the half Jiao. Report chief. Someone is stepping into the air and flying towards the Jiao dragon and approaching. A pilot on the helicopter looked at this scene with a confused expression. Don't worry about it, that's a powerful person from my military, the commander-in-chief of the four military regions, Mr. Xiao Yao Xiao, you guys pull back, Mr. Xiao will take over the battlefield next, he will step in to subdue the demons with his immortal laws. In the command room, Chen Anxing's voice came out, the pilots were filled with astonishment, and their hearts even set off 10,000 waves, immortal magic to subdue demons, this was a legendary means, this Mr. Xiao is really capable of such a thing. Wouldn't he be a land immortal? Mr. Xiao, please, you must defeat this demonic beast. Chen Anxing prayed. At this moment, Xiao Yao and the half Jiao had already started to confront each other. Rather, I don't know where an existence like you came out from. Demonic beasts that don't exist in the fate spring realm in the current world. Evolution should not have reached such a perverted level yet. You guy, escape from the immortal sect. Right, that half Jiao glared at Xiao Yao with big scarlet eyes. Stepping in the air. This person could actually step into the air. One must know that even the fate spring realm can only stop in the air for a short while. This person can actually step in the air and walk. This is the divine sea realm ah. A powerful person of the divine sea realm actually existed in the secular world. The strongest person in their spirit element sect was no better. The half Jiao's heart was in retreat. He already wanted to bolt. He he. Want to run? That won't do. My mouth still needs your bloodline to nourish it. Only Xiao Yao slowly stretched out a hand. Zao Shuang Wangfa is like refining, burning the sky and boiling the sea between the palms. Great sun, burning sky seal. Buzz. The terrifying flames directly centered on Xiao Yao and spread out in all directions. Under the scorching flames, the temperature of the ocean all seemed to have risen in an instant. Only Xiao Yao was seen with one hand behind his back and one hand holding a small seal burning with flames. It was as if he was a true immortal in flames. The aura of burning the sky and boiling the sea was emanating from that small seal. Since I have encountered it, then help me cultivate. Go. Xiao Yao flexed his fingers and the burning sky seal flew out. In that instant, Half Jiao only felt his hair stand on end. It was too terrifying. This guy's strength was simply too terrifying. Back then, he had seen that one divine sea realm strike by the spirit elemental patriarch. And his aura was more than a fraction of a star inferior to Xiao Yao. This wasn't a divine sea. He was above the divine sea. A Jin Dan giant. Even in the immortal sect where there were many powerful people. A Jin Dan could be regarded as a mighty one, with a heavenly body, a lifespan of thousands of years, an indestructible Jin Dan, and the ability to regenerate a severed limb and revitalize a mutilated body. It is only a matter of a slap to beat a small Kara M like him. This Jin Dan giant also looks down on it too much, hitting him and releasing skills. I thank you for your respect. By the way, cremate me and don't keep the ashes, right? The qualifications for mixing rice are gone. This chapter is a bonus, a little freebie. Wahahaha. Chapter 73, A Shade from the Lighthouse Kingdom. Send the half Jiao to the Lighthouse Kingdom well. Look, that auger. How do I feel it's afraid? The pilot on the helicopter looked at the behemoth on the surface of the sea with a surprised face. After the originally imposing half scaly dragon saw Xiao Yao, its haughty demeanor instantly became groveling, and a whimpering sound came out of its throat. There was also no ferocious aura or killing intent in those big scarlet eyes. Instead they were filled with humility and fear. This is, does it mean that this auger dragon is in fear of Mr. Xiao? Hiss. Mr. Zhao's realm must have made another breakthrough. Otherwise it wouldn't have made this auger dragon fear him so much. Mr. Xiao is simply a heavenly being. Chen Anqing said in awe. In the void. Xiao Yao stood proudly how could he not see that this half Jiao was already begging him for mercy. But so what if he begged for mercy? A mere half Jiao. Even if it was given to him as a mount he would dislike it. 
How could it be as fun as his pure-blooded purgatory black dragon? Sinful beast, you can pray for better luck in your next life. After saying that, Xiaoya made a big move with his hand and the burning sky seal in the air slowly fell down. Wow! The sea unexpectedly boiled at a speed visible to the naked eye. The sea water tumbled violently. The sea transformed into a huge iron pot that rolled and boiled. In the thick white vapor, countless fish and shrimps were scalded alive in the sea and floated to the surface. Wow! Wow! Master are you cooking a hot pot? Excellence picked up a boiled reddish big boiled dragon by the shore and took a hard bite. Yummy! Master cook more. He waved his cell phone with an exhilarated face. The sound was a mechanical tone emanating from the phone. This guy really didn't mind the trouble in order to make a comment. Xiaoya glanced at him with a disgusted face, tapping out with one hand. Snap! Snap! Excellence's hands and feet were locked together by him. Excellence instantly turned into a human stake and stood on the seashore with a dumbfounded look on his face. Don't say you know me when you go out. Xiao Yao said indifferently. The burning sky seal fell again and the half Jiao let out an agonizing roar. The all-over scales that were invulnerable to swords and spears and couldn't even be blasted by missiles began to crack in the searing heat. Click 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 click. 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 The half Jiao scales fell off and her body melted as she wriggled in pain and let out a wail. Good. Mister. Xiao is divine. Mister. Xiao is invincible. Several people in the command room, Chan Anshan, were so surprised that they almost hugged and kissed each other. At this moment, a cross-country call came in. HM, who is? At this time, Chen Anshin connected the transnational call. The guy calling was surprisingly the Lighthouse Nation's naval commander. Danlins, hi. Dear Chen, I heard that your Huaxia has been attacked by a very large monster. It's in critical condition. You hoo hoo, what a pity. Dear Chen, the great eastern country, the great China, can't even solve a big monster. Do you need support from the great lighthouse country? We have the most advanced technology in the world the most powerful weapons. Even if it's a giant creature like the King Kong or the Colt's Gargoyle, our invincible lighthouse technology has no fear to fight such a small monster. In your Chinese words, it's just a matter of having hands. Chen Anqing's face darkened. Danlins, what are you trying to say? Ouchie ouchie, dear Chen, why do I hear you sounding a bit upset? Never mind, if you can't deal with it, just say so. There's no point in holding out. We are all friends. We will definitely help when we encounter problems. As long as you ask us for help, our great lighthouse country will definitely send out the world's most advanced technology to help the weak. Defeat the monsters oh, Danlin said in a conspiratorial manner. Chen Anqing's forehead veins rippled. Through the phone he knew what kind of expression that yellow-haired old Dan on the other side had right now. Sorry, no need. Agu, Chen, why are you angry? Don't be a hero, if you really need it. Feel free to say so, after all. We're all in the same blue star village. We're all family. We don't mind helping the weak at all. After all, we are the lighthouse that guides the world forward. Darren's even emphasized on the word weak. Chen Ong was so angry that he almost turned into a steam engine. He hung up the phone in a huff. Where did this Dan Lins have the slightest intention of helping him? He was totally just downing the well here and was acting in an underhanded manner. He is still not clear about what they are playing. It is not just waiting for China in this dragon's attack under the heavy losses, and then the lighthouse country in the last minute to solve the problem. Not only let China owes a favor, but also in front of the countries of the world hard to earn face. This son of a bitch Danlins, should have his head shoved inside his mother's asshole. Calm down, head Chen. A voice entered Chen Anqing's ears. This is, Mr. Xiao, Mr. Xiao, you. Chen Anqing was shocked. Xiao was far away in the Pacific Ocean. How could he transmit his voice directly here? You're on a public channel right? I heard it on the pilot's intercom. Everyone looks very angry right now. Xiao Yao looked around, no matter if it was the pilot or the warriors on the shore, their faces were all extremely ugly, itching to fuck the lighthouse nation to death. So, I suddenly had a fun idea. Xiao Yao grinned. What idea? Take this auger and throw it to the lighthouse kingdom for fun. Hiss, Mr. Great talent. I can only say this method of Mr. Xiao. Amazing. Chen Anqing sucked in a breath of cool air. Why didn't he think of it? Didn't the lighthouse nation claim to be number one in technology blue star? Then let them deal with this auger on their own. Humph, small point. Xiao Yao's gaze condensed and his big hand probed out. Rise, an incomparably huge palm fell from the sky above, covering the sea surface as if the entire sky was pressed down. The large shadow making the sky darken instantly. The huge palm scooped up the half jiao, and the hundred meter half jiao was as small as a loach in that palm. It had absolutely no courage or strength to resist, and could only tremble. Go! Xiao Yao waved his hand. The big hand violently exerted force. And then he threw the half jiao towards the far side. Bang! The jiao was directly transformed into a cannonball. And even whistling, 
It exploded with a burst of sonic booms. Circle after circle of white smoke exploded. It shot straight towards the Lighthouse Kingdom. At this time the Lighthouse Country Naval Commander. Danlins is sitting in the command room of the Sea Fleet. Crossing his legs, holding a blonde, beautiful secretary with a curvy face, leisurely drinking coffee, waiting for a request for help from the Chinese side. Chapter 74, Skyfall Demon, Collapsed Lighthouse Nation Naval Commander. Danlins, oops, it's such a beautiful day today. The sun is shining brightly, just like my mood. It really makes me excited and happy that Huaxia has been attacked by a big monster. His big hand rubbed on the beautiful secretary's arse. When Huaxia can't hold out and the city is destroyed to the extent that it is, and then hundreds and millions of people die, we'll set off, and the great lighthouse nation, with its heart set on the safety and security of Huaxia, will step in to help Huaxia lift the crisis, and contribute to the peace of the whole world once again, that's pretty good, he sneered as his mind was already thinking of all sorts of rosy images, but, commander, what should we do if Huaxia solves that monster alone, the female secretary asked in a delicate voice, solve it alone, even if Huaxia can solve it alone, the loss will be very significant, as long as we can strike Huaxia, it's considered a good thing for us, after all, who made their luck so bad that that monster would go towards China and not towards our great lighthouse? G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R Oi! Damlins buried his head in the blonde secretary's biceps that were about to punch the collar of her shirt open. Only such huge peaks gave the thrill of conquest. Crossing mountains and exploring grasslands, wasn't this a man's favorite? Just then, a huge gust of wind whistled and approached. Even sitting in the middle of the battleship, Dennis heard the wind that sounded like the roar of an evil spirit. Immediately afterward, a battleship began to sway in the midst of the gale. A huge shadow enveloped the battleship group. Fuck, what the hell is going on? Danlins huffed, picking up his microphone and roaring to the entire ship. He was about to go over the hill just now. Division. Commander. Sending. Target sighted. A panicked shout came from the other end of the microphone. What target has been found? Found your mother cheating on you? It's. Is. It's the monster. Commander. What? Your mother cheated on the monster? Boom! At this moment, a loud bang came, and through the bulletproof glass, Danlin saw in the middle of the deep sea, a huge tail with a chilling light, like a giant axe rising up in the air, and then violently slashing down towards a battleship. It was followed by a deafening roar. Roar! Roar roar roar! What? Danlin's was confused. What the hell was going on here? It's appearing! Commander! It's coming up! What appeared? The monster that was supposed to appear in China. It's now in the center of our fleet. Battleship 3 requests support. Ah. Boom. With just one strike, the half Jiao broke a huge battleship into pieces. It was easily as if it was dismantling a toy. Battleship number 4 requesting for support. Number 5 requesting for support. Number 6. Ah. Fuck you mother. Boom. 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 It was horrible. The battle power of that monster was simply horrible. Landing in the fleet group. It was simply crunching and killing. At this moment, the half Jiao was incomparably furious. Damn turtle. I can't deal with that Jean Dan giant, but I can't deal with you little caramels. Since there is a Jean Dan giant in that place, I'll just take a detour. I see that you yellow hairs are also quite sensual. Looking at it crunchy, taste the flavor first. He directly turned on the messy killing mode. Attack. Give me an attack. Ah, attack. Danlins furiously cursed in anger as he carried the microphone. He couldn't figure out why that monster in China would suddenly appear in their lighthouse nation even if he thought about it. Could the legend be true? Do all Chinese people know immortal techniques? Then why didn't they just second their lighthouse kingdom with a single immortal technique? This kind of monster is too terrifying. Who else but a nuclear weapon could deal with it? Danlins looked at the half Jiao that was wreaking havoc, his face turning green. Perhaps even the famous five-star general General MacArthur would have to exclaim in shock when he saw this kind of monster. It's not that our lighthouse's weapons aren't strong enough. It's that the lighthouse doesn't have any Chinese immortals. Tick tock. Just when Danglins was angry, the transnational phone call came. Danlins instantly had an inexplicable sense of familiarity. He picked up the call. Ha 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 ha. Commander Danglins. After that call of yours, guess what? Ha. That monster actually turned its head and ran away. I guess it must have been shocked by your lighthouse kingdom's powerful strength. Oops. I don't know where it's gone. It wouldn't be a good idea for it to attack another country. I don't know which country is unlucky enough to be targeted by it. If it is really targeted by it, I really think that country has to reflect on itself. Why doesn't he go to other people's place, but go to yours? He must have done too many unethical things and got his comeuppance. Ha, huh? Commander Danlins, your side is moving a bit. Why are there screams? Hiss, it can't be, it can't be. That monster couldn't have gotten to your lighthouse country. Ah, this, that's so good. 
Er, so sad. How much Danlins had just laughed. How much his face now looked like a pan in your house. Good good good. Good you Chen Anchung. Play like this is it. I damn. I damn. Damn can't do anything. Is something wrong? Commander Chen. I'll hang up if there's nothing. I'm busy. It's fine it's fine. I'll just greet Mr. Danlins. But what exactly is Mr. Danlins so busy? With? It shouldn't be busy dealing with monsters. It can't be it can't be it. Things won't be so coincidental. Shun. Ang. Shang. Danlins gritted his teeth. What kind of trickery did you Chinese use to get this monster into our lighthouse country? I don't know ah. Uh, I don't know ah. Uh. Generally speaking, this kind of thing in our huaxia. That's called doing too much lack of virtue. Present retribution. Ha 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 ha. Snap. Danlins directly smashed the phone in a fit of rage. Fuck. Fuck. I fuck your whole family. Chen Anshan. And in the time it took for just one phone call, that half Jiao had already destroyed all 12 battleships of the lighthouse kingdom. The large scarlet gaze was fixed on the battleship where Danglins was. One large and one small eye faced each other through the glass. Z. Danlins instantly felt a chill down his spine. Goosebumps running from his crotch to his head. Run. Run. He rolled and dashed towards the outside of the battleship. His female secretary followed close behind. You're here. You're here to attract its attention. I'm going to run. At this point in time he couldn't care less about going over the mountains and exploring the grasslands. There were many mountains and grasslands in this world anyway. But there was only one small life. But that female secretary wasn't something to be messed with either. When it comes to living, who cares if you are a commander or a horse order? She directly kicked. Her spiked heels kicked at Danlin's crotch. Fuck you mother. Danlin's, go fuck yourself. You short and incompetent guy. Just like the man next door in Sakura Nation. Chapter 75, after killing the big demon with great difficulty, we were about to count the harvest. And guess what? The big demon is gone. Chief Chen, just now, the lighthouse countryside sent word that their naval commander, Dennis, including 12 battleships, were all destroyed by that auger dragon. That demonic dragon even destroyed a lighthouse nation's seaside stationed military base, killing thousands of warriors, and in the end they used a nuclear bomb to kill this Jialong. This time the Lighthouse Kingdom is considered to have suffered heavy losses. Chen Anqing received the latest notification. After hearing this news, his expression was incomparably grave for a long time. Alas, this news is really. He shook his head helplessly. It's too delightful. Have a banquet tonight. Celebrate for the Lighthouse Kingdom. Bring me that bottle of aged mutai. Chen Anqing slapped the table excitedly. Right, be sure to invite Mr. Xiao to the banquet. Mr. Xiao is a great contributor to my huaxia. Ha 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 ha. Eh? Mr. Xiao said that he seems to have gone to the lighthouse. Chen Xiao weakly raised his hand and said, Now after the lighthouse countryside killed that auger dragon, they intend to bring the remnants of the auger dragon's body back to the research center for research and development. I think they want to research biotechnology through the auger dragon's flesh and blood and body, or to gain access to powerful mysteries. Then Mr. Xiao said that he needed the bloodline of that Jiao dragon to cultivate his pet beasts, saying that it was the lighthouse nation that robbed other people's things and went rogue. Chen Xiao said, in Xiao Yao's original words, I gave the Jiao Dragon to you guys just so that you can experience its strength, feel your own inadequacies, and then accept the inadequacies with an open mind. Who allowed you guys to take it for yourselves? It's something that has a master. Eh? Mr. Xiao great talent. Chen Anqing said sweatily. Xiao Yao's playful capitalist was in tears when he saw it. The Lighthouse Nation paid such a high price to get rid of this scaly dragon. And now it's hard to get some corpses and blood and flesh and stuff to harvest the fruits. Finished you tell them is to give you feel its strength. This is my thing. I want to take back. The poor lighthouse country will be ravaged for nothing. At this moment, Xiaoyao had already arrived at the seashore of the lighthouse country. He saw that the body of the half Jia was blown apart. Three or four pieces of the body that were 20 to 30 meters long were scattered on the shore. Quite a few official troops of the lighthouse kingdom were consigning the Ding. Congratulations to the host. Killed the Dan Transformation Realm Great Demon. Rewarded with an Earth Great Extreme Martial Skill. Supreme Heavenly Thunder Leader. Reward Purple Extreme Heavenly Thunder Gold Pill Fragments Asterisk 3. Collect all 7 fragments to synthesize the Purple Extreme Heavenly Thunder Gold Pill. It's not bad. I just happen to lack a lightning technique. This is a good martial skill. But, I didn't behead this guy. Did I? Indirect beheading is also considered beheading. Sideways set off the host's bullishness. Expressing the system's admiration for the host is like a torrential river flowing continuously. Alright, language class representative. Xiao Yao nodded in satisfaction. He then turned his gaze to the half jiao below. Luckily, the bloodline is still there and hasn't been blown apart. The blood and flesh of the half jiao must taste very good when you cook a pot of hot pot. The teeth will be used for decoration. The jiao tendons will be used for a belt. 
and the scales can be used to make a Reiki treasure armor. Not bad, not bad. All right, take it away. Swish. Xiaoya's big hand then probed out and fished away the bodies of several Jiao dragons. And then, without stopping for a moment, he flashed and disappeared into the sky. The official forces of the Lighthouse Kingdom were dumbfounded. All of a sudden these huge pieces of meat that looked like small mountains just disappeared? Taken away by God? God, you're too cruel. He didn't even leave a single piece of meat for the Lighthouse Kingdom. The Wolf of Wall Street. What? It's all gone. Nothing left? The president of the Lighthouse Nation was dumbfounded at this news. There is some left. What's left? Dependent defense. Don't you dare curse. There isn't. It's really a dependency defense. You even dare to scold me. I said that monster still left Ito replies. We collected the blood left on the ground and some replies blown out from the intestines. That's all. The president of the lighthouse nation was silent. The replies are better than nothing. Hurry up and ship it back. Start the experiment. Three days later, Hartman, the lighthouse nation's chief scientific commander, surprised the lighthouse nation president. President, we've researched it. This monster's defense contains terrifying energy. Dilute the defense in water and give it to our warriors. Each of them will be able to increase their strength by 5 to 10 times. The super soldier program can be officially launched. Hartman said in surprise. Really? This is truly God's help for our great lighthouse nation. Immediately infuse the reply with water and give it to the most elite and powerful warriors of my lighthouse nation. Well, send a cup to me by the way. God has not abandoned our lighthouse nation. He is blessing us. Give thanks to God. One month from now, a practice ceremony to the whole world. This time our lighthouse nation will shock the world. The president of the lighthouse nation said fervently. At this moment Xiao Yao, who was far away in China Shabu Shabu Hotpot, sneezed violently. Achu, who's remembering me? At this moment, Chen Xiao called. Mr. Xiao, the piece of Jiao dragon blood flesh you gave us is really powerful. Each warrior of our four major military regions just took one gram and they all broke through a realm. Currently, the worst of the warriors in the four military regions have all stepped into the bone refining realm. There are even over a hundred of them who have already become peak wufu powerhouses. Chen Zhao's excited voice came from the microphone. Not bad. Strive to have all of them step into the peak of wufu before the recovery of the aura in order to cope with the onslaught in the future. Xiao Yao nodded. Next, the planning of the universal buwu is also left to you, as well as the evacuation of overseas Chinese, and by the way, we will hold a practice ceremony to the world in a month's time to show the world the strength of our Huaxia, the time to show our muscles has arrived. Roger that, Mr. Xiao. Chen Xiao said loudly. Hanging up the phone, Xiao Yao once again ate Xiao meat with Chang Yanhan and the two girls. The cultivation of the two girls had already reached the peak of the Stout Chi realm, and eating these Xiao meat to break through the life spring would be today. As for the excellent, well, it seems like it is still blowing the wind on the beach. At this time, on the living room sofa, a dragon egg placed by Xiao Yao moved violently. Immediately afterward, a clicking sound came out. Xiao Yao looked back and showed a look of surprise. It had finally hatched out. After warming this fellow for three days with the bloodline of that half Jiao, today it will finally come out. The legendary purgatory black dragon. I just don't know if it's a female or a male dragon. A male dragon can only be harnessed, but a female dragon can be ridden. Xiao Yao got up and walked towards the dragon egg on the sofa. Click click click. The egg shell completely broke open followed by a terrifying aura that revived in the dragon egg. This aura, peak divine sea, a peak divine sea strength right out of the gate. This fellow is also too terrifying. It's more useful than a hundred excellence. Xiao Yao's face showed surprise. Today's portion of the extra shifts have been delivered. Mama Sita, Mantle Chicken, Kimoji, Righteous Father Big Brother's free small gifts to walk around. Continue tomorrow. Chapter 76, Group Favorite Black Dragonborn, Named Jailer, Preeminent Family Status 1. Phew. A creature with a pitch black body and two short dragon horns flew out of the eggshell. Oh wah wah wah. The purgatory black dragon was like a child. Its two sharp dragon teeth exposed. Curiosity shining in its eyes as its sinuous body swam around Xiao Yao. Wow. So cute. Chang Yan Han and Xin Shir Yun saw the black dragon and wanted to come up to hug it. Roar. A terrifying power unexpectedly erupted from that black dragon's skinny body. Letting out a roar that almost shook the two women out. Ah. Chang Yan Han didn't have much to do with it because she was wearing a cowboy, but Xin Shi Yun was miserable. He was wearing a clear short skirt, rushing to cover her long skirt shyly, puffing her ducks. She sat on the ground, her face flushed red. Xia Ya touched his nose without changing his face. Didn't wear it. Why don't you wear it? Ready to double cultivate with him at any time? Don't get me wrong. This isn't him being a hooligan and wanting to see it. It's that picture that crashed into his eyes on its own. Woohoo! Woohoo! The black dragon was flying around happily at this time. 
Hey, little thing, are you going to eat this? Chang Yan Han flung a piece of auger meat over. Woohoo! The black dragon went up and swallowed the jiao meat in one bite, and its eyes instantly lit up. It hurriedly flew towards the whole pot of jiao meat. He he he, eat slowly, don't be in a hurry, it's all yours. Chang Yan Han stroked the small horns of the auger dragon with a delighted face. So cute, ah, brother Xiao Yao, this is a female dragon alas, Chang Yan Han called out. Ha, huh? a female dragon, then it can't be a white silk dragoness when she transforms later? What kind of good clothes should I buy for her? Xiao Yao touched his nose, the corner of his mouth curving up. Don't get me wrong, it's not him who wants to see it, it's the readers who want to see it, and he, Xiao Yao, doesn't take the blame. Woohoo, the black dragon finished all the auger meat in the pot, and Shang Yan Han got acquainted with her as a result. The two of them played around in the living room. Shen Shi Yun wanted to join in, but the black dragon didn't seem to give her much of a damn, probably because she didn't give the black dragon any food. This black dragon was quite realistic, but, this guy is too small looking, it's only 30 centimeters across, like a snake, does this really have the power of the peak of the divine sea realm? Xiao Yao muttered to himself doubtfully, it was as if Xiao Yao's self-talk was heard, swish, in an instant, the black dragon's body swelled up violently, a giant black dragon over 20 meters long and 2 to 3 meters wide appeared in the villa, all the furniture was instantly overturned 10 miles out by him, and his huge body with its cold dragon horns almost toppled through the ceiling. There was a supreme dragon's might on the gigantic black dragon, and even Xiao Yao was a bit surprised by that pressure, especially White Hair who was outside the villa. He was obviously sleeping and dreaming of having fun with his tiger sister when suddenly a terrifying pressure came and he was instantly awakened, all his interest evaporating into thin air. Cold sweat from the soles of the feet straight to the brain, White Hair shrunk his head and shivered on the ground. It was too terrifying, the aura of a pure-blooded dragon race. He, a small demonic beast with only a white tiger bloodline, was already trembling in fear. It's over. His status in this villa is getting lower and lower from now on. The first in line was definitely Xiao Yao, followed by Chang Yan Han and her daughter, Shun Shi Yun, and then the black dragon. Which would come last? No, I think there's also excellence. Well, that's right, with excellence at the bottom. It's not that hard to accept. White hair thought about it and was relieved. It's fine. This already meets the standard of a mount. In the future, when you travel and ride a dragon, hell knows how cool it will be. Xiao Yao nodded in satisfaction. Looking at the black dragon, he liked it more and more. It's better to accept excellence that dush a bag as a disciple than to accept you. Alas. Xiao Yao shook his head helplessly. Right. Let's give you a name. Your name is Purgatory Black Dragon. Suddenly, Xiao Yao's mind sprang to life with the cute look of a white silk dragon as crossing her little feet. Let's call you Jailer. It's very apt. Chang Yan Han. Shun Shi Yun. Purgatory Black Dragon. Oh 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 oh. She doesn't understand this now, but when she does later, she'll definitely. Three days later, the unsealed excellence returned to the villa from the beach with great difficulty. At the moment Xiao Yao was teasing the black dragon on the sofa, and on the TV, a live broadcast was playing, with the four major military regions facing all of China, announcing and informing. That's right, today was the start of the universal martial arts. From now on, Hua Xiao will definitely start a new era of immortal cultivation where everyone is like a dragon. Master. I'm back, you must have missed me a lot. Ha, huh? master this dragon has already hatched? It's so tiny. It doesn't have the dragon's domineering spirit at all. And it feels so weak. It's just this long. 30 centimeters, just like my belt. Oops. Speaking of which, I suddenly remembered that the last time I asked Nian Han to help me with my charger. She wasn't even as tall as my 1 meter 6 data cable ug. Ha 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 ha. As soon as excellence came back, he came over to Xiao Yao and gave a blah blah blah. Xiao Yao glanced at him like a fool. You're a bit full of crap, but you're really not wrong. This black dragon is quite weak. After all, it was only the divine sea. And in Xiao Yao's opinion, anything below the Jin Dan realm was a mole. Well, Jin Dan was also a mole. With his current strength, an ordinary peak Jin Dan would have to pass him a cigarette when he came. So, how about you fight her? Xiao Yao suddenly said. Eh? Excellence touched his head. It's not good. Such a cute little animal. I'm afraid that I'll accidentally kill her, so you'll lose a lot of money. Master, Excellence scratched his head and said, Beating to death counts as your bull. And by the way take this to consider your strength. Alright then, since you said so, Master, then let's battle. Sword come. I am the absolute sword Saint Excellence. A hall full of flowers drunk with 3,000 guests. A sword frosty and cold in 14 states. Swish. Excellence cupped his sword fingers in his hands and pointed out in the air. The wooden sword behind him flew out violently. 
A burst of sword chi spilled out as it crossed the void. Xiao Yao was a bit surprised. This was the royal sword technique. But he clearly did not teach this kid the royal sword technique. And he actually comprehended it on his own. This talent and enlightenment is a bit heaven defying. Moreover, when he was at the coast before, excellence's cultivation level was only at the seventh level of chi strength. Now he's at the peak of chi strength. This guy can't be chased by the heavens to reward him with food. Obviously, he's a middle-aged man. Woohoo! Seeing the wooden sword flying towards him through the air with a white streak, a joyful color flashed in the black dragon's eyes. He thought excellence was playing with her. Bang! In one fell swoop, it slammed towards the wooden sword. ka -ching. The wooden sword was instantly in pieces. Ah, my holy sword. Excellence let out a mournful cry. But before he could say more. Bang! The black dragon followed up with another headbutt to his chest. Phew! The air was torn apart and an audible explosion came out. Excellence transformed into a black shadow. It flew out backwards like a cannonball. Even the walls of the courtyard were crashed through by his breath. Chang Nian Han walked in from outside at this time. Brother Xiao Yao, it seems like something just flew out with a huff. She said with a puzzled face, it's nothing, the jailer was playing soccer. Xiao Yao bristled and said, oh yeah, excellence is back. He told me that you haven't grown as tall as his data cable. At these words, Chang Nian Han's face suddenly turned red. Brother Xiao Yao I have something to do so I'll go and get busy first. She rolled up her sleeves and walked out of the living room. Xiao Yao even heard her shattered words on her way out. Damn excellence, I had to plant you in the dirt like an onion. Fertilize you with white-haired feces, let's see how tall you can grow. Chapter 77, All People's View Opens. The age of immortal cultivation has arrived. The restless people. At this moment, on the television, the official content finally began. As the representative of the four major war zones, Chen Anqing appeared on the screen. There was no one in the country who didn't recognize Chen Anqing, the head of the southern military region, who was usually on TV quite often. Today, our four major military regions, in conjunction with the imperial capital, the official organization of the whole of China, would like to announce a very important matter to all of you, a matter that concerns the future life and death of all of the people of our China. It also heralds the beginning of a new era. The number of online viewers of the live broadcast soared to 99.99 plus all of a sudden, and even the servers almost crashed as a result. Several large live streaming platforms had banded together and were prioritizing the release of this live stream wherever they were. Hearing Chen Anqing's solemn voice, people also began to speculate in confusion. What's going on? The Lighthouse Kingdom is fighting over? Then let's use Chief Chen's most frequently spoken words. Fear what fear? Fuck this motherfucker. I think it's the Eastern Expedition plan that's about to begin. It looks like we don't have to wait until September 8th of the next year. We can horseback ride through Tokyo and enjoy the cherry blossoms this year. I have to be the first one to do it. Especially since there are a few teachers that I really need to learn from. Upstairs. Just now there was something that whizzed past my head. It was fast. Very fast. I thought it was a bullet. But I didn't realize it was the abacus beads you hit. I feel like aliens have come to earth. I bet 10 cents that the aura is revived. I bet 20 cents that it's the end of days. I've already told my dad to stock up on supplies at the supermarket. Then I bet 30 cents. It's a zombie frenzy breaking out. The pop-ups flew by. People's curiosity was thoroughly aroused. At this time, Chen Anqing took a deep breath. This matter is. In the near future, an earth-shattering aura recovery will occur in the entire blue star. If you don't know what is meant by aura recovery you can refer to the novels and dramas on the major platforms. In short, the next world is the era of immortal cultivation. The entire world will return to the golden age of the ancient times. Celestial pride will emerge in abundance. At the same time, those ancient immortal sects hidden within the blue star will also appear. In order to defend against possible future crises, the Chinese officials have unanimously decided to publicize this news. And, we will unconditionally publicize the immortal cultivation techniques and martial skills on the internet, while at the same time conducting immortal cultivation talent tests in primary and secondary schools across the country. Open martial arts classes. This is the best of times and the worst of times. We are witnessing the opening of a new era at this moment. And anyone could be the mover and shaker of this era. All have the potential to do something great. But this also means, some of the cockamamie words that followed were basically no longer being listened to. The internet was going crazy. I bet right. A dime. You're all going to give me a dime. Get rich. I'm rich. Getting rich. The aura has revived. Your money is of no use. It's going to be spirit stones that we'll be using for trading in the future. I have to go to the mountains to take a look. Maybe I'll really dig up some spirit stones. Shit. The aura is actually going to revive. I'm finally going to stop working for this current cow and horse boss. I'm going to cultivate immortality and take the path of invincibility. The immortal way is the only way. Upstairs. Don't dream. 
What you are now is still what you are after cultivating immortality. The only benefit might be that you'll have more energy to play glue and won't have to worry about your body being weak. It's finished. The age of immortal cultivation has arrived, and I was born in this era of the end of the law. Originally by this mortal world's turbid gas infested body, but also has the innate working saint body, innate bull horse saint body to add, prostrate on earth, koi, invincible Taoist heart has long been broken, what to talk about cultivating immortality, how can we talk about chasing the great Tao, upstairs, work hard, let's go to the 10,000 soul streamer together as brothers, cultivating immortality is good, in the past, I used to say that the boom is as good as dead, but now that I'm practicing immortality, the boom is getting better and better, how much I want a ding to start an external life ah, the pop-up screen swipes were dominated by those who played with stems, but in reality, the arrival of the era of immortal cultivation was indeed a huge metamorphosis for the whole of China, with opportunities and crises coexisting, hurry up, the official immortal cultivation techniques have been announced, there are three in total, pine and crane body forging technique, mixed elements spitting technique, and kaiyang body forging technique, there are three in total, ha 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 ha, one step faster, 100 steps faster, I'm going to start practicing, let's see the martial arts, 8 extreme fist, open mountain fist, what's this, kuan fist, it's a combination of offense and defense, and it's got a body style to go with it, crap, and control skills, it triggers 100% of the enemy sweeping kicks when using Susan's 6 styles, this one is awesome, I want to learn this, in an instant, Huaxia changed drastically, although there were still people who didn't believe it, but many people had begun to believe it, they put down their cell phones, smashed their computers, burned their tablets, they wore stars, they fought, just to chase the avenue of immortal cultivation, it's become, Lousy has become a success, drink, a video went viral on the internet, only to see a young man, boom, he swung his fist and directly collapsed his next door neighbor's wall yard, I've accomplished my divine kung fu, ha 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 ha, from now on I will not eat beef, ex-girlfriend, repent, reunion, tremble, however, an expressionless official warrior appeared in front of him, vandalizing public property, come with me, go, humph, I'm a godly warrior, go you old mother, look at the fist, the unruly young man swung his fist towards the official powerhouse, bang, the young man flew directly backwards more than 30 meters, a little skin refining stage dares to make an enemy of me, arrest it, the military strongman smiled disdainfully, he carried the young man like a dead dog to a police car. As soon as this video came out, those who wanted to live whole and not eat beef one by one because of their good talent and stepping into the threshold of immortal cultivation all calmed down. Yes, if the military didn't have the means to restrain them how would they dare to release these feats in martial arts? These things may have long been popularized in the military. Some of them have just begun to cultivate how to beat the military's experts. The order of China was still under control. At the same time, the first three realms of cultivation were officially announced. Wufu, refining skin, flesh, tendons, bones, marrow, blood, and organs, strong qi, 1 to 9 weights, vital spring, 1 to 9 weights. At the same time, the major short video platforms came out with countless videos teaching people to cultivate immortality. As long as you do these three things, you'll step into the skin refining stage within a day. Surprise, this young man is called Xiao Shui. He actually relied on this method to step into the skin refining stage. Your cultivation methods are all wrong. The most official and authoritative method. One hour to enter the skin refining stage. As long as you enroll in my course, your child will be able to enter the skin refining stage in one second. Not 999. Not 99. Just 99,999. Don't let your child lose at the starting line. Chapter 78. Xiaoyao's Moves. Objective. Breakthrough Dan Transformation. Plus more. Mr. Xiao. The universal buwu has been opened. What should we do next? Chen Anqing called, Immortal cultivation requires a lot of resources to pile up, especially in the Wufu realm. It's a crucial time to lay the foundation, and since you guys are going to be choosing the talents, there's no shortage of resources, so what you guys have to do now is simple. First, secretly acquire various medicinal herbs from various countries. Second, organize picking teams at the peak of the Wufu realm, enter the deep mountain forests. Nowadays, the aura of the deep mountains and old forests is far denser than in the cities and many medicinal herbs mutate, and their medicinal effects will be terrifying, that's a very valuable resource. Third, in order to keep order from being disrupted, once a strong person appears in the civilian population, you'd better find a way to recruit people to the official side, at the same time, the military's war power must keep up, you won't fail to understand the reasoning that chivalry is forbidden by the military, I will ask excellence to assist you in this matter, with his cultivation nowadays, 
no one in the secular world should be able to beat him, just feel free to make use of it, as long as you don't get tired, Xiao Yao said calmly, thank you mister, Xiao for your guidance, Chen Anqing hung up the phone, then, it's time for me to improve my strength properly, before the immortal sect completely recovers, one must have a Dan Transformation Realm cultivation, Xiao Yao stroked his chin, system, detect the Dan Transformation Realm powerhouses around the globe for me, ding, host, this is not in line with the system regulations, I'm going to suppress them all. Ding. Target detection in progress. The world map has been sent. Please host check. Xiao Yao. Well, the bottom line can be lowered again and again. Right? Moreover, this dog system is so active. There must be a benefit for him to reward this dog system by crossing the level. But, there are quite a lot of Dan Transformation Realm powerhouses around the world. This time should be able to harvest a good wave. It would be best to collect all the golden Dan fragments. Xiao Yao grinned. Jailer, let's go. Swish, he took a step out his body transformed into streams of light and flew towards the sky above. The jailer hurriedly followed. His body expanded in the air to transform into a giant dragon more than 20 meters long. Xiao Yao's spiritual energy bulged around him and his modern robes instantly turned into a set of ancient robes. This was also the reward he had acquired from the system earlier. It was a full set of superb spiritual weapons. Flowing wind steps and cloud walks, Taishong white jade robe, purple violet clear spirit pei, and green Zhao wrapped body belt. At this moment, Xiao Yao was properly transformed into a turbid noble gentleman. This outfit is simply too handsome. It's just a drop below the reader's old man. Xiao Yao surveyed his body with satisfaction. Well, the nearest target. Hang City right. Swish. The black dragon let out a low chant and disappeared into the clouds. Hang City. City center. An upscale cafe. A young man was on a blind date. The woman is a very fashionably dressed urbanite. Her bag is from LV. Her necklace is from Gucci. Her jacket is from Chanel, and her watch is from Cartier, although they were all fakes. Fan Shuheo bit the straw of the Americano in his hand and sized up the other party. Although a glance can tell what the other party is, but Mom's order cannot be disobeyed ah. This is a marriage that has to be made even if it's not. How about thinking of a way to mess up this blind date? Fan Shuheo was pondering. The woman suddenly coughed softly. Hello, my name is Tian Liar. I'm 23 years old. Fan Shuheo, 26. Well, I see that you're not bad looking, so I won't ask too many questions and go straight to the point. What's your monthly salary? Tian Liar raised her eyebrows and asked. 3,000. 3,000? So little. It's not even enough for me to eat a meal. Tian Liar said in surprise. Fan Shuheo was unimpressed. I make 3,000 a month that's because there are only 30 days in a month. If there were 300 days in a month, I'd make 30,000 a month. The woman blinked her eyes. It seems like. It makes some sense ow. So, do you have a room? No, house or not. Ugh, I know you're in a hurry, but hold your horses. I don't have a house though, but my landlord spent two million dollars to buy a suite. Seventy years of property rights. I signed a seventy-year contract with him in the first place, and he rented it to me for only eighty-four million dollars a month for one thousand dollars, which is equal to me netting him one million, one hundred and sixteen thousand dollars. Tian liar? Not. Why do you make so much sense? Crap. Not right. Not right. Tian Liar had been spun out of her mind. Do you have a car? Yes. What kind of car? A Rolls Royce. Said he dropped the car keys on the table. You drive a Rolls Royce for $3,000 a month? I help my boss as a driver. We've signed a 10-year contract. This Rolls Royce I can drive for free for 10 years. He still has to pay my salary every month. That's not right. There was a mistake somewhere. No. This world shouldn't be like this ah. Tian Liar had been confused and completely unlike any of the emoticons in your phone. Ah, a message from the boss. The boss told me to work overtime on the weekend. Ah, triple payo. Fan Shaheo said as he picked up his cell phone. Ah, you have to work overtime on the weekend? This is also too much that. Tian Lear was a bit disgusted. It's okay. Three times the salary has $300. I absenteeism deduction 200. I earn 100 for nothing. Let's continue. Then play music. Ah, no. Then chat. What else are you dissatisfied with? Fan Shaheo asked. Tian Liar shook her head with a confused face. It seems like there is no more. Until this moment, on the opposite side of the seat, a tall, yellow-haired young man finally couldn't hold back. He stood up and walked towards the side with large strides. Lear, he's clearly fooling you, he said to Tian Lear. And then, turning around, he viciously threatened Fan Shaheo. Tian Liar is Lousy's girlfriend. You hurry up and get out of my way, or else I'll get you killed. Lousy is a skin-refining stage immortal cultivator. Saying this, he clenched his fists. A crackling sound came out. 
Fan Shiheo's face was a little white. He didn't have the talent to cultivate martial arts. No matter how much he practiced those three techniques, he was never able to step into the skin refining stage. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been working for his boss. This guy is a bit interesting ah. Uh. At this moment, Xiao Yao, who was standing outside the door, looked at Fan Shiheo and thought, this guy was actually a special physique. The third special physique he had encountered after Shin Shiryun and Excellence. This physique was called, Heavenly Arrow Divine Body. There was only one way for people with this type of physique to enter the path of immortal cultivation, and that was to bind an innate spirit bow, and then use one's own physique to nourish the spirit bow, which would then metamorphose and raise one's cultivation. A grandly accomplished heavenly arrow divine physique, where the human bow is united, draws the bow from millions of miles away, and is able to shoot the sun with a single arrow. No wonder he was able to step into the Dan transformation realm in the future. Today's additional shifts have been delivered. Ask for a free gift. 10 seconds for you, 10 seconds for me, the author is rich, and the code word races at the speed of sound, thanks for the support, boing boing, chapter 79, yellow hair, my invincible skin refining stage, are you scared or not, Xiao Yao, ah yes yes yes, kid, if you don't roll in 3 seconds I'll tell you to taste the flavor of grandpa's my fist, yellow hair waved his fist in front of Fan Shiheo and demonstrated, as he swung his fist out, there was even a sonic boom in the air, and the wind of his fist was pouncing on Fan Shiheo's face from 3 to 4 meters away. This is the skin refining stage. As long as you know a little bit of fighting skills, you can press the level of Tyson's fight. There was no difficulty in smashing through a wall with one punch. Fan Shiheo's face suddenly turned white. This punch on his head is not good. Directly red and white. The evening banquet, black people carry the coffin. At this time, all the eyes are staring at their table. In the official just announced the cultivation technique not a few days now can step into the skin refining stage can be said to be very good talent. One in a hundred. The vast majority of the people in this coffee shop had not stepped into this level. Therefore, the power of the skin refining stage that was rumored to have beaten Tyson on the internet was curious. So these guys couldn't wait for Fan Shiheo to let this yellow hair beat him up and watch a free hilarious scene. At this moment, the coffee shop door opened and a young man walked towards Fan Shiheo's table. This young man was wearing an ancient robe, wearing a green jade pendant around his waist, his feet stepped on white cloud shoes, his 3000 inked hair naturally fell, his sword brows and starry eyes, his skin was fair, and he could be said to be as handsome as a jade, handsome as a batch, compared to those celebrity male groups who are handsome for I don't know how many streets, so handsome, I want to bow though the female to fuck him, a female stared at Xiao Yao with stars in both eyes, not, sisters, are you serious, it's just a man, as for that, alas, when you're done bowing though the women, I want to try it too, I really want to give him a child, and ask my husband to raise it, good guy, sister is your husband killing your parents, you want to do this to him, so handsome, I want to drink the milk he personally made for me, enough, I always look out of place with you guys because I'm not perverted enough, as soon as Xiao Yao appeared on the stage, the eyes of all the girls in the room were drawn to him, the men, on the other hand, stared at him with murderous eyes, some even wanted to write his name on some black case notebook, hey, is this your friend? That yellow hair glanced at Xiao Yao and said to Huang Liar. Huang Liar shook her head. It's not. I don't recognize him, but he's really handsome. If I can marry him even if I'm allowed to live in a villa and drive a luxury car I'm willing. Yellow hair? No. What's the matter? You've taken all the good things? Not your friend? I don't know. That's your kid. Humph. That's good. Finding a helper without saying a word. Right? He glanced at Fan Shiheo disdainfully. I'm telling you, the era in the future is the era of the immortal cultivators. Strength is honored. Handsome is of no use. You have to have strength and background to come out and hang out. Hey, kid, don't mind your own business. Yellow hair walked towards Xiao Yao. Can't you see I'm handling things? Grandpa Huang, I told you not to mind your own business. I'm an expert of the skin refining realm. Look, this skin of mine. Is it hard? Yellow hair walked up to Xiao Yao and stopped him, then rolled up his sleeves and rubbed them twice on his muscles. Not to mention, the skin was shiny from his rubbing. Eh? The corner of Xiao Yao's mouth twitched. I didn't say I wanted to mind my own business either. So you made a preemptive strike. Since this is the case, I don't know if your skin is hard, but I want to ask if your skin is itchy. Yellow hair was stunned. What do you mean? Do you know that I'm not powerful? I'm a skin refining realm expert. Skin refining realm. Do you know how awesome skin refining is? Tyson can't even beat me. I can make a sonic boom with one punch. That's it. Hey, drink. Yellow hair clenched his fists and swung two punches in the air. Xiao Yao had a black line. Those who know about it don't say anything first. Those who don't know still think that you are in the Dan transformation realm. How is a skin refining realm as invincible as the world? 
Oh, he brushed past yellow hair. Yellow hair? Hey, kid, you don't know how powerful I am in the skin refining realm, do you? I'll tell you, I refine skin realm. Slap. Xiaoya threw out a slap. Yellow hair flew straight out seven or eight meters. It almost flew out the door. It was quiet now. Xiaoya smiled and came to Fan Shaheo's face. Thank you. Fan Shaheo stood up and said gratefully. He thought that Xiaoya was a hero who had seen justice and was a great person. However, Xiaoya shook his head indifferently. Do you play Naruto? Fan Shaheo shook his head. Then you play the original. Forget about asking too much. Xiaoya stretched out a hand towards Fan Shaheo's head and pressed it. Touched the head. Suppress. Ding. The host's magical powers are vast. The mana is boundless. The Dan Transformation Realm's sixth heavenly hall of fame powerhouse is heartily in awe of the host. The host has suppressed the sixth heavenly realm powerhouse. Reward purple extreme heavenly thunder gold pill fragment asterisk 4. Shen heavy sunflower gold pill asterisk 1. Ding. Congratulations to the host for being able to synthesize the purple extreme heavenly thunder gold pill. Step into the second level of the Jin Dan realm, whether to synthesize or not. There's no rush. Wait first. Xiao Yao withdrew his palm. Fan Shaheo was confused. Why did this person like to touch his head? Could it be that? His heart snapped. Could it be that he wanted to be his dad? This could never work. Though but I already have a father, so I'm sorry to say that. Fan Shaheo said apologetically. Xiao Yao? Is there a tornado in your head? Spinning so fast? At this moment, that yellow hair climbed up from his place and ran towards Xiaoya with a huff. I'm a skin refining stage powerhouse. You dare to hit me. I'll eat you alive. Yellow hair said angrily. Who do you want to eat alive? A figure came. Only to see a straight figure striding towards Xiaoya's side. The visitor was clearly Chen Xiao. Mr. Xiao. Chen Xiao respectfully saluted Xiaoyao. Is someone trying to trouble you? He asked in a low voice. Trouble not so much. Just a dull looking yellow hair. Quite cute. Xiao Yao said. Yellow hair? Old me. A great expert of the skin refining stage. You're describing me in terms of cute for fuck's sake? You think I'm a husky? Who the hell are you again? You're not done helping me. Are you? I'll tell you that I'm a great master of the skin refining stage. I can kill in one on one. One on two. And one on three. I have the advantage. He said to Chin Xiao with his head held high. Oh. Refining skin stage big expert. Your skin's so hard. Resistance to tank guns ah. Chen Xiao said as he pointed to the two tanks parked on the street outside. I don't know when, but the outside of this coffee shop has already been crowded with loaded military warriors. Holy shit. Yellow hair glanced towards the outside and almost pissed himself. Not. I just wanna pretend to be a pussy. Do you as much as bring the tank to me. As for it, fuss. Although I am a big expert in the skin refining stage. Strong as a horse. But also not so much as to get on the tank ah. Oomph, come on people, disturbing the order, take them away. Chen Xiao sneered and waved his hand. Outside the door instantly two military region soldiers walked in, one on the left and the other on the right, carrying yellow hair away. It was just a farce. Xiao Yao did not take it seriously. He smiled and shook his head, asking, how did you get here? And with so much fanfare, with tanks and guns, Chen Xiao sighed, Mr. Xiao, you don't know. We were notified that a lion at the Hang City Zoo had mutated and grown a second head. It was incredibly powerful. The military powerhouses stationed in Hang City were all defeated by him, and the higher-ups told me to bring in support. I didn't expect that I just happened to meet Mr. Xiao, so I came over to take a look. We can't delay any longer here. Mr. Xiao, farewell first. Chen Xiao saluted towards Xiao Yao. Alas, wait. I'll go over with you to take a look. And you guys are driving too slow said Xiao Yao as he walked towards the door. Ah, thanks Mr. Xiao. Chen Xiao was instantly overjoyed. With Mr. Zhao's hand. Are you still afraid of your two heads? I'm not even afraid of nine heads. Cut them off to make brace lion heads. Chapter 80 Bloodline Returning Lion. Nine-headed golden lion. Everyone else who saw Chen Xiao following behind Xiao Yao with a respectful face were also very curious. This young man looked like a big shot in the military. With tanks and guns. But he was so respectful to this young man in ancient clothes. What kind of big shot was this young man? Powerful and powerful. And so handsome. He is the man I can't get in my life. I want to sleep with him for a night. Some nymphomaniacs looked at the departing Xiaoya with stars in their eyes. This also included Tian Liar. Hey, wait. At this moment, Fan Shaheo finally reacted. He ran towards the door. However, he only saw Xiaoya grabbing Chen Zhao's shoulders. Shu. It disappeared in a flash. Hiss. Immortal ah. Maybe he has a way to help me with my inability to cultivate. Right, they mentioned the Hangzhou Zoo just now. With this thought, Fan Shaheo hurriedly called a cab and drove towards the zoo. Hangzhou Zoo. 
The entire zoo had long been surrounded by police cars in three layers. Many ordinary people who weren't afraid of death crowded outside the security line with their cell phones to take pictures. What a situation. Chen Xiao arrives and squeezes through the crowd, showing his identification and Xiao Yao walks towards the inside of the zoo. Almost all of those experts from the military have been defeated by it. Right now it's Captain Zhu who is holding it back, but I don't think it can hold it back for much longer. That lion is just too powerful. The uncle wearing a hat said. Captain Zhu was the most powerful of the military region's strongmen in Hang City. His strength had already reached the peak of the Wufu realm, but it was Captain Zhu who couldn't even deal with this lion, so it looked like things weren't as simple as a mutation. Mr. Xiao, let's go in and take a look, Chen Xiao said. No need to go in. It's coming. Xiao Yao spoke indifferently. What's coming? Chen Xiao was surprised. Just then, roar. Only a deafening roar could be heard. In the next second, a silhouette stormed out from the distant jungle like a cannonball, crashing towards them. Stop it for me. Chen Xiao took a step out, his foot stepping on the air, his true qi surging, and he hardened himself to catch that person from midair. Old Zhu, are you all right? Chen Xiao said to the bruised Xu Chang in his arms. Very strong. It's really strong. It's strength. I'm not a match at all. You have to be careful. Chen Xiao, Xu Chang said weakly. Immediately afterward, his head lolled and he directly fainted. What? It's really that powerful. Chen Zhao's face changed. He handed Zhu Chang over to the police officers beside him and carried him onto a stretcher. Rustling. In the grass, a light sound came out. Chen Xiao violently stopped in his tracks. There was something. Something very powerful had set its sights on him. Chen Zhao's muscles tensed. His two levels of stout qi cultivation fully erupted. An invisible true qi shook around him. The grass was squeezed open, only to see a six or seven meter tall lion with two hideous heads, like a small mountain walking towards them. There was a strong murderous intent and bloodlust flashing in its eyes. Ah, a lion with two heads. What a terrifying sense of oppression. I feel like I'll faint if it looks at me. Shit, it's going to die. How did it mutate out of such a monster? Can the invincible skin refining stage beat it? It's hard enough to beat a woolen sweater. And it's hard enough to be someone's dinner at the skin refining stage. The onlookers said one by one in fear. But the cell phones in their hands didn't stop at all. Back off. Back up. The front is very dangerous. The marshmallows once again pulled the cordon out 20 meters. That two-headed lion was wide-eyed with Chin Xiao at this time. And neither of them made a move. The enemy does not move. I am not moving. The enemy moves. I'll bite him to death. Xiao Yao narrowed his eyes. A look of realization appeared. Ding. The host has encountered a great demon of the Dan transformation realm. Nine-headed golden lion. Erm. Please ask the host if he wants to run for his life or suppress it. What if I want to run for my life? Ding. The waste host has encountered the invincible Dan transformation realm great demon. Hurry up and kneel down obediently to be a human pet to the nine-headed golden lion. Otherwise, you'll have a way out. Xiao Yao. You system is not a little bit of reality ah. But, sure enough he didn't guess wrong. Just mutating this guy is definitely not to this extent. This is the bloodline returning to the ancestors. This lion's ancestor was an ancient savage demon the nine-headed golden lion, which is why he could have such a terrifying strength. Mentioning this, Xiao Yao could not help but wonder, what was the blue star of the ancient era really like, and what exactly was the blue star hiding? Why would there be so many animals returning to the bloodline of the ancient great demons? Could it be that blue star used to be a really, really awesome world? All of this, perhaps with the recovery of Aura, the immortal gate will be a little bit of the mysterious veil will be unveiled. For now, all he had to do was just get stronger. Roar. At this moment, that lion let out a roar. It pounced towards Chen Xiao. Good coming, watch my eight extreme fist. Dang. Chen Xiao took a step. Iron mountain leaning. Boom. A man and a lion collided together. Sending up rolling dust. What a strong physique. If there was no true qi suppression, I would have been knocked out by him this time. Chen Xiao showed a look of surprise. This lion was truly powerful beyond belief. Open mountain fist. Boom. His hand glowed yellow as Chen Xiao took a step into the air. Raising his fist towards the two-headed lion's head, he suppressed it. Hiss, so powerful. What realm of powerhouse is this? It feels like he can even mobilize aura. It should be stronger than the skin refining stage. Is the skin refining stage the only thing in your fucking mind? But this person is really powerful. It looks like he should have started cultivating a long time ago. Damn it. Not only is my cow horse holy body, my cultivation time is still not as long as others. I'm going to cry out. I hope this strong man can defeat this lion. Otherwise it's dangerous. If he rushes onto the road, I can't even imagine how things will turn out. The crowd had high hopes for Chen Xiao. Chen Zhao's strength won't have much of a problem defeating this two-headed lion. Xiao Yao also nodded. No. Right at this moment, 
Xiao Yao's gaze froze. The bloodline in this guy's body is reviving? Chapter 81, Absolute Unrivaled Stance, Thunder Law Demon Suppression, 10,000 people marveled. As the fist-to-flesh battle between Qin Xiao and the two-headed lion became more and more intense, the two-headed lion's aura was soaring. This guy has galvanized the bloodline in his body during the battle? Xiao Yao said in surprise. There was this kind of benefit to fighting? No wonder white hair didn't have many bloodline awakenings now. So it was because it didn't fight and slept every day. Good. It was decided that when he went back, he would send white hair to the Colosseum to let it fight until it died. At this time, the white fur that was still sleeping in the courtyard violently shivered and put up its head to look around. The big black eyes blinked. It was who? Who was paying attention to it? Could it be excellence that tiger cub? Roar. The two-headed lion's mane grew large, and it angrily let out a roar as rolling sound waves surged out. That sound wave almost turned into substance. It shook Chen Xiao backward repeatedly. Everyone covered their ears in pain. This lion's roar was no joke. It could shock you to death with blood flowing from your seven orifices even from a distance of over a hundred meters. Only Xiao Yao's face was expressionless. His hands were downcast. He had no sadness or joy. The lion's roar in his ears sounded no different from us learning to meow together with the cat. Roar. The body of the two-headed lion was unexpectedly cloaked in a layer of strange golden light at this moment. And behind it, a nine-headed lion's silhouette emerged, roaring the heavens and moving the earth. Although it was very blurry and fuzzy, it was almost impossible to see with the naked eye, but Xiao Yao could feel the reckless aura emanating from that bloodline. It was very strong. If the real nine-headed golden lion was here, even he might have to retreat. It was a super expert of the Dan transformation realm. Unfortunately, this two-headed lion may be able to grow into a nine-headed golden lion in the future. But right now, it is just two heads. Damn it. Why has its power suddenly become stronger? Boom. The two-headed lion waved its bushy forelimbs and lifted towards Chen Xiao. A gust of wind surged. And in the next second, the slaps arrived at the battlefield. ka -ching. Chen Zhao's protective true chi shattered immediately. And then the entire person was swept away like a cannonball. It flew backwards dozens of meters away. How could this happen? That person clearly had the advantage. Why did he suddenly lose? This lion fouls the rules. Doesn't he? He's on drugs. It's a fight to the death. Brother, it's not a fight to the death. Take your mom's pills. My mom ate it yesterday. And she screamed really loud. It's finished. That strong man is going to die. No one can save him. The crowd said one after another. Just then, a figure flashed out and appeared in front of Chen Xiao. Surprisingly, your bloodline has returned. If it weren't for the jailer, I might have been able to take you as a mount under my command. But unfortunately, the nine-headed golden lion is still inferior to the white tiger and the black dragon. So go to hell for your trouble. Bang! Xiao Yao slapped out a random slap. Boom! The huge body of the two-headed lion was just sent flying by this light slap of his. Crap! Who is this ancient style guy who came out of nowhere? So fierce, so handsome and so fierce, it's too strong, slapping this lion out with a single slap, hiss, if I had his strength, I would be willing to ride a black dragon, live in a villa, and marry a rich girl, brother, you don't want to suffer at all, do you, that two-headed lion was slapped out of the room, and the color of astonishment flashed in his eyes, this man in front of him was not simple, alright, sending you to your death, only Xiao Yao's hand pinched the seal, the name of this move is, Taishang Heavenly Thunder Lead, Brilliant Heavenly Thunder Subdues 10,000 Demons. Boom! At that moment, the sky changed drastically. A bucket-sized golden thunderbolt danced crazily in the depths of the clouds. Looming. Crap. 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 Encountered a true immortal cultivator? I told you. This is a real immortal cultivator. This is a real immortal cultivator. That skin refining expert from before was a martial artist at best. Shit. I'll go back to that cram school that charged me 999. 000 and ask how much money is needed to reach his level. Even if it's 999, 000 I'm willing to do it. Brother is quite powerful. Wasting this million dollars. Why don't you V me 5W I'll let you learn a long lesson. One by one. The tanks and SUVs stopped outside and one by one. The soldiers with loaded guns came down from the vehicles. Including Fan Shuheo. Who had rushed a cab to get here. He squeezed through the crowd and plopped down on the cordon. Looking at the young man in the distance with his white robe flipping and his ink hair flying, there was uncontrollable shock in his eyes. It really knows. Immortal law. Those loaded warriors were ready to cross the cordon, but they were stopped by Chen Xiao raising his hand. Don't come over. He struggled to get up from the ground and wiped away the blood on his forehead, staggering to the side. Mr. Xiao is doing magic to subdue the demons. You guys back away, or it'll be bad if you hurt innocent people. The cordon was drawn out 50 meters again. Mr. Zhao's person is truly a heavenly being. Chen Xiao looked respectfully at Xiao Yao. 
whose hands were cupping seals and whose body was emitting golden light. It was full of yearning admiration. Such an astounding figure. Even if he followed him as a mere pawn, his future achievements would never be low. Previously, Mr. Xiaoyao's finger pointing was to let him enter the peak of martial arts, and even the spiritual power that had not yet been used up was stored in the body to warm up the five organs and six bowels, and Chen Xiao even took this opportunity to break through to the strong qi realm, and now Chen Xiao has already become the first expert of the military, and this is just Mr. Xiao a finger four, his heavenly ability, so far failed to peep one or two, after all, all along no matter what enemy he was facing, Xiao Yao had killed them all with a single move, Thunder Road Demon Execution, Xiao Yao's mouth and tongue seemed to blossom with heavenly words, as his words fell, boom, above the dome of the sky, a golden thunderbolt as thick as a bucket came crashing down, rolling dark clouds surged and thunder roared as if the thunder god above the nine heavens was roaring with a deafening roar, at this moment the entire world was illuminated by the golden thunder incomparably bright and penetrating, the white robed figure that stood in front of all the people was as if he was a true immortal on earth, people could not help but worship it, roar, the two-headed lion roared up to the sky, the bloodline in his body was once again stimulated, and the terrifyingly terrifying nine-headed lion behind him roared towards the thunder, as if giving vent to his own unwillingness and anger, it was a pity that all of this was useless in front of absolute strength, boom, the thunder struck the two-headed lion's body, roar roar roar, he let out an extremely agonizing roar, and its sound shook a ten-mile radius, he he, this guy is a bit interesting, under this thunder drawing technique of mine, the bloodline in his body has revived for the second time, frowning, Xiao Yao waved his hand, the golden thunder was withdrawn, there was a fluttering sound, the two-headed lion was covered in scorched blackness, lying on the ground with a weak face, unable to move, Xiao Yao had stayed his hand, but even so half of his life had gone, ding, congratulations to the host, the host's cultivation is world class, his strength is monstrous, you have subdued the nine-headed golden lion, a great demon at the Dan Transformation Realm. Reward Golden Sky Kunlun Gold Pill Fragment Asterisk 4. Ground Level Extreme Body Refining Technique. Nine Blazed Body. Body Refining Technique? Xiao Yao frowned. Speaking of which, it was also true that as his strength grew stronger, his previous Vajra Unbreakable Body wasn't much use anymore. This glazed nine heavy treasure body was interesting. But unfortunately, the system gave a gong method that was different from a martial art, which was a great success to begin with. The technique can only be given to a level comparable to the realm. For example, this nine heavy glazed treasure body only gave him the level of the seventh heavy treasure body. But even so, it could physically ignore nuclear explosions. Nowadays, Xiao Yao was already invincible in the world above the blue star. Even without utilizing his spiritual power and dharma body, just his physical body was already invincible and fearless of all hot weapons. It's just that the cultivation of the people around him is much worse. In the future, when things come up, he can't be allowed to take action in everything. Chapter 82, Traveling Through the Blue Star, Endless Legends, Gathering the Eight Golden Pills, Breaking the Realm in the Land of the Seal, A Thought, Chen Xiao, Nowadays your military is not strong enough, if you encounter something like this again in the future and I'm not by your side, then you guys will be in big trouble. This two-headed lion contains within its body the bloodline of the great demon nine-headed golden lion of the ancient era, and it has already begun to return to its bloodline, so if you can subdue it, you can add a powerful battle force to your military. Are you willing to give it a try? Xiao Yao spoke out faintly. Chen Xiao froze, followed by an ecstatic expression appearing on his face. Thank you mister. Xiao for the gift. Chen Xiao is willing to give it a try. Chen Xiao was overjoyed, and turned around and walked towards the two-headed lion. At this moment, the two-headed lion had already been completely scared by Xiao Yao, and that returned bloodline was almost dispersed by Xiao Yao. Damn, how could there be such a horrible existence in this world? It felt like even if his bloodline had completely returned to its ancestor, he would still have to eat two big mouths to get over it. Because Xiao Yao was there to deter Chen Xiao easily took in the two-headed golden lion. He rolled over and mounted the two-headed lion, drenched in blood, as if he was a general returning from a great victory in the battlefield, with an extraordinary aura that drew a crowd of people applauding. Since this matter is settled, I will leave first. Xiao Yao nodded, turned around and was about to leave. However, he was stopped by a silhouette. Sir, please also accept me as a disciple. Teach me to cultivate immortality. It was the young man Fan Shiheo that he had met earlier at that coffee shop. Accept a disciple? Xiao Yao frowned. His mind recalled a certain living treasure surname Zhuo plus a middle child plus a psychopath. A shiver ran down his spine. It was impossible to take in an apprentice. It was impossible to take in another apprentice in this lifetime. I won't take you as a disciple, but I can point out a clear path for you. Xiao Yao said indifferently. 
Hearing that Xiao Yao had no intention of taking in a disciple, Fan Shaheo's eyes flashed with gloom, but immediately afterward, he heard the clear path that Xiao Yao was talking about. His eyes lit up again instantly. Please also clarify, sir. Xiao Yao nodded. In the future, when heaven and earth will change drastically and the aura will recover, the Chinese military will surely bear the brunt of it. You can enter the military to train as a soldier and dedicate yourself to your country. The military has both opportunities and dangers, but that's exactly what it is. It might be able to solve the problem of you not being able to cultivate. Are you willing to accept it? Xiao Yao asked. But I have to tell you beforehand, now that a great change is imminent, the military is always ready to carry out all sorts of dangerous missions, suppressing mutant demonic beasts, and cultivators who do not follow orders. Such dangers as this day, there will be many more in the future, whether to go or to stay. It's all up to you to make your own judgment. The color of struggle flashed in Fan Shaheo's eyes. Immediately afterward it was once again replaced by firmness. Sir is right. The future of heaven and earth will change greatly. Immortal cultivation will become the mainstream. If I can't cultivate immortality in my life, being an ordinary mortal is no different from death. If I can't cultivate immortality in my life, it's no different from death to be an ordinary mortal. I am willing to join the military. Fan Shaheo said loudly. Good. Chen Xiao. He will be under you from now on. Xiao Yao said to Chen Xiao behind him. Yes. Don't worry. Mr. Xiao, I will train him well. Xiao Yao nodded his head silently. A heavenly arrow god body joining the military. Once he grows up, he might be like the guardian god of China again in the future. Then I will leave first. Swish. Xiao Yao's body flashed and turned into a stream of light that rushed up towards the next location marked on the map. And then in January, Xiao Yao completely disappeared from the earth. However, all over the country, there were people who said that they had witnessed the appearance of an ancient robed young man with a plump god like Jade. He had strolled on top of the snowy mountains of Kunlun and fought against the blood lions on top of the snowy mountains, lifting his hand and collapsing the mountains. He had appeared above the boundless sea, stomping his foot and the sea tumbled, and a huge fish monster of tens of meters had its tendons and skin removed by him. Some people also saw his figure in the mountains of Miaozhong, standing on the top of the mountains, golden light flashing like a god revived, even abroad. There is such a figure, cross-pushing the north of Myanmar, to Zai, the Caribbean Channel kicked over the pirate ship, or appear in the rain of bullets in the Middle East battlefield. The body ignores all the hot weapons, raised his hand is to suppress all the people, including China's major cities in the streets and alleys have such a figure wandering. Only, this silhouette had a strange fetish. He liked to touch people's heads. Many people had their heads touched by him, and the heads of great traitors and evil people disappeared after he touched their heads. The good people whose heads he touched were all compelled by him to join the army. Some people marveled. Some people were curious. Some people admired. Some people were afraid. For a while, the rumor of the white-robed young man was at the top of the Chinese hot search list, even overpowering the matter of aura recovery. A month later, on top of Mount Tai, a figure sat on the ancient emperor's sealing place. One month, after traveling all over the entire blue star, I've finally collected all of the eight great golden dawn. Xiao Yao wiped his hand. Eight golden dawn of different colors and terrifying breaths appeared in front of him and the haze that erupted over those golden dawn converged together as if they were going to surge into the depths of the sky and turn the clouds upside down. Purple extreme heavenly thunder golden pill, Xian heavy sunflower golden pill, golden sky kunlun golden pill, evergreen indestructible golden pill, thick earth Jiong ling golden pill, clear wind manifestation golden pill, underworld darkness fury golden pill, blazing light eternal golden pill, together with the great sun Jin dan that he had refined long ago, and the great Dao Jin Dan that he had condensed himself, the ten great Jindans had all been collected. He, Xiao Yao, was going to cross the nine thunder tribulation at the top of Mount Tai and achieve the peak cultivation level of the Jin Dan realm. Then, when the aura recovered, with the help of the aura tides, the ten great golden pills would be transformed and achieve the Dan transformation realm. With the foundation of the ten golden Dan into the Dan transformation, once the achievement of the Dan transformation, he is the Dan transformation invincible. So what if the immortal sex powerhouse recovered? He Xiao Yao was fearless. Xiao Yao opened his mouth and inhaled. Swish, swish, swish. The eight golden dawn flew into his stomach one by one. Boom. A terrifying aura gushed out from his heavenly soul cap, instantly enveloping the entire Mount Tai. At this moment, Xiao Yao's breakthrough began. Something came up today, so I'm updating early. Chapter 83, Peak Jin Dan, Feeding on Heavenly Calamity. The blue star heavenly Dao was numb with fear. The top of Mount Tai was the place where the Chinese emperors sealed their temples, and the 10, 000 foot mountain towered into the clouds. A figure perched on the top of Mount Tai, 
He walked on his knees with his eyes closed tightly. Solemn appearance. As he exhaled and inhaled between the rolling mouth and nose there a rolling white smoke surging, turned into substance, dense white fog shrouded the mountain top, a fairyland situation. After the clouds piled up, the white mist turned into rain and sprinkled down on the top of the mountain. The white mist was transformed by the impurities in Xiaoyao's body that he spat out. Although it was an impurity, it was an unprecedented and unique spiritual liquid for the plants and trees on the top of Taishan Mountain. After being watered by the spiritual liquid, a withered old tree springs to life and becomes flourishing, its lush branches and leaves swaying as if a hint of spirituality has been born. A small bird resting at the top of the tree was watered by the spiritual chi, and its figure violently swelled dozens of times, and its mixed colored feathers became red as if they were as brilliant as flames, and it let out a long, shrill chirp that shot up into the clouds. A weak little flower got the spiritual liquid watering, born out of consciousness, even from the soil uprooted, shaking the roots and whiskers from the top of the mountain to leap down. Right at this moment, Xiao Yao, who was concentrating on enlightenment, opened his eyes violently. Boom! At that moment, the sky changed drastically. The entire Mount Tai was covered by thick dark clouds, and it was as if the sky was pressed down, with a great tendency of that black cloud pressing down on the city. Thunder tribulation? Xiao Yao slowly opened his eyes and looked at the terrifying thunder that was converging in the depths of the clouds. The corner of his mouth hooked into a disdainful smile. Boom! In the next second. The heavenly pillar-like thunder tribulation rumbled down. Xiaoyao sat still and just opened his mouth and sucked. The rolling thunder unexpectedly turned into pure energy that was sucked into his belly. It tastes good. Can I have some more if I can? Xiaoyao looked at the sky and grinned. Being provoked by Xiaoyao, it was as if the heavens were enraged. The second purple thunder began to coalesce, emitting an aura that was countless times more terrifying than the golden one. The people who lived around Mount Tai looked into the distance and saw rolling golden thunder falling from the hazy mountaintop and all of them had a shocked look on their faces. The top of Mount Tai had caused the golden thunder to vibrate. Could it be that there really was a supreme immortal undergoing a robbery? Boom! The sky moved greatly as this purple thunder seemed to be carrying the wrath of the heavens as it descended from the sky. Boom! A thunderous thunder. Purple thunder destroys the world. The terrifying thunder struck towards Xiao Yao. Ah! My god! Purple thunder! Crap! Is this an expert transiting there? An expert? Is it as high as the skin refining stage? That's all you know about the skin refining stage. People can stew a city skin refining stage in a hot pot with one mouthful of water. It shouldn't be ah. The officials have said that there are only signs of aura recovery now. The aura hasn't completely recovered yet. According to the game it's a novice village. And there's this kind of lightning tribulation expert in the novice village? How does that make us play? Shit. The opening is in Rome isn't it? How are you going to let me? A cow horse. Climb to Rome. I'm swinging for the fences and voluntarily joining the human emperor streamer to contribute to guarding the human race. The crowd murmured in horror. Looking at the top of Tarzan, their faces were thick with surprise and shock. Come. At this moment, Xiao looked at the thunder that was falling towards him and smiled lightly once again. Opening his mouth, the purple thunder fell into his belly like a torrent. The flavor is good. It's just that the quantity is a little bit less. How do you snap and swish like this? Is there any stock left? Take it all out ah. Otherwise then I can only grab it myself. Xiao Yao said as he stared at the sky. The dark clouds in the sky tumbled violently, sweeping over a hundred mile radius of Taishan. Just when Xiao Yao thought that it was going to build up momentum to drop the third thunderbolt, the dark clouds actually slowly dispersed. His face instantly turned ugly. Shit, you don't give me enough food and you still want to run? Where to go? White Emperor Golden Emperor Body. Boom. A golden Dharma body rose violently from behind Xiao Yao's back. Just like a supreme emperor from an ancient imperial dynasty, the Dharma body stood on the top of Mount Tai, emitting golden light all over its body, just like a rising sun. Xiaoyao's terrifying aura began to revive and the entire Mount Tai trembled uncontrollably. Get back here. Only Xiaoyao could see Xiaoyao harnessing his Dharma body and rising up into the air, surprisingly rushing towards the depths of that dark cloud. Oh my god, there really is a silhouette on Mount Tai. He's charging towards the sky. Nima. What kind of ancient powerhouse is this? The aura is revived like a god, from dozens of miles away. I feel like his body is like a sun. It hurts my eyes. You're nothing. I feel like I'm about to explode just by looking at it. Any closer and it might melt. 6. This great power couldn't be some ancient immortal who has been sleeping on the top of Mount Tai for 10,000 coin years. The crowd speculated. At this moment, Xiao Yao had already rushed into the depths of the clouds. In the endless void, an arc of thunder and lightning flickered in the clouds. Good good good, eat your fill. Xiao Yao laughed as the purple extreme heavenly thunder Dan and his body spun rapidly. He opened his mouth and sucked in all the arcs of lightning and thunder ons like a whale swallowing them into his belly. Boom boom boom. 
With the thunder quenching his flesh and nourishing the golden Dan, that nine heavy glazed treasure body was instantly cultivated to the state of great completion by him. Ding, congratulations to the host, strength is monstrous, acting in an overbearing manner, successfully made the blue star heavenly Dao feel fearful of the host, rewarded with the thunder emperor's magic body. Xiao Yao, blue star heavenly Dao, aren't all heavenly Daos awesome, how come you're such a loser, so easily intimidated? I just ate some of your thunder, it's not like I did anything to you. Host, Blue Star's current heavenly Tao is still very weak, its strength is only at the Jin Dan realm, and its spiritual intelligence is only comparable to that of a 6 or 7 year old child, he was scared by your roguelike style, and the stored thunder is almost dried up by you, the system explained, Xiao Yao, what roguelike style, I'm reasonably fighting for my rights, is he only allowed to strike me with thunder and I'm not allowed to grab his thunder and eat it, forget it, it's almost time to eat, so I'll leave first, hey, heavenly Tao, remember this face of mine, I'm your grandpa, Xiao Yao shouted to the sky, buzz, he sensed that a faint consciousness trembled in the depths of the clouds, ha 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 ha, this heavenly Tao is adorable, Xiao Yao laughed triumphantly and disappeared in one step, heavenly Tao, uhu, family members who understand, this guy doesn't talk about martial virtues, coming to my house to rob me and taking advantage of me, in all the years of Tian Dao, I've never been so stifled, Xiao Yao had finished his breakthrough, his cultivation had reached the peak of Jin Dan, and his strength was even stronger than even he knew. Anyway, as long as he wanted to, with his current strength, a continent would have to be torn apart with a single kick. Swish, he instantly left the top of Mount Tai. A few days after Xiao Ya left the top of Mount Tai, a young man who looked to be 16 or 17 years old climbed up to the top of the mountain with great difficulty. Covered in dust and wind, he looked miserable to the extreme, and at this moment, the electric arcs remaining at the top of the mountain had converged into a shallow pool of thunder under the effect of the spiritual liquid. That young man saw the thunder pool and showed a shocked expression on his face. I knew it, there is an immortal's creation here, this must be a precious liquid left behind by an immortal. The young man was ecstatic he lunged towards the thunder pool. In one gulp, he sucked the thunder pool all dry. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. he let out an agonizing cry. Thunder on surged around him as his figure began to pull up at a speed visible to the naked eye and his muscles became more and more solid. The breath in his body was also expanding violently. Buzz. Half an hour later, the young man snapped his eyes open, only to see two arcs of electricity flash through his pupils, and a stone not far away was shot by that arc and exploded. The young man clenched his fist hard. So strong, I feel like I can kill a hundred Tysons with one punch right now. This thunder has transformed my body. This is a chance that belongs to me. Then let's call you. Sun Thunder Battle Body. Chapter 84, Raising Two Female Demons. A Lighthouse of Fancy Death. Achu, Xiao Yao, who had returned to the villa, sneezed. A powerhouse of my caliber can sneeze? Someone must have been celebrating my true name and reincarnation. Not bad. Not bad. That's good. Xiao Yao rubbed his nose. He couldn't even imagine in his death how many monsters that had come to life had been created just because of this simple breakthrough of his. It was no exaggeration to say that with this current strength of Xiao Yao, if he were to dual cultivate with a mortal, the mortal would most likely just explode and die. A peak Jin Dan powerhouse was already at another level of life, which was by no means something a fleshly mortal could withstand. That effect could be called a rare and precious medicine. To be able to absorb it, eating it might be able to directly elevate you to the peak of the vital spring. It could be encountered but not sought. Master, you are finally back. Master, I've broken through to the vital spring realm. Ha 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 ha, when I reach the divine sea realm I'll be able to sword ride between heaven and earth. Excellence rushed out from the villa with an excited face. Xiao Ya took a look and his cultivation level had already reached the third level of the fate spring. Sure enough, the talent exchanged with IQ was still very, very effective. Brother Xiao Yao, I've also reached the peak of the stamina realm oh. Sister Shi Yun has even broken through the vital spring realm. Chang Yan Han and Shen Shi Yun also walked out together. Because of their immortal cultivation, the two women's appearance had risen by more than one level from when they were there. Surprisingly, they really did have a hint of an unearthly fairy aura. Xiao Yao, listen to me. I think it's the best decision I've ever made in my life to cultivate immortality with you. Xin Shi Yun said with gusto. Two days ago, one of my dad's business rivals found a couple of little mole crickets from the skin refining stage who dared to threaten my dad and said they would tie me up and OXX me. And they were directly smashed into flying dust by one of my slaps. With no crumbs left. You don't know the expression my dad and that old dang looked at me at that time. It was just too wonderful. He even kneeled down and called me auntie, and said that as long as I spared his life, he would give up all his business to my dad. But I didn't believe him. I just did what you did and slapped him to death. Shin Shi Yun said with gusto. Xiao Yao. Yeah, yes, brother Xiao Yao. 
Before I went shopping with Sister Shiryun, there was a rich young man who came to accost us and tried to do something untoward. I directly broke his offspring root with a move of the severed son and grandchildren kick, and then his old man brought a couple of skin refining stage ones to come and take revenge on us. Sister Shiryun and I followed your example and killed the door to end his house. It turned out that that idiot was actually a family from the magic city and had previously moved to Qinglan City to retire because he thought the magic city was too dangerous. It really made me laugh. Xiao Yao. Well, 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 each and every one of them learns from me, right? Either the family is exterminated, or the children and grandchildren are cut off, or they're just shot to ashes. Good, good, good. I shouldn't have taken them to the magic city in the first place. One by one, they have become female devils. Eh? Master I'm not so much of a problem. I'm very well behaved. Excellence scratched his head. That is. Well, I heard that you got Chen Xiao a very bullish mount. There is an ancient demon nine-headed golden lion bloodline. He is now riding a lion everywhere. Cool. Master can you also get me one? Excellence carefully asked. Want a mount? You go find white hair. White hair also has white tiger bloodline. It's no worse than golden nine-headed lion. Xiao Yao said indifferently. All right. Thank you master. Excellence was overjoyed. White hair. You're my mount from today onwards. Excellence rushed to the villa and shouted excitedly. White hair glanced at him lazily. Then it silently turned around and aimed its butt at him. Put. Took a shit. Then turned around and went back to sleep. Excellence. You clean up white hair's poop. Xiao Yao casually ordered. Eh? Excellence stayed where he was. Master. But I want to be its master. I don't want to be its pooper scooper. What is it not to be? If you take good care of it, maybe it will recognize you as its master one day. Xiao Yao said casually. Makes sense. Master. Excellence's eyes lit up and he started cleaning up with gusto. Xiao Yao shook his head. Sure enough, you are still young. Don't you know that licking a dog licks to nothing in the end? Moreover, how could a crumbly tiger like white hair treat you as his master? A human pet is more or less the same. Xiao Yao returned to the villa. Counting the time, there was less than a month left for the recovery of aura. The aura in the air was getting thicker and thicker. Just in time. Put the spirit gathering formation disc given by the system in the villa and collect the spiritual chi of heaven and earth. By then, this will be my holy land on earth, an immortal's cave. Xiaoya took out the array disc and raised his hand to point. Swish, the array disc did not enter the earth. And immediately, the spirit gathering array wrapped around the entire villa. The aura in the villa instantly became a hundred times denser. In this kind of environment, even if one didn't want to cultivate immortality they would bring their own immortal chi. For example, Aunt Chang. Although she didn't cultivate immortality, after spending a long time in this kind of environment, the dark diseases on her body were gone. The slightly pale hair also became dark and shiny. On top of that, the wrinkles were gone and her skin was fairer. It looked like a young woman of 27 or 18. This was the terrifying power of Aura. Hello, Mr. Xiao. I'm Chen Xiao. At this moment, Xiao Yao received a call from Chen Xiao. Is the practice ceremony about to start? Xiao Yao asked. Yes. During this period of time, we have started evacuating the overseas Chinese one after another, and the compatriots who are willing to come back have already come back. There are just some who don't want to come back. Those who don't want to come back are directly told to get lost, and their Chinese nationality is also stripped for them. Good, we think so too. There is also because of the evacuation of overseas Chinese. Now many countries are very dissatisfied with us, and also said that we are making a show of mystery. What aura recovery is completely unwarranted nonsense said that we are just looking for excuses, to destroy the peaceful coexistence of the countries. Ha! Peaceful coexistence. I laughed to death. These don't need to care about them. There are still more than 20 days. They will naturally shut up. Then again, I will personally visit them at that time, and properly talk about the knife theory, or bring them some specialties, like Chinese daggers or something like that. Yes, thank you Mr. Xiao. Lastly, there's the practice ceremony. I don't know if it's a coincidence or what. But the lighthouse kingdom is also going to hold a practice ceremony. And it just happens to be on the same day as us. The commander of the lighthouse kingdom's army, Herabo, sent word that he wants to practice with us. Hua Xia. Each of them will select a hundred of their best soldiers and start a competition against each other. Xiao Yao froze for a moment. Eh? Lighthouse is this a fancy way of getting yourself killed? Promise them. Chapter 85. Two kingdoms practicing. A beacon of lost confidence. Confidence comes from the water of God. Promised? The Chinese side really promised? When the Lighthouse Nation's army commander, Sherlab received this news, his complexion instantly became incomparably excited. 
Good good good, this is really God's help for my lighthouse kingdom, let those guys in China see the power of my lighthouse kingdom's super warriors, nope, let the world once again feel the fear of being dominated by my lighthouse kingdom. The super soldier symbolizes a brand new era, it is the crystallization of the great lighthouse technology, and in the future, we will be able to compete with the gods as human beings, and we, the lighthouse nation, will be the future leader of the blue planet, all nations will prostrate themselves and tremble at our feet, sure lab was ecstatic. He thought that Hua Xia would refuse, but he didn't think that he would actually dare to agree. Oops, Hua Xia ah, Hua Xia, who on earth gave you the guts? Shilob's face showed a fierce smile. It was as if he had already seen the scene where the super warriors bred by their lighthouse would ruthlessly crush the Chinese warriors, leaving the people of the whole world shocked and admiring. It would be an unprecedented spectacle. This time, the advantage is with my lighthouse. Quickly, call Ashiba to meet me. Ashiba was the most powerful of the super warriors they had bred. He drank two cups of God's water by himself. That's right, they had a very nice name for this potion. Water of God. It was meant to be the holy water given by God to the people of Lighthouse. Soon, a yellow-haired young man who was close to two meters tall arrived in Shilob's command room. Ashiba, this time I solemnly appoint you as the captain of this ceremony. You will lead a hundred of Lighthouse's great super warriors to fight against the soldiers of Huasha. Do you have any confidence? Sherlab asked lightly as he took a sip of coffee. Of course I have confidence, it doesn't even need a hundred people, with just me alone, I can tear them all apart. Ashiba smiled disdainfully as he swung his fist towards the air. Bang! A sonic boom sounded out. With my current strength, even fighting Superstar Tyson I can kill with a single finger. Even a thousand pound boulder I can lift it up. One punch is powerful enough to shatter a solid wall three centimeters thick. Ashiba proudly said. Good good good, that's my lighthouse's top super warrior. Ashiba. If you can crush the Chinese army this time, I'll give you the position of army general. From now on, you'll be the hero of my lighthouse, Sher Lab said with great excitement. This kind of terrifying battle power had already surpassed human limits, and their lighthouse nation's victory would be without a doubt. Thank you Commander Shirabo. I will definitely show the might of the lighthouse. The entire world will prostrate at our feet, and this time, I'll defeat Huaxia viciously in a global broadcast. Ashiba revealed a cruel smile. It was as if he had already seen the scene of himself crisscrossing the field. Ha 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 ha, good, I'll watch you favorably. Ashiba. The two looked at each other and suddenly laughed out loud, too excited to be themselves. If the lighthouse won a great victory this time, the two of them would be credited with first class honors. On the other side, Mr. Xiao. This time against the lighthouse kingdom, it will be me who will lead 100 military fighters onto the field. These 100 fighters are the elites selected from the four major military regions of China. Any one of them has the strength of the peak of the Wufu realm, and they have the strength of 100,000 pounds when they raise their hands and throw their feet. Even if the Lighthouse Kingdom sends a tank, it can send him back to his grandma's house with a single punch, Chen Xiao said confidently on the other end of the phone. Now that his strength had reached the fourth level of the stamina realm, coupled with his own mount, the two-headed lion, he was invincible below the fifth level of the stamina realm. Not bad, but this inevitably seems a bit meaningless, Xiao Yao said indifferently. Eh? Then what does Mr. Xiao think is the best thing to do? Chen Xiao asked. Kill a chicken and use a bull's knife. I'll teach you when the time comes, and you'll be like this. I see, I understand, no thanks to Mr. Xiao, the consideration is really thoughtful. I think when Lighthouse Nation Commander Shirabo sees this scene he might have to pass out from anger directly. Hearing Xiao Yao's words, Chen Xiao laughed out loud. According to the Lighthouse Kingdom's nature, before the official showdown, they would definitely publicize the event and start a live broadcast for the whole world, so that people from all over the world would be able to see them make a big splash. At this time, letting the Lighthouse Nation lose face and beat the shit out of them would be really great. Alright, you go down and get ready. Yes Mr. Xiao. Xiao Yao hung up the phone. There's still more than 20 days to go before the aura officially recovers. A lot of supernaturals will probably pop up in all the major countries. The world will completely change. The big wave will be the only ones who are strong enough to survive. Come out quickly, ancient immortal gate. I am waiting to harvest your heads. Xiao Yao narrowed his eyes. Even a fate spring realm half Jiao was comparable to a Dan transformation great demon in the system's judgment. Then those strong people from the immortal sect must be Yuan Shen, human immortal, and ancient saints in general? Killing them must be very exciting. As expected, on the eve of the showdown, the Lighthouse Kingdom announced the news to the world with great fanfare, and announced that it would use the Lighthouse's latest technology, and all the servers, via satellite, to open a live broadcast to the world. Before the aura recovery, this was the top event in the secular world. It's finished, this time, Huaxia will surely die, I've already heard the rumors, 
The Lighthouse Kingdom has researched a potion called God's Water, and soldiers who use this potion can increase their combat power to dozens of times that of normal people. They can be called super soldiers. How can Hua Xia win? Ha 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 ha, Hua Xia is kind of crazy. Recently, it has been evacuating foreigners and I don't know what shenanigans it's plotting. Surprisingly, they even pulled out the guys that the future is going to be an aura revival. Do you really think that the people of my Bigfoot Chicken Empire are all fools? I fully support Papa Lighthouse this time. Support Papa Lighthouse. Papa Lighthouse is bullish. Expect a total rot of China. Lighthouse is God's water ah. I don't know where they got it from. We also want to drink it. Greedy JPG. The same craving. God's water is such a noble name. It must be the most cutting edge technology. If I could sell it, I'd buy it no matter how much it costs. And I'll buy a bottle for all my family and children. While the world was at its most boisterous, the Chinese side was a calm batch. The other side. Far away in the void. In a hidden small world. Spirit element sect. Where did it go? Where the hell has it gone? Where is the sect protector god beast? Spirit element sect's patriarch, Li Dao Yuan, returned from a meeting in the upper sect and had thought to gather the senior members of the sect to discuss the great event of the recovery of Aura and the emergence of the immortal sect. As a result, he discovered that the clan's divine beast, the Tsong Lan Half Jiao, had disappeared. In the end who is it? Abducted my spirit element sect sect protector god beast. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Li Daobuan searched and changed the entire clan, to the point of summoning everyone in the entire clan to inquire, but there was never any trace of the Half Jiao. Sect. Patriarch, the sect protector god beast might not have been abducted. It might have gone to the secular world. At this moment, a disciple warily voiced out. Impossible, absolutely impossible. The aura has not yet recovered. The teleportation gate to the secular realm has not been opened. How could it possibly get out? Li Daobuan flung his sleeve robe and said loudly. But, patriarch, more than a month ago, the patriarchal divine beast entered the forbidden land and lost track of it afterward so I can be certain that it definitely didn't go out of the Forbidden Land. Other than going somewhere else through the Forbidden Land's teleportation array, I really can't think of any other possibility, this disciple said, because he was the disciple responsible for guarding the Forbidden Land, eating and living outside the Forbidden Land. He could be quite certain that the Half Jiao had not left the Forbidden Land. Is that true? That disciple nodded his head vigorously. If there is any falsification, I will be struck by lightning from heaven. Good, wait for me to go to the Forbidden Land to take a look. Li Daobuan frowned and nodded. There was no way out. The dead horse was a living horse. He then dismissed the other disciples. With a wave of his big sleeve, he rose into the air. He flew towards the clan's Forbidden Land in the back of the mountain. Chapter 86 The entire internet exploded as the spirit element sect patriarch entered the world. Hua Xia even sent only one recruit? This is the aura of the Half Jiao? It did come to the Forbidden Land, but it disappeared for whatever reason. Arriving at the Forbidden Land in the back of the mountain, Li Daoyuan frowned in confusion. Where exactly did it go? Could there be a teleportation array within the Forbidden Land that I don't know about? He stroked the walls around. Just then, buzz, the entire Forbidden Land began to light up greatly. What's this? Crap, there really is a teleportation array in the Forbidden Land? Was I touched by mistake? A stream of light wrapped around Li Daoyuan, and in the next second, he disappeared. Pacific Ocean, boundless and pale. The winds and waves were calm. The sea was like a sleeping beast, appearing mysterious and somewhat quiet. If it wasn't angry, the sky would turn upside down. At this moment, the seawater surged and rolled madly. And the next second, boom, a shocking and earth-shaking sound came out. And then a figure violently leapt out from under the water. At that moment, the rolling waves overturned the sky, and the calmness of the sea was broken all of a sudden. This is a good thin aura. Could it be that? This is the secular world. Li Daoyuan looked at the endless sea and felt the faint spiritual qi flowing in the air his face changed greatly. That half Jiao really came to the secular world through the unknown teleportation array in the Forbidden Land? Hiss. Wouldn't that mean? Li Daoyuan pondered. Nowadays, the secular realm's aura had not yet recovered. And once the aura recovered, it would produce a shocking tidal wave of aura. They were in the small world of the immortal sect, and by the time they waited for the seals of the two worlds to open, the tidal wave of aura would have long passed. But if he could wait for the aura tied in this secular world, thus absorbing a large amount of pure aura, maybe he could really make a breakthrough and achieve the realm of a Jin Dan powerhouse, which would be a heaven-splitting opportunity. This would be a heavenly opportunity. The spirit element sect would then be able to leap into the upper rank sect. At that time, that upper class sect patriarch wouldn't be able to boss him around. Li Dao Yuan. Good good good. It looks like the heavens are favoring me. Li Dao Yuan. Then I'll stay here in the secular world for now. Searching for the half Jiao on one hand, 
and waiting for the tides of aura to appear on the other hand, to break through the Jin Dan. Ha 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 ha, heaven has helped me. Li Daoyuan laughed, overwhelmed with excitement. Even the boundless Song Lan tumbled with a rushing tide. Li Daoyuan stepped on the seawater as if he were walking on a flat surface, and walked towards the distance. For the time being, let's find a densely populated place and learn about the changes in this secular world. Ha, huh? 3000 miles away. There seems to be quite a few quite a few people, go over and take a look. At this time, above the Pacific Ocean, the Chinese fleet and the lighthouse fleet were facing each other. The whole world was following this so-called military practice between the two countries live. The external slogan was friendship first, competition second. But individuals knew that the two countries were talking about competition first, friendship billionth. Commander Chen, the lighthouse kingdom says they want our warriors on their warships. The one who was responsible for arranging this practice was Chen Anqing of the southern military region. Hearing the lighthouse kingdom's request, he wasn't the least bit flustered. I agree, he said with a wave of his hand. That's right. Hua Xia was so confident that all conspiracies and tricks were unbearable in the face of absolute power. Chen Anqing agreed. Shirabo was shocked when he heard this news. Originally, he had thought that there would be a bit more pulling on each other. But he didn't expect that China would agree so easily. This was a good thing. Fighting at home. Their lighthouse's chances of winning had increased again. He had already thought about it. When the time came, he asked a group of lighthouse soldiers to line up. And when the Chinese warriors came, he first shocked them with his roar. The best will be their military heart. The courage to roar out. The next war is not just devastating. Click. The bilge plate unfolded. Sher Lab stood on the deck. Beside him were a hundred lighthouse super soldiers with powerful auras. He had his hands behind his back. A confident smile on his face. The Chinese warriors are coming. On my command. Get ready. Just as the sound of footsteps came from the bilge column plates, Sher Lab waved his hand loudly. Roar. 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 One by one. The warriors of the lighthouse let out deafening roars like wild beasts. The roars of a hundred people were even more powerful as they shot up into the sky. Crap, bullish, is this the lighthouse's super warrior? This aura, roaring my guts almost cracked with fear. Have to admit, lighthouse father's super warriors are just more powerful than the warriors of my Bigfoot chicken empire. If it were us, we'd probably be scared out of our wits. Ha 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 ha, that's all you little pelican chickens are. Cowards like chickens. You'd probably piss your pants if you roared. We, the great stick empire, are not afraid at all. We stick warriors have the genes of great generals like Zheng Fei and Lu Bu. The origin of all things is right. Zhang Fei and Lu Bu are obviously from China. Show some respect. It's ours. You guys don't know anything. The universe belongs to you guys. Right? But you're ours. Kneel down when you see your master. If the master is happy, I'll give you some kimchi. Obviously. There was a lot of gunpowder on the internet. As the roar of the stick country resounded through the sky, while the calm footsteps were not disturbed at all. When the people of the various countries saw the scene, but they were completely confused. Ha! This this this. What is this situation? Why is it that only one person has come from Huaxia, and he's also riding a lion? Is this the bottom card of the Huaxia people? My god, are the Huaxia people going to let one man and a lion challenge the entire lighthouse with a hundred super warriors? Are the Chinese people drinking too much fake wine? In the opinion of us, the people of Bigfoot Chicken, it's impossible to win. I reckon just two lighthouse warriors can beat them to death. Nope, why does this lion have two heads? It's drinking nuclear sewage from my food pick and chicken empire. Crap, isn't this brother the expert who fought that two-headed mutant lion in Hang City earlier? Look, he's riding that lion. Ha, what's the use of a lion? Maybe to ordinary people lions are powerful. But in front of the lighthouse's super warriors, no one's fighting strength is weaker than a lion. You Chinese are making too much of a fuss. Upstairs footpot chicken guy. I'll remember you. When I achieve greatness in my immortal path. I'll first come to your country to sacrifice my own divine weapon. Chen Shao rode a lion and looked at the roaring lighthouse nation warriors with a sneer. He scratched his ears. What's the matter? Guys from the lighthouse kingdom only know how to catcall? Elder, come on, give them a loud yell. Chen Shao patted the lion on his crotch. Immediately, the aura of that two-headed lion became incomparably terrifying. Roar. A heaven-shaking roar came from the sky, just like an overwhelming demon roaring the heavens. And that rolling sound wave was as if it had turned into substance. The decks on that lighthouse country's battleship were shaking violently, as if they would collapse in the next second. The 100 lighthouse warriors were roared to the point of bleeding from their seven orifices, and their eardrums almost cracked. The seven fell to the ground in a heap, wailing. That army commander Shirabo was even so scared that he wet his pants directly. Shit, holy shit, when that lion screamed. I almost had my soul rise to heaven halfway through my glue fight. You're okay with this. I almost thought there was an earthquake. 
I didn't even put my pants on and ran straight out of the house for a kilometer before I reacted. Now posting this message from the police station. I thought it was thunder. So scared I almost lifted my wife up to carry her over my head. 6. Good man. Good man of the century. Worthy of being a woman of the footbath chicken. Can still block the thunder? Good good. How much is your wife out? I'm interested. On the internet, other than the Chinese people, people from other countries were frightened by that terrifying roar. This roar of the two-headed lion was more than just a sound. As if it hid some kind of invisible aura. It was a kind of natural suppression. Alright, introduce yourself. My name is Chen Xiao. I am the commander of this practice. Chen Xiao said to the fallen lighthouse warriors. You guys must have thought that it was me who came to compete with you guys this time, right? Don't worry. It's not me. I won't bully the small with the big. After all, there's no point in fighting a bunch of ants. Chen Xiao raised his eyebrows and said in the most authentic English. Although I, Hua Xia, can easily select a hundred fighters, but we thought about it. Killing a chicken is not like using a bull's knife or a bull's knife. So, we are sending him. Come over here, Chen Xiao said behind him. A teenager who looked to be only 17 or 18 years old came over from the bilge board in stride. By way of introduction, he's a new recruit from the southern military region of my country, having just enlisted yesterday. That's right, he alone will challenge the hundred molehills of your lighthouse. Chen Xiao eyed the circle of GIs and laughed lightly. At once, the entire network exploded. Chapter 87 The new recruit hangs all over the field. The entire network is shocked. Li Daoyuan arrived. Crazy crazy crazy, against the heavens, it's too damn heaven defying, this kid looks smaller than me, to ask him to fight a hundred beefy lighthouse soldiers by himself, the Chinese are crazy, the Chinese really think they can cultivate immortality, it's okay to fool us, don't fool yourself, it's pathetic, this brat is only 16 or 17 years old, right, and he's about to be sent to the ICU, China is so cruel, if this brat can beat the lighthouse GI, I'll go back and immediately ask my son to go PK with Tyson. And if he can't win, I'll break his legs. Then if he wins, shouldn't you? The old den. Have your legs broken? 6. You guys do understand the father's kindness and son's filial piety. Everyone on the entire net except for Hua Xia's netizens did not look favorably on this young man. What's more, they felt that Hua Xia's move was rather suspected of claptrap. After all, how could a little kid fight against a well-trained super warrior? Zhang Changdao. Go on. One minute to get them all down. Is that okay? Chen Xiao casually said as he disdainfully glanced at those GIs from the lighthouse. A bunch of bears. Where do they need a minute? 30 seconds is enough. The young man named Zhang Changdao casually waved his hand. Chen Xiao looked at him with a contemplative face. Before this, even he did not dare to imagine that such a youngster would have such terrifying strength. But on the first day that Zhang Changdao joined the military region, he defeated all the warriors in the military region except for himself. Even a strong Chi First Heaven was completely no match for Zhang Changdao. Zhang Chengdao said that he was fortunate enough to be on the top of Mount Tai and received the inheritance left by an ancient immortal, bathing in the thunder pool. His body had metamorphosed and could mobilize the power of thunder and lightning. And he called this physique the Tsung Thunder Battle Body. Zhang Chengdao who possessed the Tsung Thunder Battle Body reached the peak realm of Wufu in a single leap. Although he was unable to utilize his true chi, relying on the power of thunder within his body, his battle power was comparable to that of the secular world stout chi realm's second sky. Fuck, arrogant Chinese brat, how dare you want to defeat my lighthouse's great super warrior in 30 seconds, you are simply dreaming, Shirabo roared loudly in anger, if you can really defeat my lighthouse's mighty warriors, I'll do a handstand and perform a live show to the world with a crocodile tongue kiss, Shirabo said angrily, old man, I hope that you can really do what you say later, or else I'll just have to press on your head, Zhang Chengdao said with a cold smile, at this moment, in the middle of China's battleship, Xiao Yao hugged his jailer and looked at Zhang Chengdao on the screen with a slight frown. What is the origin of this brat? Mr. Xiao. His name is Zhang Chengdao. He is a farmer's child who lives at the foot of Mount Tai. He just joined our military region two days ago. He claimed that he left behind the legacy of an immortal at the top of Mount Tai, and awakened a powerful physique. Chen Anqing responded. Xiao Yao? Wait, the top of Mount Tai? It can't be. Crap, this kid couldn't have metamorphosed by relying on me to eat the leftover lightning and expel the spiritual impurities from my body. Just thinking about this Xiao Yao felt an incomparable chill. But it's true, Xiao Yao's strength today, even if he picks at his fingernails and foot skins, they're all treasures rich in spiritual energy. Taking it to the lighthouse, maybe they could soak it to create some god's water 2 and 3 again. Why do I have a sense of becoming the Tang Sanzang? Xiao Yao stroked his hair, but he did turn into the Tang Monk, the three burial venerable masters. Burial of heaven, burial of earth, and burial of the earth. 
Super Warriors of the Lighthouse, give the arrogant Chinese a little shock from lighthouse technology. Hearing Zhang Daoqing's arrogant words, Shirabo was so angry that he almost kicked the deck to pieces. Go, go, go! 100 lighthouse warriors rushed towards Zhang Chengdao. Watch my shining thunder fist. Zhang Chengdao clenched his fist with one hand, and there were channels of lightning power wrapped around it. And then his figure leaped out like running thunder. Boom! A fist was swung out, electric arcs flashed, and a terrifying might poured out. Boom! Instantly, seven or eight lighthouse superfighters were blown away by his punch. Their heads smashed headfirst into the middle of the deck. There were also a few that were even punched down into the sea, opening up a physical battle with the sharks. Crap! 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 Crap plus 999. The pop-ups all over the net crazily scratched through crouching. Is this kid the reincarnation of Thunderbolt Dharma King? So fierce. Worthy of being my Chinese kid brother. Born with the holy body of electricity. Kid brother is awesome. How is this possible? A high school student from China defeated the lighthouse's carefully trained soldiers? Didn't the lighthouse publicize the development of the invincible god's water? It can increase the human body's combat power by more than 10 times. Why can't they even defeat a little kid? I speculate. It must be that the lighthouse soldiers had indigestion and just drank god's water. Then they had diarrhea and pooped it all out? Now the strongest existence in the lighthouse kingdom should be a toilet. The era of the toilet superman is going to be born. Book no store smashing. Zhang Changdao's one-man thunderfist shook like nobody's business. Not a single lighthouse GI could stand up after receiving one of his punches. Ashiba, Ashiba. Sherlab called out to the lighthouse's most powerful super soldier. Ashiba, who had drunk two cups of God's water, and who claimed to possess a thousand pounds of strength, and who, in the eyes of the lighthouse nation, was already the strongest man on earth. Ashiba, I order you to defeat him. Sherlab yelled angrily. Bang. A silhouette flew out backwards and slammed hard into Shirabo's body. Over 200 pounds of body crushed him underneath, and Hirabo immediately felt that two of his ribs were broken. Ouch. Ah. Fuck. It hurts. He moved away from the person pressing on him, but to his dismay, he realized that the man who rolled his eyes and fainted was the one who was known as the strongest super warrior of the lighthouse, Ashiba. And at this moment, there wasn't a single super warrior standing in the arena. Everyone was falling to the ground in a heap. They had been beaten to unconsciousness by Zhang Chengdao. After doing this, Zheng Chengdao raised his wrist. 28 seconds. Not bad. Chen Xiao. That's about right. Then I'll go back first. Zhang Chengdao said calmly. But at this moment, the whole world exploded. Really one? Hua Xia sent out a single brat to defeat the lighthouse's most powerful super warrior? No. Are all Chinese people as strong as this little kid? If they were all this strong, it would be easy for China to conquer the world. No way. I can't stay in the Bigfoot Chicken Empire any longer. The Chinese are going to stampede into Tokyo to enjoy the cherry blossoms. Shit. Why is it that other people's teens single-handedly beat a hundred super warriors from the lighthouse nation and became famous all over the world? And my teens are hiding under the covers watching action movies and hitting glue. How can the world be so abstract? Huaxia is too scary. I don't want to go to Huaxia in my life. Every one of them is superhuman. Their bodies can discharge electricity. One punch can send a 200-pound strong man flying over 10 meters. The netizens of all the major countries were shocked. Fear of Huaxia even rose in their hearts. After easily defeating the lighthouse super warrior, Zhang Chengdao was planning to return to the battleship. However, he only heard a misty voice coming from a short distance away. Interesting, to be able to meet a kid with a special physique in this secular world. Not bad, not bad. Raising his eyes, in the middle of an infinite rippling sea, a figure slowly approached towards the two battleships from a distance. It was an old man wearing a white robe embroidered with gold threads. He stood above the sea as if he was walking on a flat surface, his body exuding an ethereal aura. It was like an immortal. Chapter 88, Bullying Li Dao Yuan. I am invincible in the secular world. Those who stand in my way will die. Who is this? Crap. This old man is stepping on the sea. This is a fucking movie. It can't be special effects. God TM special effects. The aura has been revived. And still special effects. At a glance you can tell it's an even more powerful immortal cultivator. Chinese people were sensible but foreigners didn't think so. Rip 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 drop. Huaxia people drop. It's really horrible drops. Surprisingly, there is an old man stepping on the surface of the sea. Are all Chinese people immortals? Oh, I can't believe it. It was as if I saw God waving at me. I think I must be drunk or I wouldn't have seen someone stepping on the sea. This doesn't fit Newton's three laws. Calm down, brother. We all know that China is not under Newton's control. It's under his brother. Bullock's control. This old man couldn't also be a hidden expert in Huaxia. I think he's extremely extraordinary. Why don't we bring him into my great empire of the stick? This old man should be an ancient expert of my Agua country, not some Chinese person. 
San Zi Ah, a few peanuts, drunk like this? Li Daoyuan walked slowly. His gaze landed on Zhang Chengdao's body, then on the two-headed lion that Chen Xiao was riding on the side. He he, this is the bloodline of the ancient demon nine-headed golden lion? This secular world is truly extraordinary. Kid, are you willing to worship me as your teacher? He asked to Zhang Chengdao. A genius with a special physique was qualified to be his disciple. Unwilling, Zhang Chengdao said, Kid, you may not know who I am? There is no one more powerful than me in this secular world. To you mortals, I am an immortal, is a god, said Li Daoyuan with a big hand. Rumble, a hundred feet of huge waves rose up behind him. The scene was truly terrifying. The two battleships were like toy ships under that huge wave, as if they would be smashed to pieces in the next second. Look, as long as you are willing to worship me as a teacher, you will have the chance to have this power. I don't often take on disciples, giving you a chance I hope you will allow it, Li Daoyuan said. However, Zhang Chengdao still refused anyway. This caused Li Daoyuan's face to become extremely ugly. At this moment, Chen Xiao spoke. Senior, Zhang Chengdao is a warrior of my Huaxia military region. If he is unwilling to worship his master, I still hope that senior. Shut up. Before Chen Xiao could finish his words, he was interrupted by Li Daoyuan with a stern voice. A mortal as weak as a mole cricket is also qualified to negotiate with me? It just so happens that I've come to the secular world, lacking a walking beast to take my place. Your double-headed lion. This seat will take it. If you're sensible, hand it over quickly. Otherwise, I will kill all of you here. Li Daoyuan threatened viciously. Seeing that Li Daoyuan did not give himself face, Chen Zhao's face also became unsightly. You old fucking dang. You're such a dick. Don't you know who I hang out with? I'm not afraid to tell you, the one sitting behind me is Mr. Xiao, your excellency, you can try, you can try to kill me in the secular world, let's see if anyone can handle you today, Humph, threatening me, Griffin, I really want to see that in a secular world where Aura has yet to recover, there's no one who can cure me, Li Daoyuan took a step in, and a terrifying Aura instantly enveloped the two battleships, boom, immediately, both warships shook violently, as if they were tiny flatboats under the pressure of this divine sea realm powerhouse, it was about to be overturned by the waves in the next second. Crap, this guy is definitely an expert. He was able to knock over the battleship with just his aura. Shit, this old man, where did he come from? So bullish, if he dares to kick me, I'll definitely let him know. Upstairs, let him know what? Let him know that he kicked cotton. 6. On the internet, there were Chinese people worried. There were also outsiders gloating. Ha 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 ha, foolish Chinese people. They actually offended this godlike old man. If this old man were to come to my Bigfoot chicken empire, we will definitely worship him as the reincarnation of Amaterasu Amikami. We'll build a shrine. Nonsense. This old man is clearly the incarnation of God Jehovah on earth. Seeing that our lighthouse kingdom is being bullied by Chinese brats, he has come to save us. Bullshit. It's from our sunset empire. It's ours. All right. Don't grab it. This is a senior in the history of my stick country. Seeing the Li Daoyuan's breath vibrating. A battle was about to break out. Sherlab got up from the ground with a smile on his face. Ha 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 ha, Huashia, you guys also have today. It's hard to escape from the calamity, isn't it, you guys? Then he turned to Li Daoyuan again. This honorable old man, I am the commander of the Lighthouse Nation's army, Sherabo, and I sincerely invite you to be our guest in the Lighthouse Nation. My Lighthouse country is the most powerful country on the blue planet with the most as if heritage. Li Daoyuan glanced at him. Suddenly, the eyes condensed. Your bodies, have the aura of my protector god beast, swish, he took a step and appeared in front of Shirabo, speak, where is my clan's protector god beast, he raised his hand and clasped Shirabo's neck, ha, huh? I don't know, I don't know, I really don't know, Shirabo struggled hard, don't know, then I'll search your soul, buzz, he raised his hand and pressed it on Shirabo's head, at once, Shirabo's entire body was madly disco dancing in place, foaming at the mouth, his eyes rolling upwards, his brain being hit by a wall breaker over and over again. Snap. Li Daoyuan casually threw Shirabo to the ground. Well well well. How dare you kill my clan's protective divine beast. Griffins of the secular world. You guys have such big guts. Boom. Li Daoyuan was completely enraged as he stomped his foot down and his figure rose into the air. Half of the lighthouse kingdom's warship under his feet instantly exploded. The remaining half gradually tossed and sank into the sea. Mr. Xiao. What should we do about this? Chen Anqing asked worriedly. The person who had appeared now was clearly even more terrifying in strength than the scaly dragon from before. There is no harm. This person should be a member of the immortal sect. There is no rush. I will make my move. But before that, I want to see the Lighthouse Kingdom's methods. What do you mean? Xiao Yao grinned. Those guys in the Lighthouse Kingdom. 
dropped a nuclear bomb ah. Boom! A huge missile rushed out from the Lighthouse Kingdom and came towards the Pacific Ocean. The precise strike. The target lock was Li Dao Yuan. No one dares to go against the strongest of us humans. The Lighthouse Nation. Not to mention killing my Lighthouse Nation's super warrior. You old boy. Go to hell. Someone from the Lighthouse Nation's army headquarters said angrily. Boom. In an instant, a huge nuclear bomb appeared in the distant sky. Then quickly flew towards this side. Hmm, is this the bottom card of a secular world mole? It looks like you guys used this to kill my clan's protective divine beast. Unfortunately for me, it's nothing more than that. Look at my Tsong Ling Bao. Buzz. Li Daoyuan raised his hand and a pale green longbow appeared in his hand. And then he drew the bow and shot an arrow. His body's essence gathered as one. The powerful aura of the peak of the divine sea enveloped the entire sky. And the seas under this aura were boiling and extremely oppressive. Z Z Z. Terrifying long arrows of aura began to coalesce aiming at the nuclear bomb in the sky. Somewhat interesting, a peak divine sea powerhouse. Ding. Detected that the host has encountered a peak Dan transformation realm powerhouse. Please host stay away. Please stay away. Xiaoya sat in the middle of the battleship crossing his legs. He silently pulled out a bag of melon seeds. Today, I'm going to go on a killing spree in this secular world. Those who stand in my way will die. Li Daoyuan spoke in a shocking rage. And the wind and thunder all moved. Chapter 89 Terrifying Strength The lighthouse was traumatized, and the world was in fear. Next target China? Boom! A giant nuclear bomb coming from the distance carried an incomparably terrifying power towards the side. Space seemed to be distorted under that extreme heat, and the temperature of the sea instantly rose. Holy shit! The lighthouse kingdom has gone crazy. It directly launched a nuclear bomb. This is too fucking rigid. Can this old man carry a nuclear bomb? He's a legendary immortal. Isn't he? Slasher, it's impossible to drop. This is a nuclear bomb, one of mankind's most powerful thermal weapons. Nothing can stop the power of a nuclear drop. It's a demonic weapon. Regarding the power of nuclear bombs, I'm sure that our friends from the Bigfoot Chicken Empire up there know more about it than any other person. This old man including China's battleships would be destroyed by the nukes in an instant. People from all countries were commenting on the internet, and the focus of the people of Huaxia was completely different. For a nuclear bomb, I think it's okay. The Jin Dan realm should be able to carry it casually. I think a great power in the Dan transformation realm can swallow a nuclear bomb with one divine power. Then does the Yuan Shen realm treat nuclear bombs like snacks? But the Yuan Shen needs to be activated first. I would think that the divine sea realm would be about right. And no immortal cultivator would be foolish enough to stand still and let someone else blast them. Right. Even if they were to fight it hard they'd probably just be a little injured. Indeed. I just don't know what level this old man is at. Anyway. A nuclear bomb is actually nothing. It's not very powerful. Right. In fact, the nuclear bomb is also quite weak. When the realm goes up a fart will be able to collapse a nuclear bomb. It is not allowed to say that time or able to flesh explode the star. Damn. Listen to your tone of voice. You all one can carry a nuclear bomb right? If in reality I saw a nuclear bomb scared urine all flowed. But here is the network. I can only say that the two-way foil are a little worse. 6. Buzz. Li Daoyuan looked at the nuclear bomb flying towards him. His eyes narrowed slightly. Are the people of the secular world drilling these crooked things all these years? The power is quite impressive. Under the fifth level of the divine sea it might be easy to be seriously injured. But unfortunately, it can't hurt me. Song Tian Chang Ling Arrow. Out. Swoosh. 